Hello beautifuls, welcome back to my Chanel. Oh yes, today my loves, today do I have a special treat for you, inspired by the... I was about to say late, great, that's not correct. Today I have been inspired by Bussy Queen of RuPaul's Drag Race Review YouTube channel fame. So today's video is going to be a supercut of every single episode I have reacted to of Bridal Plasty, my loves. The full season in one video for your easy viewing pleasure. If you look down below, you will see that it is easily divided up into chapters so you can click and watch the exact episode that you would like to watch in case you've missed something or you want to watch something again or you want to just, you know, experience the drama once more. I mean, it was quite a lot of drama, wasn't it? Let's be honest. There's also going to be a where are they now at the end of this video. Spoiler alert, it's actually quite shocking. So because this video is going to be about 10 hours long, <laughs> <laughs> what has my life come to? We might as well just get started and watch Bridoplasty stab the full season. Here's episode one. Bridoplasty, 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 <laughs> Bridoplasty. <laughs> What? So my lovelies, I made a video recently about The Swan, a plastic surgery reality TV competition show from 2004. And I cannot tell you how many guys commented this one word and I was like, what the f is that? Bridal plasty? <laughs> Insane. This whole word, bridal plasty, what does it mean? Well, it was in fact a television show in which brides competed in a reality TV setting to get surgery for their wedding day. What was the 2000s on about? Like, The Swan was 2004 and this was 2010. So like, people knew better. They knew much better, realistically. I can't believe that this was even a thing. Like, how immoral is it to be like, to take, they, uh, I can already tell you what the storyline's going to be. I haven't even watched an episode yet. I can already tell you they're gonna frame it as this like, some women are really pretty. But other people need some help getting there for their wedding to make everything happy. And I just feel like it's so immoral to go down that route. Plastic Plastic surgery should never be a competitive reality TV show genre. It should not. I am an absolute advocate for cosmetic and plastic surgery. If you want to get either of those things done, you've got the money, you've done your research, you do you, sis. Absolutely love it. I've had a bit of work done myself and I plan on more. I'm just fully gagged that this was ever made into a televised competition. So my lovelies, today we are going to be watching Bridal Plasty season one, episode one, and it is from the E! Entertainment Network. So, you know great. I actually had no problem finding Bridal Plasty at all, unlike The Swan. I found this really easily just by typing Bridal Plasty episodes into Google, and I have found a Daily Motion playlist of all of the episodes of season one. So if we like this video, we might in fact do a part two and a part three and a part four, five, six, seven, eight. What has my channel become over the last couple of months is literally just like reality TV meets plastic surgery competition battle to the death. And I'm kind of here for it. I hope you are as well, my lovelies. So if you've only just met me, my name is Luxaria. I am a professional makeup artist and scientist that makes beauty commentary videos here on YouTube. Give me a little subscribe if you aren't already. And let's, um, let's start with bridal plasty, shall we? <laughs> oh, God. Every bride wants to look perfect on her wedding day. Yes. But some yes, they do. may need some extra help. Didn't I, I tell you? We need a breast lift. There's a little <laughs> excess tissue here. Wait! Oh. <laughs> recognize that voice. Was that Dr. Dubrow? <gasps> oh, he was involved in quite a lot of scandals, it seems, in his early career that he's trying to erase from the internet. Mm. Now there's a place where they can come to complete their quest for ultimate perfection. Tap, tap. Okay, let's put her down and try a bigger size. This is bridal plasty. The brides will compete for the chance to have plastic surgery procedures before their wedding day. Tons of women get plastic surgery every day. They just don't admit it. She's gonna fill out her wedding dress, that's for sure. And the last bride standing will not only complete her head-to-toe transformation... <gasps> what was that? She will also get a celebrity-style dream wedding. After being away from her fiancé for four months, she will finally walk down the aisle and he will lift her veil to reveal her new look for the very first time. 
But to get there, oh my god, she must make it past every other bride in the house. Oh my god, just bitch. Stop, stop it. No, you don't deserve to be here. You better freaking leave with your eye open, bitch. Plotting against each other. Who the f are you voting for? Don't try to vote me out of this house and think that we're gonna be friends. I'm what? dominant. Like, they don't want to be in this f house. What the f is wrong with these people? She's a manipulator, and I hope she freaking goes home. Say it to my face. I want to smack that f nose right off her face right now. You just made Dr. Dubrow can fix faces, he can't fix personalities. It is Dr. Dubrow! What? Again? What? It's like, I do, I, it's almost like I just cannot believe that this was even a thing. The idea that they put these brides in a house and that they don't see their husbands for like all their fiancés for four months and then they lift the veil to reveal their new look. So the idea is all these women are put through this incredible amount of trauma, body trauma, you know, transformation process and their husband is just sitting at home the same for four months? Where, where is this show for men? Where is groomoplasty? Where's that? Hmm? A lot of emotions in the studio today, yes. <laughs> Bridal Pasty! I just can't get over that name. I've got to laugh or I'll cry. first arrived at the house, I thought, this is a dream. The house is gorgeous. It's unlike anything that I've ever seen, let alone step foot in. So far, I actually don't know why they're all going into a house together. Like, so there's some level of competition. Is it just that the winner gets the surgery? Because I'm very confused. My name is Cheyenne, and I'm from Hamburg, New Jersey. This is our... Also, I do apologise about the audio quality in this video. For some reason, it is like the quietest thing in the history of time. House. This is my fiance, Scott. <laughs> what do you think about me uh, getting any plastic surgery done? Nose job. Can you see it? Yes. Yeah, see the, the nose? The nose. Understandable. Okay, I got that. Obviously, the He's nose. He's okay with the nose. I think my best physical feature is probably my stomach. I have like a flat stomach, but that's like the only thing I really don't have a problem with. Now, wow. We go over laundry. Like how to do it. I was an only child growing up. So I'm not good with doing things by myself. <gasps> oh no, that is not a good personality oh trait. No. Our picture. <gasps> oh, it's another McMansion. Oh my gosh. Oh, how fun. Oh, that's cool. Oh. Wow. This I don't understand. What is, is this? Not... I love it. My name is Allison. I'm 33 and I'm from Chicago. Uh, this is the closet of all the wedding stuff that I've got yeah, some boxes. We had a wedding scheduled for July 10th of this year, which had to be canceled. I've even got, like, some of the glasses that I started making for some of the girls. Wow. During the process of planning our wedding, I was laid off. And then as a double whammy, oh, then no. he was laid off a <gasps> month after me. Oh, my Boxes God. Of bubbles, my wedding shoes. It just goes to show you that dress. life can change almost immediately at the drop of a hat. I'm getting sick of the bad luck at this point. So that is just So you went on bridal me. plastic. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> my name is Lisa Marie, and this is my fiancé, Derek. As a child, I was teased because of acne breakouts, and it still affects me to this day. So if there can be somebody that can come out of the little genie bottle and wave their little wand and whoosh, and, and, and change me, I'll be like, yes! But that's not, how, that's not how plastic surgery happens, sis. That's not how plastic surgery happens. Yes, it's transformative, but a lot of the problems that you have before plastic surgery, you will still have afterwards unless you accompany it with therapy. Oh, my goodness. What? This part for me is going to be... A the fact that I'm going to be away she from you. looks like Blair White. I'm sacrificing leaving my fiance, who's so dear and important to me. It's hard. It's definitely hard, but you know, it's for a good deed. Is it for a good deed? Is this a good? Is this? Could this be considered a good deed? And this is my fiance, Brandon. I started pageants when I was 15 years old. I've done seven pageants in my lifetime. Oh, no. And out of the seven, five, I've walked away with winning something. Needless oh. to say, I have definitely had more than enough experience with competing with women. If she knows what she wants, she's going to go and get it. So they just better watch out because there's no stopping her. Okay. Hi. Oh, 
Okay. 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 You know what? Okay. We're in the whole house, and here come three more girls, and it was the most exciting yet nerve-wracking thing at the same time. What's the competition? Yeah. Do you want to be roommates? Because you're like fabulous. Is she going? Yeah. Oh my god. I'm in here, girl. I'm in the bathroom. I'm Alexandra. I'm 21. I recently just got engaged. His name is Antoine. It's kind of one of the things where, like, if you have having a dream wedding then obviously you're gonna want a dream body. I definitely wouldn't mind some plastic surgery. Tummy tuck, arm tuck, you know, thigh tuck, especially where I had like extra skin for my weight loss. Boob job? No, what's wrong with my boobs? <laughs> I mean, nothing's wrong with them, but I mean. Well, why would we give you a boob job, a sir? Wedding, okay, a fabulous Hollywood glam style wedding with some plastic surgery, okay? I'm ready to How do easy this. was that I to want? To I'm shocked at how easy that was to say for her. That whole little, like, sentence we had there was just so easy for them to say. She was just like, I'm having this, I'm having this, I'm having this. What did you make? And like, oh, you should get a poop job. These things are not, li like, liposuction is not an undertaking you do on a whim. It's like an, a long healing process and your body feels broken. I feel like a lot of the things when we say surgery so easily... A lot of these people don't really consider how, like, serious it is to have a surgery. Like, you can't just have lots of surgery. There needs to be things really accurately considered with each surgical procedure you have. And you can only ever really undergo the knife a certain amount of times in your life because general anesthesia is, like, a problem, sis. Oh, I feel a bit sick. To complete my fairy tale, and I'm going to. And I'm going to make sure that no one gets in the way. Oh, my God. <laughs> Dominique and I live in uh, Miami Beach, Florida. My sister had got married in 2007 and my parents gave her a beautiful wedding. My parents spent basically whatever they had um, on my sister's wedding and didn't think about saving a little bit for you know our wedding. It's very sad for me. So oh my god! This is my amount of trauma to put on your child literally that sounds like favoritism when did it become so like important for weddings to be like this big massive thing that you spend money on because like buy me a house buy me a house sis i want a house with a lovely pet i want a little cat called patisserie who's patty for short and i want a little dash on called waffles sod a wedding Ugh. way of of getting that dream wedding of being able to be that beautiful bride and he's like no no we got to get up to the stone part of it okay <laughs> so he proposes to me there it was really the cutest thing. Like, I made him propose to me. I was How like, How long were you guys <laughs> You, if I don't have a ring on my finger in 30 days, I'm so weak. Like, wow. together, together. That is not years. healthy. And I was like, this is oh, yes. You will propose to me. <laughs> it's not healthy. My name that is That sounds so unhealthy. That sort of a relationship sounds so unhealthy. A man, if you want a man to propose to you and he's not promos proposing to you, do not say to him, I'll give you 30 days or I'm leaving because that, that relationship is going to be built on nothing. Absolutely nothing. There are so many low value males in this world that will not propose to you or keep you in their life if they want you. Literally, if it's been four years and you wanted something out of your life within that four years, instead of forcing someone to do it, stand on your own two feet and say, clearly this isn't working, bye, I'm off to find someone who's on my level. If this girl gets so much plastic surgery to like impress her husband on her wedding day and herself, that's a rocky foundation at best, sis. Rocky foundation. My fiance's name is LJ. He's tall, dark, and handsome. I'm not one to fight what nature intends. Oh. Okay. So when you made it clear to me that you needed an engagement ring so that we could be engaged and wed according to your schedule, I said, I'm not going to fight this. You know, I've, I've got my hands to real work here. I'm excited. I can't wait what? to scope out all the other girls. I can already tell you, I do not like this woman's fiance. Absolutely not see what my competition is and kind of formulate my game plan. Well, did you so pick out the ring or was it like- Well, we went to look at rings together. Yeah. Like I made it do that. Yeah. <laughs> you have a tattoo, what's it about? Oh. It's my kid's birthdays and my wedding date. Oh, wow. Yeah. Are you already married or? Yeah. So am I. Oh. <laughs> what, already married? My name is Jamie, this is my husband, Lon. We have oh. two children. <laughs> we got married at the courthouse because my mom was sick and... Oh no, we don't need this, sis. She had cancer, so the time was getting, you know, closer and she's just getting sicker. So we just went to the courthouse. This photo! I want to enter this competition because I feel as though it's my time and I deserve to celebrate. 
My name's Maddie, I'm 23, and I live in Los Angeles, California. These girls are so I young. I want to feel so absolutely true. fabulous walking down that aisle. And, you know, everybody wants some nips and tucks here and there. Uh, breast augmentation. For it or against it? I guess for it, but not exaggerated. Exaggerated? Yes. Uh, okay, exactly. butt augmentation. Uh, for it. I absolutely know that I intimidate other women, but just wait until I have Jessica Biel's butt. Poof. Oh, God. It's perfect. Hi. These personality traits are just going to get worse with surgery. Hi. Hi. My name is Ashley, and I'm from La Palma, California. This is my fiance, Sabino. Um, we've been together about eight years. I have some concerns with my chest, and I, I'd like for it to be a little bigger, um, and also with my nose. I know that Ashley wants to get the plastic surgery thing going, but, you know, I kind of disagree in certain things. You know, she's fine the way she is. Okay. 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 My is a little bit different. Um, I actually met my fiance on The Biggest Loser. Really? Oh, wow. Wow. So anyone who saw that in December, my fiance proposed to me on TV at our finale. <gasps> oh. And basically, we lost all of our weight together in wow. six months. I lost 95 pounds. He lost 157. And at the end, he proposed to me right on TV. <laughs> <laughs> Alexander is already taking over the house and I was going to say, is this like drama she's building? She's wonderful because she's been on The Biggest Loser. Oh, it sounds so like, oh my god, knives at dawn. Everyone seen it like the next day it was on Yahoo. It was... Alexandra is definitely a competitive threat. We really need to get her out of the house. But what are you doing? What tasks are you doing? <laughs> keep hearing about is Biggest Loser, Biggest Loser, shut up already. Okay, they're really trying to manufacture this storyline, aren't they, Sid? Manufacture it! Anybody spent without there? Yeah, 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 definitely. This is by far the longest I've ever spent away from there. My husband's yeah. been in Iraq since January. Okay. He got married before he deployed. Like, he was supposed to be back on our one-year wedding anniversary. <gasps> they got delayed. My name is Melissa, and my husband's name is TJ. He's a senior airman in the Air Force. TJ was deployed to Iraq oh, no. in January. And I haven't seen him since. My name is Jessica, and I live in Virginia Beach. I'm 30 years old, and I'm going to get married this year. As far as our actual wedding, I just want it to be fun. I don't really care too much personally about the details of it. Um, plastic surgery. I've had a lot of surgeries on my breasts for and things like that, and I'm really oh uneven, and, um, and they keep popping up, and I'm just like, I'm a mess in that area. When you're getting married, you what? should be like at your prime, and having a breast augmentation, I can only imagine that I would feel one, like 100% complete again. I do, I'm really, really concerned about the levels of surgery on these contestants that are going into this house. Like, you've got some of them that are like, I want this, 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 and this done. And then you've got uh, someone like that who's just like, I just want breast augmentation. You're going on TV just for that? Like, this disparity is insane, even for television standards. But also, it sounds like her situation is a lot more um, unique in the fact that she's not just going to be having, like, breast augmentation. It's going to be, like, reconstructive surgery because of a health condition that is ongoing. Going. This is this is not what you do on television for a competition. No, I'm not into it. Not into it at all. Tell us to our fiancés. Yeah. Wait, Wait. Oh, fiance throw them all in the bin. Men never have to do anything like this. Men never. Would you imagine if there was like, I don't know, a penio extension plasty show where they're just called, it's called like dong plasty or something and they're all just like. 12 men enter the ring, but only one can be crowned America's next top dong. Yeah, we're all going on this show. I'm getting married and I want a massive dong for my wedding day. And they all just get dong surgery. I don't think that that would ever happen. So why, why, why was this ever allowed? Ludicrous. Hey ladies! <gasps> oh! Seven the pixels! Yay! As soon as I see Shayna Mokler, I'm thinking, oh my god, she was this USA. I'm excited, I'm yeah. so excited to meet you guys. She dated rock stars. How can you not love this woman? I'm Shayna Mokler, and welcome to Bridal Plastic! Shayna Mokler, Bridal Plastic, Bridal Plastic! <laughs> you guys are all here because you want the perfect dream wedding. 
but that's not all you have in common. You also want head-to-toe plastic surgery makeovers. Yes. Here's how it's gonna work. You're all gonna live here for the next several weeks in this magnificent mansion and compete in challenges that will help transform you closer and closer to the perfect bride. What? Also, with the challenges come eliminations, so <gasps> one by one, you will be going home until we just have one bride left. And that one bride will have a first-class, celebrity-style dream wedding. Wow. <laughs> what? First-class, celebrity-style dream wedding? That just sounds awful to me. If you want a first-class celebrity-style wedding, all the more for you, my love. <laughs> this means the world to be able to have that dream wedding. Our rings it are just on seems so away. shallow. We don't even have a budget. The last bride's day. It's not even. It's not even about the wedding. It just seems like it's just like about the show of it all. It doesn't feel like there's any substance to this. Do you know what I mean? You will walk down the aisle. You will see your husband for the first time as the brand new you. I think it will be an initial shock just because, you know, there is always going to be shock when someone comes home looking different, but, you know, that's what keeps life exciting. Ladies, before you came here... Sorry, madam, head-to-toe plastic surgery on the show Bridal Plasty does not keep life exciting. What are you on about? What are you on? You all consulted with one of our plastic surgeons. So without further ado, please welcome Dr. Debro. Look who it isn't. <laughs> he has worked on some of the hottest celebrities, including some of my very dear friends. He's here to literally make all of your dreams come true. In a cosmetic I mean, I surgery reality when I first TV. met you guys because you're all so basically good looking. And, uh, you know, plastic surgery is really to make minor improvements to be a better version of yourself. And a lot of the work you're going to do in the gym, with diet and exercise, and then okay. I'm going to help you do the rest of it. Why don't we take a look at each... That seemed like a really sensible way to approach it. It feels like maybe he's learned from the swan not to be so like, this is what you need. This is what's happening. This is what's doing. But I still kind of feel like to even be involved in this show is is a bit much isn't it like I wonder what his wage was like what was it on the contract that made Dr. Dubrow go yes I want to be on this show plastic surgery wish list these are the procedures you plastic guys told surgery me you wanted list. to see improved and we talked about oh, so God. let's go over some of them so the first one I'm going to talk to is Alexandra in front of everybody ah, Alexandra, come on up. <laughs> what there you are you have done something great you've lost a lot of weight any of you who all don't know, I was over 315 pounds last year. Um, so I lost 91 pounds in a six, uh, six months, and I've kept it off for the past eight. I actually was on The Biggest Loser. Um, that's where I met my fiance. And I actually went home first, and after I lost the weight, he came back and proposed to me on TV at the finale. <laughs> Oh my god. TV, reality TV shows are just insane. Insane. I'm trying to be the perfect bride after the bride. Right. To really get this taken care of, you'd really want to sort of remove this. And that's more of a tummy tuck. It's hard to stand up there and admit all of your perfections. Yeah. But at the end of the day, nothing is set in stone. You can change it. Here's yes, your wish list. Thank you, guys. You, you should not be doing this on TV, madam. Also, I do kind of feel like this feels a little bit clout chasey fame hungry in a way. But I don't think that it's really appropriate to kind of put yourself up on a pedestal and then be like, talk about everything surgical that you want in a room of other people that are also competing against you for that surgery in front of the surgeon. Like, it just feels very... Unethical? Do you know what I mean? This is a heavy list, right? There's a lot of stuff oh, on here. Like a section. Here, here, all into this area here, here, and here, and this area. Here, here, here. Okay. All of this, all of this, all of this, all into here. You have a little bit of irregularities in here. I'm a mess. Back here, back here. I feel like I'm part of an Indian tribe. <laughs> Don't say that! All right. There's a pock mark here, right? Which is right there. I think we do all of these procedures, you're gonna look pretty smoking hot, honestly. <laughs> so Everybody wants that beautiful dream wedding. And even though Derek has told me over and over, he's like, no matter what, Lisa, he's like, you are beautiful. I wanna step out because there Because your say, problems are between good. your ears. Oh, me? 
not on your body. Good oh! Alison, come on. Down. I don't hear any conversations about therapy. Okay. Do you? So, Alison, you have done. Really? <laughs> It's not bad. It's not bad at all. There are so, some things that are just not meant to be shown. I have a three-year-old son, and things just never went back to normal. I've got that tire thing down here. I could actually make it talk at times. Help me, please. Suck me out. What are these producers thinking? All right, now let's look at your body. Mm. <laughs> the little excess tissue here. Okay. A little? <laughs> there are some things that are meant to be covered up. They do not make bikinis for oversized women, and I'm telling you, that was uncomfortable. I could go to a bar, put a dollar bill in my bra, and find it three days later under my boob. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, yeah. Don't say Come that. On. That's not supposed to happen. I'm no. usually the funny girl in the room. Humor is what I use to cope. You have Hashtag some tag relatable shape issues with conical shape to your breast, right? You have perfect breasts for doing a breast augmentation. And then liposuction of the tummy. Yep. Right here. Lower part. Seeing these girls, I am surprised that there are so many skinny ones that want to get work done. But well, you're on a show <laughs> about work. Liposuction on both sides. Oh god. Contouring laser liposuction very easily and reduce these areas. I'm just gonna be honest, okay? The skinny bitches, like, run it. I could, like, swallow her. Seriously, swallow her, like, for real. And you wouldn't even know. You'd just be like, oh, are you bloated? Oh, stop. We can certainly stop all that. put oh. a breast implant in on both sides. When you okay. have a deflation situation, do a simple breast augmentation. I'm seeing some girls that look damn near perfect. Okay. Liposuction here and the outer thigh here. Oh my God, you're ridiculous. Your yes, this is the competition. Oh God, this is so weird. Bit. We can do a breast lift and bring them to the center. Now the tummy, fullness here. There's some in the upper quadrant here, in the lower. I can't take my eyes off this. It's like watching a train wreck happen. I'm literally just like, what? I don't know. I feel like I don't have the words to explain how I'm feeling about this show because this show is just weird. Here's your wish list. Thank you. Good luck. <laughs> Cosmetic surgery Tomorrow, wish list. Tomorrow the competition starts. But tonight, I am going to throw you a bridal party. <laughs> okay, fine. But what is the competition? What are they doing? Please, as you may the top of the stairs, there are your bridal closets. Each week, you'll get to add a new piece of your dream wedding to that closet. The last bride what? standing will get to keep everything in her bridal closet. After you put your plastic surgery wish list in your bridal closet, go get changed, and I'll meet you down <gasps> here for our bridal party. That wish list was so long. I don't want to underestimate anybody, but it's going to be really interesting to see who gets what done, because some of these girls really need some help. What are you talking about? I don't feel like I'm going to like a lot of these contestants. I know that they're in a reality TV competition show setting, which makes, which means they have to like amp up. Producers have an idea of a storyline of the villain, of the nice one, of the underdog and all that. So it just kind of makes me feel like I'm really going to not like a couple of these contestants, but I'm sure they're lovely people, but mm. Having these 15 God, surgeries show? or more. 15 surgeries? To have complete confidence is just... That's the best, probably the best gift you can give a girl. <laughs> but the surgery is not going to give you this level of confidence that allows you to take it anywhere in your life. Surgeries can increase your confidence and your self-esteem, of course, but when you're going in for 15 surgeries, no amount of self-confidence is going to fix what's happening in your life, in your mind, and potentially is unaddressed mental health issue there, my lovely. Therapy first, please! When we went our separate ways, it just so happened, like, we always reconnected and always reconnected, mm -hmm. and then it came to the point where it's like, we're meant to be together, like, obviously, and we're so in love, and he's like, my <laughs> Hey ladies, are you ready for the bridal party? Yeah. Bridal party time, yes. I'm so excited for this bridal party. Like, I just want to get to know everybody and see where everyone's coming from. Yeah. All right, I'll take five champagnes. Just kidding. So this is just a buffet One of the at the main house, reasons really. that I want liposuction is because there's certain dresses that I do not feel comfortable in. 
people aren't really upfront about their plastic surgery. Yeah. They want to hide it. Absolutely. Everybody yes. wants to have Tiny the nice sis. arms, yep. the flat tummy, the yeah. sculpted butt. Let me see your rings. Nope. I know. Yeah. There's so many to see. Is it princess cut? Yeah. Perfect. Is that like parvé? Um, yeah, I guess like vintage style. Yeah, yeah. Vintage style. Sorry, yeah. Okay, what, what's your story? It was real simple. Okay, I got a ring. I fell on some hard times, you know, and I had to pay my car note. So I had to pawn it. I was like, I can't leave you here, baby. But I <laughs> wait a minute. So you didn't tell him though that you were going to well pawn it. Oh no. I feel no. like it. Maybe it's a little selfish that you pawn this beautiful ring that your fiance buys for you. Baby, mama's gotta get to work. Oh you know? my God. She's like, I need my car, I gotta get to work. Maybe she's not a person that really values things. Well, it's kind of good to be a person that not always is materialistic. So, I don't know, sometimes there are things a little bit more important than a wedding, sis, you know? So my trainer was Vanessa Williams' trainer in New York. Awesome. Sal Gaglia, yeah. he's the bomb. Hey ladies, are you guys having fun? Oh my god, they're really painting her as like a name dropper. I do have one more surprise guest. At the bridal party? A surprise guest at the bridal party? Who is it? Is it Dr. Dubrow? Oh, come off it. Coming up. Oh no. Oh! Oh my god. Okay, that's quite emotional. What is the show? Oh my gosh, like, don't leave me ever again. Like, never. Seeing him after, like, eight months. I mean, he was in Iraq for so long. I felt like it took him forever to get to me. <laughs> oh, frisky lady. I love you. What, what, what is this? So Why? Spying on them? Oh, they are dragging it on a bit, though. Come on. Is this the storyline of the first episode? Yes, Kizzy Boo. All you've been doing is Kizzy Boo. That kind of just yeah. brought me back to why I'm here. Hey, ladies! Hey! Hey, guys! All Automatically, right. I'm thinking, oh, no. The competition's going to start. I yes. think I'm going to my pants. All right, no, ladies. Don't do that. It's Not time on television. for your first challenge. Immediately, my heart feels like it's going to pump out of its chest. Like, I'm so nervous. All right, meet it? me what outside at the top of the stairs at the bridal tent. I am super determined nothing will get in my way because my wedding is on the line. Oh my god! Oh, no way! Oh my god! Oh my god! What? Oh my god! What is this? What? Oh, what? Oh my god! Oh my god. You could never. No. It's mortifying enough to know that someone has that picture on their camera somewhere, but to actually see it, no makeup, oh, she is shocked. hanging all out. I wanted to die. This I'm is not a nightmare. Surprised. Hello, ladies. What could possibly and could the to challenge be? This will be the site of your very first challenge. Yes. This game and this entire competition is about transforming the old you into the new you. In front of your pictures, you will see a stack of magnetic puzzle pieces. When you put these pieces together, they'll form an image of what you could possibly look like at the end of your journey. What? A brand new you, made over, wearing a bridal gown. Is this a when puzzle I say challenge? Go, you will race the puzzle. puzzle and assemble the new you over the old you. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. I am terrible at doing puzzles in general. Now, ladies, a puzzle. over there is a tray with 10 syringes. As you finish your puzzles, you may grab a syringe, go downstairs, where Dr. Dubro and his staff will be having an exclusive first class injectables party right here in the house. What? Oh my god. Injection party? Hell what? Yes. What? 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 <laughs> Puzzles and Botox, my loves. <laughs> Sorry, they have to do a puzzle of what they want to look like and then they have to dash and grab a syringe, take it downstairs as like some golden ticket to the syringe party. A pumping party downstairs. Oh my God, what? The uh, production team, what were you thinking? I can actually have something worth $600 like injected into my face. Oh, okay. The first 10 brides to finish their puzzles will be invited to the party. The last two brides, well, let's just say you don't want to be the bottom brides. <gasps> God, On are they going to kill you? <laughs> get set, go. As soon as Shayna says go, my first thought is corners and borders. 
If you love puzzles, you do corners and borders first. Oh my god. This is a lot. I want to go to the injectables party. But right now I'm just excited to get that puzzle done so I can see what I look like in that the wedding dress after party. I get all my plastic surgery. The injectables party. I'm looking at pieces. I'm looking, I'm looking. Is it on the right side? Is How it on the left Dr. side? How did Dr. Jabral get away with do. this? Oh, it's so you. I am a good competitor. I'm probably one of the most intelligent girls in the house. Like, let's face it, Kristen and Cheyenne, like, I'm sure that they're going to be excellent citizens of the United States, but I don't think that there's a lot going on up there. What? What kind of weird you know, thing? What is that weird? Have pieces up. My pieces are, like, now scattered around my feet, and theirs are on the board. Well, yes, that's how you do a puzzle and a competition. Shane, I'm done. Please, God, please, please, please let this be right. Kristen, you are the first bride to complete your puzzle. Come grab your syringe and go down to the injectable party. Yes! Oh my gosh, my puzzle's right. What? I want this butt face fixed. Yes! <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> What Jessica, is this? You are correct. Cheyenne, you are correct. <laughs> During the challenge, I keep seeing all these syringes like completely being taken off the table one by one, and I'm just like, I want a syringe. <laughs> there are no words. I've got like no words left. <laughs> Injectables, skincare, and we have some fillers. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, out there. I'm starting to freak out because there's less and less people. And like, I do not want to be in the bottom two. There's just no way. There are six fries left with four syringes. Shane, I think I'm done. Melissa, you are correct. Oh my god. Ladies, there's three syringes left with five brides. Are you kidding me? I am not gonna be one of these bottom two. Like, I cannot lose this challenge. Shane, I'm done. Three brides. I'm like nervous. Syringes. Come on, girls. But also, stop Vanessa, you participating correct. in this nonsense. Oh my god, I cannot oh. believe this is finally over. What happens over. to the bottom two? Okay, I can go and enjoy myself now. What happens because to the bottom two? What, 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 what? Okay, ladies, the next bride to complete their puzzle will be the last bride at the party. <gasps> I still have a small, small chance, but I'm holding on by a thread. I'm starting to freak out. I'm it's like, just I'm injectables. I'm looking at my puzzle and it looks correct. I'm like, I don't see anything wrong. If I don't get this puzzle right, there's so much at stake. Not getting the dream wedding, not getting the plastic surgery, which is so important to me. I can't let it slip away. No, sure, no I'm this done. all wrong, all wrong. Are you, is she really doing Lisa that? Marie, that is I don't think this presenter is really like analyzing the puzzle like that. Like, how would she know? How would the presenter know what every single puzzle looks like? Do you see her just being like. It's correct. You got the last syringe. <gasps> Lisa Marie. Oh no. <laughs> Drama. Yes, grab it and go down to that party. When she said that, it was almost as if I, like, an angel was calling my name. Go enjoy. Lisa Marie, that is a lot, that is a lot, that is a lot of emotion for a Botox injection. An angel calling your name because you've got a syringe to go down to a Botox party. I don't think God would have anything to do with this. Just my opinion. Enjoy your party with all the other brides. You did it! <laughs> I see her reaction and I'm thinking, Lisa Marie, you won. What is the problem? There's gotta be tears of joy. Come here. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> just seeing Lisa Marie coming down the stairs crying. It just it's bittersweet. You're so happy for everybody and yourself. But where are they? Where is Ashley? I feel like Lisa Marie has some things to resolve and I do not think that plastic surgery is going to help her when it comes to this sort of thing. My heart is in many different places right now because like, I just don't understand how a producer could see her reacting like this and be like, this will be great television instead of being like, this person needs help. Alexandra, Ashley, I'm sorry, but you're the last two, the bottom brides. But what's worse is that your time here at the house now is in jeopardy. 
I literally just saw my dreams shatter. The picture, the outline of my body, it was beautiful. That's exactly how I wanted to look on my wedding day. And I'm literally- It's also impossible like, oh God, Photoshop. We all made it, but there's two people up there. Yeah. Uh, and no. that's sad for them because they went through this journey that we just went through. Could you imagine? Hi, ladies. Hi. Oh, what's going to happen? Oh, what a lovely face, Ma. We have business to attend to. So, Dr. Debro and your beautiful nurses, if you could step out so we could have a moment. Thank you. Scandal, Everyone, scandal, Ashley scandal. and Alexandra were the last two brides to finish their puzzles, so they are the bottom brides. So, that means one of them will be going home right now. Oh, God. Oh, the music changed. Here I am, up for elimination, again, in the first week. I cannot be the first one to go home. I already oh, was this the is first production. one on The Biggest production. Loser. I'm not going home first. I'm here, I need to be the perfect bride, and that's it. But, God, like the eliminations to come, it's in your hands. <gasps> oh, scandal. I break down. I don't want to be the person to crush someone else's dream. You oh, shouldn't have gone on a reality TV competition, sis. Oh, God. And I'm just thinking, oh, I'm gone. This week's decision is going to be a little different than the rest, but ultimately, it will always be in your hands. It's a bit different, how? I'm thinking, this is great. I may have the opportunity to send Alexander home. <gasps> I'm kind Tactics. of at these people's mercy, and that's a very vulnerable, scary place to be. We're about to have a simple hand vote, but before we do that, I'd like to let Alexandra and Ashley speak to you. Oh, right, okay. Ashley. Very big brother. I really, like, know that I deserve this because I have to walk in here and look at everybody with the ring on their finger, and I don't have that. I do feel that Ashley's decision to pawn her ring did affect my vote because it's kind of unthinkable. She's already had her time. This is my first chance. Alexandra, it's your turn to speak. <laughs> well, um, if any of you all know my story, I know what it feels like to go home first. I went home first, the first week on The oh Biggest Loser. So but this isn't about that. I know that. what it feels like. I just what? really want a chance to complete my, my fairy tale. It's like you already had your moment in the spotlight. You already got proposed to on national TV. Like, nobody yeah. else in the house that got that opportunity. I do kind I really of agree. I really like a chance to try it just one more time to make it past the first round and to just really, like, even see if it's possible to even just have this dream oh, this wedding. This is awful. This is so awful. Hey, How ladies. hateful. Thank you. Thank you. It's time. Now who's going to die? So when I say vote, if you want Alexandra to stay, oh. raise your hand. If you want Ashley to stay, keep your hand down. Are you ready? Vote. Oh, a break right there, really? So I raise your hand. Alexandra, if you stay, want raise your Ashley hand. to stay, keep your hand down. Keep your hand down. Oh. Are you ready? Vote. Ladies, all ten of you must vote. Oh my god, oh my Imagine god. Imagine if oh they god. didn't and just went, we no. I'm sorry, I know this is difficult. That's one vote for Alexandra to stay in the house. I'm the biggest loser. She had been the first one to go home. I don't want that to happen to her again. I know I wouldn't be able to handle that. But that's Allison, on the show, that not on her. Two votes for Alexandra to stay. Oh Kristen, god. that's a third vote for Alexandra to stay. Alexandra, you yeah. now have four votes. Ashley, you have six. If you pawn your ring because you need food on the table, then like, I'm okay with that. But hell no, I would take the bus day in and day out to get to and from work. What are you talking about? That ring. What are you talking about? Last chance to lock in your votes. Alexandra, you need two more votes or you're going home. Raise them up high, please. <gasps> Alexandra, you had seven votes. Ashley, you had three. Congratulations, Alexandra. <laughs> Ashley, I'm sorry. You are the first one to be eliminated from bridal plasty. You're kind of bittersweet so because you're safe from this insanity. Oh. Mm, bit distasteful though, still. I know that was very, very difficult, but it's only gonna get harder from here. 
I'm more upset about not What's being that? able to get the chance to compete for the surgeries. A lot of the girls already have a fairy tale going on. I'm still trying to piece mine together the best way I can, and you know, it just didn't work out. You don't need this. No, absolutely not. I am really good friends with like the people that did vote for me, but the other ones, Janessa, Melissa, Lisa Marie, they were still like, oh, Alexandra, like trying to be nice to me, because they know if I win another challenge, oh, you got it coming, bitch. You do. <sighs> Don't try to vote me out of this house and think that we're going to be friends. Awful. So how often do we <laughs> well, um, I'm gonna push my laptop away from me there, my lovelies, and remove my orange because what was that? What was that? I didn't think that things could get worse than the swan, but this show takes like the worst aspects of the swan and really elaborates on it to make it more insane. This competitive aspect has just gone off the rails in this show. How could Dr. Dubrow allow himself to be involved with a show like this? This is so immoral and unacceptable. I personally feel like Ashley dodged a massive bullet when it comes to this show. I have some stories that I have read about um, like life after bridal plasty and it is not good. It is not good. So I actually feel like saying congratulations, Ashley. You have avoided this insanity and you can go on and hopefully live a very happy life. Well, my loves, let me know what you think about bridal plasty because um, I'm a little bit like... My gosh, there's more episodes of this absolute insanity. I do also feel like the pacing of this show is really weird. Like there's just lots of them being like round and talking and not really a lot is happening. I feel like how can you make this show anything more than what it is? I don't know. A wedding has never meant anything like this to me. And with that, my lovelies, don't ever do this. Don't ever do any of this. Bridal plasty, more like bridal gout. Now it's time for episode two. Give me the shots, give me the shots, give me the shots. Ah! Thank you very much for asking. I had a wonderful birthday on Monday, you gorgeous people. Thank you all for your well wishes and your happy birthdays, you stunning people. I actually went out for a game of mini golf and had a couple of drinky poos, which was very enjoyable. And I got some lovely gifts as well. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much. It has in fact prepared me for that time of the month where we are going to be looking at bridal plasty. Now, I can't, I I didn't quite, I couldn't quite, mm, I had no idea what to expect from the reception of the first episode of Bridal Plasty that went up on my Chanel. It'll be in the playlist if you want to watch it, my lovely. It is an insane show from start to finish about brides that have a plastic surgery wish list that compete for plastic surgery whilst being sequestered from their husband for four months to get all of this surgery and there's one winner and they get married with this new body and new face. To their fiance who's just been staying at at home and doing nothing basically this whole time. So I am very surprised that this show was even made and I must actually take a segue here to say that Lisa Marie, a contestant that we will likely see in this in this episode, um, she was well, her story is not very happy, sadly. Um, I have put a link to the article uh, discussing all about it in the description box below. So that is really, really sad. And I will not be like um, commenting any further. So my lovelies, are you ready to watch episode two of Bridal Plasty? Because I don't know if I am, my loves. Okay, let's pop in my orange. Is it, oh, no, it's the wrong one. <gasps> Scandal, girls. Let's pop it in and let's watch Dr. Dubrow give the Dr. Dubrow lift to as many Dr. Dubrow patients as Dr. Dubrow. Blech. If you want to watch the episodes again, you can find them all from series one on Daily Motion. Just type in Bridal Plasty and there she is. All right, let's go. Previously on Bridal Plasty. Please welcome Dr. DeBrow. Here I've got your plastic surgery wish list. Oh Liposuction. Fantastic face, but your nose is kind of ruining it. Some things are just not meant to be shown. Sorry, fantastic face, but your nose is kind of ruining it. What a horrendous thing to say to someone. Doesn't matter if you're a surgeon and you're there to, you know, provide a service as a surgeon. You don't just say your your nose is ruining your face. You provide options and you give feedback and you wait for them to give feedback from you. That's a horrific way to talk about someone in surgery terms. Don't. Ladies! 
Oh no, the competition's gonna start. Let's just say you don't want to be the boss. She needs hair plastic. Go! My pieces are scattered around my feet and theirs are on the board. One of them will be going home right now. I cannot be the first one to go home. I already was the first one on The Biggest Loser. Vote. Can I just say, can I just say as well, can I just say as well, you guys pointed out something in the comments of the last video that I was fully, fully gagged when I actually realised this, is that the, the host, I can't remember her name, vapid blonde woman, that was a bit rude, but still, she said, like, oh, you must vote, ladies, you must vote, and their voting system was down to keep Ashley in, or up to keep um, Alexandra in, and she just kept looking at them being like, vote, remember, all of you have to vote, and not counting as keeping their hands down, as keeping Ashley in. Mmm, think about that, everybody. Think about that. Ashley, I'm sorry. You are the first one to be eliminated from bridal. Saved, party. saved from Your this mess. Your wedding will go on, but it just may not be perfect. This intro is far too, like, soft and lovely for this. Look. Body dysmorphia, girls. Who's ready? I'm not. Ludicrous. It's like The Sims does brides and surgery. What a lovely pixelated beach. It's just so weird because you never know how like the votes are gonna swing. Yeah. Because you could be friends with somebody and vote for someone else. Yeah. It's not really anybody I don't like. Oh. Except for one person I know. She was cutting at you then. <laughs> it definitely hurt me that Ashley left the house. I think if Alexandra would have left the house, everything would have been great. I don't know if I'm wrong, but I feel that people don't you know each other. Before. You've met for like an hour. Said. I'm still like reformulating my strategy. Dominique, Melissa, and I kind of hit what? it off. Puzzles. Actually, I might have a chance here to form an alliance with them. One by one, everyone. An alliance with puzzles? Oh my god! I don't god. understand. This is what can this challenge be? Well, now we have no deposit. We've lost it twice now. It seems like my luck has taken a turn for the oh, worst. Yes. Addison, I planned yes. my wedding twice. I've had to cancel it twice because both me and my fiance have been let go of work. That, is, that is bad luck. Was, uh, we don't have anything anymore. This was what? This was 2010 though, wasn't it? So if Bridal Plasty was in 2010, do you think that could have potentially been related to the 2008 crash? Potentially people being let go in 2010? So that if that's the case, that's really, really sad actually that both um, but the, the husband and the wife or fiancés both lost their job. That is quite sad. I know that the 2008 crash had a huge effect on so many people, not just corporations and companies folding, but like the people at the core of those companies losing their income. So, you know, my heart does go out for that. That's not, it's not fun. Lost everything. Couldn't get flowers, couldn't get centerpieces. Oh, Allison has been me. complaining <gasps> about everything. I can relate to her in the sense of having like money problems and things like that. Does she need to talk about it a little bit less? Yes. No, we should talk about our money problems to make it normal. What you don't do is just like chew everybody's ear off about it. You do have to have, we do have to have adult conversations about money because we can't have an adult world that revolves around money without talking about money. Hey ladies. Oh gosh. Hey, ladies. Hi. We have some wedding planning to do. Imagine just talking on the balcony. I, all I know is I want something extravagant and fancy. Every what a week, surprise. Imagine if she was like, I actually want something really subdued and little. I just kind of want to get married in my living room in front of my cats. Imagine. Bridal Blasty producers would have been like, absolutely not. I'm going to do some wedding planning. And this week, we are going to talk about... Wedding vows. Oh, who are these I people? Have two special oh. guests. They're both good friends of mine. First, we have Brandy Roderick. And they all look the same. <laughs> is a Playboy Playmate. Oh, that'll be why. And Baywatch Babe. <laughs> and Jessica Gillen. What was that? What was that? Doom. She was a Playboy girl. Like, what was that all about? That was really dramatic, wasn't it? Doom. God, the sound editors, the whole production team, literally, they must just literally have like a reality TV storyline producer just sitting in an editor's room going, add a boom there, yes. Add a boom clap there, yes. Add an echo there, yeah. Boom clap there. And it's like, there's been two seconds of footage. It's just boom, boom, clash, boom, boom, drama. Like, it's just too much, isn't it? Also, I nearly threw my hip out then. Jessica is a celebrity wedding planner. Jessica is a celebrity. She just <laughs> planned Brandy's wedding, but she also helped her write her vows. I'm so excited Aww. that Jessica's here helping us with our vows. I know that she's helped countless celebrities. This is really a... No, you don't even know who this woman is. She's just told you she's works with celebrities, and you've just gone, she's worked with countless celebrities. Name one who's not in the room, hmm? Janessa. Recipe. It's a recipe of you and him and who you are together. 
In the more personal you get, it really, it's exciting for the audience to see. Does anyone audience. have like, totally know what they want to say? I already have oh, an idea of what I want to say. I'm all terrified of what he's going to say. <laughs> like, I'll be so ready to spend the rest of my life with your crazy ass. For all I know. <laughs> my fiance, Hilarious. BJ, is extremely passionate with words. He's going to be like all emo about it, yet funny too. Cheyenne, do you have a, an idea of what you think you might... Sorry, I forgot. 2010, emos were still a thing. What? It's going to be all emo about it that's kind of a bit weird to say of course you're gonna wedding should be an emotional kind of adventure with your significant other they shouldn't just be like i'm having my wedding everybody nobody else pay any attention to anyone but me it's all about me i sort of hate the fact that this show is really kind of hyping up that almost that capitalist ideal that like a marriage is all about you like as a showpiece not as like a meeting of equals to celebrate a love it's very not that at all is it it's it's an event it might as well be a pageant it might as well be a pageant god let's not talk about the swan today yeah i feel like when i write my vows it's going to take me two seconds because i know how i feel about him and it's not something i really have to think she's about. got a degree she's like you're a girl who knows what she wants well i definitely want to write my own i'll actually probably have to write his for me too <laughs> she <laughs> I swear a lot of these girls have had Botox because they've got that. So I haven't had Botox yet. I'm getting it done at the end of the month. But I have this, they all have this like really flat forehead where their eyebrows don't move. I mean, maybe that's what the injectables they had last week were, sis. But they have like this like shiny sparkle, like there's clearly like overhead lighting somewhere that's on all of these foreheads. And it's just like wiggling around their forehead as they move. And I just find it quite funny. Like if we go back and watch Janessa here, this little, look at it, look at it go. It's just like wiggly, 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 ladies, wiggly. Oh, uh, definitely need some help in that department. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to help write LJ's vows also because he has been babied his entire life. So um, I, sometimes I feel like I'm his mom because he definitely likes red to wait the last minute to do everything. Red flags, red flags, or, red, know, flags red flags. This is the woman who's like, I want to marry him so I gave him an ultimatum. But is also like, oh, he needs, you want to wear mummy's wig. Mummy, write your vows, you want mummy's wig. Oh. It's so weird. What is it about like the straight men in this world that are just so incapable of being adults? What is it? Why? No excuse, madam, or sir, should I say. Well, you are wearing mummy's wig. It isn't how you met and, and all the heartfelt things you guys feel for each other. Yeah. Well, yeah. I have one more big surprise for you. Oh. A Fabergé egg? Oh, no. Hello there. This man. This is the <laughs> Take this man to be your husband. Jason of Beverly Hills. Oh. Jason of Beverly Hills. He is the jeweler to the stars. Oh. <laughs> Diamonds. Jason from Beverly Hills walks in, and I'm one of those people that I always want everybody to look at me and envy me. Wait. <laughs> so I want. I don't. Oh, awful. Can you imagine just being one of those people that's like, I want everyone to look at me and be jealous. Like, how vapid do you have to be? Honestly, vile. But, so this man's just called like Jason of Beverly Hills. Isn't Beverly Hills like a place? So is this just like, hi, this is Jason from Beverly Hills. Imagine being like, this is Nathan from London. Like, <laughs> what? Jewelry, diamonds. Effie Ellison, sparkle. Jason everyone is does, like, here sparkle, to present though. each of you with the wedding rings. <laughs> Oh. Wait. And I want what? to remind you guys that the last bride standing will get to keep everything in her bridal closet, including these wedding rings. Jason? Yes. Please. I must also say, this E Entertainment thing that keeps going along the bottom has been like, Lady checks back into rehab, clinical depression, girls. And it's like, what, 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 why? This isn't what, it's, ugh, weird. Entertainment in America is so strange. We're like watching a show that's immediately intense reality TV, whilst an advert is being playing underneath about somebody else going to rehab. Like, it's so weird. It's like if Chat Magazine had a TV show. If I may, here's a collection of diamond wedding bands here. Diamonds! Oh, you're what wearing. is that? Yeah. That's weird. So are we supposed to pick one? Yeah, everyone needs to pick one ring. One ring. Ooh. Oh, savages. Savagery. It's one you'll be wearing forever. You like that one? That's insane. So it's one you'll be wearing forever, but you have like a 
12 seconds to pick it and that's it. Good luck, everybody. Good luck. And they've only brought out a selection of one. So it's like, this was really sponsored, this show. They really sponsored this show, didn't they? They brought out a selection and was like, this is what we get. That's it. Everybody pick one. Do you know, like, if you've ever been anywhere that has, like, a free bottle of drink and everyone comes in and is like, give me the shots, give me the shots, give me the shots. Ah! Like vultures. It's a little bit like that, isn't it? Very interesting. Not a solid foundation for a wedding. Listen to Beverly Hills puts the rings on the table. I grabbed the diamond ring that I wanted and I put it right on my finger and I just kept it so no one else could have it. <laughs> I love that. We feel bombarded. I know a good diamond ring when I see one. How? Bling, bling to the 10th power. Everyone oh. picks a ring that they're going to have and they're going to be putting in their locker and then at the end whoever wins gets yeah, to pick that. I'm just not sure if we're going to have to break up any cat fight. Yeah. Immediately I go for the ring that's got like four rows of diamonds in it. Bam. Look at that. Oh, that sparkles. Jason, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jason from Beverly Hills. Bye, Jason. We will never see you again. Rings. I'm going to tell you about the next challenge. <gasps> oh, what is it? Is it another now puzzle girl? Monopoly. To write your vows. In this oh. challenge, you will write five specific vows, something that your fiance would want to hear. Ultimately, you'll be judged on how well your personal vows match your fiance's. My fiance and I knew we were going to write our own vows right off the bat. However, they're playing snap. <laughs> they're playing snap for their next challenge. And do they match with your fiance's vows? The thing is, all these, like, oh, most fiances in situations like this are just going to be like, what lovely ass. What a lovely ass. And she's going to be like, I saw you have a moment work betwixt the flowers upon summer's eve. And it's just like, oh, it's going to be a right show, isn't it? I can't believe I've just said ass. Oh, what a disgusting word. Oh, stop it. No, say. We actually never discussed what we'd be writing. So oh, dear. You're going home then. Fiance. <gasps> oh, no. I can't Don't believe that. that my fiance is be participating in the challenge. That's a little nerve wracking, considering I know we're going to get critiqued but it's also really exciting. It's almost like he's there. <laughs> oh, that's quite oh, sweet, I suppose. God. I love it. When I found out that the challenge had to do with answers that were gotten from my fiance, I immediately got scared. <laughs> oh he no. Really does not think before he acts. You want to work <laughs> extra hard on this challenge because the top bride, she will win a plastic surgery of her choice off her wish list. <laughs> Why are you all gagging so? You know this is the show! <laughs> okay, right. So, it seems to be that the winner of every challenge gets to eventually, like, have the surgery they want off their wish list, I'm guessing. At least that's what I'm getting so far. So, we could end up with multiple surgeries in this show, or we could end up with one person winning every challenge and getting each surgery. Oh, it's a bit much, isn't it? Oh, God. Have your rings. Don't forget to put them in your bridal closet, and I will see you in the bridal tent in one hour. Imagine using plastic surgery as a winning tool. Be like, if you win this thing, you automatically... Imagine being like, I don't know, you've entered a raffle and you just get plastic surgery out of that raffle. Like, what? The tombola's gone wild, girls. We've got Dr. Dubrow. I think your nose is actually not very good on your face. You've got gout. I'm feeling confident because I can articulate things much better on paper than uh, uh, verbally. Oh, they played you there, sis. Here. Like, I don't know which way he went with this. Yeah. Dude, I'm gonna freaking murder him if I lose this challenge. I'm thinking, where's LJ gonna go with this? Is he gonna go really funny? Is he gonna go serious? So I'm really kind of questioning where I wanna go with things. I wonder if the fiancés were told why they were writing vowels. Do you reckon this show just got in contact with them and was just like, Please write your vows. Or was it like, we've got our challenge and we need to match yours with your wife's vows. So they could go down the route of saying like, oh, maybe she will say this so that I will write to match it so that she can get further in the competition. Or do you think they'll just be like, oh, it's really funny, yeah. Yeah, let's write about piss, yeah. You don't understand though, my fiance is like the most creative and sarcastic person ever. So now I'm like, because now there's like too many no random things, things that you can do. This. Maybe you have to go back to your, the drawing Your board. partner is that hideous me man we met I'm last time. I want to win this challenge. I love to get my breast fixed. I found a breast lump and they had to remove it. You have a scar on your left areola. This left breast is smaller than your right because you've had chunks taken out of it. Yeah. Oh my God. I just want to 
What a way to say that. He didn't say you've had life-saving surgery. He said, you've had chunks taken out of it, girl. You need a f breast lift. Why would you say that? Why would you say that? This woman has gone through quite a lot already and she just wants something to increase her self-esteem. I'm fully, fully, fully invested for surgery for those points. But I can't see her really needing anything else. I mean, I don't know her personally, obviously, so I can't really comment on it, but it just seems obscene. Re this whole situation is, oh, I get really riled up. I don't even know if I can, like, say what I'm really... So many emotions, girls. I have to pee. I have to nervous pee. <laughs> that would be cool to win. If someone gets their surgery, that's what's up. Like, seriously, all of us want plastic surgery. That would be good. Crap. John calls himself the bad luck guy. Okay. Heart drops because now I have to depend on the bad luck guy to prevent myself I mean, from being a while marrying the bad luck guy. Wait, I am screwed. They love the manufacture of drama, don't they? This is a writing challenge where they have to write five vowels, five lines, five lines of text to win plastic surgery. This show is like it's written for children. Do a puzzle, write a story, get a breast lift. Okay, right. Oh, it's Hello, so cold ladies, here. and welcome back to the bridal tent. Sitting next to Brandy is her husband, Glenn Cadrez. He is a two-time Super Bowl champion for the Denver Broncos. <laughs> but more importantly... No idea what that means. Brandy's heart. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> we video chatted with each of your fiancés and asked them what five vows they would most like to hear Ooh, from you. Oh, how very 2020, a video call. We recorded their answers and we'll play them on the screen. Oh, God. So you can okay. get a total of five points. The bride that receives oh, the, the highest score, scheme. well, she okay. will become the top bride and get oh, a plastic surgery procedure. I feel confident. I feel that I am a really well writer, a well speaker, and I feel that I'm really about to rock this challenge. Hopefully I'll... A well writer? What does that mean? You write stories to wells? I'm very confused. Is that a, a well writer? Can you say I am a well writer and a well speaker? Or do you say I am well written and well spoken? I'm a bit confused, Alexandra. I'd quite like you to elucidate further, please. Yeah. Win the plastic surgery, which is the prize. The three brides with the lowest scores will become our bottom brides in oh, no. jeopardy of going home. Get, they go I'm to the guillotine. Well, because I just know what's most important to me. Nice, squishy. <laughs> Our first bride is Lisa Marie. I'm so proud of my vows. These are vows that I care oh for. God. This is going to be good. Wow, key okay, there. My Pooh Bear. You. You're the prince of my dreams. You're the breath that fills my lungs, that gives me life to breathe. You're my light that shines as bright as the kingdom of our Lord, his creation of the sand and sea. We ask that he deliver us from temptation. I promise to always love you and I will honor our relationship. I promise to take care of you and your mom as I did your father before he passed away. I promise to be That's truthful sweet. and loyal to our marriage for the rest of our lives. Oh my God. <laughs> All the dramatics. Oh, Derek. Oh, <laughs> I mean, you are writing you vowels. Let me count the ways. <laughs> Marie, are you going to be like, nice no, feet? Derek, let's pull us through here. I want Lisa Marie to vow to give me a full body massage at least once a week. <laughs> that is not a match. I Man. want Lisa Marie to vow to take as many ski lessons as possible. <laughs> I want Lisa Marie to encourage me to go running and lift weights. <laughs> Derek, where's your head? Like, what is going on? to go on extreme trips. We already do. <laughs> I would like Lisa Marie to make me breakfast in bed. <laughs> He was probably trying to be funny. The thing is, for something like this, like, you can tell that it's really... Although this show is, like, a little bit nuts, you can tell it's really important to each of these brides. And that husband to just say something like, I want you to do this. Make me breakfast. So I have a very, like, strong opinion of, like, really, like, average straight men who marry into this sort of situation. They're very, like, everything is a joke. They're the kind of people that make, like, a bomb joke at an airport. Like, it's not funny. It's not cool. Take something seriously for once in your life. Do you know what I mean? I get so frustrated with those people. Oh, okay, let's continue. The next lucky bride is Cheyenne. 
the top bride gets to pick plastic surgery off of her wish list. Like, I totally look at Cheyenne, and I see her, and I'm just like, why are you here? You look like those girls in the magazines. Like, come on. <laughs> OK. I promise to be faithful and honest. I will stand by your side through thick and thin, and this includes attending all those grueling wrestling matches to watch you coach. I promise to scratch your back at night before you sleep. I promise to help out more around the house. And last, I promise to be a good wife and a good mother. You're my best friend, and I love you. I will forever. Okay, that's quite well, sweet. Well, heck, I want to marry you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's look at your matches. Wouldn't that be the twist of the century? It's not bridal plasty, it's lesbian plasty. What does that even mean? What does that even mean? I want Cheyenne to bounce me to continue to understand and support me during wrestling season. <laughs> that is a ding, match. Ding, ding, ladies. I want Cheyenne to always remember to put her clothes in the laundry basket. Yeah. Help her on the house. continue to love my family as much as she does right now. Uh, and no. she'll be just as good as a mother. What was that noise? Uh, that was like stocksound101.com, please. Uh, awful noise. To our kids. As she is to our dog, Mackenzie. Okay, three points. <laughs> that she will always love me as much as she does right now. Cheyenne, you have a total of four points. Well, that's, that's pretty high. So far. You're welcome. Four points. Come on, Cheyenne. I wonder what's on so, her list. I'm immediately, I'm immediately worried. Allison. I'm worried. I'm extremely nervous about my vows, but oh, we on, have Allison. both been laid off. So us being around each other all the time, we know each other so well at this point. So I'm still They're holding real, on to really every really building up this storyline. I like to refer to you as the bad luck guy sometimes, but I think that maybe that might hurt you. So I promise to not rub our bad luck in your face. And I promise to accept your chosen status as an avid Cubs fan. Even though I am a diehard Sox fan, I promise to accept your choice of music. I also promise to accept your horrible fashion sense. Okay, Allison, well, let's look at your match. Surely before you're going to get married, you have to accept all of those things, no? Like, why do you like him then? Why are you with him if you don't like his sense of fashion, you don't like his music, you don't like his sports? Like, what do you like about this man? I'm just praying that John's answers match mine. Oh, I also know about for me to stop being stubborn when I do things wrong. <laughs> well, I also know to stay positive even during bad times. Well, I also know to shop a little quicker at the store. <laughs> so let me win an argument every now and then. Allison, let's look at your final vow. Okay, he has to mention something about the Cubs and the White Sox. I want Allison to massage my feet. Oh, uh, awful. In your wedding vow. Allison, that gives you a total of one point. Our bachelor and bachelorette parties was based on the Cubs socks. And to hear feet, maybe we're just not in touch with each other as I really thought. Maybe. Alexandra. Maybe. I promise. Don't get lots of plastic surgery for your fiancé because you should only ever do something like this for yourself and not in a competition setting. To allow you to be a Giants fan. It's Giants Sunday in our household. <laughs> Oh, they're really skipping through it. And to make me always want to come home to her. Yes! <laughs> I want Maddie to vow to me that she will always make me chocolate chip cookies. Yay! <laughs> I want Jake to vow to be nicer to me. I want Dominique to vow to me to not freak out if I lose a lot of money at the casino. <laughs> I also promise to maintain our house. I want Janessa to learn how to use the vacuum cleaner. So you have a total of three points. <laughs> Cheyenne is still in the lead. <laughs> Looks like Cheyenne's I getting a surgery. I am ready to just kick some bride butt and win this whole thing. Okay, next bride up. <gasps> My vows did not sound anything like these girls. <laughs> match, match, match. These girls are just nailing these. Allison, are you okay, sweetie? Alison, are you okay, sweetie? Mummy wants you to wear her wig! How dramatic and unnecessary was that? Clearly this woman has just had a sudden realisation. She needs co coaching, really. This, these two people need couples therapy. They've been through a lot. Losing a job and then losing another job in a household of bread, former breadwinners. You know, you kind of do need to, like, reshuffle your everything about yourself and maybe go to therapy. But I'm, uh, I'm a huge, avid, like, fan of therapy. I think everyone should have to do therapy at some point in their life for something. Because it helps. It really does. Oh, poor Alison. Take a deep breath. She is so annoying right now. <gasps> this whole like, oh well, oh yeah. Like Alison does nothing for this. 
You did nothing last week. All you do is talk about your proposal on The Biggest Loser. So you don't really have any right to say somebody else is annoying. Just what? Mind yourself before you interact with others. God, I think that, to be honest, that would kill all reality TV, wouldn't it? This house, except for bring people down. Okay, Jessica, God. please read your vows. I promise to always give you the scratch tickle that you love. <laughs> and you I've can count really on me to put the cap back on the toothpaste so that it doesn't get the crusty stuff you hate. Uh -uh. And last but not least, I promise to always be your bowling partner forever and ever. Okay. Now we're going to see how well you matched with your fiancé, Brandon. I'm so excited because my fiancé and I always play the newlywed game, and we're so good at it, and we always win. This is going to be a breeze. I want Jessica to vow to me that she'll always give me the remote control whenever we're watching TV together. <laughs> okay, the next one. I Who want her to one? vow to me. I want me. Jessica to never make me sell my Firebird. Uh, of course I wouldn't make him sell his car. <laughs> I want Jessica to never throw away my blankie. You have one more chance. I can't believe the things that he's saying right now. I want Jessica to vow to me that I'm the greatest hockey player alive. Uh, I'm sorry, Jessica, but you did not get any point what is with these men my god aren't they just i didn't hear at one point in any of these things an amount of love did you so far i don't think i've heard love anywhere in this i just hear i want i want i want and it's just so like why are you all doing like you've all just these men have found you and they've just kind of like ensnared you and they're just hoping that you're just gonna mother them forever god, it's awful absolutely not you should only ever in your life marry an equal who can provide for you the same amount of effort in anything in your life that you can for them. Marriage is a cup that you both put things into and then you can take out when you need to. You don't just put things in and have somebody else snatch everything out. That's horrendous. Right now, Cheyenne is in the lead with four points and the girls with the lowest scores are Allison, Lisa Marie, and Cheyenne's Jessica. getting her third Next drink. Is Kristen. Oh, maybe not yet. She'll probably do well in this challenge. Oh, let's see. Come on, Kristen, are you going to knock... To have What's her name, breath. Cheyenne? I also promise to live with your OCD craziness <gasps> by keeping the toilet paper upright, by keeping the shower curtain closed, OCD oh, craziness. and to eat with my mouth shut, because I know that annoys you too. Lastly, I promise to make love to you at least six days a week. <laughs> That's the truth, okay? I just don't think you should talk about sex in your wedding vows. It's not classy. You keep that... Yeah, uh, Janessa, 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 you don't get to talk about class. Now to six days a week, you are a wonder freaking woman, girl. Okay, <laughs> you don't know his drive. <laughs> well, let's see how you do on oh, the matches. How, it's a bit awkward though, isn't it? I got four points. And oh, every, I'm, everyone on this show has a bump it in. At this point, I don't know if Kristen's gonna get a higher score. I do not have this in the bag yet. I want Kristen to vow to always have sexual <gasps> intercourse with me whenever I want it. <gasps> Imagine saying that in a vow. Imagine. Kristen, you do know your man. Imagine. Imagine. I want Kristen to vow to always help keep the house clean. I want and Kristen to vow do? to me to not fart and burp so much. First of all, natural occurrence. Yeah. If I hold it in, I could explode. What a ridiculous thing to I'm say. I'm so nervous. It kills me. I really want to win this challenge so much. More than anyone. At this point, I'm really hoping that Kristen is that. I Gosh, really they're really want building this. Done. Oh, your nose! You are our. She's gonna get her nose done. Okay. Well, Kristen, you have three points so far. To be top bride, you must beat Cheyenne's score of four. Okay. So the next two vows must be matches. I just need two more to be the top bride. Please, God, please. I don't. I don't think your God would be very happy to be summoned in for helping this situation for you to get score points in a blasphemous wedding vow ceremony in a competition for plastic surgery on a reality TV show. I don't think. And to try to look more at the positive of a situation rather than the negative. I knew it. You <laughs> well, I'm not gonna beat Cheyenne, but I could still tie if the next vow is a match. I want Kristen to vow to me to retire? always make me smile and laugh when I come home stressed out from work and school. It's very oh. sweet, but that's not a match. So Cheyenne, that means with a total of four points, you're you getting your nose done. Top bride. <laughs> Yay! I'm okay. so excited I won the challenge because I've been wanting to get my nose done forever. How awful is this? I always wanted. I'm so excited. One person gets what they want and the rest just have to seethe about that. How obscene. Excited. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I mean, that could have been me. 
that could have been my wish list that I was choosing from. But it and wasn't being so this. close, it's a mind screw. It really messes with you. Yeah, of course now it I does. have to announce Absolutely. our three bottom TV. brides. Jessica also with zero points, and Allison with one point. You three are the bottom brides. So you are all at risk. Off of to the channel. guillotine, girls! Ladies, you all have a very tough decision to make. Over the next day, you have to decide which one of the bottom brides you want to stay in the house. I'm in the bottom three. Which one of them? I don't know what to do. I don't know who's so gonna So two are gonna, it's double elimination, girls. And all I can do is just turn to prayer. I will be giving each of you an RSVP card. When you make your decision, you will write down the bride's name that you want to keep in the house on the RSVP card. Why didn't they do and this for the first one? Box prior to the RSVP ceremony. Why, why, it? why the first one? Did they make that so like, in your face, Ashley, you get to go home because nobody likes you. Why was it very that? As, this is so weird. This is my, so this is like ballot voting. Absolutely, this should be the only thing. Oh God, oh, oh. Who's gonna start calling people out? Who's gonna start playing mind games with each other? Exactly. Cheyenne, because you are the top bride, you will not be submitting an RSVP card. And you will be leaving for your plastic surgery immediately. Oh my God. Oh, off you go, girl, awesome. bye. No preparation. You are safe. This week from leaving the house and next week as well. Get going. You need to go pack your bags. I have to go right now and get my nose done. And I'm just like, oh my God, like I'm so scared. What? What? So she just immediately leaves. Like there's no pre-check-in. There's no 12 hour don't eat anything before going under anesthetic. There's no like stay overnight in the hospital. We'll do it in the morning. None of that. It's just off you go, girl. Off to get your nose done. As if it's some like thing you do in your lunch hour. Like what? Weird. One of you will be going home tomorrow night. Good luck to all of you. Oh, one of you? Okay, they changed that. No? Maybe I misunderstood. So frustrating, but um, I, I was lucky and I just, um, I had another one now on the other side that they had to extract. I said to the doctor, you know, I am not oh. working with much left here, so <laughs> if you're going to start taking more out, you need to put something in. <laughs> Unfortunately, they don't do that. It really warms my heart to see like people who survived any type of cancer period. I just don't feel like it would be fair for them to send me home because I don't think they understand the severity of how deformed I feel. Yeah, I'm I'm really sorry, but that girl does not need a plastic surgery reality TV show for bridal plastic. That she doesn't need that. What she needs is reconstructive surgery by a reconstructive surgeon because she has had an ongoing health condition and she needs therapy to also deal with the fact that she's had an ongoing health condition. What if later down the line, because of this botched thing she's doing here, she experiences complications from a reality TV show without undertaking the necessary therapy to go along with it? That is. I don't know how the producers looked at this situation and thought she's passed the psychoanalysis to get in the show. Let's be dirty goblins and dangle reconstructive surgery in front of her little face. Oh, what a shame. Excellent storyline. Absolutely disgusting behavior. If anybody deserves the, like, the triple whammy, like you have it. Like you have the financial situation, the body situation, the, the, the wedding situation. And for I'm me, it's like- drinking. <sighs> all have problems but some of us it's a little bit more severe allison constantly being beaten down by bad luck like one after another after another my bill for having my son was like one hundred and seventy-five thousand dollars. <gasps> oh my god I can't believe you pay for healthcare in America. I cannot believe you can pay $175,000 to have a child. That is insane. Insane. It's an emergency C-section. When it comes down to it, I think For an emergency I will be sur surgery as well. If you don't pay for it, you'll die. Ludicrous. I feel for you. It just goes to prove yeah. that you don't know anybody until you know what they've been through, until you've walked a mile in their shoes. I'm not the only one out there. there. I don't want you to go home. I don't think you deserve to go home. Shocking. Shocking. Shocking, girls. Cheyenne. Hi, Dr. Debra. How are you? Good, how are you? Satan. Are you nervous? Yes. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Just kidding. Funny, funny. Just kidding. You know, your face is so fantastic and you're really so pretty. This is sort of one thing that's detracting a little bit. So you've got this scar that goes from here to here. That is from when I was attacked by a dog. In addition, your nose is... Sorry, you were attacked by a dog? 
How did you just gloss over that? That was for when I was attacked by a dog. So this makes it a reconstructive surgery, right? This doesn't make it an actual, a traditional nose job or rhinoplasty rather, should I say. This is a little bit more specialist, right? Because you're working with scar tissue. Um... Crooked, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I've never liked my nose. I have a scar on my nose that I hate, and I want it off. Come the wedding day, it just would make it that much oh, better, that and I'd be a whole new me intense. on top of the fact that I haven't seen him in four months. So we're going to go in there and, and have it match the rest of the beauty of your face, right? <laughs> Knuckles. <laughs> okay, his bedside manner was so much better there. I do wonder if sometimes he's a victim of the edit, just like with every reality TV show, they can edit in really shocking sentences to make me and everybody else kind of react to the way I have by going, I can't believe he would say that to someone. But like the, the fact that he said there, in essence, paraphrasing, he said, I want to make your nose a little bit more harmonious with the rest of your beauty on your face. That to me, if a surgeon said that to me and I was in a consultation, I wouldn't feel offended at that sentence. What I would feel offended by is if he looked at something and went, Ugh. do you know what I mean? Like, I, I don't know. I just, I get very conflicted feelings with Dr. Dubrow, especially from these earlier shows that he was on. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Here comes that reward. Okay. So. That reward? What do you mean? What drugs? Oh, God. Oh, my God. Oh, dear. Dear. <laughs> I feel a bit un I feel a bit uncomfortable seeing someone's like I don't know like pre-surgery stuff being like done to them and then like them having their reaction filmed going a bit like Wee! for the cameras of a reality TV show I feel very conflicted about that I do not like that at all so maybe actually I don't feel conflicted at all I don't like it yeah, we, yes that's what we say <laughs> oh gosh okay if I didn't get one single vote, I would be devastated. It's elimination day, and there's three bottom brides. It's between Allison, Lisa Marie, and Jessica, and one of those three are going home. So we are gonna vote for who we would most like to stay in the house. So say you were in the bottom two. Do you think Allison would vote for you? Because I can tell you Lisa Marie would probably vote Voting for you. Voting drama Definitely. goes. She would vote for all of us. At the end of the day, like, who are we here for? How many days has it been? Your point. Exactly. I think Lisa Marie should they stay get one challenge and then a loyal holiday. person. Oh, she definitely Jessica. is less competition than Jessica or Allison. And if I stood up for her, she would do the same for me. Like, I can tell you, oh, like, if you were up against, like, villain. somebody on this side of the house, I would vote for you. Like, exactly. I would. Likewise. Villain, 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 villain. Definitely the objective is to stay in the game as long as possible. So yes, you're going to get that with votes. If you fail to plan, you plan to fail. Coming up. She's a businesswoman ah! on the go. <laughs> oh, oh, here we go. <gasps> Her nose is really crooked. That's why she's here. Cheyenne has a really twisted septum, and there's actually a, quite a bit of scar tissue. Because of this scar I tissue absolutely here, absolutely cannot be really this. Oh my god! Not to oh my god! Anything. We're going to take oh, a piece of no! her septum that was once warped, and now we are putting it in our little straightener smasher device, which weakens it up. I can't believe they put this on, this on TV. I can't believe they put this on TV. I'm placing <gasps> the cartilage in place between the lower portion of her tip cartilages to make it symmetrical. Well, that looks good. If she doesn't love this, I'd be very surprised. I forget what surgery actually looks like. That was very graphic to be shown on television. I'm really surprised about that. I do, however, commend the way that he just professionally explained what was happening and didn't go all weird like he did on this one where he was like, I love it! Yeah! Like, I did like the fact that he kept it professional, but my goodness. Oh! And I'm actually very good with bloods and innards and things like that. Bleh. And you're all done. You did wonderful, okay? You're going to recovery room. I wish my mom was here. It oh. went great, I can tell you that. We're going to keep ice on you to it minimize it. Oh. You know how you know it looks good? I'd still be in there if it didn't. Okay. Honestly, it looked really good. I was pleased with what I did. Thank you so much. You're welcome. 
Okay, okay. He did seem... Bedside manner was quite good there. The very fact that she couldn't have her mum there, though, is quite sad because when you do go in for massive surgeries, you do want the support of your friends and family around you. Not reality competition people that are against you. They'll also love you but hate you because you got something that they didn't get. Now, that is such a negative environment to try and heal in unacceptable also what is this someone has gone to jail for her role in the burglary at orlando bloom's house why are you telling me this just a lot i'm the quietest one in the house <laughs> janessa and i were talking and she's like me dominique and melissa really want you to stay and i was just really surprised janessa because I, I wouldn't believe like in my mind like i always thought like you know, like me Lisa Marie isn't that strong of a competitor, so I feel if we can keep her, then eliminate her when it's strategically best. That's my plan. Other I'm issues so happy. are going I on. I guess my story touched them, but you never know. At the last moment, they could change their minds. What was that noise? Change. Like a that. buffalo was She's near. Very pessimistic right now and down on life. I think some of the girls are really disappointed in Allison's Go negativity, on. which kind of bums me out because I think if Allison actually stayed here, it would really help her. Like when I was 300 something pounds, I was just like, oh my gosh, this sucks. I did something about it. I want her to do something about it. I want her to fight harder. <laughs> I do not agree. Don't agree with that there. I do agree with the yeah, sentiment, but I don't agree with your delivery. Didn't want to be around me. Like, I immediately sensed that, and I'm like, I'm not going to lie. I, I can't. After this morning when I was like, I really? I don't know if I could take another moment of, like, <sighs> Allison's complaining all the time makes me just want to talk to her and tell her how I'm feeling. That way I don't get pushed to being annoyed. I want to know more about you, not just all these negative things. Because mm -hmm. if you're going to be down, I'm going to not put myself like in that situation with yeah, you. I'd be like, immediately, I'm so sorry for that. Don't be no, sorry. I, I understand that you're going to What an awkward moment to be televised. The, like, the... What an absolutely awkward moment to be televised. Nobody should be pri privy to that like situation of you having to address something like that to someone. That is a private moment between two people. I feel so uncomfortable. Ugh. But don't be like the downwards, like poor me, because everybody in the house is going to feel like, well, we all are like exactly poor me. I didn't well, I just keep seeing the to negative. Be, to be honest, though, Madam Hair Plasty Woman, she has lost her job. She's lost her husband, lost her or fiance, lost his job. She's just found out that her and her fiance are not on the same page in terms of vows, and she also hasn't won anything. And she's also going to be eliminated. So why don't you give her a little bit of cut the slack there? Give her a little bit of slack, girls. Don't like it. Don't. Oh, I don't like reality TV. It spurs all these emotions. It needs needs to turn around and it needs to stop because yeah there is a very good chance that I'm going home that just kills I want to be in that room do you think you could show me your breast scars I'm definitely considering changing my vote because it's the right thing to do Melissa better not change her vote that was not part of the plan Oh, coming up. God, stop all that. That was dramatic. I'm like, if we do this and we stick together, we're going to really make this work. We are. No, we are. Because if it comes to where, like, we're in the last five, like, I don't care which one of us wins, as long as it's one of us. Ooh, Forming the alliance scandal. just made sense because the objective is to stay in the game as long as possible. Well, that's why I think we need to make sure it's Definitely, yes. You appeal to a basic human emotion of selfishness. I can help you get what you want, you help me get what I want, and in the end, we're all gonna win. Okay. <laughs> what a villain! What a villain! Hi, wow. Cheyenne. I'm Christine. I'm gonna be the oh. nurse taking care of you today, okay? Oh, she's got a nurse. Okay. 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 Yes! Oh, oh my god. god! She looks like a little cat. Seeing her come back, it just makes it so real that this could actually happen. I am fiercely determined to win. <laughs> I'm so happy for you. Oh my god. She's already gorgeous. And, you know, I'm sure do, doing the no shot is really going to make her feel good about herself. And I just hope that one day I can, I can do the this same. This is awful. <laughs> Imagine, imagine being, yeah, literally imagine, imagine like someone just walking in who's had something that you could have had and is just making you feel terrible in comparison. Oh, I don't like this at all. Be Cheyenne because you feel really happy for her, but at the same time, I feel like, God, I was so close to that. 
and that surgery that should not room. be like that. I want to be recovered. Oh, they've got a recovery room. Are you feeling okay? Oh, my God. I'm really happy. I'm a I'm okay. Just what happens with anesthesia. Yeah. Listen, yeah. I wish I could vote. I know they were trying to say it as, like, a happy thing. Like, oh, you don't have to. But I want to. I don't want Jessica to vote. Really? I don't. Cheyenne shares with me that she wants Jessica to stay. I want to give Cheyenne her wish. <gasps> but at this point, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. <sighs> Oh, divas. Do you show your fiance, Deviances. Like, your scars and stuff? Or do you like let him touch your breasts? Well, what an awkward question. Do you think you could show me your breasts, scars? Oh my God. I could maybe show you a little. I think it's important for you to see it. And maybe important for you to see it in order oh, to know she's like, going. what you're gonna do. Oh no, God. If this is like the little edge that she needs to push her over the edge as far as who's named right down that card. And I don't have enough like strength to show her that then. You shouldn't feel compelled to do this. Right there. Knowing that it hurts her so much is heartbreaking. I'm sorry for after going through that with Jessica, it definitely makes this decision a lot harder. And the only other pair they had was like an off, like an, a wrap. What is going on? Why? Why? I'm definitely considering changing my vote because it's the right thing to do. I know like what I'm supposed to do, like how well, you know, I, I, like she showed me. <laughs> Melissa's a little naive. Like, she's not the best strategizer. She needs to suck it up a little. This is an awful... What is this show? And, like, I see, like, when she talks about it. Oh, my gosh. No, you can't switch your vote. <laughs> Melissa better not change her vote. That was not part of the plan. Oh, God, it's not always about the vote. That was it, Janessa. Ladies! <gasps> is it time to vote? Oh, she's wearing mommy's well, wig. ladies... Unfortunately, it is time for you to cast your RSVP vote. The bottom brides, if you could please oh, come with me. They lovely That'd dresses. Jessica, Lisa Marie, and Allison. Being in the bottom three sucks, but I have a relationship with these girls now. I'm encouraging them to vote with their heart, not their head. These are our things. Oh, we don't have like this. Oh my God. So most votes gets to stay. What a lovely box. I'm struggling with being that competitive Boxy person plastic. and wanting to stay in the house the longest and doing what's morally right. I think this choice is really Nothing hard. about this is I moral. I really don't want to choose, <gasps> but when it comes down to it, we have to choose. Did she write something there that was like, no? Now I'm in the bottom three okay. with Lisa oh, and Jessica. What hedge did you I fall in? I was approached by a, a couple different girls oh, dear. that weren't feeling me anymore. They kind of felt I was Debbie Downer. One of us are going home tonight. I just hope it's not me. This is hard to be in this position. And I'm just hoping that all these Ooh, girls is have it a dinner? Are they doing a dinner? Oh, how strange. Hello, ladies, oh. and welcome to your first Bridal Plasty RSVP ceremony. I gave Cheyenne each of you an wheelchair. RSVP oh, card. I asked you to write the name of the bride you would most like to see stay in the house. One by one, I will call you forward. This is a lot more glamorous than that hands up, hands down situation they did last week, isn't it? They've set up a whole tent, there's a dinner, there's dresses and gowns and there's boxes. It's, it's all happening at the wedding ceremony, isn't it? and you will take a seat at the bride's table that you would most like to see stay. Cheyenne, Wait, what? sit tight because you won't have to vote tonight unless it comes down to a tie. The time has come to review. Oh, they changed the rules there a little bit, didn't they? So what was the point of them writing down on that bit of paper if they're just gonna go and sit at the table of the bride they want to stay? That is rude. Why? Why? How? I wonder why they changed that at the last minute. Feel your RSVPs and see which bride will be going home. Ladies, let's get down to business. Nettie, please come forward and reveal which bottom bride you Nettie. have RSVP'd for. Come on, Nettie. Lisa Marie, I see so much potential. I'm just not sure that you do. Allison, I feel like you let negativity oh, get in the way of what could be a happy situation. And Jess. What? What could be a happy situation? What's happy about losing your job? Nettie, more like fisherman Nettie. So much, but at the 
the same time, your fierce competition. But I have to be honest, I love a challenge. I am so proud of her. Way to go, girl, because that's what we're here for. What does that mean? Janessa? She only a challenge because decision. she's skinny and white. I think all Very of you confused. can really take a positive away from this experience. Lisa Marie, we have a really special connection, and I'm always going to be a cheerleader for you. <gasps> I know that Lisa Marie is going to be loyal, so I just had to remind myself to think with my head, not with my heart. Oh, I really don't know if my chances of staying in this house are over yet or not. I first two girls. You can avoid all this madness I have and no be one safe at my from table. it. Alexandra. Jessica, I adore you. You're truly optimistic. You're beautiful inside and out. But the person I chose tonight, I feel deserves a second chance. And I believe that this person will go far if they just believe in themselves. So that's why, Allison, I'll be attending oh, your oh. wedding. I'll be attending your wedding? What? Melissa. Please step forward. Is that part of the game? I'm very confused on the rules so of this game. I think she understands the severity of how it affects me. I feel like Melissa is very black and white. She's going to sit next to me. Jessica, it is definitely hard. The moment I shared with her makes me want to help her so badly. I just don't want to regret this decision. I know that we what? shared a moment. You really brighten up every day here with your uniqueness. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I Nerve it. and talent. <laughs> as much as I love you and I want you to be here, you are definitely my biggest competitor. <gasps> I'm sorry. Oh! Scandal goals. It's a scandal goals. How does that. Wait. You are my biggest competitor, so I'm going to go and sit over here. So Lisa Marie must be like, no. I really Music. don't think that my chances are very good. I, I Jessica's death ritual. pretty well liked in the house, and I'm now known as Debbie Downer, so why would they keep me around? Dominique, can you please step forward and reveal who you'd like to stay? You three have made this more difficult than I ever imagined. So the person I chose How is this was the wonderful. person that I felt that I truly connected with okay. the most. Lisa Marie. Oh. Ooh. I think Alice is going, isn't she? Holy cow. What? <laughs> it's amazing. I feel like my table should be full and there should be people standing behind me. Lisa Marie, with three brides at your table, you are safe from being sent home. I'm really happy that Janessa, Melissa, and Dominique went with their word. Oh. I feel terrible because here's Jessica and here's Allison, and both of them are in jeopardy of leaving. <gasps> so Cheyenne gets to decide, right? right? No? I'm happy to see all these girls following me like little puppy you dogs. Serpent. Jessica, Allison, serpent. you each have one bride at your table. Jamie, <gasps> please step forward and oh. reveal who no, you'd like to RSVP brides. for. This decision was really hard, you guys. Allison. You can be negative, and I feel you should maybe look on the brighter side. Jessica, I feel not only that I've gotten to know you, but I also feel as though maybe you're like my long-lost sister. So please forgive me when I, when I make my choice. Oh, oh, scandal. Jamie She's gone to Allison. So oh, much how annoyed she was with Allison. Scandal. <gasps> the drama goes. I'm a pretty bad judge character. Lisa Marie, you have three brides at your table. Allison, you have two brides at your table. And Jessica, you have one bride at your table. Oh, she can I want count. Jessica Lovely. to stay in the house because there's a lot of selfish people in this world, and Jessica is not one of them. She's got makeup on me, whilst that's also having all this on I her face. By my side in the house. Kristen. God, they're really pushing these girls to the limit, to aren't they? RSVP. If you RSVP for anyone besides Jessica, oh, Jessica Kristen gets will to be decide. Going. If oh, you dear. pick Jessica, there will be a tie, and then Cheyenne will have to <gasps> RSVP to break it. I'm really, really hoping Kristen's next to me and causes a tie. Cheyenne will have to pick, and then I'll be okay. It comes down to me. Of course it would come down to me. It feels horrible to have to tell somebody that I'm sorry, but I'm not voting for you. This is crazy. Allison, no matter what decision I make tonight, you have to promise me, and you have to promise this house and the two girls that sat next to you that you are gonna become positive. Oh my I God. promise the negativity is gone. Wow. Is this an intervention I for Allison? I really do. I think your personality is so beautiful, and you're probably tired of hearing that. So. Oh. 
This was so hard, but this is a game and someone's gonna go home whether we like it or not. These decisions are never gonna be easy. Well, Jessica, unfortunately, your time here at Bridal Plasty and your quest to be the perfect bride is over. Where's this music? Mafia death. Oh my God. Your oh, wedding will go on. Is. It just may not be perfect. Your what? What a horrible thing to say to someone. It was that close to being me. That close. And I really have to get on my game and get a positive outlook and a positive face to go along with it. They just looked at me as a threat. If they voted with their heart, I'd still she just has to, like, go. I still Bye. have to go home and marry the man of my dreams. I may not look perfect, but if you get to marry the person that you're meant to spend the rest of your life with, it's going to be perfect. Yes. Congratulations. A union. You have made it one step closer to becoming the perfect bride and having the wedding of your dreams. I will see you all tomorrow. Well, Jessica, you have been saved from this absolute madness. I'm really shocked about that. I'm going to push my laptop away from me there and... Oh, I don't even know. Well, my lovelies, I'm going to take my ohenga out there and just ask you, what the absolute fuck was that? What was that? Jessica, you have been saved from this absolute bonkers show, creating all sorts of problems for yourself. Oh my goodness, you have been saved. Another contestant has been saved from this absolute madness. Oh, I don't even know. I'm 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 kind of looking forward secretly to episode three. Are you guys looking forward to me doing episode three? It shouldn't be too far away, my loves. I'm quite gobsmacked about what we've seen today, actually. Let me know what you guys think in the comments box below, because Bridal Plasty is getting more loopy with every episode. I can't believe how, like, villainous Janessa is being and this like overarching storyline of like get everyone out I need to win we're all gonna win with our little party because it's all just insane the levels of emotions and like emotional damage that could come from this show is incredible the idea that the person who's just had surgery comes back into the house and everyone gets to see them and be like oh that could have been me is so damaging to the psyche I can't believe how this passed any ethical boards then of course there's episode three one absolute 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 vile of a human being. Oh. <laughs> So I went out on Wednesday. For context, it is now Friday and I'm still paying the fun tax from having a lovely evening out. Honestly, being the other side of 30 is not it, sis. It's absolutely not it. So in essence, mummy's got a hangover. Today, my loves, today we are going to be watching Bridal Plasty episode three. And I cannot wait because this show has been so eclectically bizarre. It's like a collection of like children's TV on acid and also like the worst tropes of reality TV you can imagine but also includes plastic surgery. So, you know, the stakes are high and the bouquets are even higher. <laughs> no, that doesn't make any sense. I just also want to say, I have noticed an upswing of people asking me what my lip products are that I'm wearing in my videos at the moment. So this one for context is, I like to chai chai lip whip by Beauty Bakery with just a medium soft brown nude lip liner on the outer corners for that little ombre effect. <gasps> Very wedding, I think. <laughs> also, I want to say a massive hello to my brand new subscribers. I see you all. I see you all in the comments saying I've just found your Chanel and I can't can't stop binging it. Thank you so much for the love, my loves. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And if you're wondering when another episode of The Swan is, keep your eyes peeled next week, my love. And with that, I actually have to put on my ohenga. Oh, oh, you saw a spy. What could it be? What could it be? If you guys follow me over on Twitch, you'll know these headphones already because I, my AirPods aren't charged. Great. Love it. Everything in my life needs a USB port and there aren't enough USB ports to go around. Today, we are putting on these ohenga, my lovelies. These ones. Everyone's going to ask what they are. These are the Razer Cracker kitty pink headphones and they have like LEDs here so they like blink when things happen on stream. It's very good and very exciting. With that said my lovelies, let's watch Bridal Plasty episode 3. Cheyenne, you are our top bride. Oh to yes, right Cheyenne, now. yes yeah. of course. Done. Her nose is really no prep, perfect. just... <gasps> She's here. I forgot that that happened, yes. Little kitty cosplay. Oh, this one is so pixelated. I was so close. I want to be in that room. I want to be recovering. Miss Marie, Jessica, Allison are the bottom. Recovering. Bride. Allison, are you okay, sweetie? <gasps> My vows did not sound anything like these girls. No. We are. No, we are. Forming the alliance just made sense because the objective is to stay in the game as long as possible. Jessica was saved, saved from this absolute buffoonery, tomfoolery, abscondishoonery, a blubbly ace. Absolutely. This intro is insane. Absolutely insane. Stunning. What a hateful wig. <laughs> She's got a bump it in as well. 
everyone gets a bump it. Pixelated fountain. Oh, a buttock. <gasps> Look at that. Look at that door. Look at that door. When you, like, have a life-changing experience from beyond the grave. That's the door you see. That, that one right there. Do you see it? Ill, ill, cult. <gasps> oh. Oh, they're playing this up a bit, aren't they? Oh, hello. I've come to give you your brow lift. <laughs> yeah, it does hurt, huh? Oh, of course it hurts. It's so bad. Poor thing. It's just like someone like hit me in the face with a hammer. They did. Exactly. See, Truth that's the hammer. You have your wedding. The little peak. <gasps> I must say, if you've ever had surgery, the surgical tape being like taken off is the worst part of it all because you're like, really tender and puffy and ill. And then like just this, fe this feeling of like, <sighs> it's awful. It's so bad. It's so bad, my loves. You look really good. I mean, you know, everything's fine. We'll oh, that's good. Splint off, probably three or four days. <gasps> I'm like Amazing. so confident that I'm gonna love my nose. How? Wait. Oh, never mind. I was gonna say, how can he like see what her nose is up to by only like taking away the very bottom piece? But maybe he can. That's the whole point of a plastic surgeon. They know what's going on. Well, one would hope. To have this off and just see what it looks like. Oh, it's gonna. Oh, be she's good. very bruised. <laughs> <laughs> Ready? Um, let's go, girl. Um, uh, Exercise time, something healthy. At the last elimination. I heard a few things from a few girls that were negative things about me. So at this point, enough is enough. They're going to do There's a little workout. No more negativity coming from me. Okay, Allison. And go one. Oh. Do you feel it in your stomach? Yeah, I do. Oh. We got bridal boot camp going on here. Bridal thrustery. Two heaviest girls in the house. I just want to help her out. And obviously, in this game, making friends is crucial. Three, two, one. I mean, is she wrong? Is she wrong? I feel like, I feel like doing a home workout in this sort of like scenario is the healthiest thing we've seen so far in terms of like the fact that it's not totally over the top. Do you know what I mean? Like doing a little workout at home. Everyone should be really doing workout at home. So I mean, I should probably take my own advice for that, shouldn't I? Mm. What is oh this like gosh. bumbling music? I walk downstairs. Bumbling, bumbly. Huge, shiny, silvery box. Oh, very Ladies. arts and craft. The haberdasher is oh quaking. God, a present. Oh a present. Fabergé egg. <laughs> no. Oh look. Oh. Is this dress Say yes to the gout. Up for your wedding day? If not, you'll have plenty to choose from when I see you this afternoon at the most exclusive wedding dress store in Beverly Hills. <laughs> Wow. I was gonna try on the dress. I don't know. I am either. That's why I'm not. I wanted to cry all over that wedding dress. Oh well, There's don't no do that. I would Mascara. Ever be able to afford something like that. My parents spent all of their money <gasps> oh, on my yes. sister's dream wedding. Oh yes. I'm very I hurt. About this over it. Very hurt. My experience in trying on wedding dresses, first of all, suck. Oh. <laughs> bat wings. I got the bat wings. Like they keep waving. You wave it once, it waves 10 times after that. Oh my God! In my life, so I made the decision a couple of years ago that I never want to get married in my life. Um, so I can't really like, What's the phrase like? So I don't really understand necessarily the pull of wedding dresses, but I know that it is a massive industry and it's so important to so many women to have like the perfect wedding dress. So the idea of going to like, the idea of being invited to like an exclusive Beverly Hills store where you try on wedding dresses is actually quite a lovely little like idea. What a lovely idea to take a lot of brides, brides out and just like try and see what sort of styles they like and things like that. What I hate is that they're going to make it a competition and be like, only one of you will get the dress of your dream. And the rest of you are off to the guillotine. Like, it's very that. I'm getting that vibes immediately. Shayna Moakley is going to come in and just be like, mm, sorry, girls. You thought, didn't you? Well, actually, I'm here to tell you. <laughs> Diamonds. So, Winnie Couture. Oh, look. Of Beverly Hills. Today's wedding plan. Fashion topic show. Is your wedding gowns. First, I'd like to introduce you to Winnie Cloman. Oh, wait, are they not wearing them? Who is responsible for all these absolutely gorgeous dresses in the shop? Also, I'd like to introduce you to Philip Block, stylist to the stars. What an interesting Jennifer tie. Lopez, Lauren Holly, Angela Bassett. They all look Angela absolutely Bassett. beautiful on their big day because of this man. Everyone's got more bump hits. I'm surprised he doesn't have a bump hit. You know, this is a day Maybe he does. All your lives, but we're going to bring a little extra sexy and a little more sizzle to that day for you. Sexy bridal yeah. dresses? Oh my. 
She's, a, she's a go getter, girls. Fashion show to show you various styles and designs that are in. You guys ready? Yeah, yeah definitely. Oh, I see. Oh, come along, models. First we Don't have do a Tyra. Made style. This oh, is that's for lovely. Oh, look at that. It's long and slim at the top and kind of flares out at the bottom. Ladies, remember, a little ruching can be your best friend. This is great for camouflaging oh different goodness. curves. I'm quite into this. You might hide. I am a cr this is the weirdest thing. I'm actually like genuinely into this. Like anytime there's a fashion show, I'm like, yes, show me the fashion. But hearing someone who's like really passionate about something that they've created and then like describe why it's like the way it is or what you're looking at. I love that. Passion is so sexy, isn't it? Make sure that if you meet anyone new in your life, my loves, share your passions with them. Oh, isn't it? Good. Oh, I love passion. Curvy girl, I have a tiny waist. I definitely have hips, and I just honestly think that a mermaid style dress is gonna look really good on me. I think so as well. Next, we have the princess silhouette. I love this beautiful veil. This silhouette is called the drop waist or the fit and flare. Oh, fit and flare, drop yes. Waist gives you great flow again for dancing. Beautiful. When I was a little girl, I wanted my dress. They cut that, that sentence. So when I was a little girl, Mm, flatline and then like oh you need a nice wig jamie i'm sorry what hairdresser did you piss off back in the day that oh a nice new wig plasty would work shimmer and sparkle like cinderella this is what we call the ball gown silhouette this is every girl's dream and fantasy something you want to watch on a shorter girl because it can be very overpowering i'm so overwhelmed right now because i am a complete tomboy. overpowering dress i don't know what looks right and what looks wrong Mm. Well, thank you, ladies. You may now leave the stage, and only one of you will become America's next top gout. <laughs> that was a bit much, wasn't it? I did get very excited. My little audio button is like, uh, uh, uh. I'm having fun. Are you having fun? Fill up because we're going to have a bridal plasty challenge <gasps> right now. Now? Scandal. Oh, dear. Thanks, Shayna. I'm gonna divide you into three teams. Teams? Shana, you are on medical leave, which means you won't participate in this week's challenge. Oh Shana. my god! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! You're on medical leave, which means you're not participating in all of this. Where was that on the swan girls? Do you think like the laws around like reality TV plastic surgery changed between 2004 and 2010? <gasps> She's on medical leave, girls. Honestly, so you can't participate in this week's challenge. Wait, so that means that she can't like get surgery every single week well i mean obviously you shouldn't be able to get surgery every single week that's obscene to even suggest so does that mean that cheyenne can't like win a challenge now for the rest of the competition because she's technically healing from a surgery <gasps> it's a scandal girls vote at the rsvp ceremony rsvp you ceremony. have a half hour to find your dresses okay Philip will be judging each individual team member and giving you a score from one to ten how does the style of gown fit your figure do the accessories Ooh. add or subtract from your gown? But ladies, here's the catch. There are no mirrors in this shop. So you have to rely on your fellow teammates what? to help you find- There's no mirrors in a bridal shop? When your half hour is up, you will each strut your stuff on the runway and the team with the highest combined score wins. Oh, very drag and race. The individual highest score on the winning team is our top ride. So the problem that I have with this is it's not about them getting married and them picking their own wedding dress and them having like the moment where where they want to feel lovely. What it is, is it's it's kind of like you, you're leaving your choice and your excitement up to somebody else to tell you whether they like it or not. If you're going to get married, it's for you, not because of everybody else's opinions, nobody else. Maybe, well, maybe you and your significant other, should I say, that's probably a good thing to have. But when it comes down to the clothes that you want to wear on your wedding day, that should be really up to you. I mean, I can understand taking advice, but this guy's about about to give you a score between one and ten on how much they like your dress that you chose for your wedding day. Now, get in the bin. Ladies, you better dazzle me. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, be dazzler. ladies, if a jazzle. the lowest combined score will be our three bottom brides. Three? Are you ready to put together the perfect wedding ensemble? Yes. yes. Go. Oh my gosh, oh. come on girls, run! Oh, oh poor Cheyenne at the back just like... Everybody just starts running every dress. So wait, does Cheyenne not get to like pick a wedding dress and see like what would look like? Well, what if she won the whole thing? Doesn't she get to keep what's in her bridal closet? I'm assuming a wedding dress will be in there. So does she just like not get it? Does she just like not get a wedding dress? This show, there's no like fair standard, is there? It's just everybody drama girls! <laughs> Excuse me, like, Crazy, oh. grabbing jewelry and accessories. Quite and the veils. sound effect. Oh, veil. I'm just worried about getting a dress. 
Lisa Marie, Nettie, how Kristen, doing? Lisa. Mm. I have Lisa Marie and Nettie on my team. Please try on something like with straps yes. first. Oh, this is because you have a beautiful torso Please, and no, you have breasts. I've actually worked. You have with breasts. Long before, so I'm feeling really confident that we're gonna nail this. Okay, that's great. Oh my yeah. goodness. Yep. I'm thinking this one for you. I hear I'm with Melissa and Janessa. Oh girl, I'm sorry. I have oh, it's the Saar team. Melissa, Janessa. Now listen. <laughs> Not be the one trusted with an opinion on what you look like in a dress. Is that new? That shirt? We mark it. Wait, what? What do you feel in it? When did we see that? Dresses that are going to cover my arms. Okay. The whole thing. Am I watching the right episode? Yeah, yeah, I am. Oh my god, for a second I was like, when did we see that blue, her in that blue sparkly top? Have I missed something? Am I even on the right episode? Mm. And you like the ruching, right? What is ruching? Ruching? It's all that. Please come help me. I'm on a team with Jamie and Dominique, and I'm 100% confident. Is, is it me? There's not that many plus you. size dresses. Okay. Oh my god. Is, is it this? I know my body. No, it is. I'm looking at her, and she's going. She's going. Here's my Oh, style. glowing. I'm a, I'm a curvy lady, and I want to look good. I do feel when it comes she's to She's very intense, I isn't she? I style myself very well. That's but I suppose it is her wedding. Yeah. She is allowed to be. This is your dress, girl. Okay, ladies. Oh, your time Satan is has up. arrived. <laughs> you need one more thing. You all look very beautiful, but I need you all now to gather in the- You all look very beautiful, beauty. but the fashion show. we're going to Can judge you, you anyway. <gasps> Bosoms. Be afraid, be very afraid. Well, yes. ladies, oh, look. Oh, no, she does get a dress. You will each- Cheyenne did, did get a dress on the end. Did you see that? Yes, there she is. We'll be judging each individual team member and giving you a score from one to 10. How does the style of gown fit your figure? Do the accessories add or subtract from your gown? Does the curtain Alexa, match Alexa, the drapes? <laughs> Come on up. I know that we all three look good. But oh. I don't know what Philip's gonna think. Okay, Melissa, please oh. take the runway. Oh dear. <gasps> yes, work it! I have this great veil on Melissa. I think the veil is really exquisite. Exquisite? If you cannot zip up the dress, honey, what is your ass doing <gasps> on stage? I don't know what the hell Melissa's thinking. Next up is Allison. You know, I, I really like what this does with her cleavage. I like that there's the beading underneath. Oh, there. that's I'm nice. I'm praying that these two girls put together a slamming dress for me and that they're gonna say, bam. You look awesome. Janessa, it's your turn to take the runway. Oh, oh very Barbie. It's is great for your body, long and It's lean. a bit underwhelming, though. The part of the wedding to me is how I look. Well. Putting on the dress and picturing what I would look like after I had my nose job, I know that I'm going to look After you've had your nose thing. job? Wait. Sorry, is that a little bit of foreshadowing? Does she get a nose job? Ooh, that's kind of giving things away a little bit after I get my nose job. Mmm, storyline who? Carrie Underwood. Oh, thanks. Carrie Underwood. Lots of people tell me I look like Carrie Underwood for some reason. What score would you give Melissa? I love the lace. I think it's romantic. I like that you chose romantic. something with a beading to accentuate your cleavage. Oh? However. Is that, oh. Looks a little like you got a little shotgun wedding going on there. I think you should have paid more attention to maybe one of the beaded belts at the waist. <gasps> Melissa. What does shotgun wedding okay. mean? Wow. Aqua turtle. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to give her a five. Really, guys? Like, send me down the aisle looking like a hot mess. Thanks a lot. So, Philip, what score would you give Allison? I just have one question. Is your mother going to cry when she sees those tattoos and that pretty dress? <laughs> You know, right there and right there, you just look like a truck oh, driver in a right. gown, girl. This is just embarrassing. Again. Well, you look like a melted candle, sir. Oh, my God. I totally forgot that even as soon ago as 2010, that makes no sense, but you know what I mean, that tattoos and, like, visible body modifications were really, like, frowned upon. I mean, they, they're a lot more commonplace now because almost every influencer you'll see is covered in tattoos. I What a hateful thing to say to someone. You look like a truck driver because of your tattoos in a wedding dress for their wedding day where they're meant to feel, you know, elated, sharing the love with their significant other and their local family, friends and community. What are you doing, sir? What was that? One absolute, absolute, absolute vile cretin of a human being. Why would you say that? Why would you say that? I know it's for the drama, but still, like, that could have done lasting damage. So the thing that really bothers me about this specific situation is that that guy is in a position of authority, being looked up to for advice. You know, advice and constructive criticism. What is constructive about? Is your mother going to cry when she sees you with tattoos? You look like a truck driver in a dress. 
Yes. What's constructive about this? Sir? Sir? What is constructive about that, hmm, Mr. Melty Candle? Did your mother cry when your candle melted and became your face? Hmm? Mentally preparing myself to be in the bottom. You know, there's very few people. Angelina Jolie can carry off all those tattoos. But when I saw you, it just, it took away from, from it. So? So? What, you want everyone to just be like super plain and the same? Yes, because I'm sure that's what got you to your position being who you are back in 2010. How rude. Absolutely unacceptably rude. This face, this face that Nettie's got is exactly how I feel. Shocked, girls. It's a scandal, girls. The love is harsh. But I, I really rude. think it's great that you chose ruching at your waist. Oh, and great, yeah. Very nicely. And the color I think is beautiful. I'm mean, just a little bit off white. I'm gonna give her a seven. My jaw just almost hit the ground. That made my self-esteem skyrocket. Janessa? I think very flat. That made my self-esteem skyrocket. That is such a like edit there because like there is no way if I put on a dress and someone gave me that level of insult that I would then be like, that made my self-esteem skyrocket. Absolutely not. Front, very flattering in the back. It gives you a little hip line because you're kind of a- I mean, I, is it a little bit boring? I'm gonna give you an eight. Why? It's out of 10 and it feels fabulous. Why? That gives you a it's a little bit dull. Of 20 out of it's your wedding. You can wear whatever you want. Other teams don't beat our score of 20. 20 points. Okay. I'm be the top bride. Nettie, Lisa Marie, and Kristen. Thank you. Okay, Lisa Marie. Oh, wow. The proportion. Do you see it, ladies? The proportion, how that's working. Oh, this that is, is lovely. my first time even being in a wedding dress. Just enough flair. We're not accentuating anything. Okay, Nettie. Oh, I love that sparkle noise. I like noise. the length of it. I like Nettie's got netting. The proportion is great, and, and I don't mind the ribbon on. I like it better than the plain one for you. I know I love it. The ribbon? The I don't see a ribbon. One pixel. Kristen? I, I see the way. That necklace. I feel really good in my dress. This is this is an example of who I am. That and looks really good. I wear this outfit Ooh, to my own wedding. Scandal. So, OMG. You were the girl there with the glasses. You ugly Betty over in the chair there. <laughs> this is just stunning. I just think it works so great. I'm gonna give her a seven. Why do, okay. why, why, why do these shows always think that if you've got glasses, it makes you ugly? I re that's one of the things that really bothers me about these old reality TV shows. In fact, any makeover show, they're always like, get your glasses off, they're disgusting. No, your glasses are beautiful. As long as you get a nice pair that sits, your, sits on your face nicely. I mean, Ultimately, it's a medical device to help you see. Ill, ill. Daddy? I just want to see one thing, just one second. Oh, that's what I thought. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> oh, she's got an Oscar. Like almost. I'm gonna give her an eight. I'm so excited. Philip loves my look. I'm finally gonna be the top bride. I'm finally gonna get my surgery. I'm totally starting with a boob job. Philip? I'm gonna have to say this is probably one of my favorite looks, if not my favorite look today. And I'm oh, that's tell quite you sweet. Mm -hmm. Oh no, when Janessa. Christina Aguilera when she does 40s, ain't no other man. And, and I have to say that's not it? my favorite kind of veil, but for you it works. I'm gonna give you one now. I understand it's wedding. I understand it's like wedding stuff and you kind of have to have a veil on your wedding day. But the idea of saying to someone, I don't really like that veil, but for you it works. Sounds so like, yeah, you've covered your face and I love it, doesn't it? I mean, it's very, very, I'd like to keep it on, please, isn't it? Nine. I scored a nine. nine. I am stoked. I wow. have the highest score of any girl so far. Okay, a nine? That gives you a team score of points. really high. Points out of a possible 30. You are now in the lead. Janessa, Melissa, and Allison, your team is in last place with only 20 points. As soon as the second group goes and I hear their score, I knew I wasn't going to be the top bride. I'm oh, terrified. Janessa. I do not want to be a bottom bride. Okay, let's bring up the last team. Oh, dear. Jamie, Alexandra, and Dominique. Come on, girls. Style. I know how to put it together. I know how to work the runway. Do we you? definitely got this challenge. Oh, come on. Show us then. Jamie? Show us, show us, show us. I like the dress. And I think almost I could have seen you in that beautiful long chapel veil. Okay, Dominique, you are next. I think it complements your bust. You have a beautiful waist there. The That's really nice. It's working Pretty. with your curves. This little like Curious. sheen. Just stay positive and confident and own the stress. Right? Well done, Dominique. Yes. Okay, Alexandra. Come on, Alexandra. Your stuff. Ooh, the music. I like is cute. All that sparkle. I know fashion. I know what it takes to look good. I know my body. I'm about to kill this. Work the boobies. Work that face. You have that million well, dollar face. Okay, yeah, the yeah. boobies. Ava, Ava Mendez. My goal is to be a Ava, 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 model, Ava. And I know how to work a fashion challenge. I, I can't think of the other actress. Not Zoe Saldana, but um. Longoria. 
So, Philip, what score would you give Jamie? You're very tall. You're very slim. I like the dress. I'm going to give her a seven. Okay. okay. I think this really works for me. I see that on you. I would give you an eight. Okay, Philip, what is the score for Alexandra? I, hang on. I've just clocked into something. Hang on. This So the producers could have told this guy anything. They could have said, right, we've got one person specifically that we want to win this specific challenge, so give them the highest score. It's not that we're getting voted on by a group of people. One person is choosing this week who's going to get surgery. Wild. This team has 24 points. So far, my team has 15. Uh, whisper, whisper, I think whisper. you're one of the prettiest girls whisper, here. Whisper. We win if I score a perfect 10. You've got that J-Lo kind of skin. It glows. He's been Still every celebrity he's mentioned so far. I'm really nervous about this. Who's going to win, girl? Oh, don't do it coming up. Oh, yeah, no! No! Scandal, girls! Oh, fashion. Fashion on the catwalk. On the pavement. Okay, Philip. What is the score for Alexandra? Philip is about to give me my score. If he loves this dress as much as I do, I can get a 10 and be on my way to Dr. DeBro's office for a tummy tuck. <gasps> I've got nine points. Alexandra and her oh, dress come on. are all that stand between me and my boot job. Come on! This is the wrong dress for you. <gasps> this is drying my eye here. And baby, please don't take this the wrong way from the back. It's even worse. I just have to say this would probably be the worst choice of a dress for you. Oh my gosh, like, that was brutal. Oh baby, I'm gonna have to give you a four, I'm sorry. I cannot believe I just got a four. Wow, wow, that scene was just what I was talking about. They have picked a winner already. That was, what was all that about? It was like, we're gonna build up to a crescendo uh, in the gutter, in the gutter. Up your gusset in the gutter. What was that about? What was that? He did not have to go that hard on her, on her, in a dress for her wedding day. After being like, you look like Leva on Goria. Eva, Eva, Eva Mendes. I'm a candle girls, I've melted. Like, what was that all about? What was that? What weird, weird. What do you think about that interaction? I feel like that was so too much. Far too much. Too much. I really thought that I looked good. We're in the bottom. It's about you. So if you feel like you look good, you do it, sis. With the highest score, oh, you no. are the top bride. Kristen, Kristen, as our top bride, you're leaving for your plastic surgery right Immediately. now. Immediately. Off we go. Safe from elimination. Not just this week, but next week as well. Oh my God, my boobs. Two weeks of there. immunity. <laughs> Gosh. It feels amazing to finally win a challenge and my boobs. Well, well done, Kristen. Unfortunately, Alexandra, Dominique, and Jamie, you have the lowest combined score, so you are our three bottom brides, and you are in danger of going home. The rest of you will have a very important decision to make because you will be deciding which one of the bottom brides will be going home. You can get changed and I will see you all at the RSVP ceremony tomorrow night. <gasps> this is the way she not talks, the way she talks, it sounds like she's delivering like the worst news of her of everybody's lives. Do you know what I mean? The way that, um, sh is it Shannon Moakley? The way she speaks is just literally like, everything you've done up until this point in your life has been a waste and I don't want to see you again. It's very that energy, isn't it? Like for God's sake, just, wow how I thought the situation would be playing out. I do not need to leave this house. I work my ass off. And now I'm extremely worried that I might I be I have going no home. idea who's going to win this show. Hello. No idea. Hey. How are you doing? Contemplating <gasps> my, my departure from here. <gasps> okay. Guys, I'm in the bottom. Oh, dang. I think it's hard for me to like picture the wedding because mom's not here. And like when I originally, like when I was little, I pictured my wedding with mom. I just wish I could have my mom see my dress. She oh, this is not it. In January of this, this is year. not it. I know if she was here, she would go like above and beyond to try to make like my wildest dreams come true. Well, just be confident in yourself and like know that you can do this. It's going to get hard and 
going to get emotional because it is a very emotional training. It is. It's something that you're meant to. Planning a wedding when you're not, like, doing all this extra nonsense against other people is stressful and hard enough. The idea that you have to make the amount of money in order to pay for it. The idea that, like, you have so many people to organise, so many people to invite, so many things to get, so many things to do. Like, you have to go and visit bloody places you want to get married. Like, it is a whole stressful situation from start to finish. For, I don't know, how long does a wedding ceremony last? Is it, like, half an hour at the altar and then everyone's like, get drunk, girls? Is it very that like I, the last time I went to a wedding I think I was like nine and I don't remember a lot because I was drunk no <laughs> can you imagine oh yeah I think that this is something she would want from poor me, Jamie so I'm gonna fight for it you just poor need Jamie to figure out how you can stay in the game you know yeah I'm gonna try to figure it out mm. they have alcohol in like almost every shot in this what makes good drunk? Okay, here we go. Merry Christmas. <laughs> I just like want to grab them all. We use these to help us figure out what size to make. Yeah. Okay. I will feel like a woman finally. I get carded for lottery tickets. Are you? Wait, what? I will feel like a woman finally. Kristen, you are like a very attractive, like staple of what like an American, an all American girl looks like. The idea that you don't feel like a woman is is wild to me. Absolutely wild. I mean, I can't really speak because, you know, the struggle, girls, the struggle is real. You've got to be kidding. Like, people think I'm 12. I'm thinking, like, uh, really full C that's a bit far. small D because I know eventually it's going to settle. Can Stand you say up. a small D? We're gonna Can you get a small? This. I actually don't know a lot about, like, implant sizing, but, like, I know you have to get, like, cc's of silicone, so that's, like, 450 cc's of silicone or whatever it is. But, like, can you have, like, a small D? Would that not just be, like... A C? Is there mo I suppose there is, is there half cup sizes? I guess there is, isn't there? Can you have like a, a D point five? A C point five. A C point eight. Yeah, I've got a C point eight. Yeah, seventeen thousand cc's of silicone. <laughs> yes. And this is a kind of a big. Oh, they look so strange. Put this in on your right side. Yeah. <gasps> yeah. I got it really. Yes. Just turn <laughs> to the mirror. Just looking at this, this is your first impression. This is. Too big, yes. Yeah. My name's Breston, this is my that friend Kristen. All right. Is I really massive. wish AJ was here. My name's Breston, this is my friend. It's totally worth it when he gets to see them on our wedding day. And I The thing is, out. this is one of those things where it's like, she's getting surgery like immediately for this. Like, if you want to think about a size of, of breast that you go for, usually if you're saving up the money and you're going to different surgeons to consult with them, they're all going to have different ideas of what's going to work with your frame, what's going to work with your body and for your final outcome. Like, do you want to look like a massive, sexy bimbo taking over the world? with your triple F breasts? Or do you want to look more sort of like demure and calculated, but still a little bit like sexy? <laughs> like, do you know what I mean? So it's kind of weird that that, that she's almost like not really had this planning time. I mean, maybe she, well, she kind of has thought about it, didn't she? Because she was like a little D, <laughs> a small D. Uh, maybe, maybe I should take that back. Maybe she has already planned. I don't know. Mummy's hungover. Here I come and I'm your woman. I think my big your fear woman. Really mm. is that like, I'm, gonna I'm a woman and you belong to me. Safe, and then I don't want to wake up regretting not going big enough. I completely get what you're saying and I will nail it. Okay? I know you will. I will. Oh okay. 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 You talk a big game. Wait. Oh. There's oh, very good. There's in like breakfast. There's coffee. Mm-hmm. They just made some. Seeing the three bottom brides being Dominique, Jamie, and Alexandra. Oh yes, is who's gonna go? Especially hitting hard for me because two of those girls were two of the girls who sat at my table. Oh yes. At the last elimination. Oh no. Think, oh. Okay, we're just gonna go to Vegas if this doesn't work out. We have some really nice weddings in Vegas, so. Yeah. Like what? If you don't win, like what's your budget? You get an Elvis Presley impersonator. Our budget was twenty-five. 25,000. My budget was like 10. That's so crazy. <gasps> well, we were making a lot of money. We both had oh. really good jobs. And yeah. Oh, yeah. We got nothing. Oh, I think that Jamie seems to be happy. 25, 25,000 dollars on a wedding. One day of your entire life, 25,000 dollars that single day costs. It, wedding prices are crazy, aren't they? Absolutely wild. And kind of financial struggles that I'm having. So I think that she is deserving of this wedding as well. <gasps> She, Alison's really quite lovely. I do really appreciate her being very, like, open with people. We get played out. You know, I can count on you and Melissa and Lisa Marie. You know who you're saying. Yeah. 
I feel good. What a weird. You know you're safe. Knowing about Lisa Marie Janessa and Melissa voting for me. Oh yes, of course. They've got their group, haven't they? Jamie or Alexandra girls. is going to be going home. Is there anyone in particular you want to stay? There's pros and cons of both. <gasps> from a competition standpoint, Alexandra is consistently on the bottom, so she's less competition. But at the same time, oh, Janessa! I think, like Jamie has a neutral. Point. She is a professional TV professional woman. She can make professional TV reality professional professions. Look. Look at how calculated she is. She is getting her screen time through being this like villain. I kind of love it in a weird way because like in reality TV, you also you always have like one or, or two people cast as like the villains and they always make great TV. Like Janessa is making great TV by being like, she's the not competition. Everybody listen to me. I've got Botox girls. And I actually do have Botox. So now Janessa is very straightforward. Like she sees it from calculated. a strategic point of view. Yes. Like, it could really go either way. Well, we shall see. <gasps> Janessa wants this. You can tell. What a little boat. I'm gonna put a little You're going to do surgery on a boat. <gasps> okay, here we go. I can't believe that my fiance will never see me like this again. That is I can't weird. This is even happening to me. Ready? <laughs> oh, okay. A bit of broski. So we're going to start by making an incision. This part shouldn't hurt her at all. Kristen wasn't sure exactly what size implant she wanted, so we're gonna try them on. What? Gonna... What? That's the thing that happens. Christine wasn't. Uh, Kristen wasn't wasn't sure on what size of implants she wanted. They're gonna try them on. Try on implants? Is that a thing? Do, do surgeons and nurses? Is that a thing that happens? You try them on? Wow! Learn something every day. <gasps> Put a three twenty-five in on the right and a 350 on the left and see how that looks. Oh, it's very she would aggressive, be very isn't it? Oh, cuz these are a little smaller than she wants them to be. Okay, let's put her down and try a bigger size. Perfect. Uh-huh. She is swallowing these up. Pretty. Mhm. Mm She's going to fill out her wedding dress, that's for sure. Let's Oh my time. god. Oh my god. <laughs> That is the most dehumanizing thing I've seen in a long time. So they were just propping her up, but like had all of her face covered and you just have like her breasts exposed and they're just propping her up like a piece of art to be like, mm, is that nice? No, move along the next one. That was such a strange experience. Oh my goodness. I mean, I know that like when you are on an operating table, in a sense of the word, you are a product. You have you've sort of like bought a service and they're in, in in putting the product into you or or you become the product because they're working on you. I understand that, but it's so strange to see it. And I've had work done and I didn't feel when I was awake during my surgery, I didn't feel like the product. So I don't know, maybe this maybe maybe things have changed since like this era of the world because that was so I don't know, I feel a bit uh a bit creeped out, a bit weird. Like I don't like it. And I'm a fan of plastic surgery. If you want to get whatever you want done, go for it, girls. Make sure it's for you and you love it. Under adjustments and get Kristen into recovery. Can we some more sailing, please? ABC. Always be closing. Always be closing. Oh, always be closing. We're done. Oh. All done. Very retail worker. Your wish. Oh. Oh, Kristen. Exactly. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, is that her pet? <laughs> Not her pet, her toy. Cuddly pet. <gasps> Kristen! You do. And it went great. Oh, yeah. I look like I got boobs now. Oh, yeah. There's I mean, no you had some pretty good boobies You're before. Really I promise, okay? And the thing is, the thing is, the thing with getting these sorts of implants is that, like, nowhere in these consultations were they told that in five to ten years they might have to exchange them. And they're also the top three manufacturers in America of silicone breast implants um, lied about how well their product actually works. They're not really markets and means tested. They've done it a little bit, but they haven't done it a lot. There is actually huge scrutiny around it. So the idea that we were told none of that then, absolutely none of it. She was not informed that she'll have to have them replaced. She was not informed that there could be aftercare that she'll have to pay for. She's now got these things in her body that could potentially be quite expensive to maintain. Um, she wasn't told that. Not told that at all. No. Welcome home. Aww. Air hugs. Oh. When I see Kristen come through the door, I'm thinking, oh my god, it looks like it hurts. Mm. 
It looks painful. It makes me worry. What size? I mean, it's surgery, sis. Oh, oh so look! Happy for you. Thank you. Think about it. In like three months, you're gonna be in a bikini. Yeah, I know. The beach with these big tatas. I'm so excited. Everyone's gonna be so jealous. And I love Doctor Debro. I know, isn't he great? He makes dreams come true. Did he say when he thinks like you'll be raring to go again? How long it takes? He did it. I just want to see what happens. He didn't tell you. He didn't tell you how long it takes for you to recover. That's a massive red flag. I'm like obsessing over it. Being the top bride, I'm so fortunate that I do not have to vote this week. Well, that's which exactly is it. Because I don't want to have to vote between my friends. Mmm, exactly. I think it'll probably be Jamie. I just think that Jamie deserves it the most. I want Jamie to stay in the house because she's like the little ray of sunshine. It's like oh. she's got kids and she's still not. She's not selfish. She's, mm -hmm. she's that's selfish. a very sweet way of looking at it. She looks like she's in a lot of painful happiness. Just think about when they're painful sore, happiness. You know, when you get just oh, God. that's more than sore. They cut you a new nipple. <laughs> <laughs> when I first heard about the opportunity to win plastic surgery, I was really, really excited. But I don't wish I was in the recovery room right now. They cut off your nipple and they. Oh my God! Hello. Not necessarily. I don't know. After seeing that, I don't know. <laughs> that looks kind of sketchy. I can kick you with my small boobs. <laughs> oh no, don't admit that to the group. They will kick you out so far, sis. I have a feeling we know who's going. <laughs> it's classic surgery. I know, but everybody who comes back, like, they look like... It's bridal plasty, remember? Bridal plasty, we're here for plastic <laughs> surgery. We're here for plastic surgery and transformation for our wedding day. I'm just looking at her like, oh my God, you're ridiculous. You don't deserve this uh, I mean, the whole concept of bridal plasty is ridiculous. Maybe I'll just get teeth whitening. Oh, Jamie, <laughs> come on now. I don't know what to do. The challenge is over and Ch Ch Jamie Ch 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 for the bottom three brides. Alexandra. Who's gonna go, girls? I mean, we all Cast your votes now. And maybe this is Alexandra's time to go home. It's just hard because when I was just looking at Jamie, she's like, oh, I'll just get teeth whitening. I was just like, Pshum. why should you stay if you're just gonna get teeth whitening? Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, uh, they're really gunning for Jamie, aren't they? Oh, what a surprise. Here she comes. Can I Hello. Why you pulled Dominique's side? I'm just curious. Because, I mean, you, me, and her are all in the bottom three. We are, but I needed to talk to Dominique because I felt that she would understand where I'm coming from. Drama. There is seven more opportunities for people to get plastic surgery. I'm not here for plastic surgery. Yes, it's a great plus, and I do want to look stunning on my wedding day. You're not but here? I'm here for my wedding. You're, you're not here for plastic surgery? You're here for your wedding and you're not here for plastic surgery. You don't need to admit that to anyone if, if that really was your game plan because they're going to gun immediately for you. So your plastic surgery wish list is going to have things on it that you could potentially have permanently done to your body that you don't even care about. No words, girls, no words. Like, if you're going home, that's it. You're not getting no surgery. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're not getting that Like, if I go home tomorrow, I'm not going to get my skin fixed and all the work that I do all the time that I skip drinking and, and go to sleep early and work out while everyone's hanging out the pool all of that's gonna mean wow, wow. I didn't mean to interrupt you guys talk I'm gonna go inside so you guys can like me oh oh my gosh. I want we love our drama I want it so bad I want it more than drama anyone. girls and that's what I'm fighting for I can't go home <sighs> sucks it really sucks being put in this position I just feel for these girls right now I really do I knew who I was going to vote for, like, literally right away. It's really? Jamie. Jamie? I know we all want it. I just know that, you know, Jamie really needs it, too. But I'm just like, so, oh, God. I feel like Jamie's <laughs> going to go. I really don't know what to say. I'm really torn. I don't really know what I'm going to do at this point. Jamie would really benefit from the wedding, but not necessarily so much the plastic surgery. I mean, as and Alexandra said, it's bridal that plastic. Alexandra is more motivated towards the plastic surgery than she is for the wedding. Oh, is she? <gasps> Did we get that? More motivated for surgery than than her you wedding? Know what, you're for? No. what is that? A plate of cheese? Like Lisa Marie already told Emily she <gasps> voted for her. <gasps> so you already know that that means. And Melissa are going to vote for her, too. Wow. They're going to take his bitches up in here, and they're going to be the ones standing at the end if no one stops their asses. Ooh! So she was running for Jamie. Did she? Mm -hmm, but I don't Unveiling. know what anybody else said. 
I cannot believe How many people are there left? Two? Is gonna vote for Jamie. Do you feel it in your stomach? Yeah, I do. We got bridal boot camp going on here. After all I did for her, psh, police. I mean, judging from that little scene, all, after all I did for her, what, you made her go on the floor and go, uh, uh, that's not what they did, but you know what I mean? <laughs> a few crunches is not like a unifying, I don't know, what's alliance in a show like this. I mean, the thing is, the thing is, like, they all get upset with somebody picking someone because obviously the motivation is that they can't get what they want. But like, the whole point of this game is you have to have, like, somebody loses, somebody has to lose, and you have to pick somebody else to go through. And it's like, that's, that's the rules of the game. It's so, um, oh, it's awful to see because it's not like they're winning money. I sort of don't care when reality TV shows are about money. This is about body dysmorphia, really. This show is about body dysmorphia and you are winning the chance to fix your body dysmorphia. And that is unacceptable. So that means I'm definitely going home. So I'm just in this weird place. Like, if I'm going to go home, like, I want to quit. You know, I'd rather go home now. Let's don't be defeated. See it through, sis. Throw a massive tantrum and get your TV time. It's not that I wanted to quit, but if you already know that you are going to go home, why wait around? Don't talk to me. No. You told me that Allison was voting for Jamie, which would then in turn mean I would be going home. Alexandra is considering quitting because somebody told her that Jamie's going to get more votes to stay in the house. Well, duh, Jamie's less annoying. <gasps> oh, Janessa. They didn't say anything. Obviously, they weren't voting for me, or she would have told me. So. I'm not going to lie. It really irritates me when people are in the front and just like on it. I don't like the he said, she said. <laughs> like, who is telling you that? Like, who are you trusting? That's a lyric. This is true. And I know there's so many people in my house right now that it could be, it could either be Melissa and she's been out here, or it could be Nettie. Jamie figures out that it was probably Nettie that said these things to Alexandra. And honestly, I don't really like Nettie, and I don't really like Alexandra, so... So you don't care? Them, <laughs> yeah, exactly! It does, it that makes really... It. it makes me angry, and I'm in the bottom, and I don't even have a vote. Just Why would you do that to somebody? For somebody to sit here and tell you, like, this is what I heard, this is what I heard, it's like... Kind of bitch, oh, but it makes that, good TV, doesn't it? Awful TV, but good. Wow. That was quite something. Like Arguing half naked in a filled in ground hot tub and you're just like, no, Nettie needs to go. Oh, I can't wait to see what's going to happen. For somebody else. Did I tell Alexander who flat out said was voting for somebody? Yes. Yeah. Did you tell her who you were voting for? No, I said that I have no idea who I'm voting for. You had her to the point where she wanted to like- I had her, her to the point you? because I was because actually sitting her, there. I was actually sitting there you're telling sitting her. You're sitting there telling like, her no matter what, like, you don't know. Allison can change her vote. I'm not gonna lie, it's gonna look bad for you because it looks like you're trying to stir up trouble. Wait, pump your brakes. I'm the one trying to stir trouble? Seriously, I was trying to help out the girl. You're just gonna have a conversation with her. And that's, and I like, think, that's it. Oh, <laughs> drama girls. And so I couldn't have hurt your feelings. Arguing in a bikini bottom and a towel on your head. At all. Clearly, Alexandra was letting them talk about me behind my back. <gasps> hey, oh, can no. we have a combo real quick? Yeah, like I have Jamie telling me that the level of drama to encourage you to leave. I said, I heard Allison was going to vote for Jamie. That means I'm going home. Okay, so now I, I just want everybody to know that I was trying to convince her to stay. Like point blank, she was so I telling me to go home, name. and I never said that she was telling me to go home. Like we felt like Nettie was telling you to go home, Alexandra, and you never stood up and said Nettie's not telling me to go home. I never home. got. Yeah, but she didn't have to. That, through, that you guys literally thought Nettie said, yeah. Yeah, you assumption. Go home. No, Jamie. no. Janessa. Because I was concerned because it's like I don't want you to quit, and I don't want to look like a fool for defending you. Like, okay, like, all right, I'm leaving because I was all not right, playing no. the game. I don't have time for any <laughs> games. Honestly, you don't have to I'm pack your bags. I'm just thinking, oh my god, what I said was misconstrued. They are just making me seem like I'm a total bitch. No. Well, you said, you. Well, the thing is, you didn't say anything of the sort, and they've all filled in a blank and gone, mmm, that's what Nettie said about you. What absolute nonsense? Really? My goodness. They're not gonna vote for me. this. Going home. There you go. No. Being so strong, like you oh know, my god. You made, you made it to the next round. Congratulations. You really deserve a beautiful okay, wedding. You're go. amazing. It's almost fun watching Alexander flip out. Janessa! You know, quit? Fine by me. Oh, shucks. I'm over this. All those fake bitches. I'm so frustrated. I feel defeated. I feel so angry. I'm a 
spreading this out. I'm pretty. I'm dominant. Like I have a big personality. They don't want me in this house. Oh They're my god! As bitches, I don't want to play some fake ass game. Like seriously. I mean, it is reality TV though. You kind of did sign up for this. You did apply to be on this show. Hello. I really want to come home. <gasps> Only a hundred and ten percent sure I'm going home. So oh. Why would I wait here? Oh, this is not fun, know. is it? And I completely understand your frustration. I really do. I want you to make the decision that's going to be best for you, but I also want you to make a decision that you're not going to regret later. So oh, I mean, going on bridal crap. <laughs> bridal plasty is a bit of a. Yeah, I love you. Oh, that's Thank nice. You. I feel like you do kind of really need to be told you're loved in situations like this. Right, have a good night. <laughs> wow, okay. And now it's morning! Pixel morning, everybody! Right, what's I the tape? So, can, can you <gasps> do that with me? You're so cute. I told you. I don't know what I'm saying. Let's like, eat something. Oh, I'm Like, obviously, it's between you and I. Whoever walks out of here, whoever walks out of here. But I can't quit. Yay, though, you're going to stay. I hope it's a good last day. I'm sorry, but I do. Oh. It is what it is. Who knows? Me and you might not get any votes now. We can just be sitting on each other's tables. Because <laughs> <laughs> we're all voting for Dominique. At this point, we don't like you two. So you never know. Yeah. Scandal. Oh, quite the scandal. I Come on, then. I ass after last night. I know that Janessa has an influence over some of the girls. So maybe if I can convince her that I am less of a threat than Jamie. Oh, this has changed. The, the narrative has immediately changed. Instead. I know this is about the wedding and stuff, but like, I guess I became so absorbed with the plastic surgery. If I were to get my surgery down the line, I felt that I would give up my spot for the wedding to someone else. Does that make sense? Now she's saying she'd give up the wedding. Maybe I should keep her around after all. Oh, you know the serpent me. becomes the serpent, and the serpent, serpent girls. The tables are serpents. Everyone's a serpent. Nitty, but have you decided? No, I haven't. Not yet. Well, Alexander said that. Honestly, if it came down Ooh, to it, I would stylish get Stylish woman on the game. Because the surgery is important. Can't see me. I'm a celebrity. Said, she's like, if it came down to me and somebody else, she's like, I would give them the wedding if I could have my surgery. <gasps> looking at it from like a competition standpoint. I am too. Alexander, it seems like all she really wants is the surgery. Like, what does that say to you? That she wouldn't be in it in the end, whereas Jamie would be. My heart says one thing. My mind says another. We have a lot of thinking to do. Oh, time for a little thinky booze, huh? Everybody. Oh, lovely bus. Gorgeous bus. Dr. Dubus. Oh, look! The bride of Chucky! <laughs> I don't know what's going to happen at the RSVP ceremony tonight. Oh, come on, really it's the ceremony, I'm everybody. Say, but as far as Jamie and Alexandra, I don't know. Hello, ladies. As you can see, there's the RSVP box. Oh. It's time for you to cast your RSVP boat. Okay, so well, this is like the, the system. Me, Dominique, Alexandra, Jamie. I do feel as though the girls know who I am and why I want to be here. It's just whether or not it matters to them. I thought I knew who was going, but I sort of don't. On a decision that it's literally like 50-50. Well, yeah, Alexandra and Jamie. right now voting, and that's that. I'm just hoping that they understand my struggle and know that I am someone that deserves it. D. Armin-Noshwashliers. What a gorgeous, stunning designer box. Diamonds! Oh, this piano player. The girls icon. Their hearts and an Oscar. They just realize what it means to me. Is it a piano? I didn't get to have my wedding yet. And so. The catwalk of shame, girls! It's really important. But you did also tell everybody that the surgery wasn't important. I'm so here like to get the surgery and the wedding. I'm like, so confused with the storyline. On, on the biggest loser, not looking for love. I found love. This is all about completing my fairy tale. Two reality TV it shows included in your fairy tale. Feel your RSVP and to send one of these bottom brides home. It looks like she's gone to Please a poodle please salon. Please come forward and reveal which bride you'd like to see stay. Come on, girls. Dominique. I am choosing to represent you at your ceremony. Thank you, Lisa. 
Alyssa. Hello, fancy seeing you here, yeah. <laughs> you are probably one of the girls here who I'm closest to, and that is why I am RSVPing for you. I don't doubt the Alliance at all. When push comes to shove, I really believe that they are going to have my back. Dominique, it seems they are. for being a listening ear. Dominique, with three guests at your table, you are still in the running to become the perfect Wow. Bride. I mean, we could see that I coming, though, couldn't we? We could see it. Lisa Marie, Janessa, and Lisa all sit down at Dominique's table. I did see the same four ladies sitting at the same table at last elimination. Well, you must also see them talking to each other. Three brides at your table, you are safe from being sent home. I'm thinking the four of them are just going to stick together. Yes, Allison, that's how you win a game. Please step forward and reveal who you are, RSV. Come on, before. Allison. This is very hard for me because both of these girls were at my table when I was in the bottom three last week. <laughs> Jamie, me and you have connected on so many levels. And me being a mom and you being a mom, we both share the same wants and needs to have this perfect wedding. Yes. Alexandra. But I don't like you. I like, what? Where's it going? Extremely far in life. You're so young and you're so driven. Allison has no right voting for Jamie. After all I did for her, to walk home with nothing would truly be shameful. I'm so sorry. Was that a commercial break then? No. This is very hard. I'm so sorry. <gasps> I thought Allison was voting for me. People are definitely starting to show their true colors. It's the scandal, girls. Nervous. Oh my goodness. I know that I convinced Allison to go for Alexandra. Oh, I'm really the puppet serpent. master. She's not in control. Serpent. Serpent. Oh. Oh. Cheyenne. Jamie. <gasps> you're the most selfless person I think I've ever met. So I'm not <laughs> voting for you. You're amazing. And you're just kind of one of those people that are always there when you need them. I really wanted to vote for Jamie, but everyone else is voting for either Alexandra or Dominique. And I really, at that point, had to think about myself and how it would affect me later on. Yes, that's the tea. Jamie as opposed to Alexandra. Oh, wow. Very tactical. Jamie, your quest to be the perfect bride. You have been over. saved. Still go on. It just You've been be saved. Don't say that. Your wedding won't be perfect. Be quiet, Shana. Awful thing to say. Hateful. Jamie. I think I'm the most upfront and honest person in the house and honestly, I predicted right though didn't I finish last oh okay I'm already married and I haven't had that moment like with my husband and it's just, it's just hard I'm just used to being there not getting Poor that thing. like happily ever after I'm just really disappointed because I don't think that people are thinking <gasps> clearly I think I see the same four people that are sitting at the same table as last time. And so it's becoming a who's who and who voted for Careful. And they're not all looking at the big picture. Careful, sis. I think you might be next. Look. Realizing that it's a game. At the same time, it's like... Just the sword of Damocles. A little too late. There is clearly an alliance. Vanessa is a puppet master. This <gasps> might necessarily be Fingers an alliance. Fingers in all the pies. The girls in the house, including myself, need to watch out for. Yes. Yes. Next time on <gasps> Bridalplasty. Okay, and that's well. it! That's the end! That's the end of this episode, my loves! Wow. Gaggle of trosh trosh liés. Absolutely. Well, my loves, I'm gonna push my laptop away from me there and take off my... Oh, hanger. What an absolute scandal that was from start to finish. That, the levels of drama in this show was incredible. What was all this about? It kind of feels like it's equally about everything and also absolutely nothing at all. Do you know what I mean? I looked at the timestamp of the episode when they had just finished their challenge and it was 24 minutes. This show was 44 minutes long, which means there was 20 solid minutes of drama, of solid drama. The production team on this show must have been working overtime, nine till nine every day, trying to be like, and how can it be more dramatic, girls? Ah! I have no words. I have no words. Let me know what you think about what we've seen today my loves in the comments box below because it's just this show 
I knew it was scandalous. I had no idea it was this scandalous. <laughs> stupid it's so 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 bad really so bad like i know i shouldn't be laughing about it but like it's already been made it's 11 years old if i didn't laugh i'd cry so let's dive straight into episode four okay sweetie will you just try anyway we're well, not doing it we're not now we're not listening see you later can you believe it it's time for bridal plasty episode four is it episode four i'm just gonna double check because i'm having a bit of a loopy time recently we are just under halfway through the season which is wild to even think about now like 10 years later we're watching this and i'm just like fully invested in this bizarre show i do actually also want to say please don't give spoilers in the comments i know it's like 11 years old now and but like i've never seen it and i'm guessing quite a lot of you guys have never seen it before so like if you know things that are like shocking and drama please don't spoil them in the comments for the rest of us please 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 please, please. thank you my loves but before we get into it today look it's a scandal girls doesn't this merch look cute Does doesn't it look cute? Yes, it's available in the description box below and you too can join in with It's a Scandal Girls. So the last episode of Bridal Plasty that we watched was like 20 solid minutes of like manufactured drama within the house and apparently it just gets more and more and more dramatic from this episode on. So I guess as these episodes usually take quite long, it's probably time to just jump straight in it. What do you think? What do you think, my love? Should we get to it? Let's get to it for some Bridal Plasty. So I'm going to pop in my Ohrhänge. Yes, I I know it's not really the correct German word. The correct German word would be Kopfhörer. Although, because they are in fact branded, it is just AirPods. I know, but if I can be silly in English, I think I can be silly in any language. Oh, and I think it might be time for a scandal plastic. Come on, Shana Moakley, show me what you've got, girl. Previously on Bridal Plasty, I am like so confident that I'm gonna love my new. I just realized that that was a, that was a um that was a sound effect that they, that ripping off was like clearly that didn't make that noise in real life did it like i didn't even realize on the last episode that that was a thing that happened but also someone told me that um the reason why dr dubrow has removed this thing is to check make sure that her nose hasn't gone black so do with that information what you will my loves oh god oh it's gonna be good it's gonna be so good <laughs> i'm gonna give her a seven. Oh that yeah, made myself vile man skyrocket I vile candle man your mother gonna cry when she sees those tattoos and that it's pretty dress. It's graceful thing to say to someone. Embarrassing. <laughs> So someone actually sent me a message on Instagram and said that they got onto his page and asked him about why he left these comments for these women. And now apparently he's covered in tattoos himself. So like, the apple never rots far from the melted candle girls. Disgusting behavior. Such a hypocrite. With the highest score, you are the top bride. Oh yes, and she it got to her It feels amazing to finally win breast. a challenge and my boo. Kristen Boobie. wasn't sure exactly what size implant she wanted, so we're gonna try them on. She is swallowing these up. Unfortunately swallowing them up. I just also want to say that someone left in the comments that actually they do prop you up and try in different implant sizes. I'm quite surprised to know that because surely you can't reuse an implant. So if you put an implant in to try a size and then um, that size doesn't work, they take them out and put a different implant in. What then happens to that implant that they've used? Like clearly that doesn't, well, I should hope that that doesn't go back into circulation of implant use. I would hope that goes directly in the incinerator. But does it? Anyone know? Does anybody know in the comments? Because I'm very confused about that. I was just a bit like, yeah, is that a waste of product? I mean, I guess it's not really a waste because you are finding out the answer. But you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Definitely, Alexandra, Dominique, and Jamie, you are our three bottom brides. Oh, so yes. Ethan Marie already told Dominique she voted for her. So you Scandal. already know that that means mm -hmm. so Melissa are going to vote for her too. Yes. No, We're seeing the power like dynamic happen. The one standing at the end if no one stops their asses. Oh, oh yes, wow. Janessa the little me. serpent. I'm so sorry. I know that I convinced Allison to go for Alexandra. I'm really the puppet master. <gasps> Jamie, Scandal. your time here at Bridal Plasty is now over. Bye Jamie, you have saved, been saved from this absolute nonsense. Oh. Oh. This is such a bizarre intro, so bizarre. Bing, jim, bleep, 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 bleep. Bridal Plasty Girls. Ooh. Sunrise. Burn everybody to a crisp. Ducks. The Swan Girls. More like the goose. What's this? Breakfast at Tiffany's. 
Oh, gypsies. Oh, there we are, the hell room. I'm so sorry. I had to call my fiance and let him know that he didn't have to rush home and pick me up. Okay. I'm really glad you're still here. I don't know. This is like way too much for me. I'm just so happy just to honestly still be here. here. Like, honestly, I'm just like, whatever. Well, what made oh. me mad was all four same girls were the other girls that voted for the all same time last time. Lisa Marie with three oh, brides yeah, at your table. The game. You are safe she from being sent it. home. Dominique with there three guests goes. at your table. You are still in the running to become the perfect bride. I mean, like, realistically, this is a reality TV show, so of course alliances are going to form. I don't know why um, this contestant is feeling a little bit like, uh, why? When I feel like what would be prudent in this situation, if you really wanted to make it towards the end, would be to join in with the alliance and, like, be like, yes, all right then, why don't I, like, double cross all of you and get to the top, girls? But isn't it funny? Isn't it funny? When I started this series, I was like, no, it's all wrong. It's completely incorrect. I don't want any of this. No, it's all wrong. Morally bankrupt girls. Now I'm like fully invested. Like, yes, you should do this and play this game of chess with that woman over there. Oh, yes, win. Isn't it weird? Isn't it weird what reality TV makes us do? I, I know. wonder, is this how you guys are going to vote every time? It is Probably. how going to vote. They have formed a click together. A Janessa, click. Lisa Marie, Melissa and Dominique all have an alliance. So it's important that the rest of us stick together. Janessa's not stupid. Or join it. Janessa is a smart pageant type of girl. <gasps> I think she's got queen. this game plan in her head. She does. And it's like slowly unfolding the way she wants it to. Who is talking? Mm -hmm. Janessa Who is and talking? Melissa are the two the most afraid of. Who is talking? Is it, is it her to... talking? It's so weird. Then it just literally like everyone was like and someone over the top was like, well, Janessa did this and she's also a snake and she's got an alliance with other people. But everyone was like, Janessa's got a snake over this and it's absolutely disgusting what Janessa's doing. I'm very confused. It's like watching a puppet show, girls. Rid of them? I Bridal puppets. I one of those women oh, it is win this title. Win this title? Is this a title? America's first top bridal plasty? <gasps> oh, look who it isn't. Come for your brow lift, girl. Last week I was top bride and I got my new boobs and Dr. DeRoe is going to come check up on me and show me how they look. Okay, I'm just going to take a quick look, okay? Okay. Good. So you're having some sharp pain on the right, right? Okay. The gurgling. Yeah, the gurgling. I should have warned you about that. Sorry. Okay, well, they're perfect. What did you just say? The gurgling. I should have warned you about that. Sorry, there's gurgling happening? Gurgling? So I'm very familiar with the idea that if you have saline implants, you can actually feel like a sloshing or even like internally hear like a, a, a liquid sound. I didn't know that that could happen with silicone implants. I believe that she got silicone implants from the way that he was like massaging them inside of her breast tissue last week. Oh, what a sentence that was. People who've had breast implants in the comments, are you meant to hear a sloshing? Do you know, I really wanted breast implants, but after these last few things that we've watched from like 20 years ago, I do kind of feel like maybe that's not for me. Maybe I'll just get fat grafting for a nice chest. Maybe that's what I'll do. It's quite scary, isn't it, surgery? Everything you do is perfect. My breast looks What's all perfect. This, like? this couldn't be better news Uplift to me. Music. At least if I go home, <gasps> I'm gonna go home with perfect breath. You're nice recovering nicely. It's not gonna what's, hurt. What's with all this like peeping from behind a pillow? Like, hello, I can see you with your boobies, Gail. Very interesting editing that we're having today. Right, you said, I know you said it wouldn't. It's Part of this will be a little uncomfortable. Oh, see, like, you lied. Dr. Dubrow is taking the cast off my nose and taking the splints out from the inside of my nose. Ooh. So I'm gonna take out these internal oh, splints. Oh, they do hurt. Right they do hurt. It's out. Oh my gosh. Ew, Birth no way. to a worm. That was not in my nose. Yeah. That's gnarly. Oh my god, it's the worst part of the entire thing. Oh. It looks really good. You it looks, really love it. It looks freaking good. Oh, it's so good. I'm wishing I had a... What? Wait, 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 sorry, what is this photo? What, what, what? They, you mean to tell me they could not find another better photo? They couldn't have taken a better... Well, how are we meant to see anything here? It's like, we've got this wonderful lady in the reception area, then we've got... The a... Witch of the Swamp Girls! Like, how am I, how are we meant to see, like... What? A mirror to quick look before he tapes it down, but I don't. Oh. I wanted to see what it looked like. Oh, your tape. Well, it's not stably. the swan. You can look at whatever you want. It is time for you to join everyone. Your <gasps> roommate is discharged. <laughs> oh my goodness. I like recovery, okay. and I don't know what the next competition will entail. So I'm definitely nervous. Will you be able time. to like go back into like <laughs> surgery again? Because I'm really jealous. Oh my 
god. She's like definitely bigger than I am. Here, She's walking around with her bosoms out. Oh, brilliant. Okay. <gasps> oh, look, a titty off. Oh, I love it. Isn't it ludicrous? Isn't it just ludicrous to just be like, hello? Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. This is happening now. Okay. <laughs> Oh, everyone. I'm oh, like my goodness. Oh, my okay. God. Okay. Everyone's like, wow. oh, boots. Hers are beautiful, though. She's like, yeah, she's totally oh, bigger than I am now. No, she is. Like, totally. Oh, have a booby pageant? Yeah. <laughs> booby pageant. You know what pageant. I like about yours, though, is they're, they're shaped perfectly, which is what I'm waiting for. So are Shaped. That's what my mom's like. Oh, a buxom you. woman. Oh, jealous. Um, maybe you'd like to put a vest back on now? <laughs> Pink box. Ladies. With a bear wall. Bear. There's a package in the kitchen. A box of squash I walk into in the, the kitchen, kitchen and I see a cake box. I am so excited. I'm like, is this the next challenge? Are we going to be decorating cake? cakes? Like, what is going on? Oh my God. <laughs> Add another thing to the children's pageant, everybody, today. You've done your puzzle. You've got your dress on. Now today we're going to decorate cupcakes. Oh, yes. Thank you. It's a real cake, of course. Oh, I don't think that that's sugar-free. <laughs> I mean, just because I'm a diabetic doesn't mean that I'm immune to sugar. I still crave it. I still want it. <laughs> Ladies, nightmare. get Absolute ready for nightmare. the tastiest part of planning your wedding. <laughs> I'll see you shortly at the showroom of LA's premier cake designer. Oh, oh is it Beverly God. Hills, cake woman on the game? <laughs> oh, gosh, don't you love cake? I love cake. So we pulled up to Hanson's Han Cakes. This Hanson's is cakes. celebrity, fine quality cakes. And they celebrity can really cakes? help me figure out celebrity what the cake. cake I can have for my wedding. Okay, cake. Oh. This is getting better and better. Dress, like ring, no cake. Like now we're getting into the good stuff. I must say, I must say, it's interesting seeing like Cheyenne and Kristen form this like bond uh, after having like surgery because anybody who's ever gone through surgery with someone will know this there's like if you go away and like get like your lips done or whatever together you have this like recovery process together and that's kind of like quite bonding in a way so it's nice to see this like friendship flourishing girls hello ladies oh, and welcome to the famous hansen's cake shop i'd like to introduce you to a good friend of mine patrick hansen <gasps> hello surprise surpri hello patrick is a seventh generation cake maker from Frank Sinatra to Tori Spelling, Patrick and his family have been making cakes for tons of celebrities. Oh my God, did you hear that? From Frank Sinatra to Tori Spelling. I mean, quite leagues of different caliber of celebrity there, isn't that? Mm, yes, quite. Wow, a celebrity wedding, that's what I'm here for. The flowers, the dress, and of course, the cake. Today we're gonna taste the difference between a low quality cake and a Hanson's cake. Let's Goodness. start by trying the cake on the left. I'll grab this one. Yeah, right. Oh, it's lovely. I love this low quality cake. I didn't want to finish that. Sorry. It was awful. Okay, ladies, try oh, the cake so... on your right. Mm. Oh my God. Could you tell the difference? Yeah. Th did you hear? Did you hear the music being like, and everyone happy fairy time fairy cakes? Uh. I don't know what it is about cake. I absolutely love a, a double or triple chocolate gâteau with profiteroles on top. Oh, <gasps> that's what I would have at my wedding. I just have. Here you go. Get your bucket of profiteroles, everybody. Oh, I love profiteroles. <gasps> I might treat myself later. By looking at it, it just looks oh, moist. Oh my god, oh, Hanson's dear. cakes. Nothing like I've ever tasted ever before. Moist. A lot of people have a problem with the word moist. I don't, because you wouldn't want a damp cake, would you? Absolutely not. Why don't we take a look around this gorgeous showroom and look through some of the albums? Wow, some of them are brilliant. Yeah. Incredible. So it's so creative. Not very much, but the buttercream can look like fondant. Yes. That actually preferred yes. buttercream taste. Yes, that's what we're famous for. Okay, that would be perfect for me. I want something to be chic and elegant. She's so like on the ball. But something that people will remember. And I feel like Hans's is the perfect place to help me do that. This is a beautiful cake. She's so I love business. Like Tiffany Bob. Kind of digging this. Oh my god. We had pearls all the time. Yeah, I'd love that. I oh love that. Love that. She likes pearls. I love oh. pearls. My favorite. Yeah. Okay, ladies, are you ready for the fun part? Yes. Oh. 
Decorate a woman. Wedding cakes are tokens for oh. you to put in your bridal closets. Oh. And remember, the perfect bride will have her. Don't, don't go and put a cake in your closet. It'll rot, girls. Could you imagine? So in this closet, we've got wedding dresses, we've got rings, we've got plastic surgery, we've got rotting cakes, all in their little closets. Lovely. Who's going to clean out the closet? Kim would burn. You horrible, horrible girl. I don't think. Perfect wedding cake provided by Hansons. Oh. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> the cakes at the shop are freaking ridiculous. Oh, net. This guy can do anything with cake. It's incredible. Patrick, thank you so much for having us today. Ladies, I hope your taste buds were paying attention because when I see you back at the house, it will be time for your next challenge. <gasps> with challenge. every great thing that's brought up to us, there is a challenge to of follow. Of course there is. Of course, but that's Boom. TV go. Well, where well, whom? Come on in, ladies. You can take a seat right here. Gosh, look Obviously, at those whatever she's got the on. That is, is a good shoe. I'm trying my That's hardest not one. to be a bottom bride. Not to be a bottom. Oh. It's now time for your next bridal plasty challenge. Kristen, An eating you will not contest. Be competing in this challenge because you are still on medical leave. Oh. Besides the ceremony, the other crucial part of your wedding will be the reception. You want the dinner to be memorable and tasteful, and that's what this challenge is all about. We will be playing five rounds for each course. I will give you two items. One marked white, the other black. One of them will be of the highest quality, while the other is completely bottom of the barrel. Pick Wait. the one you think is of finer quality. Wait! At the end of the challenge, the bride with the highest point total will become our top bride. Well, isn't like, that's so strange, because isn't like quality, like to your own taste? Like something that I think is high quality, really delicious and made beautifully, might not necessarily be what somebody else considers that. Um, so are they only judging basically on price? Are they trying to guess like which one's the most expensive? And that's what this whole show is basically trying to push on them is that like more expensive is better. Hmm, not sure I agree with that. So we've got a taste challenge. I don't know how well I would do in something like this. I would love to try it. Wouldn't you like to try some of these challenges? Maybe not doing a puzzle, but a puzzle for liposuction? No, come off it. And of course, the brides with the three lowest scores will become our bottom brides and be at risk of going home. Risk. Okay, ladies, are you ready to test your taste buds? Mm -hmm. Food? What was that? Food? Please place your napkins on your lap. <sighs> Why are they trying to make her out to be like that? Uh-huh, I'm looking for the food. On your lap. <laughs> oh, oh, The compliment no. to all great wedding toasts is champagne. Oh, and one I of the glasses champagne. in front of you is a pour from a $499 bottle. And the other is $3.78. $3 champagne! Black or white. You choose. Oh, scandal. I am accustomed to the generic version what, of things this? and the discount store things. Fine champagne. Mm -mm. Oh, Janessa, I that stop doing all that. I've been exposed to a lot of higher quality items. Obviously, exposed. you know, I'm, I live close to New York, so I go to New York all the time. Where some of the other girls. What are... is it about reality TV that's always very like New York City, New York City to girls? It's very strange, isn't it? From all the reality TV shows that I've ever like watched and consumed, everyone seems to have this like very specific like, oh, I'm from New York City. I'm from New York. I go to New York. Like it's oh, New York. Like, do you know what I mean? It's interesting, isn't it? Isn't it interesting? Mm. Just not classy. Go on, girls. I had champagne four what? times my entire life. To... Four times. Great. They... <sighs> it's the one that's going to taste rank. Please push forward the finer choice. Gosh, the music. It's like they're off to the guillotine. The finer selection is the glass marked white. Oh. I just got this one right. I am so excited. Top bride is definitely looking like it's in my reach this week. You've just uh, calm down, sis. You've just Janessa, Dominique, moved Cheyenne, your glass about. Alexandra, you have one point. Let's go to okay. the next course. On one of the crackers is an exquisite example of pate de foie gras. On the other Ugh. cracker, foie gras is absolutely disgusting. Have you ever tried it? It is absolutely disgusting back when i was a meat eater i did indeed try it and it was not it along with bone marrow it's just one of those things that's just like ostentatious nonsense that is actually like quite unpleasant 
Blah. Is your common deli liverwurst made from factory raised pig liver? Oh, oh God. Cheyenne, are you okay, sweetie? I can't really smell. So I can't taste a lot. So I'm just working. Okay, well, just try to do the best you can, okay? <laughs> Shane Moakley is Satan. I've just had surgery, so I can't smell or taste very much, and that's going to hinder my ability in this challenge. Okay, sweetie, will you just try anyway? We're not doing it. We're not now. We're not listening. See you later. Wow. 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 Okay, that's great. Really top-notch television right there. Everyone else can taste better than I can. And you are even if I can like, beat out like two of the girls, there's no way I'm going to beat out like three of them and just be safe. You never know what can oh, happen. Wow. It's a 50 50 shot. Not really. I won't know the difference. Poor Cheyenne. The foie gras is a delicacy made of fatty duck liver. It's <laughs> Wow. Wait, is Fogwa made of duck liver? I thought it was goose, actually. Hmm. Hey Siri, what does make Fogwa? Apparently it can be made from duck or goose liver, so there you go. I believe I've had goose liver, Fogwa. It is not acceptable, it is absolutely cruel, and it is also quite rancid tasting. So, you know, there we are. On the other cracker is your common deli liverwurst made from factory-raised pig liver. God, they're really pushing that home, aren't they? Factory-raised. Everyone's like, oh, factories. It's just going to taste more oily. Please place the finer choice in front of you. The difference is going to be like a lot more like oily tasting. The finer selection is the black plate. <gasps> So at this Scandal. point, I'm pretty much assuring myself that I'm going to be a bottom bride. So oh, Janessa, Allison. Lisa Marie, Dominique, Cheyenne. Interesting there's no vegetarian brides. You are all Interesting. Correct. I'm so happy at this point. I'm like, okay, maybe I can do this off of like my other however many senses you have. Nettie, Allison, oh, and Melissa, you are currently our three bottom brides. <gasps> but we have a few more rounds, so let's go to the next course. Come on, girls. I mean, I only have three chances left. If I don't get any right, then I'm SOL. I'm gonna be bottom right, and I can't have that happen. No. Oh no! Absolutely. The next oh, round the will be wine. One of the glasses contains a poured red wine from the Bordeaux region of southwest France. It's three hundred fifty dollars per bottle. Wait, did she say Bordeaux region? Bordeaux region of southwestern France? Bordeaux? Do you mean Bordeaux? So interesting, apparently I can't find much about Bordeaux level wines, but I'm assuming she means Bordeaux region? I'm assuming that's what she means. Interesting that she's trying to portray this air of like exclusivity and celebrity, but also can't pronounce the names of the things where things are from. Hmm, interesting. I smell a fakery afoot. The wine is famous for its earthy undertones. Earthy the undertones. No wine, e jug wine ever tastes like. I would like. put some dirt in. <gasps> You're not going to feed them dirt. Dirt in? Cheers. Okay, the pressure's nice. on. Because I nice. do not want to look like I don't have any clothes. Nice. Have you ever, ever tasted a wine that ever says what it says on the bottle? You know when they're like, these vanillary, blush, flowery, floral, fruity tones. No, it's wine. It all tastes dry, acidic, and makes you kind of go, ah. red, Some red wines are actually quite tasty, I must admit. But you would never, earthy tones, like dirt, I don't think. Oh, out goes the pinky go. Please push forward your finer choice. Ooh. Janessa and Nettie, you, Nanny, you are the only two that chose white. The legs. And you chose... The dirt wine. Oh, Janessa. No way. I'm oh. excited. I got one right. And it was booze. Oh, I just wanted to, like, smack my head against the table. Like, oh, honestly, my God, out of all these girls. I've just... got the wine wrong! Smack! That seems a bit excessive, doesn't it? <laughs> Ladies, as we stand oh, right, right now, okay. we have a tie at the top between Alexandra, Cheyenne, and Dominique. Oh. I'm, like, competing for the top. Oh, wow, that's really my habit. I could just bang them all out. <laughs> Might as well. I mean, Let's okay. go to the next course. I know that I'm, if I miss four and five, I could be one of the bottom brides. <gasps> and one of the crackers, ladies, is Alaskan king crab. And the oh. other is imitation crab, spelled with a K. Imitation crab? You may taste your crackers. You mean like it's vegetarian? Vegan? If I don't get this one right, I'm 
almost guaranteed. You're looking for a stringy texture that's quite salty. Please push forward the finer plate. Oh, oh, oh. The ooh. black plate is correct. Nettie's not getting any right. I'm like, wow. She has no taste and no class. Nettie, Lisa Marie. <laughs> that's funny, Janessa, because you think going on a bridal plasty show to get plastic surgery whilst competing against other women is classy. Well, haven't you got a shock in your future, girl? I am fully gagged at that that level of like, just because something is more expensive does not mean it is finer. Sometimes people are out here just wanting to scam you girls. It's a scam you girls. I can't bear this level of like, hypocrisy because like if I meet someone who I truly think is classy that comes into my life I always feel like it's one of those cases where like you can't buy style you just know when someone has like style if you ever seen like the inside of really rich people's houses they are messy cluttered nonsenses when you see someone that's got style you know you can't buy it rich people have zero taste so the idea that Janessa is here going like I picked the dirt wine but Nettie's got no taste doesn't make any sense to me at all like you like what you like, my loves. Is that obscene to suggest? Lisa Marie and Melissa just cannot be in the bottom because then half of my alliance is in the bottom brides, which means one out of three of them is going home. Time Ooh. for the fifth course. The alliance this might get is ruined. The last choice. If I get this right and Cheyenne and Dominique do not, that means I will be top bride. I'll be walking into Dr. Dubrow's office tomorrow for a brow lift. <laughs> So going into the fifth round, I know I have to nail this one and hopefully avoid being a bottom ride. What is it? What is it? What is it? Burgers. Beef. One beef. of the patties is made from 100% Japanese Kobe Wagyu. beef. Oh, it Kobe. retails for about $100 per pound. The cattle used to produce this beef is fed one beer a day. It's massaged weekly with sake. The other meat is discount store-bought chuck, which we got on clearance for $1.87, marked down from $2.25. Remember, Cheyenne, Dominique... They are really shaming people in this show. Like, I just get the whole concept of this show just seems to be, like, shaming them into, like, feeling bad for having to either save money, like... Ashley, who went home first in the first week, with everyone just seemed to be like, uh, 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 you don't have lots of money, therefore you're worth less than the rest of us. It's just so, like, unnecessary. Like, why is Shayna being like, ugh, we got it on discount, girl? Well, it's like, well, your hair looks discount, your face looks discount, your shoes are discount, your clothes are discount. Now where are you, Shayna? Where's your career now? Is it discounted by any chance? Because bridal plastic's mostly unwatched? Can't even pronounce Bordeaux. Ugh, scum. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine? And this right, is on. the last course. I, I don't know if I would be able to tell. I'm not sure. Because this? surely the idea of having like a delicious piece of beef is not to have it like mashed up into a burger. Because surely that just will take away all the flavour that you would have with a piece of beef. So like if they were cooking steak, I think you could really easily tell the difference. But who can tell the difference between burgers? It's just literally like the amount of juice in there, which could easily be artificially put in there with like cookery techniques so like all right all right all right i'll hold my tongue let's see shall we this beef Come on, Allison. is nothing like i've ever tasted before it literally melts in your mouth both pieces. allison uh would you like some ketchup <laughs> please well, put weird. forward the finer choice why, why say that cheyenne and lisa marie you both chose the black plate and you both got it wrong. <gasps> Scandal girls. After the initial Ooh. five rounds, we have a tie for the two top brides, Dominique and Alexandra. Oh. I'm so disappointed that I'm out for top bride. If I had just pushed forward the white one, like I could have had another surgery. We also currently have- Yeah, but like you could say that about anything. You'd be like, oh, if I only won the lottery, I could get all the surgery I want. Oh, if someone only gave me their house, I'd have a house. Like that, what ludicrous. Absolute, no. Have three Gout. brides. Lisa Marie, Nettie, and Melissa. The worst thing that could have possibly happened, happened. We have one member of the bond who might be out from the vote. And we have two that are bottom brides. So it's gonna come down to me and Lisa Marie. And I doubt we can save the both of us. We're gonna Ooh. have a top bride showdown to determine which one of you will a be showdown. the top bride. Gonna lip the rest for of your you plastic? can get up and sit down next to Kristen, please. 
This is really bad. I don't know exactly how I'm going to pull this off. I don't know how I'm going to keep both Lisa Marie and Melissa in the house. Oh. Top right doesn't get a vote at the RSVP ceremony. So I'm just hoping that Dominique loses the top right because oh. we really need her vote. Oh, in front of you, there are five serpent. pieces of cake. One of them Ooh, is Hanson's cake. cake. Oh, it is lovely. one of the finest custom-made wedding cakes available. One of the cakes is from your common grocery store. One of them common. is a homemade box cake mix made by our craft service lady. One of them is a cake made by a seven-year-old child. <laughs> <laughs> and lastly, one of the cakes is a bulk store cake that we left out for the last couple days. The How first one of you lies. to correctly you arrange your cakes these will become stale our top cake, surely. Bride. And of course, you have the opportunity to get one of your plastic surgeries from your wish list. I'm feeling great. If I win, I really, really want my tummy tuck. But no matter what, it looks like Janessa's alliance is in big trouble. Wait, did I'm you hear that? That was such a planted sentence. The like volume and the level and the intonation of that sentence was just clearly like put in in post-production. So that was like no nothing to do with it until now. Literally like Janessa's alliance, go. Oh, I'm excited though. Who's excited? Close to being the top ride and finally getting the nose job that I've been dreaming of. Nose forever. job again? Go. Okay. Oh, God, what is this? Is it first to guess? Gosh, the drama, girls, the drama. She's knocked her label over. Come on, Janessa. Done. Serpent. Ooh. Alexandra, I'm sorry that's incorrect. Ow! You oh are my our god. Top bride. Alexandra misses out oh. again. Congratulations, girl. Thank you. <laughs> that was straight bull crap. I didn't get my tummy tuck, but I know that my chances are going to be coming around soon. Congratulations, Dominique. Okay. Uh, I'm like, Dominique, seriously? Like, did you not think about this at all? Like, we need your vote. Like, we can't you, we can't lose this. Oh, Janessa, look, the cracks are appearing between the Botox scale. Um Janessa is not your friend, Dominique. You do whatever you want. Thank you so much. You are our top bride. Thank you. Oh my god, I'm like shaking. I can't I can't believe it. This means that you are safe not only this week, but next week as well. Elimination. And you will have the no. opportunity to choose one Immunity. of the plastic surgeries off your wish list. Okay. Oh Congratulations. Gosh. Thank you so much. As our top bride, you will be leaving right it's now. So, incorrect. so you can go to the house and Off pack you go, go. Bag. You've just eaten loads of food, but Janessa you know what? That's fine, apparently. And they need to be taken down. The rest of you, you all have a very important decision to make because you will be deciding which one of the bottom brides will be sent home. Lisa Marie, Nettie, or Melissa. God. The guillotine goes. It's a new day. It's pixels. Oh no, it's the night time. It's not pixels. Being the oh. I really think we gotta get Melissa out of this house. Right? Melissa needs to go. This is it. This is the opportunity. Oh, no. <laughs> Melissa and I were not close. Since day one, yeah, she has been yeah, she stuck done? to Janessa's side like glue. I mean, Ooh. Melissa hasn't even come to visit me in the recovery room, so it's not <gasps> like I really owe her my vote. Yes, that's I'm true. Sure Cheyenne's gonna vote for probably Nettie. I'm voting for Nettie. Okay, then I'll link to all Denise Marie. So if we could just split up our votes for Lisa Ooh, Marie and Nettie. I love the way that all of them were talking about this alliance on the other side. But like, they are right now forming an alliance, right? That's what this behavior is. So like, you, it's, it's very, it's very, it's very like sneaky fingers in all the pies. Isn't it? All those pies have all those fingers in. It's a scandal pie. Melissa's ass is out of here. Oh, Once goodbye Melissa. Melissa. Goes, the whole thing between Melissa and Janessa is over. Oh, my I mean, God. I know. Not really. Is it? This is such a frustrating situation. Half of what my alliance know? is in the bottom. <gasps> I don't know how I'm going to keep both Lisa Marie and Melissa in the house. You're Somehow not going have to. have to get more votes. My one vote is not enough to save them. Oh, her hair's changed. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Got to get the vote. This is very sneaky.
Monique. Hi. Hi, how are you? Good. Good, Good. to see you. Good Good to your see brow you lift. Again. There's really only one very important thing that I want to get done, and that's fixing my nose. Let's have a look. Okay. I'm really excited to do this because you have a really nice facial shape, very cute, mm -hmm. and this is sort of the one thing that doesn't really belong here. I huh? agree. Also, I think your nose is a little bit wide, and we're really just going to file this down and reduce it a bit. I'm excited for Kevin to see, you know? I mean, I feel like it's a big part of changing what I look like, and I'm really just on my way to having- What's with all these dark photos they have taken? This is so, look how dark this picture is. How are we meant to see anything? But apparently you guys also let me know that Dr. Dubrow Lift now doesn't do any facial surgeries on botched, I'm guessing? Like, maybe he just doesn't do them at all anymore? I'm not entirely sure. Sure, but like that's quite interesting that he like basically made a name for himself doing these facial like full transformation surgeries and now doesn't do them. Well, I suppose we do like a little bit of character development, don't we, girls? Yes, probably. My dream wedding in being that perfect bride. And so perfect we're going to make a perfect nose. minor changes to a lot of the nose, which will make a major change to your overall nose. Okay. Okay. Go ahead and I do. I do kind of agree with that when it comes to cosmetic surgery. Is that literally millimeters can make a massive difference? The idea. I think a lot of people when they go in for plastic surgery almost want like an entirely new face. And I feel like you need to have realistic expectations, but also really understand if your face moves in a certain direction, like if you decrease your nose width by a millimeter, how is that going to affect the rest of the features on your face as well so like mm, do kind of agree with that with dr dubrow lift scandal get this done yes. okay <laughs> thank you so much you're, doctor you're so welcome it's been fun <laughs> okay fun <gasps> oh, God, okay. Deep breath for me okay okay here we go here we go here we Just go girls a couple minutes to take good care of you bingly bong <gasps> 99 girls we're actually going to place a piece of the septum into the tip to stabilize it when we narrow and refine the tip. A piece of the septum into the tip to stabilize it. Wow. Heidi, oh no. We're gonna break this nose. Mm. Tap, tap. Let's try to get very controlled break on this. No, no come on, tap it. Tap, tap, tap. Okay. <gasps> oh, okay. God. oh my God. Come on, look at the bleeding. Oh. <gasps> now we're gonna put these splints that Cheyenne loved <laughs> when I took out. We've got it looking really good, so we're gonna close the incision. Okay, Dominique, heal. This is this. We killed it. We so killed it. <gasps> Bleeding, blood girls. I was. Gassed. That was awesome. I mean, all right. Wow, that was like. I don't know. I felt like I was being educated as I watched that. I didn't feel quite as disgusted as I have done throughout some of the other videos that we've been doing and covering on my Chanel recently. She did bleed quite a lot then. Obviously, I'm going to have to completely blur it for um for YouTube because YouTube hates blood. Susan's like, no, I spotted some blood girls. You are banned. So obviously, I don't want that to happen. But um, hopefully, she re recovers quite well. I mean, when he when Doctor Dubrow was like. Uh, she's bleeding. I was a bit like, mm, does that mean that like something is happening? Oh, I don't know. It's so difficult to predict what these shows are going to come out with because like the drama is just magnified, girls. <gasps> Recovery, How are you girls. Feeling today? Good. Hey, yeah. Good. How are you feeling? <sighs> Nervous. Ooh. Yesterday I was are like, you, you know, I was trying to like. Oh, she's like, trying to pressure. like. Like, I talked to Alexandra, and mm -hmm. our goal is to have you and Nettie stay. It's such a relief knowing that Kristen and Alexandra Since want me to stay. When? But Janessa, Melissa, and Dominique, we have an alliance going on, and now one of us may go home. This is not looking good. Ooh, Personally, stepping. like, I have nothing against Melissa, but mm -hmm. I haven't seen her once. Like, I don't even have a relationship with her. She doesn't make a point to and which you is do. true mm -hmm. in and a if case you're like such this a good person and like i feel like you deserve it it's like i don't even have a relationship with her she doesn't make a point to and you do mm. and like you're such a good person and like i feel like you deserve it i really I feel think like lisa marie is a total sweetheart she's just been brainwashed by that stupid alliance i can't <gasps> speak for everyone mm. and i can at least speak for myself and alexandra like we don't have any plans for sending you home yeah Oh, goodness. Huh? Who am I talking about? Kristen? And what about him? Neither one of those two will vote. Oh my god, did she just go to mean Alexandra? That is 
quite rude, actually. And also, like, the fact that she's trying to be all covert about it, but, like, the, the editors are just like, she's talking about this person and this person. It's like the icing on the handsome cake girls. Oh, did you see that? Throwback. Yeah, I'm paying attention. <laughs> well, not because... Oh, no. She's like... Like... Because mm -mm. she's, like, really hurt. You're, you're echoing. Mm -hmm. It's yes. just simply it. Yeah. I'm not confident that I can sway other girls' votes, but I want to do everything Janessa I can. Vanessa changes her hair constantly in these confessions. I think the Alliance might get a bit effed up here. So I just, like, I want to talk to you about a few things. I would just, like, want to talk to people that were voting and, like, see, like, mm. what do you think is important? It's kind of difficult because... I'm getting she to know Lisa no... Marie a lot. She She's will a give caring you person. the shit off her back. She really yeah. will. And yeah. it's just like, I see that. And then Nenny, I'm just starting to get talked to. But you know, I haven't gotten to know Melissa at all. Kristen, I was you don't have to tell the serpent. She, yeah, it's really yeah. hard for her to like open Everyone up to really people. like oily. And like, I feel like Glossy, it's, you know, oily women on the game. In this situation, like, I feel that, you know, you know, they're serving our country. And it's like, it's sad that they feel that they have to hold everything inside. Janessa's grasping at straws to keep yeah. Melissa here. Yeah. She deserves what? my vote because she's an army wife. What? You guys, totally Dominique agree, Kristen. Is so Dominique is back, girls. <gasps> oh, oh, another kitty. Wait, what's the music? <laughs> Rewind take. What? Oh, Dominique looks a hot mess. Like. But she's like the third one now who has gotten a plastic surgery. And it just makes it all that much more real that, you know, I could be in that recovery room next. But well, you're in the bottom, you sis. Okay? Yeah, I'm not so bad right now. You seem really stuffy. Oh. Just, um... Oh dear, very swollen. Yay. Oh, the Alliance girl has come here to see you. How are you doing? Melissa hasn't visited Melissa. me once. Not once. And here she is to visit Dominique in the recovery room. Mmm. Scandal girls. We're so glad you're back. Yeah, it takes a little while. But you know, as soon as you go on here, you wait for it back up. Shame. You look like this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Kristen's nice. My nice. decision has been made. <gasps> and it was just proven, too. I will be down to mark my words if Melissa or Janessa does win something like this because I do feel like they've been the most manipulative and most untrustworthy so far. Yes. Yes. Oh, Kristen, yes. Come on, girl. Snatch the crown, but also don't because this is Coming a terrible up. show. Oh, pixelation. I'm bipolar because you just flipped out that you came in there to see Dominique and never came in there to see her. But that doesn't mean you... Uh, that is unacceptable. That does not mean she has bipolar disorder because she's clocked onto the fact that you are being snakes, like hideous serpentine. That is not, that doesn't mean she's bipolar. That means that your plan to manipulate this woman isn't working. Gaslight, girl boss, gatekeep. I don't think, I don't think. Just because I went in there to see Dominique and you never came in to see her. Kristen's yeah, so definitely a drama starter. And Stupid. I really need to explain to Melissa that it's drama crucial starter. to stay out of the recovery Drama room. stuff. Wait, Janessa, be quiet. Just don't go in and see but it. how can I not go and see you? You really, well, do you want do you want to go home then? Well, I just might. If it was me, I would not go in there. This is not looking good. Melissa needs one more vote besides mine to be safe. But it might be up to me to get that one vote for her. <gasps> see, that is immature. The you know cavalry what? goes. Like, she's one with the power right now now. So do you want to accept it? I visit Dominique because yeah. she's part of the bond, you know? Like, what the hell would me and Kristen talk about? That little hippo. She called her a hippo. She called her a hippo. Well, do you know what, Melissa? Just going in to make sure that somebody that you're living with for three months and go, oh, is, did your surgery go? How are you feeling? Are you okay? Goes a long way. What is all this like? She's a hippo. I'm not talking to her. Why would I go in there and talk to her? Oh, oh, all oh, the vial really jumped out then, didn't it? Oh, it's a full moon girl. The werewolves are out. There's only five voters. Yeah. Interesting. We're really getting down to the nitty gritty of this whole competition, aren't oh, we? What is she doing holding her face like that? The There's a crisis girl. Here's your sign. The bottom. Everyone's oh. pretty much in agreement that we want Lisa Marie to stay because she's very caring. 
Well, here's the thing. I, I feel like Melissa she needs to grow a lot, and so I feel like in that sense she needs to be here. Like the same way people gave you a second chance, like she needs to be here to like know that it's okay. okay. To be she was getting a second chance. I am feeling nervous for Melissa, nice. but I'm really hoping that at least one of them will give Melissa a chance. Oh, I love drama. Do you love drama? Ooh. When I'm not involved in it, anyway. <laughs> Pixel go. Why is there so many boobies everywhere? Melissa has been trying to convince us. Keep Melissa here, basically. <gasps> but it's not happening. Oh, what's gonna happen? Between last week she was still Miss Puppet Master, and now all of a sudden, oh, she starts to realize your ring's falling, bitch. Oh. Janessa, you know how she like she wants to keep Melissa here, because she has that whole little thing going on with them. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Please. And she's like, I don't understand why you guys want to keep Nettie here. <gasps> bitch, come tell me to my fate. To the I said, said oh, see you now. Oh, they, her plan is working. She's getting you worked as, up. Like snake-like as Janessa. She has a dirty soul. I'm a dirty bitch. A dirty soul. How do you think she got her man to propose? Oh, <gasps> forces us into it. <laughs> the tea is shaking everywhere. You need to go talk to people and let them get to know you. Like who? Everybody knows you. You need to let people like really get to know you. Cause you haven't done that. And I think you need to let people know like what you've been through. Like. I think I get it, but I don't know that anybody else does. Like with TJ being gone? Yeah. Like, I don't honestly know if people really know what you've been through, like how they could send you home. You can't incite people to vote for you if they don't know why you're here. Right. I'll do that. I'm gonna, I'll go talk to everybody. These girls who want to vote me out, I'm gonna have to fight and let them know how much I really want it. Yeah, yeah. but it might be too late, Melissa. I kinda wanna talk. <gasps> Hopefully I can get at least one more vote. What's up? Well, you know, I feel like, I feel like since I've been here, I like, people feel like I don't care or something like that, but like, obviously I do. I really do. If I leave, that Aww. just means I have to sacrifice more time with my husband. It's a bit begging, isn't it? Because I have to go to training and so it's more time away from him because we don't have the money to pay for the wedding. He just yeah. got back and I'm going to leave him again and I don't want that to happen. And I don't okay, want to keep going but this him seems very this disingenuous. And that's what's at stake here. Like you come in to me right now, is fighting, and like I feel much closer to you now that you opened up to me. It just brought us closer, you know. No. You know what? She's, I think it's I manipulation. Kind of that vote there. Yeah, really manipulation. Okay. Thank you. Manipulation. If I get at least one more vote other than Janessa, hopefully I could be staying today. You're gonna be okay. Thank you. Seriously. Mm. Mm. I'm not so sure about that. I'm like, don't really understand Come Melissa. On. I feel like she's a little sister to me. 28 minutes of drama. Like I need to protect her. Now that I'm alone with Alexandra at the pool, oh, this is different the perfect hairstyle. opportunity to give um, one last effort to try to keep Melissa in the house. Oh, Melissa has a no. tiny chance. She did talk to me. Oily. And my heart went out to her. But it was like, the, this is the only time she really came up to me. And like, I know if she was not in the bottom, she would not be even trying to get close to me. Mm -hmm. So, okay, so mm -hmm. let me just put this another way to you. Janessa, and if it's like not, not even on the table, then just tell me and we'll forget about it and we won't even talk about it anymore and we'll send her home. I will give you my word that if it's you and Melissa in the bottom next week, I will vote for you. <gasps> Would that change your mind? I, I would want to, I would want to have your guarantee that I would have a vote. Without my guarantee. Oh? I mean, I'll consider it because obviously, like, this is a competition, and I want to be here longer. And see, see, I know that, see but... how easy it is to pull people into an alliance when, like, the dangling of an opportunity is happening before their very eyes go. Like, yes, well, I'll vote for you if you save my friend this week. There's no guarantee. Janessa would vote everybody out of this house because she's here to win. Ludicrous. Like, yeah. I want this. I want my dream wedding. Like. I cannot tell you. I'm starting to actually like trust Janessa a little bit more. And I kind of want to join forces with Janessa to get further because Janessa knows what she's doing. She really does. Oh, I'm you telling you, you tune, go. More chance, like you have control. Giving you my word. Lies. Lies. Lies, Manelli. Mm. Are we at the the the? Are we at the? Is this the RSVP Ladies. ceremony? <gasps> oh, it is. Hey. 
Hello. Oh, hideous hemorrhoid necklace. Well, ladies, Oops, jumping as down you the can stairs. see, the RSVP box is here. Unfortunately, it is time for you to cast your RSVP vote. As you know, once I take that box out of this house, she looks different. Your is votes the same are person? locked. Oh my I will goodness. need the three bottom brides to come with me. That is Nettie, Melissa, and Lisa Marie. Ooh, come along. This is the first time I'm in the bottom, so it's a little. Someone is really stamping their shoes. I only need two votes. Obviously, I'm getting Janessa's vote, but like, if I can just get either Alexandra's or just anybody, one more vote, I'll be good. Nettie kind of does her own thing. She plays it safe with all the girls. She got her eye on her prize. Maybe I should reconsider my vote and get rid of her. Ooh. Here we go, girls. Oh, this music is obscene. It's not every day that people get the opportunity to have the wedding of a lifetime. Mm. I really, really want this. I want to fight like for it. I honestly gently. feel that Byron and I deserve this. And is yeah. Nettie okay? Is Nettie okay there? She seemed very like nervous walking across. She was like, <sighs> maybe they are going to the guillotine, girls. I want to stay so bad. This is so important to TJ and me. Since I've been on the bottom, I've kind is of uh, tried to, to schmooze a little bit and butter people up and see if I can possibly, you know, get a vote or two in. Bustle.com, girl. Right now in the house, there's a group of good girls and there's a group of bad girls. And all of us good girls oh, know that Dominique. we need to get those bad girls the hell out of here. And yes. who's the queen of all bad girls? Janessa. None other than Janessa. Janessa. Good evening, ladies, and welcome Dizzy. to the Bridal Plasti RSVP ceremony. Oh, dear. Janessa, can you please step forward and reveal your RSVP? Okay, right. <sighs> My little pumpkin. <laughs> um, you're like a little sister to me. I don't know what to say. Um, oh, the acting. I just have so much respect for the way that you can serve our country. I don't... I don't know what else to say. And I think she that doesn't you're such serve a special country. person. What are you talking about? I love you. Janessa, what are you talking about? She doesn't serve the country. She has a military she's a military wife. Like, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Uh So I'm not gonna vote for you? Oh my god, my little sister, shut the f up, bitch. You never really liked her. You were only Alliance. trying to use her in your favor. Mm -hmm. Okay, Kristen, please come forward and What was that? Did you see did you see Shayna then go? Okay, Kristen, it's time for you to approach. Mm -hmm. Okay, Kristen, please come forward. What was all that about? Reveal your RSVP, please. So, short, sweet, and oh, simple. I, like I love dress. you all, and I know we're all going to go somewhere one day, and there only can be one person in the end, so yes. this is only going to get harder. Yes. Nettie? Nettie? If Net. all plays out well, Netty? Melissa will go home. Netty? And I will finally feel like I have a little bit of peace in this house. Oh, she's at Miss Lisa Marie. Oh, oh, okay. Nettie, from day one, I think that you've been a wonderful person, and I admire that a lot. Oh, that's very sweet. Oh, that's nice. It's nice when people compliment you, isn't it? Oh, look, she's having a moment. She's nice to nice. me, and I'm so relieved. Like, I just need one more vote. Allison. Because there are five girls voting, oh, yes. you only need two votes to be guaranteed to stay in the house. So whoever gets the next vote will be safe. <gasps> okay, first of all, all three of you. I absolutely adore all three of you. Mm -hmm. Lisa Marie, room partner, nurse, you put everybody before yourself. So are you going to? <gasps> oh, okay. Lisa Marie? Congratulations, you will go on to compete to be the perfect bride. Okay, I'm relieved Lisa Marie. knowing that I'm safe. I am just so happy to have It's so difficult watching Lisa Marie because like I really want to go into it on in this video, but I will include a link as to what happened to Lisa Marie. She is um she's no longer with us and it's quite a, quite an awful story actually. Um I'll I'll put a link to the article about it in the description box below because it is really sad what happened to Lisa Marie. Alexandra, right. please step forward and reveal your RSVP. Is, is this the this deciding vote? This next RSVP yes. will decide both of you. <gasps> so I Alexandra. did my best to make a deal with Alexandra. It's the moment of truth. Either she accepts my offer or Melissa goes home. Ooh. I have a lot of hope in that Alexandra's going to sit at my table. Well, I'm not sure she will. 
If I vote for Nettie, I weaken Janessa's alliance. But if I vote for Melissa, I can join that alliance and finally be protected. Oh, don't do it coming up now. Oh. Oh, they did. oh it wasn't. It was lies. Right, who is, who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Nettie, I think like everybody else in the house, I have no complaints about you. You are the most neutral person. You listen to all of us. But I feel you... like I am really close to Alexandra. Yeah. I'm really hoping that you... she votes for me. Yes. You sat and had Melissa, breakfast multiple times. I cannot times. say that we had a great start. <gasps> but what I can say is that I am so glad that you opened up to me. All I need is for Alexandra to sit at my oh. table and Nettie's going home. Oh. This is very hard for me. Oh. But one thing that helps me get through this house is support. Who's it gonna be? Oh my, yes, I think. Oh no, oh I don't know, is this good? Oh Nettie, oh Nettie. I really did consider Janessa's emotions. offer, but ultimately I'd rather take my chances against her versus taking my chances trusting her. Okay, Sorry, Melissa, we've seen a backbone. the wrong side. Melissa, unfortunately, the brides have spoken and you do not have enough guests at your table. This means your time here, bridal plasty, and your quest to become the perfect bride is over. Your wedding will still go on, but it just won't be perfect. You are saved from this nonsense. I can't believe she says your wedding will still go on, but it might not be perfect. How absolutely insulting is that? As if, like, this show is the only key to a perfect wedding. Ludicrous. I definitely feel like I deserve to stay tonight a little more than, you know, Lisa Marie. I feel like she already had her second chance. It sucks. I got eliminated. But I mean, I get to go home and see TJ, so that makes this horrible situation all that much better. There you go. Well, my number Janessa. one target in the house at this point after Melissa leaves is Alexandra. She definitely played me a little bit, making me think that she may vote for Melissa, and I'd really like to take her down. I really think that Janessa Come knows on. her alliances are slowly slipping away. Yes. Bam, Melissa's gone. That's one less person she has control over. Janessa, your ass is going down. What is well, this ladies, show? Congratulations, because- Remember, this show is about a wedding. Remember, this show is about a wedding. A wedding, everybody, a wedding. You have all made it one step closer to becoming the perfect bride and having your dream wedding. <gasps> next time on Bridal and that's Fashion. it that's that's the end of another episode my loves wow i'm gonna push my laptop away from me there and just take out my ohenger and just be like this show is wild absolutely wild there is another six more episodes of this absolute wildness literally like the snakes were caught today weren't they janessa was had her plan disrupted girls and alexandra i feel like is sort of on her rising star do people say that she's on a rising star my loves let me know what you think about this episode that we have seen today and about all the characters that we have witnessed here i want to say congratulations to melissa for not going through any of this nonsense she didn't get a surgery that could potentially cause problems down the line she didn't she kind of really didn't get like much from the experience i'm guessing in terms of like lifelong potential trauma from it mm. oh it's episode five bridal plastic girls the drama in this show just seems to be culminating in some sort of like really drastic alarming way and i don't quite know what to make of it but are you excited to watch episode five my loves as i said last time when this first started i was so like against the idea i think it's absolutely rank that these people have been pitted against each other for a dream wedding with all the language used about plastic surgery but like i can't lie just a little bit actually I'm quite interested in the drama, just a little bit. First of all, I'd like to make a little prediction. I wonder if during this episode, Janessa and her little, her little team of feelers are going to be um, put to rights, shall we say? I have no idea what to expect and I'm very excited for it. As these videos are always quite long, why don't we just jump straight in, pop in my ohhanger, yes, my ohhanger, episode five. Episode five already, that's, which, uh, I think we're like halfway through and it's time for a scandal, girls. Come on. On Shayna Moakley, show me your hideous shoe this week. Guitars. She's dead. What is this bumbling music? Reminds me of Big Chungus for some reason. Oh, lovely exercise for the morning to wake up, girls. <gasps> Recovery Satan room. Oh, 
she's got a letter. Oh. What's going on? <laughs> oh, oh time for your brow lift. You're pretty. You swelled up a little bit, huh? Really? Mm, but Really? Do you think she's swollen up a little bit? Oh, little Dominique. She's become Dummy Mole. Oh, poor little Dominique. This is how you're supposed to look. I still this don't how feel like it's real. Look. But I have this cast on my nose, and it's so hard to tell what it looks like. You only have a little bit of purpling now, and in a couple days, it'll be gone. Oh, I'm just looking God. for... All that noise of, like, I bet you someone was in the sound studio, like, crackling, I don't know, plastic or something to make that, like, crackly noise when you take off the bandages. Because bandages do make a noise, like surgery bandages do, but they're not this, like, <laughs> noise. Like, that's so to put in there to make all the audience go, like, ah, surgery, oh my God. It's a bit much, isn't it? To me to heal and for this to come off. Well, yes, that there. is the process of surgery. Okay. Hang in you. there. Can I have a quick look? Sure. Oh, yeah. Oh, let me right. take a look Pick at your boobies. All right, sit down. Go ahead and just let me take a quick look. That's great. Wow. <gasps> this is beautiful. You you look recovered to me. Thank you. Yeah, you look great. Oh, oh my goodness. Then. The size of those bazoomas, girls. I just don't know if I can even put that in there. Wow. They were... um. What's 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 that meme that's going around recently? Mommy's milk. Meet sucky sucky now, mommy. Mommy's milk. Very that. Oh dear. You know that I could leave the recovery room. I have to pack all my oh. stuff and move oh. into the blue room. Moving in out. The blue room. I can't help but to feel like the blue if room? I am in the bottom this time. What's the blue room? Have we come across the blue room yet? Welcome to my blue room, everybody. I'm around. People are going to start strategizing against me and send me home because yes. I've already got a surgery that I want. Yes. You have yes. been discharged. They are. Thank you. That's pretty awesome. It's not the lady. Out of the Satan room and into the fire, girls. Oh, Janessa, seething. <gasps> there she is, seething away. so, like, sad now. I am. <gasps> Obviously, I know why Lance sex Melissa had to go. You should have seen her face. She was so... Aw, honey. Losing oh. Melissa was a huge blow to our alliance. Not only have Dominique and Lisa Marie left, and I'm definitely a little worried. I think it was... Okay, so I'm getting different vibes here. So in that little interaction we saw there where Janessa got a bit upset, it legitimately seemed like for a second um, production was allowing us to see the fact that she had a soul and then directly overlaid was, I'm upset that Melissa has gone. Now my alliance is ruined. Like she was very like that. I don't know. I'm getting very conflicting, ambivalent vibes potentially here. Ambivalency girls. Was in Oh, it's a throwback. Instigated and amplified by one or two specific individuals. Yes, but don't forget you are amplifying also something else. So you can't get yeah, upset that other people are also doing an alliance. <laughs> oh, it makes good TV though, doesn't it, girls? Ooh. <gasps> Shayna Moakley. Hey, ladies. Why oh, she's got a bum pit in. Meet me in the living room. She's got her weather woman dress on from Amazon. What weather patterns can we expect today, Shana Moakley? Hey, girls. Oh, who are, who's Grab a drink, who's take a seat, and we're going to have drink. some girl talk. Oh, 10 a.m., get crunk. Corner, and I see Shana in, like, can't, another... You can't drink. Can you drink? Uh, depends if that's actually alcohol or not. I didn't think you could drink whilst in recovery from um, surgical procedures, but you never know. I mean, this was 20, this was 2010 though, wasn't it? So maybe they were just like, nah, great TV girl, get hammered. Lady sitting there. I'm curious about what's about to go on. <laughs> yes. Well, ladies, over the past that's couple the weeks, we week. have focused Macaroni most art. of our attention on your wedding. We also can't forget what happens after. And I'm talking about the honeymoon. The honeymoon is the first night of the rest of your sex. No, not for me, girls. Your special guest, Dr. Sadie Allison. And she she's is going an to teach you author. all about She also owns Tickle Kitty, which I like to call a pleasure store. Oh, and no! And she is known as America's Pleasure Coach. Hi, ladies. How are Oh, this whole video is going to be demonetized. Come on, pleasure coach. Teach me about anatomy, girls. How are you guys today? Okay. America's Pleasure Coach is here. This oh, everyone is gets right a bit gooey, don't alley. they? <gasps> First, what I'd like to say right up your gusset. Start off with today is to gauge where you're at in your sex lives. I'd like to know from each of you. Surely you need to speak to the men. What you feel you are the worst at in the bedroom? What? That's right. What? The worst what? at. Okay, who, who wants to go first? Oh gosh! Bleep 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 bleep. Come oh, on, no, Janessa. This is gonna be awkward. I actually cosplay as a serpent and go inside my husband and lay my eggs. I don't think he's into it. <laughs> but she loves it, really. And I bet he would. Oh, I'll go. Uh, 
Uh, I would say uh, longevity. Like it's, okay. it takes, you know. I'm Whoever sorry. Uh, he's not like 15 seconds, but like I would prefer it to be <laughs> That's long. That's good. Yeah. So <laughs> you said it. Her problem is her husband. I Interesting. Feel really bad for Dominique's fiance. Poor guy. <laughs> Why? Can only last 15 he's seconds. He's known nationally that he can't hang. So he finishes his pleasure too soon. Sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> okay. Oh my God. Kind like, of the what scandal. Am I thinking? Like, I believe in the pain medicine. It came out so wrong. So wrong. <laughs> You what you now, can sis. do is you can have an open conversation with him about that and let him know some of the things that you would enjoy before he just ends it. Because let's face it, when guys finish, sometimes it's finished. <laughs> I think we need like a bridal plasty intimacy camp for all the men because like this seems so irrelevant to have this conversation with these women in this way because it's like it's not really up to them. Like they're, they're, her, Dominique speaking about these problems are not going to fix these problems because the husband isn't there or the fiance isn't there. Do you know what I mean? So like, oh, she's a naughty woman. Oh, yeah, that's no fun for us. Okay, Get in the bin. Next? I feel like we do the same things over and over again, and I get really And I bored. just want to lay my eggs in him. My fiance's gonna kill me for that, but I have to be honest. Sometimes guys need to be told what to do. Take it in <gasps> control for yourself, and you go out and seek out the new ideas, and you introduce them in the bedroom. Yeah, but also, also, men should just be adults, like try something new. When you, who wants to have pancakes for breakfast smothered in custard for the rest of their life? Absolutely not. Sometimes you want a croissant. Sometimes you want the blueberry compote. Sometimes you want raw eggs, eggs laid by Janessa. <laughs> oh, I love you really, Janessa. I totally think Janessa is one of those girls that just lays there and is like, go ahead, you've got five minutes, let's get this over with. Okay, so Maybe. I wanted to also find out from you ladies, where are you a rock star when it comes to the bedroom? Let's start with you rock star back there. <laughs> well, multiple things. <laughs> um, we love a bit of confidence. Um, actually, like the, the Confidence, BJ? go. <laughs> the BJ, oh dear. She must be a tiger in bed. Her man must be really happy, and he's going to be even happier when them big old boobs are bouncing in his face. I want to see Allison turn bright red. I don't know. How, how, how is Susan going to make this happen for me? I have absolutely no idea. She's going to be like, no, no, no. No, I'm sorry. You can't have all this conversation. Absolutely not. And so, Allison, what do you think you're good at? Flexibility? I'm actually pretty flexible. Believe it or not, the big girl can move it. I'm a pretzel. <laughs> sorry. Oh, nice. oh, Since you only have one honeymoon night, Make sure that you let the buildup and anticipation come into play. Is I'd make sure no clothes comes off, no gown, no lingerie comes off for at least an hour. And then you can even dry hump a little bit. Did you just say dry hump? Honestly? Oh my God, no, she didn't go there. Cheyenne, you're so quiet. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I personally think there are some things that are kept personal between you and him, and this Ooh. is one of them. Closet freak. It's always the quiet ones. Okay, girls, well, now you know what to do. Closet freak. Oh, I do feel a little bit awkward having watched that because that was very, um, I don't know. I'm very, I have very like oldie worldy values when it comes to like intimacy relations between adults because I, I well, should I put it somewhere? I'll put it somewhere. It is always the quiet ones and I'm particularly quiet. Don't quote me, ladies. No. <laughs> Get the, quickly, where's my powder? Oh. Do on your honeymoon, you're going to need some place to go. I have of course, these yes. vacation portfolios that each oh. of you are going to put in your bridal closet. Oh, my God. Oh, oh so the winner. Oh, the winner lovely. bridal plasty and the last bride standing hospital. will get a Fiji Vacations Ooh, honeymoon Fiji. package to Fiji the Nimali World. Resort and Spa. And you'll have tickets on Air Pacific, the world's friendliest airline. Where oh, even is it? The world's friendliest airline. Oh, absolutely not. Where is Fiji? Oh, Fiji is an archipelago in the Oceania region in the Southern Pacific Ocean called the Republic of Fiji. Oh, I did not know that. Oh, the Southern Pacific Ocean. Very nice. Yes. Perfect for bridal plasty. <laughs> Fiji Vacations gave us a honeymoon to add to our bridal closets, and I'm so excited. Since me and my fiance have both lost our jobs, there was no honeymoon in the cards, oh. and if we were to have one, it was probably down the street at the local Super 8 motel. Maybe in a spa suite. Was she going to say Maybe supermarket? Maybe a bottle of bubbles. A feather to tickle. Yeah, that's about mm. it. Now that we have imagine, little... imagine, imagine asking these like leading questions in that room, in the like confessionals room, being like, 
Alison, tell me about your honeymoon after you lost your job, Scale. Like, how awful is that? Oh, it's so creepy and cringe to be asking people these questions. But like, I swear, some people that are like into TV production and stuff just can't have like, they just don't feel the same thing that the rest of us do. Like, I would feel so uncomfortable asking that question to someone. Fun, it is time to get down to business. There are seven of you, so I'm gonna need you to split yourself up into teams of three, leaving one bride out. Gosh, Shana why? tells us that we have to split teams and there is going to be one odd man out. Oh, I have no. no idea what that means. Maybe it's a great thing and maybe it's a really horrible thing that could lead me into automatically the bottom. <gasps> and girls, remember that Dominique is on medical leave so she is not participating. No participation. As soon as Shana told us to split into teams, we decided to have a house meeting. I really want to be the girl sitting out on this challenge. I definitely do not want to be involved with any groups because I don't trust anyone in this house. <gasps> oh. I have no problem Ooh, just taking one to the team and I don't, sitting out. I don't mind being out either. I was going to say the same thing. I'm assuming Ooh, everyone got wants a to be the out or what? I mean, we could everyone pull wants the to be name the from the out. hat for the person who's staying out. We should maybe do like names, do names. in a hat or something and then, and then that's the just the there. purpose. That's literally what Cheyenne just said. All of our names that's go into just a hat what she said, and Nette. we pick them out, random draw. Into a hat. I think that's, that's the fairest way to do it this. It could be a hat. <gasps> Your fate is in our hands, no pressure. Oh, this is an interesting Lisa way Marie. to do it. Lisa Marie sits out. Were you not okay with that? No, I was surprised. I just kept envisioning my name. I don't know why. I'd rather be chosen than to choose. <laughs> so again, here I find myself being chosen to be the odd man out. I kind of feel like maybe like you should be on one team and Cheyenne should be on one because you guys have really been like consistently at the top in every competition. But I, I guess that's fair. I already have to divide up the other. I'm thinking, oh my gosh, let's just keep the peace and yes. But Just no, no, you can't keep the peace. No, in a situation like this, you can't keep the peace because that is exactly what Janessa is trying to do. She's trying to wear you down so that you are just like, oh, for God's sake, Janessa, fine. Instead of being like, no, no. I'll do what I want, and then Janessa would have to creep and crawl her way around everyone to desperately try and get her way. Do not make their life easier for them. Make it worse. Make them uncomfortable and make them bubbly. Oh, it's very hors d'oeuvre. Suggest that Kristen and Cheyenne split because they've done well in all of the challenges. So this way, no matter what team loses, one of them will definitely be in the bottom three. See, okay. and that's so why she we'll wants to do it. Then. Oh, you and me? Okay, yeah. yes. Well, I was gonna ask Nettie actually because we had worked together before and I worked really well with her. Okay, so it's settled. Nettie, Kristen, Nettie, and Alexandra. Janessa always has really slick way of getting what she wants. Yeah. I don't like so, it. Don't and let I don't her. trust it at all. Yeah, don't let her do it. Just be like, no, Janessa, do you know what? You can be the old one out. <laughs> okay. What what's happening now? What is this? <gasps> Pushed in by a lady in a white coat. What's the what? Hello, ladies, and welcome to your bridal plasty honeymoon challenge. Oh, my god. So gosh. we walk in and we see two car crash dummies on top of two mattresses. <gasps> oh, no. I'm oh, totally no. weirded out right now, thing. but in a kinky way, kind of excited. No! I asked you guys to separate yourselves into teams of three, leaving one bride you out. Have to, everybody so have a threesome. Tell me what your teams of three are. Awesome. Kristen, Nettie, and Alexandra. So oh, look at Shayna's smile. She's Cheyenne, like, Janessa, I get to watch. Allison. Shayna is a voyeur confirmed. Lisa Marie, how do you feel about not having a team? Oh. Well, Lisa Marie, because you do not have a team, you will not have the opportunity to become top bride and pick one of the plastic surgeries off your wish list. Oh, that is mean. Mean, 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 mean. You. Oh, that was a tactic, wasn't it? I don't think that should have happened. That feels a bit wrong to me to have a challenge in which someone can't actually like win like just straight out the bat that seems rude well that sucks oh and lisa marie there's one more thing um you and you alone will be deciding out of the winning team who will be top ride <gasps> oh scandal girls how am i supposed to oh, handle oh, this oh. this is like a life altering decision it's a scandal Someone's girls gonna get a gift of a new body part and it's up to me to choose oh my oh, god help me okay 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 should we do some predictions so um lisa marie is in the alliance who is who have we got in that left in the alliance that wants to have work done we've got um are the only ones left in the alliance lisa marie dominique and janessa dominique can't like do it this week because she's on medical leave I reckon Janessa's gonna win this and Lisa Marie's gonna pick Janessa. That's what I think. Those are my predictions. Let me know what you think in the comments box before we continue. Oh. Can I put my name back in the hat? <laughs> Although, that's As only Dr. if she Sadie wins. Allison spoke her team about wins. this morning, okay. a healthy married sex life is all about communication and variety. 
And that's God. why tonight's Bridal Plasti Challenge is all about the sexual positions of the Indian Hindu text, the Kama Sutra. This challenge has to do with sex. The other team consisted of some really proved people. <coughs> Janessa. <coughs> so our chances of winning are really high. Well, ladies, as you can see, we have some friends here with us tonight. These are our honeymoon crash test dummies. And they are going to be relying on you to give them one hot and steamy honeymoon night. Oh, I can't bear Each it. Each team will have one communicator and two handlers. The communicator will be shown diagrams of seven oh. different sexual oh, positions. Oh, no! What is this turned to? to the handlers how to put the dummies into these positions. The first team to correctly recreate... It's adult twister. It is adult twister. That's what this is. Adult twister. Okay, right. All positions wins. The members of the losing team will become our three bottom is that what? Is that a pride flag of some sort that she's got as a necklace? What is that? What is that pride flag? Let me see. Um, what are the, all the pride flags? I'm not going to lie. That kind of resembles the lesbian pride flag. I wonder if back in 2010 they knew about all of this. Oh, it's a scandal, girls. And be at risk of blowing home. Kristen and Cheyenne, since you both had surgery, you should be the communicators for your teams to avoid any potential pain, okay? Because I'm still medically challenged in the bosom region, I have to be the communicator. But what was going to happen if they weren't both in the in different teams? What would that have been then? Would one of them just have been put in pain? Oh, I'm not liking this production. I feel like this is very staged. Very, very staged. And who gets to decide who wins? Is it the same situation we had a couple of weeks back with the 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 gown challenge where it's one person, the judge gets to be like, I liked what you did. Yes, you win. I wonder. Hey, ladies. Take your positions. Girls, Dr. Sadie and myself will each be judging a team. Dr. When we feel Sadie? you have correctly positioned your dummies, <gasps> we will give you the signal to move on to the next position. Is that a canvas? What's this? Good luck, ladies. Okay, right, what are we watching? Go. Get started on Sporting of the Sparrow. Sporting of the Sparrow? <laughs> sporting of a what? What kind of names are these? Sporting Guy of the Sparrow. Guy by the butt of the girl, but facing her like, like, got it? <gasps> girl's legs over guy's shoulders. Girls like, girls. Guy bending at knees. Wait, girl. Good job, guys. Uh, guy bending at knees. Guy bending at knees. My good Christian upbringing. Him on his knees. Him on his knees. Put him My on satanic his adulthood. And have her straddle his head. Straddle his Both head? arms like this. Is she going to die? Guy's arms grabbing her ass. Flip her. Oh, this is a okay. lot, isn't it? You've got it. Next. Oh. Ring of Sparrow. Done. This is called Like a Lotus, ladies. Okay, girl on bottom. Cross her legs like um, Indian style. Arms Why did the men ever have to do here anything exciting? Like, no, he's on top of her. Put his arms down by her butt. Down. All right, you guys have got it. Move on. Oh my goodness. She's on okay, her back so with her legs behind. in the style. This way, Lotus. guys. Got it, got it. Yeah. Good, good. I'll take that one. Let's go. You girls are on the mare. Girl on top, guy sitting up like he's in a chair. Oh, he's no. supporting himself with his arms behind him. The next card that we get is the mare. And it's not that weird. It's really kind of like a reverse cowgirl position. Her oh, arms are she knows what she's doing. Are. You've got it. This one actually seems really comfortable for me. This is no, a... lean her legs up, up, like on her stomach. That's correct. Move on. Thank you. Oh, my God. Oh. Go on to the pair of tongs. God, freak. Pair of tongs? It looks like fun, ladies. Remember, the first team Shana. to complete seven positions wins. Okay, her arms, okay, pair of tongs. You're like hanging. How do I even begin to why describe doesn't the, Why doesn't the men have to do the exciting is, things? Why is the woman that has to be yeah, like okay, literally a contortionist? Like, he's holding onto her leg down there. Oh, right here, right here, right here. Right, her leg's underneath his arm. She's holding on to there. That's it. Thing? That's it. A bit okay, much. You've got it. Next. Thank you. So we finally get position number four. Where's and we're the still in the lead. <laughs> At this point, there's no way that we're losing this challenge. Okay, fixing of the nail. Girl fixing on bottom. Fixing of the nail. Leg up like this. She's sitting on him with her head facing this way and her legs are back. This way on the bed, Yes. He's sitting like that with his when he's leaning back. He's leaning back. Why he's is leaning back. Being so, so now slow. we're two points behind the other team. <gasps> Allison's a little slow, so I definitely got to step it into high gear and work for the both of us. Okay, that's good. Go on. Have you, okay, Janessa? Have team you is really? On tongs. He's standing. She's straddling his right leg. Her leg in between his. That leg. That's it. Oh, you've the got drama. It God, this is very explosive. Okay, isn't now you've got the crab. Let's move it. Put her leg between his leg. Another hateful leg. position. Yes, like that. Go on. You're good. I noticed Cheyenne's team is starting to kick ass. We're barely in the lead. Every time we're getting a next, they're getting the next too. So it's like we really got to be on our game. Lean what, him. What? Hurry, hurry, hurry. Lean him. Yes, like that. Exactly like that. Leave him. Got it. The levels of drama in this race, this sexist time race. to the other team, and they're on the same position as us. 
I don't want to lose this challenge. And he's grabbing her ass, and she's grabbing her knee. All right, grab his ass, grab her ass. Good, good. I'll take that one. Let's go. Thank you. Next, next, next. Good on you guys. Matter. Split the bamboo. No wrong leg, Nanny. Split the fall bamboo. Leg. No, her, I don't. Her, think. her arms by her I legs. I don't think about any of that. Her, her no. arms are holding her own legs. Ill conceived. Yes, move on. This is your last position. Her right leg is Where's up. Where's the one where the woman has a lovely life without the man? Could go anyway, and I'm. Freaking panicking. Arm needs to go down on the bed. On the bed. Um, He's holding that arm. Her legs. That's lead. it. That's it. He's wrapped around it. That's, That's it. it. That's all I can see. Just like that. Yes. 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 Coming Don't do it now. Right, this is your last I position. I piss you and you're coming up, girls. All right. All right. Show me, please. All right. This is your last position. Put that leg now. between her legs. Grab the other leg between her legs. Cheyenne's just seconds win? in front of us. There is no way I'm gonna be in the bottom three this time around over sex. Oh. Oh. No yes. wrong leg, Nettie. And he's just I mean, you're not really leg having leg it though, are you? Let's be honest. He's just wrapping his arms around that leg. It's neck and neck. We have to pull through. Gusset and gusset. He's wrapped around it. That's it. Wait a minute. Let me see. I hear Cheyenne call out, done. Please, please, please be wrong. That's it. You got it. Good. We're done. <laughs> Oh my, oh my God! So it's Janessa's team. I'm just, it's just such that means a it's between Janessa and Allison. Lisa Marie is 100% going to beat Janessa. To be top bride, thanks to Lisa Marie. Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my God! I knew it! I saw it happening, girls. Same I'm pissed because I really wanted those three to be in the bottom. To have Cheyenne and you know Janessa, two people that haven't been in the bottom yet, I really want them to know what it feels like. Ooh, Cheyenne, Janessa, and Allison, bitter. you have won the Bridal Plasty Honeymoon Challenge. Now, before Lisa Marie makes her decision, I'm going to give each of you a chance to plead your case. Okay, Allison, let's start with you. Well, Lisa, I guess you know it's no secret <laughs> how bad I <laughs> want these gone. Face it, I would never be able to have this surgery back home. I'd never be able to afford it. We can barely afford a wedding. I want my arm liposuction. I want to look gorgeous in a strapless dress. That will change my life. and will change my wedding. Who's she going to pick? Okay, that was, Cheyenne, you're next. To be honest, that, what, what, what do we think about that um, plead for your case? I feel like she seemed a little bit deflated, defeated, but like, I don't know what else Alison could have done there. She said everything that, you know, you would, you would sort of expect, but like, the idea of pleading your case for surgery is ridiculous. Ridiculous, girls, ridiculous. And I was actually incorrect. I thought it was going to be that Dr. Lady, Dr. Sexy Lady, who was going to judge the winner. Mmm, incorrect. I think I've talked to you a few times about how I, <gasps> I would want my veneers redone. However, that's veneers something redone. I would want not for you to choose. That's something I want to win myself down the road. <gasps> and Production I know both goes. of their insecurities. And I know what it felt like to have one of mine taken off my list, and I want them to have oh, that okay. opportunity to do the same thing. So it's I would a actually thing rather by go with one of them, please. Oh, <gasps> scandalous! Really smart Cheyenne. I may have a big opportunity here. And finally, on, Janessa, serpent. what would you like to say to Lisa Marie? I have wanted my nose done since <gasps> I can remember, and if I could get that fixed, I would absolutely look better on my wedding day. But Lisa Marie, I really think that you should give this to Allison. And so I'm going to suggest you give it to her. Oh, Alexandra's when not Janessa happy about turns that. down the surgery, I'm thinking maybe she's not the person I thought she was. <gasps> no, Just this is all a Allison ploy. really deserves it. Ultimately, doing this good deed may help to change my reputation in the house. And that may be more useful at this point than the surgery. You've heard from all three brides now. Fully gagged. And the fate of their happiness lies in your oh, hands. Lisa Marie, what are you going to do? Since we've all concurred this statement, I think it's best to give it to Allison. Oh, wow. <laughs> fully shocked. Fully shocked. <laughs> I did not expect. Oh, my expect. God. It feels amazing to be the top ride. Okay, ladies. Oh. Thank well, I have to eat my hat. Excuse me, ladies. Oh, because I did not expect that to happen. No, this is a hat now. Do you like it? Very glamorous. Oh, Christian Dior Holmes. Thank you and good night. I'm Good really night, depressed. Ladies. I just lost. Depressed. In the bottom. This sucks. Depressed is a bit of a strong word. <gasps> oh, well, maybe it's not. It's okay. Screw that. I'll go get real sex. Stupid dummies. I wanted them to be in the bottom so bad. Janessa has everybody in the house under her wing. With the way it's people... Time for the drama, girls. ...manipulate, I feel a little defeated. Any of those three, I just don't feel like deserve. Oh, to go I feel yet. so sorry for them. I would give up anything to see the most deserving people be here. Someone's gotta go home. But you are making good TV. I just want someone to win. That's been real. 
That's all. When you say stuff like this. that, it makes oh. us feel like we don't deserve it. And I understand that you're upset, but it's it makes us feel real. What is but wrong it is with because you? you're I'm getting nefarious ways. You. Why are you mm -hmm. talking to me? Well, you're sitting here acting like we don't we I don't deserve to win. Period. I get the fact that you're all happy. God, I am happy for Allison. I wanted her more than anything to get the surgery. You're making me feel like I didn't deserve to win. I know you deserved to win. Pa. <laughs> the big steps for Ooh. Hey, Kirsten, if you want to say something to me, nice. then say it to my face. I won't oh, say Janessa, anything to your on, face girl. because I don't want to, because I don't want to be like that. I want to vent to my friend, that's all. And that's being real? I'm not saying anything, so if you're bringing up your own name, then that's No, your. it was pretty evident that Allison deserves it and Cheyenne deserves it. Well, I'm the only other one up there. I mean, she's got a point. Kristen, she does I'm have a point there. I want someone who's real and passionate about being here. Passionate about bridal plastic. I just gave away like a twelve thousand dollars surgery, so I don't know how much more unselfish I can be. So like, if that doesn't tell you something about my character, like I don't really know what to do. Don't bring it up. You can't talk about your own character when you've just done something selfless on a TV show about plastic surgery and winning a wedding. You can't just be like, I've been selfless, and then literally be in the confessions going, "This will serve me much better down the road, girls." She's trying to be a serpent. Oh, Kristen, girl, what are you gonna do? If I was in this situation, my head would be completely ruined. I'd be like, "What is happening?" What are you all doing? Why are you like this? Uh this fight between Kristen and Janessa could really work out to my advantage because if I can have Janessa vote for me, this could be one more vote that I have at this RSVP ceremony. Can you defend Everyone's here? Everyone's turning on each other. Of course they are. It's competition. You're making us feel like and I'm being honest with you. I mean, I'm sorry. You are. Would never... That's, it's cool. Like, I get it. It's cool. Oh, dear. Crap. I'm in the bottom. I just had a fight with Janessa. Cheyenne and I are friends. But Cheyenne getting closer with Janessa could actually do me some harm. Yes, I keep and that's myself, what she knows. Am I really losing all my friends? Well, that it is a so hateful confusing. fascinator. The bladder. Bladder hat. All pixelated the next day, girls. We're on a yacht. Seals, girl. Seals on a yacht. Oh, here we go. Oh, I forgot that this was happening. I've never been the girl in the prom dress that got the gasps and, oh, wow. She's absolutely gorgeous. I've never had that moment. Even the biggest tomboy you need better wants friends. to be a princess on her wedding day. See, this is the obvious oh, I'm not sure about that. All of this, we'll get the squeezing down afterwards, okay? Mm -hmm. Then the face. We're gonna make a little incision here, one here, and one little guy right here. Then, we're not gonna remove all this fat, but I wanna wring out your real bone structure of your face. Are you good with this? I'm good. 100%? I'm Okay, good. Draw, he drew all over her like jigsaw. Oh my goodness. I'm a bit surprised that like, he's gonna do quite that much. So what, what is she having done? She's having her upper arms done and her neckline and then her cheeks as well. This is gonna be interesting. I wonder how this will turn out. <gasps> oh, Dr. Dubrow lift again, but this time Dr. Lipo lift. <laughs> Is it the day? Is it the day? No. Is it? What is that? A slide in their pool? My goodness. She puts me on my side. <gasps> like, going off on me like that? Do you... I think she directed her anger in the wrong... At the wrong... At the wrong time, wrong... The last night I noticed that Cheyenne was definitely more on my side than Kristen's. Yeah. Something I should keep pursuing. Oh. I feel like I have to walk on eggshells around her. Oh, of course you should. I you really are on a reality TV video. show, though, sis. At this point, I'm kind of worried because I'm like, well, territory. Janessa's not going to vote for Kristen now because they're fighting, you know? So it sucks for me, too, because I don't want to see my friend go home. I understand if you want to fight with me about, like, something that's, like, worth fighting about. But, like, just, like, unnecessarily, like, blowing up for no reason. Like, we got to stop that. Yeah. Is Janessa's plan working? Right now, they're definitely strategizing. Janessa has everybody in the house under her wing. She controls them. Cheyenne is weak, and so is Lisa Marie. And honestly, they're going to listen to whatever Janessa says. Janessa's completely a puppet master. She oh. wants to control everyone and everything to make... Remember, this is about a wedding. Remember, a wedding. But we're here talking about the puppet master girls. Like, this is a bit much, isn't it? Sure, she's number one and the last one standing. She has a mouth. She knows, she knows what she's doing. Yeah, she does. 
people out through the window. Mm-hmm. Curtains. This just What's going on, girls? My heart. Seriously, Cheyenne, is she you're gonna spying? Look into is she spying on you? Who has not given two craps about you until now? Cheyenne, I love you. I love you guys too. I'm like glad I got to know you though, because Aww. I feel like we're really gonna be good friends. Yeah. My relationship with Janessa is like closer than I've ever been. People in the house talk about Janessa like she was a bad person, but it's not that case at all. You can double D. Oh my God! Half the time I want to tell Janessa she better sleep with one eye open. <laughs> oh no, you're over. gonna look like the nutty lady. You better freaking sleep with your eye open, bitch, because oh, I'm don't, after you. Don't, don't say that to Alexandra because she's on the fence. Oh no, lipo girls. Room, yes. Oh, time for the blurring filter, otherwise Susan will get me again. Oh, we come thing. in from underneath the earlobes, and that'll help me. We come in from underneath the earlobes? What, like, this way? Isn't there, like, loads of, like, important nerves there? No? All right, well, okay, let's see. Melt and tighten the skin of the neck. Yes, but doesn't he need and to, that like... That is melted facial fat right there. Ooh. Now, we're going to go inside the mouth to take the fat that's inside the cheeks. Voila. Here's the piece out of her left cheek. You have to find the right balance between reducing the volume but not doing too much and letting the arm skin loosen up. When people yeah, say the life like sculpture, this is what they're talking about. I'm oh excited God, about this that arm. Is so violent. She is going to look so great in her wedding dress with virtually no scars. Well, that's good. Let's close this. All right, okay. He's gonna love it. We are finished. Oh! Hi. Oh. Take this off. You wanna look around for a minute? Oh. You're all finished. Open up your eyes. Don't go anywhere. Just look around. Allison, your surgery went great. I will come see you tomorrow at the recovery center. Okay, at the house, and Poor I'll take thing. great care of you, okay? You know, I'd probably be quite upset. Right. There was that nurse there stroking her like this. I'd probably be quite upset if, like, all of my nerves up here were in pain because I've just literally been through surgery and having a nurse rubbing like this. I mean, it probably was for, like, nice bedside manner, but just leave me alone. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Oh, Alison, oh, dear. Right, okay, what's the tea, girls? <gasps> She's arriving. Okay. How do you feel? Oh, oh, oh dear. Okay. Oh. Poor Alison. Oh, she looks really, really effed oh. up, doesn't she? Poor thing. Oh, oh everybody clap. Oh! oh. And you're, what'd you do? You're real! They suck my chin, too. Oh. Oh. I would... That reaction, that reaction, they sucked my chin, too. <laughs> I mean, all right, okay, it's happened, that happened, okay, lovely, okay. I would love to be a top bride <gasps> oh and get a surgery knocked off my wish list, but, you know, destiny is destiny. They did her chin too while they were at it. Suck my arms and suck my chin. When Allison comes home, she looks like a little Cabbage Patch doll. She's like all swollen and she's oh, all wrapped up. She is quite and I'm just really excited for her and I know Compression she's going to be so happy. We'll see you guys in a little bit. She still breaks the tail. She still breaks the tail. I am dancing in my wheelchair. I feel stoked to be just that much closer to being the perfect bride. And I just can't wait for John to see me. Yay! Wow, into the recovery room you go. Purgatory girls! Time for Janessa drama. Oh, it's outside and it's night, so she must be like, time to bleed. Okay, I'm gonna go on a limb here. Oh. There is an apology owed. At this point, it's more than important that I be the bigger person and let Janessa have the benefit of the doubt. No, well, mm. I said God, some mean difficult. things and I hate when I do that. I feel like a lot of the reasons you don't like me are not because of your reason, like because of like other things reasons. that have been instigated by other people. Oh, like hoops. I can completely agree with that because everything I've heard about you has been from other people. I hear these things and so I formulate an opinion and I applied it to you. I think oh, it's like one person in particular though. She said she's like, going to throw Alexandra under the bus. There you go. Oh gosh. We had a few conversations like clearing things up and then I feel like we're good 
and then I feel like you're mad at me again about something. I don't know if it's like people running to you and saying things because they want to take me out. So they want That's to exactly sway it, sis. people's opinions this about level me. Of drama. Yeah, what I was this getting level... The twenty tens were insane. This level of drama. This level of drama on a plastic surgery we wedding show. A plastic surgery wedding show. Oh, scandal plastic. And those opinions was that like you were manipulating situations, that like things were being said behind people's backs. And like that's like how I was taking it. So that's be that was beginning to be my impression of you. Who's telling you this? The master manipulator. <laughs> Alexandra. Oh. <laughs> Name <laughs> <is> shame. <laughs> so confusing. <laughs> Here I'm thinking Janessa has been the one manipulating and playing us all the whole time. But she has. Lo and behold, it's been Alexandra. That is not this correct. Girl who <laughs> that is not correct. That she is was not my correct. friend made me look like such an idiot. Right now, Janessa has everybody in the house under her wing. She controls them. Cheyenne is weak. And what is this storyline? So line? is Lisa Marie. What is this? They're gonna listen to whatever Production was working says. overtime. I'm thinking back to the fight that I had with Janessa. Hey, Kirsten, if you want to say something to me, then say it to my hey. face. And the second it all went down, the one person who told me everything about Janessa didn't back me up one bit. That's that's also kind of true. I really have to apologize because I was really under a different impression. I just was under She's the impression winning. that you were like, that is a face of I've won. Us, that you're that's manipulating so people, that you're forming alliances. Oh. I feel like an idiot okay. because I believed her. Oh yeah, Janessa, that's no, suspicious bitch. You, <laughs> <laughs> you mean that manipulative bitch? <laughs> the one that's trying to She's love. Look at Janessa's face. She's laughing because she's like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> she is fully in control of this situation. Everyone has been gullible enough to fall for her nonsense, and they're all going to extinguish Alexandra, aren't they? Oh my gosh, this is so much. You're manipulating me right now. <laughs> I see you looking at me. Oh my gosh. Look at that fake laugh. What a gullible sucker. <laughs> I can't believe it was so easy to turn everyone against Alexandra. It's like taking candy from a baby. Look. I can't believe they're so naive. Naive this girls. Be a more perfect situation. Oh my goodness. Oh my, I told you. I told oh, yeah. you girls. Okay, yeah. Lovely flower. What's with the paper plates? Is this from like another day? I wake up this morning and the vibe in the house is so weird. Nobody likes you because it's Janessa. Oh my goodness. Was Dominique even involved in any of that? No, she's in recovery, isn't she? Last night, oh, Cheyenne did not sleep in the room, and this morning, she packed up half her stuff and took it over to the blue room. Something's definitely up. Yeah. Kristen! What's up? <gasps> what did I miss? Presentations. Not much. Last night, I went to bed early, she's and dying. all the girls were out hanging out together by the hot tub. So, I need to know what the hell is going on. Truthfully, um... Because, like, I woke up today, and the vibe is so different off and i feel it all towards me i know you would be the only one to, to let me know what it is like you're the only one i can really trust in this house like truly like was my name brought up last night or anything no oh alexandra Open. needs to be kept in the dark for multiple reasons a, she's a very scary person and can punch a bitch. B, the more Alexandra knows, the more Alexandra controls. To say. Well, I just wanted to make sure that no one was, like, talking about me. I don't know. Okay. Well, I just wanted to ask you, because you're someone that I definitely thought I could trust. I feel that Kristen oh, is not telling me something, or maybe she just doesn't know what's going on. This is what happens when you go to sleep and you miss everything that was said. Thank That's you. That's very true. You do need to be part of the. Com uh, thank you. It's very part of the conversation. You need to be in order like to understand. Know why I was going to win. Like literally, if Kristen stays in the house. It's like I'm against us. It really is. Either one of them leaving is good. I'm at a crossroads here. I've been trying to clean up my image by burying Alexandra. But now I'm not sure what's better, Alexandra going home or Kristen. Oh no. Oh no. I thought you were. I would hug you, but I'm sweaty. Okay. Are you it's really? Okay, listen. I will join forces with you, whatever okay. it takes. Those girls, they act like they're your friend, but trust me, I know the deal. Okay. If Janessa and I join forces, maybe we can get some of these other girls out the house. Oh, what is this web of storyline happening? This is like, she's bad, she's good, I need to be with her, I need to be against her, get her in, get her out, dance! Host 
This is too much. This is too much. Let's continue. I can't even breathe. I'm just kidding. No, it's okay. If I make it past tonight, let the games begin. Ooh. Let the games begin, girls. Oh, oh my goodness. The RSVP Ladies, already. I'm Gosh, this episode is going fast. Tonight's elimination, oh, and I'm the bottom race. three. Last night, a lot of things happened. She's that been at the made Dyson. Everyone's got a bump here. Some of the friendships I have had. Oh, Christine. I have to oh, put no. all my trust into Janessa. I just hope that I don't get sent home. All your trust and that I still Janessa. have a chance to compete for my dream wedding. You guys look pretty. Thank you. As you can see, the RSVP. That was said through gritted teeth, wasn't it? You guys look pretty. Like her head was about to pop off, sis. Box is now here. You will have right. one hour to decide which bride you would most like to see stay. I have no idea what anyone's thinking at this point, but I'm not worried because first people were We kind of haven't angry seen at you Kristen. this whole episode, Nettie. Now You're not really worried. angry at Alexandra, and so I'm actually kind of feeling really good about this. Yeah. All right, I need the bottom brides. Alexandra, Kristen, Nettie to come with mm. me. Look at Janessa's face. She's like, yes. Yeah. Time to bleed. Okay. I think Kristen's gonna go. I think Kristen's gonna go. I'd like to get rid of Alexandra just because of what she's done to people in the but house. But you just told but her Kristen that... is definitely a competitive friend. Oh. I'm not sure how the girls are gonna react when I reveal my vote. Oh. Is she gonna double cross Alexandra? Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. To the gallows, girls. After our little jacuzzi the bridal gallows last night, I feel better about what my chances jacuzzi are moment. when it comes to staying through this elimination. Did you have but if I do go home, like, fine, at least I'm going home sexy. Ha ha, bitches. I mean, all right. Now that's a kind so of a good attitude to have, I suppose. Away from all the drama. So I really do feel like I have a really good chance going into we this. We haven't seen you at all this episode, I'm so really I think you're fine. I'm really excited going into this RSVP ceremony. This is really going to be a test of whether I'm really the puppet master or not. Hello, this ladies, and welcome to one, another Bridal Plasti RSVP oh, ceremony. Oh, Alison. The time has come to reveal your RSVPs and <gasps> send one of these bottom brides home. Cheyenne. Oh, 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 oh. Kristen, darling. Obviously, we've been extremely close from day one, and I know that after this, you and me are going to be like really good friends, regardless, because I love you and I know you're an amazing person. Alexandra, we were friends from day one. You were my roommate. You were probably one of my favorite people in the house, and since then, have slowly declined. You are the kind of person that you don't care who you step on along the way as long as Alexandra gets to what Alexandra wants to be. Cheyenne That's is saying you're a talking lot about of this. rude things. But keep them coming, Cheyenne, because Janessa's voting for me, and when I have a chance to cut you, I will. Oh, so unfortunately, gosh. Dr. Dubrow can fix faces, he can <gasps> fix personalities. Oh, he can't even fix faces, sis. Rowl it for everyone. Oh! I totally feel for Kristen, but this is a game, and I have to win this. Oh my god, my friend, the one person I thought I could trust in this house, completely lied. And then I look over at Janessa and I'm like, this sucks. I'm screwed. Lisa Marie. Double eviction? Kristen, I can't thank you enough for always being such a true friend. You're always fair and you're so beautiful. However, I think sometimes you let your emotions get the best of you. Alexandra. Uh. We know that you're gonna go far in life. You have it in you. The person I did choose, I just hope that they can peel back their layers and I can learn more about them. Oh, oh my I goodness. Like I'm completely missing something. What do you think you're missing? I guess never trust when people tell you that they're rooting for you, because yes. obviously it's not true. Yes. <laughs> I'm going out of my mind. I cannot believe that Cheyenne and Lisa Marie played me this hard. And they said that they had my back and that I had their vote. So it's just, just how the cookie crumbles, I suppose. Oh, Kristen. <laughs> At least I know I wouldn't go back on what I said. It's getting intense. Kristen just That's called right, out Lisa Marie and she has every right to. Yes. I'm so shocked right now. I could have sworn that Lisa Marie was going to vote for Kristen. Dominique. Xander, I want to start with you. Your spirit, your fun loving, and just being around you gets me up, gets me motivated, gets me moving. I really admire that. Up and Kristen. Move. <laughs> you are a firecracker. You took us all down like the first three challenges without even breaking a sweat. And now I'm here. <laughs> right. 
Exactly. The oh, reason Addison. why I chose who I chose tonight was because I really don't feel like I've learned enough about her yet. And Nette. I really need to. It's Nette. It's Nette. It's Nette. Dominique, what the hell? Did you just sit at Nettie's table? Yeah. Janessa told me that you were going to sit at mine. Nettie? Janessa you lied! Safe going home, she so lied! Oh, <laughs> Nettie is safe. I'm safe. Oh my god, yay. I am freaking safe. It all comes down to Janessa. Janessa, Look if who you sit at Alexandra's table, she will be safe. Oh, and Janessa, if you sit at Kristen's value. table, she will be safe. <gasps> if Janessa doesn't sit at my table, I'm done. The one person I haven't trusted this whole time, I'm now relying Safe. off of. This is crazy. Serpent. Janessa oh, promised me her vote. Done. I can only hope that her word is true. Nice. Oh, don't, no, no, coming up, piss. Oh. Hmm. What's this? That was interesting. I have no idea what that was. Kristen, we had kind of a rocky start. You are a strong competitor. The way things have been going, I do not know how this vote is gonna happen. Will mm -hmm. Janessa vote for me or Alexandra? I could be going home. I wish we would have really had a oh chance to get God. to know each other a little Ooh. better and, and maybe not taking things for face value. I can't value. believe this is happening. Alexandra, I promised you my vote, and as your mentor, I'd like to uh, take a few moments to tell you a few things. Mentor? I think that mentor. as a manipulator, <laughs> you would have realized today that you were being manipulated by everyone in the house. Alexandra definitely thinks she's the master manipulator, but you know what? I played her better, and I just can't hold it in anymore. You may not have been the biggest loser, you may not have won that competition, but tonight, you are the biggest loser. Oh, hi. <laughs> Alexandra got her ass whooped by work. Gagged! Gagged, gagged, gaggle and washliers. What a hateful thing to say to someone. You may not have been the biggest loser, but tonight you're the biggest loser. Oh, I feel like I need to be christened after this. Tonight's elimination was absolutely ruthless. I'm not sure at this point if. Alexandra is this terrible person that everybody's no, making her out to be, not. but I so feel for her at this point. <gasps> Alexandra, I'm sorry, but your time here, bridal plasty, and your quest to be the perfect bride is over. Your wedding will still go on. It just won't be perfect. Are there any Shana, last words that you'd like to say to your fellow brides? <gasps> I have nothing to say to any of the girls in the house after what they just did to me because none of them are worth my time. I definitely don't want to be in a house full of fake bitches and that's exactly what they are. And in the end, we'll see who the real manipulator is because it really is Janessa. Oh, I'm not sure if I'm going to get my tummy tuck, but it doesn't matter because honestly, what I am going to do is marry my fiance. That's all you should, should ever been about, sis, well, is your love. Congratulations. <laughs> you are all still on the... Alexandra, you are saved. Saved from this den of rat serpents because you do not have to continue in this competition. <gasps> you have been saved from this nonsense. The running to become the perfect bride and to have the wedding of your dreams. Start crying for nothing. Like... Everything worked out perfectly. Kristen's still here for now, but she's next on my list. Looking That's back, good. like, mouthing things like, like, I will cut no, you. <laughs> And that is it, my loves. That is that is that is the end of this episode. That, that, my lovelies. That I'm gonna push my laptop away and take out my Ohanger and just fully digest what we have just seen. That is quite possibly one of the worst cases of like that was the juiciest piece of hateful drama I have ever seen on any of these shows so far. I cannot believe. I can't believe Janessa said that. I can't believe like the levels of trauma that could have inflicted on poor Alexandra on national TV to be humiliated in this way and spoken to like that. Wow. Wow, my lovelies. Let me know what you guys think about what we've just seen in the uh, description. In the comments box below because whomst? Whomst? That, my loves, was absolutely a scandal, girls. And Janessa can get fully in the bin. But I still want to see her plan flourish before she gets directly to the bottom of that bin. Come on, girls. Let's get episode six in Bridal plastic girls, knives out. It's time for Janessa the Serpent. So, my loves, it hasn't been very long since the last episode of Bridal Plasty, but a lot of you really want to see how the next episode unfolds. So, today, let's watch episode six of Bridal Plasty. During the last episode, we saw quite possibly the most 
iconically dramatic, disgusting, interesting, weird interaction between Janessa and Alexandra. When Alexandra was eliminated, I've never felt so like <clears throat> utterly gagged at something like that. I feel like this master manipulation situation we are seeing is so... I mean, a lot of you said to me, it gets really juicy later on in the series. But you weren't lying. You weren't lying, sis. You really weren't lying. It's a massive scandal, girls. So I do actually want to say that I have a lip gloss over my lip colour today. So if it does get everywhere, across my face, because I'm very expressive, don't come for me. <laughs> As these videos take quite a long time, why don't we just jump right in? Pop in my, oh, hang on. Oh, here they are. Here they are. Hang on. One. Two, are you ready to watch more serpentile activity? I am. I just, I don't know, I wonder if this is the episode that we're going to see Janessa's culmination plan, like, fail? I don't know. So who have we got left? We've got Kristen, who was like, who thought she saw right through the manipulation, but then suddenly jumped ship last episode. So I wonder how that's going to pan out, because she almost went. Janessa almost was like, do you know what? For the production value, I'll send Kristen home. But she didn't. She lied to Alexandra. So I wonder... I wonder how this is going to play out. Oh, this is so dramatic. I can't wait. Get your beverages ready, girl, and let's watch some drama, shall we? This show. The, who knew weddings could be so dramatic? I mean, everyone who's ever had a wedding, surely. Alexandra, as a manipulator, you would have realized today that you are being manipulated by everyone in the house. Tonight, you are Scandal. the biggest loser. I definitely Scandal. don't want to be in a house full of fake... Just going to pause it for a second there and just wonder. How, like, look at everybody else looking. They're all like... <laughs> I wonder who's going next. I have a feeling that, like, Nettie hasn't really shocked the boat or rocked the boat yet. My prediction is that maybe, without actually seeing any part of this episode, Nettie might go first. Let me know what you think in the comments box below first. Big bitches, and that's exactly what they are. And in the end, we'll see who the real manipulator is because it really is Janessa. Yep, totally agree. It's so twinkly. This intro is so twinkly for the amount of like backstabbing drama we're seeing. This intro is like. <laughs> right, plastic girls. Dab. Right, come on. Oh, I thought it was just, like haunting music. Oh my god. Oh. oh. oh, my god. oh. oh. Tonight at the RSVP ceremony, I got the final vote. Okay, you need to explain, girl, that you didn't understand. I really want to be here. I want to win this thing. I want this wedding. So did you think like we were turning it all on you? Yeah. Oh my oh, god! god. I'm, I'm really. You would think I would do that too. Oh no, but I yes. Want time, like when you're sitting there and I'm like. It feels weird. Cause... Oh, yes, because Kristen was like, wow, you really think, right, so I missed something here because you're all not at my table, girl. That's what she was like, wasn't she? Now she has to, like, requiem with saying that. Is requiem the right word? No, requiem is not the correct word. What's the word? Not reconvene. Reconnect. Rekindle. I have forgotten the words. Uh. Me to not vote for Kristen because, like, that's my buddy, you know? But mm. I put a lot of trust into Janessa, though. You oh, did? You Why? Me. Nobody knows. Oh my god, we just stayed up until three in the morning, kind of plotting. Oh, well, I was <laughs> kind of missing, so I guess we just kind of forgot. <laughs> The scary thing is now- They stayed up till three in the morning plotting how this entire thing was going to unravel and nobody told Kristen? I'd be immediately feeling like, <gasps> They all hate me, girl! If that was me. And I think that's probably quite correct, especially with someone like Janessa being like, mm, I'm going to eat your eggs. Oh, okay, Kristen. More than ever, I know that Janessa's controlling all the votes in the house. She is. And that has to stop. No, I thought but you, you just acting. said you were just like, no, gosh, the, the levels of drama already. We're less than a minute in. The, the way that they were like explaining last episode was like Kristen was in the bath, not the bathtub, the hot tub with Cheyenne going, oh, yeah, yeah, I really feel manipulated by Janessa. Uh, doy. Like, didn't she? And like, oh. A gullible lady, whatever she said. Literally, is she lying to us now and then revealing the truth in confessionals? So maybe she she does know what's happening all along. Got the levels. Got more levels than a wedding cake. Very apropos. No, I thought you were acting. I was like, at first I was like, wow, she's doing a really good job. Like... <laughs> it really doesn't matter that Janessa sat at my table. As long as Janessa's in the bottom, we have a chance of getting her out. Oh. oh. I'm a little surprised at how easy it is to control the house. I can't believe that they're so naive. <laughs> she's got she's got to be a member of production team or something. She just has to be someone on the outside who's like used to this. I don't know. Every single thing that she's like doing, I'm like, how could you go onto a reality TV show not knowing anything about TV and how production works and edit the thing and be like, I'm going to behave like this? How would you know to fulfill the villain role so well if you've never had to do it before? Kind of makes me feel like maybe she is a wasp and laid eggs in her husband.
Come on, girls. Oh, what a lovely plant. They love to shop. Hot in Cleveland. So you're not That's not off the table. What? Oh, good. What? Well, you're moving to New York if you move anywhere. <laughs> you know what, Janessa? I found her first. No, 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 you didn't. <laughs> we were in the same car together. Mm, yeah. I feel oh, 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 oh. I'm getting close to Nettie. She's like a little sister to me now, and mm. she's so energetic and bubbly, and I love having her around. She always Ooh. makes me laugh. Uh -huh. Oh, is that oh, Mac Garcia? Oh, Mac full coverage? Cool. Look like it. Oh, hell room. Purgatory go! Oh, Alison. Alison. Oh, here we go. Time How for your brow you? lift. You feel all right? Oh. I know. Let's have a look, yeah? This is going to be the first time that I see my arms. I'm so excited. Okay. Who's this woman? Oh, who's, who's this? Who's this little till lady woman? Who's this? Unexpected item in backing, 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 Take your change. Whomst is this woman? Are you a recovery nurse? I'm guessing you must be because like, wh why are you here? Why do we not know whomst you are? Hmm? Whomst have been eating my quiche. Yeah. Oh my God. Huh? It's gone. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to be able to buy tank tops and not feel horrible about the way my oh. arms look. Oh my God. Oh. Can you see? Yes. What? Wow. Okay. Wow. I had no idea that liposuction can do that to an arm. Look at that. The way that these two photos are shot, though, because they've, like, cut off any amount of, like, blonde hair or whatever, how do we know it's it's the same woman? This could have been, you know, uh, this could have been post-production being like, and we've just got random lady arm B. Like, to be like, oh, look what we can do if you visit Dr. Dubrow. Like, isn't that strange? And because there's only, like, four pixels, I can't tell if there's any, like, giveaway, like, particular things that... Uh, Alison has on her arm to be able to see if these are the same, both the same arms. <gasps> Scandal, girls! <laughs> How much of this is flat? Yes. I mean, look at this. Oh my god. <gasps> it's gone. Yeah. That's the this same shot we saw earlier. This is come true for me. I don't think don't I've press ever on the seen wound myself with, your with open thin arms. arms. Ever. This is going to be a fraction of this. When your swelling comes down, it's going to look like this. Wow. Maybe the thinnest my arms have ever been were in grade school, and I'd have to look at pictures to remember that. How are you? Good, Alison, how are you? Good. Oh, hello. I'm so excited because hello. I'm just really Don't looking forward to see finally what my nose looks like. <gasps> Today's the day. Oh, oh sticky goo goo. Oh my god, you look so different. <gasps> Here you go. Oh my goodness. Oh, she's got that little bit of swelling here. So this little bit of swelling here, I actually quite like it. I don't know how to explain it, but like almost as if if you have this swelling here that makes your eyes look slightly farther apart, you get this really like, I don't know, whenever I've like bumped my face or something, if I've like, I don't know, been in a fight, not that I have, but you know what I mean? When I, whenever I've had anything that's made this part of my face swell, I always feel like I look a little bit like a dolphin. And my goodness, you feel cute. Like I feel like this look is just cute. I don't know how to explain it, but it's almost like the further apart your eyes are, the cuter you look. I don't know. Does anybody else get that vibe as well? I don't know if I'm explaining myself correctly, but that's like the vibe that I'm getting. Like, look, look how different, almost like younger and cuter. Is it because babies? Do babies have really far apart eyes? Like, why am I feeling this? This is a very interesting phenomenon I am experiencing. Am I alone? Let me know I'm not alone, please. <gasps> that is so crazy. She does look really lovely though, doesn't she? You fixed she? me. <laughs> I did, didn't I? Oh, fixed. It's unreal, like, I never even imagined this would ever happen. And it, it happened, like, it's, it's fixed. I'm beside myself, I'm so happy. Wow. The bad news is, wow. uh, you need to wear tape for at least a week, like this hideous tape. Okay. Not this. It's me. Okay. okay. <laughs> All right, you fantastic. So You're welcome. All of You're that. Really yay. Awesome. <laughs> oh, doorbell goes. What a lovely romper. Huh? Oh, wow. <laughs> Delivery <laughs> girl. A garden. An orchid. Ah. A triffid, maybe. <laughs> Okay. What are you, Nettie? Nettie, oh, God. what's all this okay. about? Oh my God. Girls! Oh my God! Oh my God. I'm really, I'm really is this going to be flower arranging? Oh is that the is that the is that the task? We run this downstairs week? and I notice that Nettie's holding a huge arrangement of flowers. Oh my gosh! They're real. I can't wait to see what this is about. 
Hey ladies, Flower enjoy ranging. the fragrant smell of these fabulous flowers. <laughs> I'll see you soon at the showroom of LA's top celebrity flower designer. I was right, go. Oh my God. Obviously now our challenge clearly has to do with flowers yes. and well I need done, to win this challenge. There, yes. There's no way that I can be in the bottom three times in a row. That's just impossible. <gasps> oh, yeah, of I'm course. fighting for it. It's just, it, I can't. She's out. No, I can't be in the bottom Nettie's again. Nettie's gone. Oh, I'm so gone. excited. Okay, let's go get ready. <laughs> Abandon the flowers in the middle of the floor. Flowers. What's this music? Electro disco. Do you dream of electric disco? <gasps> bosoms. Flowers and bosoms. Oh, All right, yeah. come on then. <gasps> Oh. Hi, girls. Come on in and take a seat. So I walk into LA Premiere and I see all these beautiful flowers everywhere. Yes. And it's overwhelmingly gorgeous. It's, yes. it's wonderful. Welcome yes. to the famous LA Premiere. I'd like to introduce you to a good friend of mine. This is shop owner and designer, Kevin Lee. Hello, Hello. Hello Kevin Lee, my love. You have an interesting <laughs> hairstyle. Hi. Oh, you look so fabulous. <laughs> oh. Especially you. My God, look at you. I look like a chip. This is fabulous. I love it. Oh, that's really quite fun sweet. day today. Oh, Kevin Lee, he left nothing to the imagination in those pants. Oh. You cannot help staring oh. at it. if it hangs to the left or it hangs to the right because Wait, it's just... Wait, sorry, 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 sorry. That is a, an interesting thing to have on a show. Why are you commenting on a stranger's genitals? Gosh. Why was this allowed? <laughs> it's in full view for all to see. Isn't that fabulous? Well, ladies, Kevin is one of the most sought after. As if he was like fabulous to his own genitalia. That's the way they edited that there. That was an interesting edit choice. Is this one of those things that's going to be like, because he's a bit flamboyant, editing's going to be like, oh, wacky flamboyant Kevin girls. Like, mm, mm, mm their celebrity floral designers. He's done so many A-list celebrities from Christina Aguilera. Oh my oh, God. Juliana oh, Rancic. <gasps> Who is that? Kendra yes. Wilkinson. Who is that? Ooh. Yeah. Who's Kendra Wilkinson? <laughs> And ladies, we are here to figure out your wedding centerpieces and bouquets. Oh, Shayna, this Somebody is who does Christina Aguilera's dress. wedding can do Allison's wedding any day. <laughs> also, we met up quite a few different in a bouquet. Oh, they've enjoy. given him subtitles. So let me show it to oh, you. no. All right. Oh, I like that. Yeah. That, oh, this that's is very, yes, that's like, very and innocent. And whose was this? Jenny Finesse's bridal bouquet. Oh, my God. Look at this like, gorgeous bouquet as well. Jewels. This is incredible. So fabulous. Wow. So, like, you can have a long bouquet that, like, uh, orchids are dripping down. <gasps> or, like, uh, you so can lovely. have just all the flowers just as solid hat. like this. So don't limit yourself to be only one kind of flower. Can be all kinds of flowers, but with a style. That's lovely. Kevin, do you find it's more in trend right now to have higher flower arrangements or kind of a low on the table? Actually, I like the combination of a high and low. So when you walk in, you create so much drama. Yeah. If you love... <laughs> <laughs> talking about creating drama on bridal plastic. I am absolutely fascinated with the way that Kevin is talking about his passion. I mentioned this in the ball gown challenge. Ball gown? No, it's not correct. <laughs> Different franchise. In the gown challenge, I mentioned that it's lovely to hear someone talk with passion about what they love in life. So clearly this guy, Kevin, is passionate about flowers, passionate about the way they look, passionate about the, the ideas and the emphasis around them. So... I, oh, I love passion. Don't you love passion? Drama, here I come. <laughs> okay, I'm here. It's really great getting advice from a celebrity florist. Not to mention he's so enthusiastic about it. Exactly what I just said. for you girls. Okay. Yes. Let's see. Who fits better for this bouquet? Looks like you. These are all going to go in your bridal Oh, it's, that one's a bit Claire's this accessories. This like you. Oh, that's very B&Q. That is you. Oh, that is gorgeous. Interesting. Perfect. I love my mini bouquet. It's such a great idea. And he did such a wonderful job putting them together. And it's definitely going to be motivation to win. Kevin has been like, generous enough. Is she going to stab him in the back? The like what? Plasti, all their wedding flowers for free. Well, you guys can think. Well, I mean, obviously. Obvi can you imagine? They'd be like, you've won this challenge, but you also need to pay for your flowers, girl. That was such a weird sentence to put in. Give your flowers for free. Ooh! Like, isn't that weird? Isn't that weird? What? Uh, very odd. Kevin, thank, thank you. you. Oh, 
and get your stuff together, Thank and then I will you. meet you back get at the your bridal stuff tent together. for your bridal plasty challenge. Yeah. Oh, is it? It's going to be flower arranging, right? Surely. You know, flower picking? being able to add my bouquet in the closet, it's like a dream come true. But I need to be focusing on just winning and, and doing what I gotta do. Brutus needs to become. Did you hear those two different? recording takes there it almost sounded like one was recorded like at home and one was recorded in the studio did you hear that that's a really interesting thing why did they put that in why did they put that in why was that necessary has that added to the storyline at all it's almost like the way that a show is edited and put together is like the extra person in the room isn't that interesting mm. yeah quite doing what i gotta do <sighs> brutus so needs to become olive oil was that an ancient rome joke very strange. Oh, hello. <laughs> oh, the plastics have arrived. Oh, look. Oh Celebrity B. Juliana Ranzik. I mean, she is a host of E! News. She's had her own oh. reality show. She oh. interviews celebrities on the red carpet. Oh, that's why I've not heard of her. Juliana Ranzik here in Hollywood. I am Rancic. fantastic, Ryan. I gotta be honest. Can you feel the energy on this red carpet right now? Okay, I'm gonna try to milk oh, as many more as possible. It's pretty amazing to see her in person. It is now time for your next Bridal Plasty Challenge. Oh, wait, I forget this was on E! So of course she would be involved, wouldn't she? Because E! Entertainment was, like, everywhere in 2010. It was everywhere in 2010, wasn't it? So, like, that's quite an interesting concept. Oh, easy to pick for out the house if you're just employed by the network, isn't it? Mm. Well, you all remember Kevin Lee from the shop earlier today. I know. Hi. Hi. I have a new friend I'd like to introduce you to. From E! News and her own show, Juliana and Bill. Oh, my God. Juliana oh. Rancic. I'm like starstruck. I'm like, oh my god, Juliana Ranzik. I'm so excited. Hi, guys. Hi. Is that what you're like? This Cheyenne. is really exciting. Yay. Hey, so exciting. Well, today at Kevin's shop, you found out that it's obvious you need to have a clear vision of what you want for your perfect wedding. Okay. So we're going to test your ability to turn your vision into a reality. Okay. You will be making your bridal bouquets. Bright flower arranging, girls. To design and construct. We've had a puzzle, we've had a gown, we've had breast lifts. <laughs> now you get to arrange some flowers. Uh, do you know, in order to be a flower arranger, or at least a florist in the UK, you have to have a degree, an actual degree. Isn't that wild? When I first heard this, I was like, really? I just, I've never put those two things together, but I guess you do, don't you? Imagine also being like one of these people that's just like, I arrange celebrities for flowers. My fee is $19 million a year. It's one of those jobs that you just hear of that you're like, how did you get there? How did that happen? How is this a thing? Absolutely wild. Your perfect bouquet. You can use anything you see in this shop right here today. Ooh. When I call time, you must place your bouquet in the vase next to your station. Va Kevin vase. Kevin will be judging your bouquets from a scale of zero to ten. Zero being terrible and ten being perfect. Oh. He'll be judging you on appearance, personal style, and lastly, durability. Also, Allison, you can just sit How tight. How do you and watch judge the durability? Button. The bride with the highest individual score will become our top bride. The okay. two brides with the lowest score will become our bottom brides. Obviously. And you heard me correct. We will have two bottom brides this week. Oh, just two? In 30 minutes starts now. Go on, oh, girls. Go on. Grab that, Daisy. There is no Grab way that. in hell I'm letting Janessa win this challenge. It's up to me to take her ass down. I think she's going to win. I will throw because you a pop bitch that fit if Janessa wins. Careful. Coming Susan up, will get me. Oh, none of that. Wedding. So today's challenge is to make our own bridal bouquet. Bridal bouquet, girls. We only girls. have 30 minutes to do it, and the highest score becomes top 30 bride. minutes. Yeah, I know, instantly. I want my bouquet to be big. Yes. Big. I want it full. So far, so good. Buxom. I want it sparkly. Bouncy. And I want some feathers incorporated in it. Feathery flowers? Ten years, Gosh. everybody doing a white bouquet. I'm back. Oh, yeah, there you go, Dominique. Okay, should I just fill in all in here? Yeah, just fill it in. Okay. Fill it, make it as full as you can, I think. So I go straight for the, the purple hydrangeas and try to grab as many sparkly, blingy things I can get my hands on. Oh, is it going to look tacky, though? It'll not only give it personality, but it'll make it what Kevin wants to see. Oh, all right. Oh, yeah, I forgot about husbands. I forgot. Husbands are involved in all this, aren't they? I do like that. That's really I thought, little. like, maybe orange flowers would look pretty with white flowers. So I grab the orange flowers and I put one in and I'm like, oh, that looks pretty. Oh, she's created a, a volleyball girl. Ladies, you have ten more minutes. Gosh, that Are was quick. 
I have never in my life even dreamt of putting together a bouquet. So I really don't know what I'm doing, but I'm yeah. definitely going to try my best because I will not be bottom bride again. It's kind of weird hearing about all this because we don't know what jobs all these contestants have had. Let's just say one of them was a florist at one point. How would we know? None of us would ever know. So, of course, they would have naturally a better right doing it. You don't even have to be a florist. You could be anything in the arts industry, graphics designer, photographer, freelance illustrator, anything with an artistic creative mind to see which colours go together and in certain patterns. But then, of course, we're having one person judge it, aren't we, again? Which is the same thing that we're seeing week after week after week on Bridal Plastic, is that the producers could literally just approach this one person and say, we want you to pick any of these three people, whichever one, you know, you think looks the nicest. We want one of those three people to win to create maximum drama in the house, girls. Oh, it's a scandal, girls. I wonder what this looks stupid painting like. Mm. Like, listen to the bumbling music. They're like, obviously, that's a stupid I'm putting decision. my bouquet together and Lisa Marie just will not shut the hell up. I don't know about this one. How am I going to stay in there? She has no idea what the hell she's doing. She can't even figure out how to tie a damn bouquet together. Yeah, but really? you just said that. You just said that. You didn't know that. You glue, you glue, you glue. Incompetence. You need it to be full. So grab a color. We have a bunch of different colors there. And then on the other side, there's white ones. I would go Also, Netta, you could just say, no, lady, no. I'm overwhelmed. I don't even know which flowers I particularly want. Oh. It's looking cheesy. Like these, like... No, no, no. No, no, no. Not those. No, those are horrible. <laughs> horrible flowers. Not looking good. Um. Think fabulosity. Fabulosity. Better hurry. There's Ooh. only five minutes left. Oh, gosh. The drama goes... It's going to be a toughie because everyone looks really good. Very crash I'm looking bandicoot. around to see what the other girls are doing. Oh, come on, Janessa. I'm kind of judging their bouquets to see if I think mine's going to shape up to theirs or not. I actually laid an egg in my own bouquet for I am a wasp. I just really don't think this is Lisa Marie's thing. Nettie is totally clueless. Dominique's bouquet just looks like she's skinned a smurf. But Kristen is definitely a competitor. Sorry, what colour are smurfs? Are they purple hydrangea colour? I don't think, Janessa. Uh, do you need to go back to school and learn your colours? <laughs> oh, she's such a serpent, isn't she? Imagine judging flowers whilst wearing that top right there. Hoomst. Editive threat. Three, two, <gasps> one. I have no Bouquets idea who's going to win. Bases, no idea. Down. Okay, ladies, you're going to walk individually, one by one, down oh, very the white carpet off. and present your wedding oh, bouquet da, da, to Kevin da, da. and Juliana. We are going to start with what, What's Nettie. Juliana even doing here, if Kevin gets to choose? Oh, Walking on oh, is about to oh, be judged. I know how much is on the line. Ready? Hello. <laughs> you think you are happy with this? I love it. So I really hope Do that my bouquet scores you're well. happy with this? Hmm. The music. What do you think, Juliana? It's too many flowers working together, and then with the bling on it, and then the feathers. Yeah, but it's a little bit like a hot mess. <laughs> it's just not cleanness to it, just too much in everything to me. I give you five. Oh. You put Ooh. together a freaking bouquet, Juliana. See how it comes out. Should I like to give you a five? Ugh, my life. Well, she has Cheyenne, a point. You are next. Wow, look at this. Look at the shape. It's so fabulous. Thank you. Yeah. The shape is very pretty. I'm very picky with the flowers. Gorgeous roses, just daisies. Make it a little like a childish. <gasps> it's pretty, and I love the shape of it. Why even have daisies available oh, then if it's that. childish? Thank you. A seven. Oh. Okay, two Dominique, you safe are next. ladies, maybe? <laughs> wow. Oh. What do you think? Wow. This looks too big for a bridal bouquet. Too big. You know, that's how I feel. What do you think? If I can be honest, it screams Dolly Parton to me. What's wrong with it's Dolly Parton? Country. More famous than you. When I think Dolly Parton, I think huge boobs. I really didn't see any boobs in Dominique's bouquet. This orc is coming. <laughs> I didn't see any boobs in Dominique's bouquet. Well, that's the sentence of the week, isn't it, my loves? No boobs in Dominique's bouquet. Bosoms in the bouquet. Poirot is shaking. Down, make it just like a little, you know, chipping it. You I were talking earlier about six. things falling I'll down, so right. I don't like <laughs> that. <laughs> mm. Lisa Marie, I quite you liked are next. That. 
I'm looking down at my bouquet oh, and I'm oh realizing dear. like, oh, no, I could definitely do way better. And I'm like, be easy on me, be easy on me. Why? <laughs> check it this out. This is a competition. Oh. <gasps> Looks so disaster. Look at these <gasps> dead flowers. Oh. They died while they waited. They oh. died while they were oh. sitting on your Look table? At this. That's oh my God. Oh God. That's oh. interesting. Kevin. Oh. This is hideous. I'm frustrated that we can't really just dive into one of these challenges and really, really try and give it her all. I mean, was she really happy with that bouquet? There's no way. You know, hideous. So here it go. Oh my god. I'm screwed. So screwed. Hideous. Hideous. I give you a two. How about oh! that? A two out of a Scandal. ten. Scandal. I'm thinking. In the bin. In the bin. Kristen, oh no. It's your turn. Okay, in the bin, girl. Panic it's at my the disco. I'm going to be judged by Kevin and Juliana. And I really want to win another surgery. I if I was top like right again, I really would have to get either my tummy or my thighs lipoed. I want to get back to the size I used to be. This. Oh. 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 The feathers are too much, and they're they're not in the right place. Go away, you know, Julia. Kind of Juliana. Hands at me, <laughs> lady. Uh, uh, there what, were like feathers feather without it. Yeah, they did feathers kind of look like hands coming off the side of it. Hands, feathery hands, so feathered bird pussy. The shirt wise, it's a glamorous. What do you think of the size? It's a little big. What, for her? She just had a new book job. Oh. And it's, it's a How does he know? Yeah. Scandal. <laughs> Psychic lady. By the way. Yeah. You see, the fact that he said, oh, she's just had her boob job, makes me think, okay, so production have told you every single thing that's happened this far. Because how else would he know? If they just brought him in to be an expert in this one, you know, episode slash challenge, he wouldn't have previous knowledge of who else is one. That is a crack in production, girls. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so this isn't going to be realistic. We have to take everything here with a pinch of salt because they have a plan. They have a plan of who wants to win the surgery, girls. Look amazing. <laughs> well, I'm glad my bouquet sucks, but my boobs are nice. <gasps> Secret whispers. Juliana, it's up to you. I don't know if you're going to be I'm happy or not. This. We're going to have to give you an eight. Wait, what? Wow. Juliana. They didn't even say that. Did you hear that? They were just standing there like... And then the overlay was, we're going to have to give you an eight. They didn't say, look, watch, how weird is this? Juliana, it's up to you. I don't know if you're going to be I'm happy or not. Watch, watch, watch. We're going to have to give you an eight. None of them are speaking. Wow, Juliana. Now I'm in the lead. I'm just hoping that something goes terribly wrong with Janessa's bouquet so that she doesn't get top ride. Janessa, I reckon you Janessa's going to win. I reckon I production want her to win. I am not going to be one of these bottom two. I mean, it's quite a nice I would love to be top well. ride because I really want to get my nose done. And plus, I'm safe for two eliminations. Oh, oh my God. God. Why would production get rid of the villain? Oh, oh don't do it coming up, girls. Oh, skip. Bridal plastic girls. All right, back in the chair. Janessa, you the are next. Boat. As Janessa's walking down the aisle, I am just hoping and praying that I can hold off Janessa and be top ride. Gosh, oh this, my is so, God. this is a lot, now isn't it? I just it? need her to have right. less than eight points. Oh my God. Is it good? Is it I bad? I have to say, of all of the bouquets, I would choose this one for my wedding. <gasps> Why? I knew really it. Job. I knew it. You used feathers, but not too many feathers. Uh, she, it's covered in feathers. Have you seen it? It's practically all feathers. So that's a lie. Lie, machines. Switch you. These flowers are just perfect. How about nine? Thank you. Oh. Thank you. Janessa, you are our top bride. Yeah. <laughs> I'm finally going to be getting my nose done. I knew you have it. an opportunity now knew to pick it. one of the plastic surgeries off your wish list. I knew, how You'll quick be was that? Not just this week, but next week as well. I knew it. Psychic lady on the game. Just call me Sally, girls. This sucks. I really thought I had another chance to be top ride. Now my biggest rival in the house gets to be safe for the next two eliminations. Hang on. Have we... We haven't so far had anyone who's been top bride twice, have we? I wonder if they can't have two top brides in the same season. Obviously, what are we on now? Episode six. I believe there's ten episodes of this entire series. So I guess we've got four more episodes to find out. But so far, only one has been top. So let's... Ooh, Ashley's, and none of the top brides have gone yet, have they? Go pack those bags, because you are leaving immediately. Bye. Off to your surgery, girl. Bye. At least she doesn't get to vote at the next RSVP ceremony. That's Lisa Marie, true. Nettie, That's true. She doesn't get to vote. You two are our bottom brides, ah. and you're now both at risk of being sent home. Yes. 
there's only so many times that my alliance can bail out Lisa Marie. And, you know, at one point, I'm going to give up on her. Because if she can't try and she can't do it, then why am I keeping her here? It's really yep, just very true. affecting everybody else. I will see oh, you all dear. at the RSVP ceremony tomorrow night. Bye. I'm in the bottom again. Great. Alison was so stunning over like Juliana just then. That was so, that's actually quite cute, cute to see. I love it when like someone's like, oh, they're so cool. I really like that. Isn't that sweet? Even though I have no idea who she is. And I just also don't really care, to be honest. But that's quite nice. Story of my life. Right. Are you guys okay? Lisa mm -hmm. Marie versus Can't Nettie. Nettie's been in the bottom three times, but Lisa Marie hasn't of been I'm disappointed doing that I'm well. Bottom again, so. for the third time. But if you like me by now, you like me. If you don't, well then mm. go screw yourself. I can sit here and cry. Double eviction? For a whole day, or I can sit here and enjoy the rest of my time with you guys, so. Drama. Ooh. Bingley, but, oh, recovery, girls. Oh. oh. There we oh. go. Oh, mysterious Bingley. nurse. I'm good. Oh, Lisa Marie's come to get votes. Ah. Well, I hope you feel better. <sighs> trying. No, I know. Just disturbing. And you're trying to get better, and it just won't work the way you want it to. Disturbing? I'm so numb to the whole thing. This time, people are, like, a little more quiet. Honestly, I don't know how it's going to go. I don't know. I'm feeling mentally and physically exhausted. <gasps> this is, like, emotional torment. If you're questioning if you have my vote, you know I have your back. Oh, okay. Oh, that's so cute. I wouldn't be sitting here with this surgery if it wasn't for you guys. It's so nice to hear that mm. Allison has my back because that's at least true. now I know I have one vote and that's there's hope true. for me to stay. I mean, it's not Alice, over till it's yes, over, you know? that's true. Lisa Marie Please picked Allison. Alone. Okay. A favor for a favor. Oh. Gag for gag. Yes, hello. How are you? Oh, hello, Good Janessa. To you. Good to see you. How are you doing today? Very excited. Good. So am I, actually. So we're going to do your nose today, right? Mm -hmm. Ever since do I can remember nose. when I was a child, I just always remember like looking in the mirror. And any time it turned to the side, that was all I could see. So I just feel like it's very long. Okay. And I'd like to take that back. I want to make sure that my wedding picture, since my wedding's coming up, yeah. uh, I don't have the same problem. Imagine telling Dr. Dubrow, who's part of the entire wedding franchise of Bridal Plastic, being like, my wedding is also coming up. So, you know, like, imagine if he was like, what? I had no idea you need a brow lift. Wouldn't that have been ridiculous? My fiance is going to love that I'm getting a new nose because if it's going to make me look better, of course it's going to make him look better. Make you easier I'm to borrow really into him to lay your egg. Careful, I'm going to do an amazing job, okay? okay. Sounds okay. great. Good. Are they plotting against Janessa? <gasps> Do you know who you're going to meet? Oh. I love Lisa Marie, but then I feel guilty for not voting for Nettie. That's who I'm voting for. Nettie? Who? Mm -hmm. Interesting. I like to watch my head. I feel like she's offended. Oh. I kind of feel bad because I know it's like a confidence thing. I'm getting like a little like, uh, just like, roll with punches sometimes, you know? Well, what? and there's what people you, you connect with more than others, and I guess that has a majority to do with it too. Is Dominique, Dominique like really tired? Dominique's gonna vote for Nettie. This is amazing because losing Lisa Marie would totally weaken their alliance. I feel like I've connected. And that's Nettie the tea. Competition wise, Nettie obviously scored higher. You know, I am feeling torn between Nettie and Lisa Marie because I'm frustrated that Lisa Marie can't really just dive into one of these challenges and really, really try and give it her all. I mean, how many times have we heard that phrase this episode? It, that she can't dive into the challenges and get on with it. Do you know what I mean? So I kind of feel like it's maybe going that way. Oh. oh. Looks so disaster. Look at this. Dead flowers. I always thought, like, mm, I think. That sucks. Mm. It's only going to get worse from here. Mm. Oh. Coming up. What? Lisa Marie was standing there. What? Bridal plastic girl. Oh, sorry, bridal plastic men. <laughs> There's a couple of big deep uh, breaths for me. All plastic. the way in, all the way out. I'm really oh, excited Jeanette, going into go. surgery. Like I've wanted this for the last 28 years, or as long as I can remember. And 28 years. You've wanted it since you were like born. That you wanted a nose job. No, I don't. Mm. This is pretty amazing. Oh, baby to boo, baby to boo, baby to boo. From to boo. here to Ooh. here. Oh, measurements. Long. So let's go ahead and open up the nose. 
scalpel. First thing we'll do is go inside her nose and oh. take a piece of her septum. Her nose is not that bad. It just needs very subtle refinements. So I'm going to use that in the tip to stabilize it. I'm going to refine the tip with some sutures. And now we'll sew that into the tip and form the structure of the tip around this. This wow. nose is oh. a lot less projecting and much more attractive than this nose. Attractive? Attraction is subjective, Dr. Dubro. Don't be saying anything like that. This tip is much more attractive. Mmm, don't agree. Mm, I do kind of have a problem with that, with him saying, like, this nose that I've created is much more attractive than the nose she already has. Uh, I don't like words like attraction. You can say things like refined. You can say things like altered. Attraction is completely subjective. So I do feel that that's a bit on the nose, dare I say it? Mmm, nah. Oh, yeah, it's beautiful. That is beautiful. Look at that. I mean, it's quite upturned, quite strongly upturned. The vitals are good. Let's wake her up and uh, wheel her to recovery. Wakey, wakey, Janessa. Hi, oh, Janessa. Hey. Hey, How are you? Good, how are you? Good, I'm really excited about this. Good. Yeah, I made a lot of little changes. Oh, dear. Oh, oh everyone looks awful after impact. nose surgery, don't they? It's going to look really Little's great. Nice. It went very smoothly. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Oh. You're really welcome. Oh, a fountain. Lovely. That was an extended fountain shot. All oh, the houses, the fountains, the gout. Um, it's obvious that you're upset. Well, of course. I just want to make sure you're going to be okay if you, like, Ooh. go home. You know what I mean? Sorry, did she just say I want to make sure you're okay if you go home? Oh, that's very, um... That's a bit telling that you're not going to vote for her, isn't it? You have a feeling I will. No, <laughs> you're, like, first no thing. it's not like that. Yeah, just, see? I get your perspective on it. Ooh. I don't want to be hard on Lisa Marie, but I'm just really trying to figure out oh, if she really Marie. wants this. It's obvious oh, she's not fighting for it, and I really need her to tell me that yes, I can do this, and yes, I want the stream wedding. Scary. I don't think she's gonna go it. though. It's like, <gasps> mm -hmm. like, how would you feel if you go home without any like plastic surgery? Yeah, that's the tea. You don't care. I'm, no, no, it's not to say that I don't care. I mean, I'm so happy to see all of you guys getting it done. And it'd be nice so that if one of us, you know, each and every one of us got something done. Mm -hmm. How cool. I don't believe at this point Lisa Marie deserves to stay over Nettie. I feel like I keep bailing out Lisa Marie and all she does is let me down. It's only going to be one winner. No, I know. I know. And it, it seems doesn't like, sound like it's gonna be is you, preparing is. me mentally to go home. Yes, it I don't does think sound she's like gonna vote for me. So yep. I gotta do something about it. I gotta get the ball rolling. Yep, 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 yep. That's the tea, girls. Up. How are you doing? Oh, Janessa. I'm feeling really good getting back to the house. They I love it. They to... love changing these confessionals and putting like plasters and bandages on them. I wonder if they're actually out of surgery or if they're like, like when are confessionals filmed in a show like this? Are they filmed like as it's happening or are they all filmed like in bulk towards the end of the series? Like, I don't understand because they do change outfits. So that would suggest that they're filmed over certain different days. But like, mm, are they filmed all in one go? Give the illusion or are they filmed as it goes? I'm very confused. I quite like the idea of them having to wear like fake bandages if they do because that's kind of like amusing to like sell the fantasy if you know what I mean. Healing stuff, but there's still competition going on. There is. I can't wait to see what's been happening while I've been this gone. all for a wedding? All for a wedding. <gasps> oh, oh, is she here? Oh, my baby. Oh, she looks so oh, hey. wonderful. She doesn't even look small. I'm so happy because Janessa's back and she looks three, fantastic. We've had three nose jobs so I far. what I looked like and I looked... So much worse than Janessa. Hold on, turn to the side, turn to the side. Oh, oh my god! Look, it's like short! Really okay, we'll see you later. Bye. We love you. Into purgatory ah! you go. Oh, I love everybody greets by just going, oh ah! Janessa so is like good. superwoman when she comes home. She didn't even come in the wheelchair. I think she just walked through the door. Like, wow, you just really had surgery. <laughs> So did I miss it's all that hate girl talk? keeps it's you going. Very quiet. Really? What are you voting for? Oh, straight to business. I have no idea. I'm lying. I've been in recovery. You can tell me. It's a little lonely being in the recovery room because I'm used. To Imagine being called a liar to your face right there and then as you're laying on your bed. You're a liar. I'm in recovery. You can tell me. 
No, Janessa, maybe I don't want to tell you. Serpent. They're kind of having the pulse on what's going on in the house. I'd probably be voting for Lisa Marie. That's what I think. I, think <gasps> I really want Lisa Marie to stay. Mm -hmm. Of course you do, like, Dominique. Very sweet also. Mm -hmm. Dominique, I mean, Janessa. Probably voting for Natty. That was what I was a little confused about. I think that it would end up being a tie. She's so on. She's There's so... two girls in the bottom and four people voting. So yes. in the event of a tie, I'll have the deciding vote and I'll decide who goes home. Oh, that was a put in. Did you hear that? That was a planted. That was a planted sentence recorded elsewhere. Not there in the studio. I'll get to decide who goes home. She almost says it like, oh, I can't believe that I'll have to decide who is going home. But she's so like... I can't wait to send everyone home. Oh, it's a lot, isn't it? The drama, the drama. In this one house. Oh. I feel like the if intro I did music. another challenge, and you have the bottom again, like, no, 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 not even, like, I didn't win, like, top ride, but I just, like, I was just safe. Like, I made it right in the middle. I feel like I had won, like, the Total whole thing. thing. I'm like, oh, my God! Yeah, Nettie yeah. has lost constantly. Really top, I don't care. I just want to be safe. I, I just want to say thank my fans. <laughs> Nettie and Lisa Marie have been in the bottom a few times, but Nettie's being mm. a really good sport about it, and she's being very upbeat and happy. I think Nettie's going to stay. I'm always I like, I'm okay, right in the middle. You know, and I get so excited for everybody else who has had something done. And love to see you just be like, I wanted that. You know, I wanted to be top right. What's Damn your it? number one thing? <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking around, I'm looking at all these girls' faces, and I'm just thinking, like, maybe if I just remind them about what my story is about, will keep me here. <gasps> I had to deal with, like, acne as a very, very young person. Broke out my fifth and sixth grade, and it was very hard for me because I was the only one in, like, school that... Mm -hmm. It's very embarrassing for me to say. I remember getting oh, teased difficult. like a lot in school to the point where I'd be jumped like every day for two years. It was off they ever jumped. hit you? Yeah, and I never told my parents. Did you ever go to like counseling for that? Jumped? Mm -mm. After listening to the story, I feel bad for her and I really need to talk to Janessa because I have no idea what I'm going to do tonight. Sorry, you were jumped for having acne. Wow, what kind of piece of shits did you go to school with? That is unacceptable. Uh, oh, jumped for acne. Don't you go... Oh, hateful. Absolutely hateful. Hateful, hateful children. Oh, vile. <laughs> oh, everyone loves Janessa. Yay! Oh, I, want, I think everyone's just frightened of her. She's doing really good already. I know, right? How jealous am I? I'm just saying. <laughs> So, so we do talk. Yes. <gasps> you know, it's kind of on the fence. So daddy stays at the house. I have to make a decision between Lisa Marie, who's my lions, and Nettie. And, you know, I just really kind of feel guilty for going against Janessa. I don't know what I'm going to do. Really? But what if it's a tie? Maybe they'll ask me to vote. If there's a tie tonight at the RSVP ceremony, I think Janessa would vote for Lisa Marie. Mm-hmm. Obviously. Think you're going to go? Okay, maybe I can go. <laughs> I think I missed it. I know. I think Kristen and Cheyenne will be voting for Nettie. Exactly Probably 99.9% positive that Allison's going to be voting for Lisa Marie. Exactly what she wants. I think it'll be hard with this one. I'm pretty sure I'm going to vote for Lisa Marie. I still don't want to throw that out there. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not 100% confident. Oh my goodness. How is this going to play out? Is it, are we on? Is it, <gasps> the RSVP time, go. Ladies, Quick, shush. Come meet me in the foyer. Oh, Shayna. I've got a pause on that. Look how gorgeous. Oh, maybe not with that face. Hang on. Oh, that was the best, I suppose. Look how gorgeous that outfit is. This sort of like black, lacy, floral nude illusion. Oh, I really like that. And with the large earrings, she could have done with a little necklace that kind of matched a little bit. I actually don't hate this outfit on, on Sheena. Maybe I've become part of the alliance. Wow. She Sheena looks excellent tonight. As you can see, there's the RSVP box. So that means you will cast your vote for the bride you would most like to see stay. Here we go. Now I need the two bottom brides to come with me. Ooh. Nettie, Lisa Marie. Ooh. 
Who's just going to go? Being in the bottom for the third time in a row. It's like I can't catch a break, but I, I honestly right now, don't I'm think you're going Janessa though, Nettie. Because, like, hands down, Janessa would pick Lisa Marie over myself to stay. Oh, although, yes, if Janessa gets in, yes, I'm she will send Nettie home. I'm nervous about going ooh. into this RSVP ceremony because ooh, 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 I ooh. really have no clue how the turnout will be. My fate is in the hands of God. Really? It's probably in the hands of Janessa, let's be honest. Tonight really is a difficult decision. Production and aren't going to miss sure this opportunity. To go for. This I Janessa really like them both, and I don't want to see either one of them leave. Gosh, whenever I see nose jobs, whenever I see nose jobs in any of these like shows, my nose automatically becomes really itchy and I'm just like, <laughs> I don't know what it is. I don't know why, but it, that's what happens. Scales. At this point, the decisions Vacuum. have already been made. So I'm just hoping that Dominique voted for Nettie. Because if I'm ever in the bottom with Janessa, I know that Lisa Marie will vote for her. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Coming up? Coming up. Ow! Yeah. Right, here we go. Here we go, girls. The last, last leg of bridal plasty. The music's different. Going into this RSVP ceremony, I'm a little anxious. At yeah, this not point, surprise, it's not Nettie. who do you most want to Ooh, see fashion. go? It's who do you want to stay? Runway. And that's Work what it, it should be about. Who Nasty. deserves this wedding? I yes. am more worthy of this wedding than Lisa Marie. <gasps> more worthy of a wedding? I'm passionate that's about staying. And I think by staying here, it'll just help me progress as a person and ultimately remove any inner scars and outer scars and have that beautiful dream wedding. I'm not sure this reality TV show can do that. Oh, Janessa's in the wheelchair after all. So I'm just hoping well, that Kristen Dominique nice. voted for Nettie. Because if she doesn't, Janessa will be in complete control of the vote. And yes. that would suck. I don't think production if would... If Allison and Dominique vote Stop like that. I expect them to, then my plan will have worked out perfectly. Ladies, Nettie, Lisa Marie, whether you stay or go, is in the hands of your fellow brides. We get it. We know the game by now, Shayna. Come on, go. Our first bride, Allison. Please step forward oh, and reveal Allison. your RSVP. I love both of you dearly. <gasps> so, I will make my decision. Oh, short and sweet. Lisa Marie. Ooh, that's what she said she was going to do. That's what she's done. Okay. Lisa Marie helped to vote for me to get my surgery. Exactly. I she do was... not forget. Yeah, exactly. She was never not going to do Cheyenne. that. Cheyenne. Oh, Cheyenne girls. Hello, ladies. I made the decision just going by who I thought put the most effort into being here. Nettie. Nettie girls. One, one for one. Relieved. One I'm for one. I'm feeling great that we're neck and neck. We're 50-50. Yeah. Things could go any which way at this point. And I'm just really glad that Shai had my back. Kristen, yeah. please step forward and reveal your RSVP. Kristen's going to vote for Nettie, surely. Nettie. <laughs> What I admire about you most is that you take a negative situation and you laugh at it, and I love oh. that. Oh, all right then. Lisa Marie, <laughs> this decision tonight, I don't even want to cry over because I feel like I based it off of this person who really, really just fights, and I can't, it's Nettie. crushing. It's Nettie. It is crushing for me to make this decision. It's I don't Nettie. want this person that I'm not sitting with to take it personally. It's Surely really, it's Nettie. really hard. Has to be Nettie. But I had to go based off of, if I went home against this person, would I be upset because I really worked at it? Yeah, I would. Yes, yeah, Nettie. So, Surely Nettie. There was Ooh. never any doubt in my mind who Ooh. I was picking. Lisa oh. Marie just doesn't deserve to be here. She's only here because Janessa has kept her here to have her vote. It's time for their alliance to die. Oh. And finally, Dominique. Very power step forward and reveal which bride you would most like to see oh, stay. what's gonna happen? I have both Kristen and Shy at my table, and Lisa Marie only has Allison at hers. If Dom sits at my table, then I'm safe. Oh, On the other hand, Dominique. if Dom sits with Lisa Marie, then it's a tie. I Top actually think Dominique will might sit be with casting Nettie. a vote. At this point, yeah. I'm really nervous. Nettie, I'm going to start with you. Your energy is just incredible. You're just such a beautiful person. Lisa Marie, hey. I root for you, and, and I, I want you to do well, but 
I really don't believe that you feel like you A, deserve it, or B, want it bad enough like the rest of us. Dominique's gonna disrupt Why the alliance. Here? If you can't fight, I really don't believe that you have the self-confidence to do this. Dominique's gonna ruin Janessa's What plan. is she doing? Yes. Dominique, what part of alliance do you not understand? Oh, go on, Dominique. Ow, ow. What is this? We just had it coming up. We can't have anything now. What? Very interesting concept. Dominique, if you sit at Nettie's table, she will be safe and Lisa Marie will be going home. I'm sorry, Lisa Marie, but I really don't believe that you feel like you A, deserve it, yes. or B, want it bad enough for yes, the Yes, we've rest already of heard us. this. This is an interesting idea here. I really do here. believe at this point that Dominique is going to vote for Nettie. Yeah. I have been putting Same. my best efforts into these challenges. Hey, that's all I can do. God, this show is so unpredictable. The that I chose to stay is because I believe in them, even though I know they don't. <gasps> Gagged! I voted for Lisa Marie. I knew production wouldn't do that. The best thing I can really do they is just want the stick close to the people I trust, and hopefully that'll get me through the finish line. But then you were also a well, sneaky, ladies, sneaky liar. Two brides at Nettie's table and two brides at Look Lisa Marie's table. Look what it table. comes down to again. We have a tie. Goodbye, Nettie. Janessa, as our top bride, you are the tiebreaker. Nettie, Nettie. She's going to stand up and go, Nettie. Daddy. I think that you have made so many friendships here. You're definitely a great person. I'm glad I got to see that. But the person I'm going to choose tonight is just someone that has been there for me from day one. Of Janessa course. loves knowing that she has the power to send somebody home based off of how she feels. I'm so frustrated. I'm actually pissed. Wow. Gag! Nettie, your time here at Bridal Plasty and your quest to be the perfect bride is over. Your wedding will still go on, it just won't be perfect. Shayna, that is a hateful sentence, don't say that. Look. That I don't get to continue. I like fighting for what I want. It's unfortunate. But you are saved from this, Nettie. To Lisa Marie. You are saved I feel from like, this. Hands down, I could have lost to anybody else in that house with pride, but to Lisa Marie, it's a little upsetting. Janessa's a smart girl. She knows what she's doing, and she's known what she's doing since day one. Of course, but you, you, you were fully invested. Janessa better watch her back, because if Janessa's in the bottom anytime soon, her ass is gone. Well, ladies, another emotional RSVP ceremony, but I do have to say congratulations, because you all are one step closer I wonder what Shayna is thinking. It's just like, having no. a dream wedding. Wow. There are only six brides left now, and I feel more unstoppable than ever. And I'm not going to give up until all of them are gone and I win my dream wedding. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I am shaking, girls. Wow. I'm going to push away. I'm going to push away my laptop there, my loves, and take out my ohanger. That, this show, this show has to be so scripted from start to finish because the drama the drama my loves i sort of saw a glimpse of what was going to happen and then seeing it actually unfold the way that i thought it would is wild the way that dominique gave that speech that was like basically i'm gonna pick netty i'm gonna sit next to netty i'm gonna sit next to netty and then sat next to lisa marie and had us all go gag spooked and clooped i was fully shocked the whole way through just like I said it last episode, but this is getting so dramatic. The drug that when this was on TV, people must have been like, Ugh. people must have needed like smelling salts and a fainting couch for this level of like insanity that was just broadcast live. Well, my loves, it's now time for episode seven. It's time for another bridal plasty. Right, my lovely. So the last episode that we saw was filled with drama. In fact, the last two episodes that we have seen of this show has been so over the top, so dramatic. Janessa, fully serpent woman, wasp lady, has been laying her eggs in everybody and waiting for them to burst into great television. I can't believe it. I cannot believe. How many of you guys on the last video have commented that, like, you sort of hate this show but really want to watch it for the drama and to see what unfolds? I mean, fully in the same boat here. Fully, fully, fully in the same boat here. I didn't actually realise. I'm, I'm actually looking quite vampiric today, aren't I? <gasps> Come on, Janessa. You've got competition. <sighs> 
Also, I can't believe that I literally said in the last video that like, I like getting into fights so I can look like a dolphin. That's so bizarre. I never would have imagined that I would have ever thought that in my entire career on YouTube, I would have ever said something like that. But there we are. That's on the internet now. Enjoy. <laughs> well, my loves, it is time to watch episode seven of Bridal Plastic. I believe we're actually getting more towards the end of the, the series now. So I'm a little bit like, what's going to happen? What's going to happen? I also sort of don't want it to end because it's just so wild from start to finish. I can't imagine what's going to happen today. Are you ready for a little scandal? Are you ready? So let's pop in my ohanger. All right. Yes. Um, do I have it open? Where's the Bridal Plastic? Uh. Janessa's a smart girl. I've got my eye on Dominique and I've got my eye on Janessa. I feel well, more unstoppable than ever. Oh God. Betty, your time here at Bridal Plasty is over. Your wedding will still go on. It just won't be perfect. Such a hateful sentence, but it was shocking, shocking. All right, come on, girls. Time for me to eat your insides. Bridal Plasty, stop! I just tickled my lamp. Sorry, girl. Wedding bells. An interesting backdrop. Boom. Oh, here we go. Oh, 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 oh. time for your brow lift. Emergency yes. brow lift. How's Shana your pain Mopin. level on a scale one to ten? I like two. I don't really? Know. Yeah, I don't really feel pain. I'm feeling really good about my surgery, and I'm so excited about my nose. I do feel one step closer. <gasps> oh, oh, hang on, hang on, girls. All right, let's have a look. Let's have a look. So, Doctor Du Browlift has done excellent work here. Really, he's given her exactly what she wants. And I mean, when it comes to surgery, that's kind of what you want. Whilst this show is hugely unethical because it is a competition for surgery, I do think he's done quite good work there. What do you guys think? Let me know. Oh, Janessa, come on then. What are you just about to say? Just ask that. My wasp plasty is half complete. Being the perfect bride. Oh wow. The perfect yeah. Kind of a perfect nose. Yeah, I love it. I still have to stay in the game. All I can really think about in the back of my head is what's going to happen today with the competition. Yes. Okay, do me a favor, sit up. Let's start with sit this. Sit up, one. Allison. You're not feeling feverish or anything like that, right? Yeah. Okay. So, actually, talking about Allison's surgery, lots of you guys in the last episode said something that I actually fully missed, and it's like, liposuction on the arm is, can, you know, remove adipose tissue, that's what it does, but it can't tighten skin. Now, that's not strictly true. There is ways that liposuction will tighten the skin, but it will not get rid of excess loose skin. That's the, like, the, 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 uh, the key word here is that, like, so I've had liquid liposuction underneath my chin here. I had something called aqualix so it as it dissolves the fat it kind of tightens things up around the area so you can get some level of tightness but you won't ever be like you know surgically removing excess skin tightness so i do now think from when we looked at those two pictures in the last episode of the before and after of allison's arm i think they were actually two different people and i think that's a bit shady of this show to do that okay. <laughs> whoa compare this to when i first whoa. took the dressing off <laughs> Whoa. This, look, these two, these two arms. I just, I just struggle to see that these are the same arms. She could be like tilting one like this, maybe, you know, like one could be like that and one could be like that. And that could kind of like give the illusion of a flatter arm underneath here. But I just struggle to believe, I really do. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. This is an absolute dream come true for me. Oh. I've never seen myself with thin arms. I don't even see marks, scars, scabs, nothing. I'm just completely I mean, you have had awe. surgery. There will be scars. You're not only clear to join all activities, you can move out of here. Bye, Bye. you guys. Bye. Thanks. Bye. 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 Somebody somewhere needs a brow lift. I'm off, girls. Oh, Shayna. Ladies. Oh, what is this hairstyle? Hi. Hi. Marge come Simpson, but pin it back. When Shayna calls us down to the formal living room, oh, I have Janessa no idea tiny. what's happening. Although I do know formal that living room. last night she made it quite clear that there's only six girls left and it's going to start. Why are they now being like, this is all the work they've had done. Look, this is Dominique's nose before and afterwards. Do I loved Dominique's like, where, as her eyes are like far apart, like I just love this look. I don't know why. I'm just like, oh, maybe I should get an, an eye far apart plastic. To get like crazy. Ooh. 
David and Victoria well, Beckham have brought a very special guest. Her name child. is Stacey Kaiser. She's an award-winning Kaiser. author. She's also a family therapist, and she's been on hit shows like The Today Show. Nice to meet you, girl. Hi. What's the challenge? Family therapist Write a Stacey book? Kaiser. Great. I've got a lot of <gasps> stuff to actually get out oh on the God. plate here. I want to talk to you guys a little bit about merging your families. Everybody's heard sort of the stories about the awful mother-in-law. So I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about your mother-in-laws. I have had some issues with my mother-in-law Beth. Oh my goodness. So mother, this this conversation about mother-in-laws. If you are marrying into someone's family and one of their parents is an absolute nutter, that is 100% a huge thing you need to consider. Your significant other needs to be like an adult. They can't go back to their mum and be babied because if you, you do you want to marry a, a ba an adolescent child man? Absolutely not. Realistically, when it comes to these like narcissistic mother-in-laws, it's because they're in love with their own child and you, as an, a person marrying into that, are never going to disrupt that bond. Only that child can disrupt that bond and even then, sometimes not even that. Oh, okay. Well, what's Kristen about to say here? Has anybody had to deal with a, 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 an absolutely wild parent-in-law? Has anybody had to deal with that? Luckily in my life, I haven't. But if I was to meet someone and they were like, no, no, I'm just me washing. I'm 62 years old. I'd be like, no. Not that I'm out here dating 62 year olds, but you know what I mean. You get the gist, girl. And I really want to get them out on the table and learn how to deal with them. <gasps> if you have learn a long-term with relationship them. with anyone, you're going to have conflict. But I guarantee you, everybody does. You know what? Yes. I feel like this conversation's just a little incomplete. Oh, Why don't we God. bring in one of our special guests? <gasps> oh a Martian. Gosh. This is this? Kristen's future mother-in-law. Oh, my God. Beth, everybody. The second I see my mother-in-law, Beth. Gag! She was just like, I've had so many problems with my mother-in-law. Look who we brought in. So I I bet they would have asked her in like casting, like, do you have a problem with your mother-in-law? Is your mother-in-law an absolute batshit crazy woman? Does your mother-in-law despise the very soul you own? Because why would they have brought her in? Why would they have brought in Kristen? Say, oh, I'm so, oh, 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 oh. Family drama, girls. Oh, oh, oh. I wonder what's going to happen here. Who must have been eating my quiche? Walk through the door, I just fall apart. It is so refreshing to just Can we just see... say, though, can we just say, this colour on Kristen, I love this sort of, like, eggplant aubergine, kind of, like, muted plum colour on Kristen. I think this works so well with her hair colour and her skin tone. Maybe I should do more purple eyeshadow looks. Oh, I love that. Oh, yes familiar face despite any negative things we've had towards each other mm. oh my god i spoke too soon go happy they all this is this is the same woman and another same woman Wispy oh my god she doesn't fly she's only flown once in her whole life i was just shocked she that she fly. came here it oh. just shows me that she she doesn't fly i was like do mother-in-laws sprout wings? I was very confused then. Okay. As in, she doesn't go on an aeroplane. Okay, right. And I was having a blonde moment then. She really loves me and that she would do anything, oh, look. literally anything for me. Dominique's future mother-in-law. <laughs> Bernadette, everybody. Twinkly magic And our lady. next guest is... For... jump and give her a hug i'm in tears and then i completely forgot that i look like the mummy what did they do that's true <laughs> my mother let's not go there my breasts right away but then again who walks in and just notice someone's boobs exactly janessa oh, as you know oh. your mother-in-law is a little bit older so flying for her is kind of difficult so we brought someone else who's near and dear to your fiance's heart we brought your future sister-in-law oh. and her name is laura <laughs> I was just thinking about that then, um, because if I was going on this show or a show where my my mother had to be involved because, you know, somebody else was was marrying me or whatever, my mum wouldn't be able to attend for well, obvious sad reasons. Um, so who would have to go in my stead? I hope it would be Roly and Roly could just be like, You're all awful! Off oh, again the bin! Go! Oh, touch me in the bed! What are they doing here? What's going on? Is everything going to be okay between Beth and I? I don't even know where to begin. Well, I'm glad you all came. What I'd like to do is have you just Did sort of say oh. what are the challenges are that you hope you can overcome to improve your relationship. I don't know. I just think she's just a loving, caring person. Yeah. That is and very I don't, sweet. I can't say anything bad. I really can't. I've never met a mother that doesn't worry. <laughs>
Uh, I guess I worry about their careers and how they're going to be able to support themselves. I'm a bartender, and it's really not the first time I've heard that speech, and it probably won't be the last. Cheyenne would rather go to the mall than put some money in the bank. (laughs) I like shoes. I can't help it. You give her a little extra money for something, and it's run to the mall. I know. (laughs) Seriously, when I go back, apparently I have to be like, leave it to Beaver. I'll go home and like cook dinner and save money and do laundry. That's not going to happen. The only thing I, I do get insecure with is that you love his exes. Oh, no. Just because Why? he broke up with him doesn't mean I have to. Too. <laughs> oh, so you're being compared. And it's sometimes <gasps> like I take it like, um, well, I wonder if she'd rather have like you know, his ex versus me. I really can't believe that Kristen's mother-in-law is sitting there talking about ex-girlfriends with... That is kind of shocking. That is kind of shocking. Like, you... I do kind of feel like... If I was in this situation, what would I say? So, I have a daughter. She's marrying a man. Am I going to compare those exes that she would have had? I probably would be doing that. I probably would be comparing them. But there's a very different way you can go about this. You can go about this saying it to yourself and and sharing your concerns with your child about it rather than like actually saying it to the person that your your child is marrying because that does that is going to sow the seeds of discord in a way that's not um not going to be beneficial to anyone but you because you want your 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 final goal could be them breaking up. Do you know what I mean? Oh, serpent scales, the serpent never falls far from the gout. It would really help if you could just say to her, you know what, I'm glad he picked you and you don't have to worry. And when I talk about the exes, it doesn't mean you're Did not- you see her face? She was like, <laughs> like she does not like Kristen. We can see that from a mile away. Terrific. Brandon, BJ, we call him, has never looked at anybody BJ. like he looks at you. BJ. And he adores you and we adore you and there's not one of those people that I would put in your place. Thank you. Ever. <laughs> Why did I might change? I'm this will be the opportunity for Beth and I to actually connect and throw away the past. Did you notice in that sentence, she didn't really say lots of eyes. She was like, we really care for you. We. We. we, 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 we. <laughs> this is bullying. She didn't say, I'm so happy that my son is with you. She didn't once say that, did she? She sort of said it at the end because I sort of feel like she might have had to say it. But if you don't start that sentence off with saying, I love that you're in my family. Questions, girl. Questions are brewing like rotten soup. In the back of my mind, though, I do know this is going to be a tough one for me. Sometimes I feel like LJ relies on your mom's opinion LJ. more than mine. Maybe you can even help LJ. her tell your mom. My wor- only worries is right now they're going through some financial. And she's good for my son because she more or less wears the pants in the family. <laughs> <laughs> What's this like? We've invited a young straight man with slightly longer hair to play guitar at the party music going on. Do you know what it's like? baby, <laughs> Going on in the background. What is that? Very strange music choice. Very strange. Me and my mother-in-law are almost like we're already related. We're like two peas in a pod. And that doesn't nice. bother you. No, it don't because he he's sort of quiet and he needs that push. I love her for that. <laughs> you didn't pick one another. What I'm hearing is my child is not an adult and needs a woman around to kind of push him to do things. Ugh, what is with these men? Why are these men so like dithery? They're like, I don't really know what I just want to sit and do. I don't want to do any I Where's my food? Why is this culture like this? Why is straight culture like this? This is a question I really have. Ha- like, all these low-value men in the world. They need a shock. They need a reality check. I mean, I know, it's not every man. It's not all men. But in the context of this show, kind of is. But you're going to probably be together for a very long time. Well. And so it's really important that you get along and to avoid conflict. Yes. If it does get hard. Oh, don't say hard, Adam and Eve. <laughs> Enjoy each other and your time together today. Ooh. With 50% off. Well, ladies, I have one more surprise for you. You will be adding a photo to your bridal closet of you and your mother in law, sister in law, today. Aww. So, to do that, I have another special guest that so I'd like to introduce you to Micah Smith. He Ooh. is a celebrity photographer and he, he has is shot a everyone. celebrity. I'm Angelina Jolie, Jay Z, Kanye, Christina Aguilera, Travis Barker. 
okay, every single person in that list was an actual celebrity that I am familiar with. Do you know, in the last one, it was like, random celebrity A, miscellaneous celebrity B. This one, I know everyone here. This photographer sounds very, very, very accomplished. And Travis Barker, of course. Shane Oakley is little, um, soy boy. <laughs> if you are our final top bride, Micah will be oh, your wedding if, photographer. If, oh. Oh. I'll make it fun and easy. <laughs> All right. To have someone who photographed oh. Angelina Jolie photograph my wedding, that is that's an cool. honor in itself. It is. I totally agree with that. Totally and agree, go. Back just a half step. Round and round the garden. Like Baphomet. And you guys love each other, <laughs> right? Okay. Yes, of course we do. Aww. What I do really like about my mother-in-law is that she's very supportive of, of what I do. And I know that no matter what it is, good, no. bad, she's no. in my corner cheering no. me on. And that's a turning you on or cheering you on? I hope that's cheering you on. That was a very interesting thing that she said then because literally five minutes ago, less than that, we heard the mother say, oh, well, I'm not so sure about their careers. And she was like, I know I'm a bar woman and I've had that conversation before, girls. So for her to now be like, and she supports me and everything, it's a bit like, are you just kind of like trying to get a, a sort of like a feel good moment about this like production or is is there, are we actually just going to take everything they say with a pinch of salt? To be honest, it's reality TV, it probably should, shouldn't it? The whole bucket of salt, a kilo of salt, a quarry of rock salt, Himalayan pink sea salt, girls. You're gonna love this. This looks fantastic. Aww. You have a little bit of, like, indentation. My relationship is fine with my mother-in-law. I was able to be there for her when her husband was sick, and then he finally passed, and she totally appreciates that. Love this? Uh-huh. Chin down just a little moment. right there. I don't know what else to do. I think we got it. Oh, hey. yeah. All right. It's a good thing, I guess. Yeah. yeah I we'll we'll, so. we'll determine you. on how really great of a celebrity uh, photographer you are after we see the, the proof. All right. <laughs> Imagine the gumption on that woman. Imagine that being like, well, we'll just see how good you are once I have spotted this. Janessa's got competition for the serpent role. Well, ladies, we can't have visitors to Southern California without taking you to the beach. So today, I am sending you all to the Venice Beach Boardwalk for your next challenge. Is it it's time to see how well you and your future mother-in-law can work together. Each team is going to be given a photo album, castles. a camera, and film for 10 photos. Oh my you god! You will find a list of photo assignments inside each album. I clocked it. I clocked it earlier. I clocked it earlier. We're having photo shoots, everybody. We're going to have sleepover photo shoots at the beach. Uh, oh, I kind of love this. Very Instagram, isn't it? So Instagram was actually launched back in 2010. So around this sort of time, well, when this was being filmed, probably it didn't exist. Nowadays, I feel like when we go to the beach, we all do like, like, let's everybody have a little selfie. Let's celebrate. Let's post some stories. So I kind of love that they've like given them cameras and a photo album to like shoot this little day. I reckon that's actually quite special. If any of these women are still married now, let's be honest. We don't really know about that. I think it would be quite lovely. They probably still have these little like photo books together. That's quite sweet. I love that idea. Not enough of us have physical photos anymore and that's really important, girls. Each photo assignment has a point value. The easiest being one. And the hardest photo would be worth five points. The strategy <gasps> is all up to you. Be Ooh. careful because each team's camera only has 10 shots. So Ooh. don't waste your film. Yes. You will have 30 My minutes. kind of challenge. The team with the highest minutes. total points will be the winners of today's challenge. 30 minutes. Is that As it? you know, Janessa is on medical leave, so she will oh. not be competing in this challenge. So she gets right. no photos of well, a wasp. challenge starts now. What, but they're not at the beach. Hang on, really well, they've got to run to the beach. Challenge. I'm the only girl in the house that has not had a surgery done. <gasps> oh, the only one? One of you buried in the sand. I think that would take too much time. Pointing at a belly ring that's not yours. Easy. Someone fully clothed and soaking wet. Yeah. I'm not doing it. I'm not okay. spending the rest of the day wet. When they Drama say goes. go. Okay. What are we doing? You want to go to the three first? Right. Should we run right, right on the run right on the beach? It kind of looks that way, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna throw up if I keep reading this. Can you? Okay. Okay. Something that was alive but is not roadkill. Yeah, but I'm not. Take a photo of roadkill at the beach. Take a photo of roadkill at the beach. I'm not really sure how we're gonna do in this challenge because I'm a little worried that my mother-in-law is not on the same page. So I'll, I'll do it. I'll do whatever I have to do. The right attitude. Oh, here we go. Everybody let's out. Go, let's go, let's go. Get let's out. Go. He is not the best. <laughs> 
What about the door? Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Oh, I'm gonna close the window. These girls are gonna have a belly. Dog, right? dog, dog. Come on, come on, come on. What the so we arrive at the Venice Boardwalk, and the van door opens, and I run, and I bolt. Hey, hey, hey. Sue, where is my partner? So then I'm looking around, and I'm like, where's Sue? And she's nowhere to be found. Where is she? I'm looking to my left, she's not there. I'm looking to my right, there's no Sue. I'm, I go back to the van, Sue's not there either. There's all these crazy people around, and I'm just oh like, my oh my goodness. god, there's no way I'm ever gonna find her. What a, what, oh, what a weird situation to be in. Like, why would your partner, like, run off and be like, bye? Like, you've been told you have 30 minutes to take 10 photos. Like, you would do this as a team. This has to be either a little bit of a ploy or maybe the mother-in-law doesn't really like Cheyenne. Oh, is it a scandal, girls? Get in the bin, maybe. Get in the bin, fully in the bin. Where is she? <laughs> what is this music? Oh, no. <laughs> Oh my god, no, like, no, this can't be happening. This is a complete nightmare. How is this fair? I can't believe she would do this to me. <sighs> Coming up. Oh, tomorrow. piss. Bridal plastic girl. Dab. At the beach. Sue, At the bush my partner. I, I'm looking everywhere and cannot find Sue. So I run in that general area because I felt like she couldn't have gone very far. Why Where did she run she? away? That's so weird. Sue, Sue. Bye, Gail. Oh my god, this totally sucks. This is bull. Smile, man. Huh? Hi, cool. Oh, Come on, a dog on, on someone's on. head. Let's go, let's go. One, oh. Two. Don't know. I don't know, but you know what? We don't have that time to think. Let's go, let's go, let's go. They're oh Polaroids. They develop. I don't know what to do. Here I am running around, and you know, my mother in law, I'm having her like, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. This is a weird her. challenge. So, so weird. This. Thank you. This. All right, focus. <laughs> I need this. Let's go. Butter. I just need a six person pyramid. <laughs> just get on top of each other. You hold this. Well, me and my mother in law are just going to nail this one. She is so damn six, outspoken. And I'm the same way. Pyramid. We're going to have no problem with getting people to do some of these things. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> This challenge feels so Drag Race. Like, I feel like early seasons of Drag Race would have done this, especially All Stars 1. Isn't this weird? In the six-person pyramid, so one girl had her belly button pierced, the other had eight waist tattoo. Oh! Then we got the North the eight Mary point. Julie in the sand. Got it? Okay, get up. This is stuff we would do back home. Are you kidding me? We do this every weekend. Go on bridal so, class. What She's happened? seen her. You took off the door shot yeah, on I went me. to the dogs. You sh the door shot on me. I couldn't get out. Okay, let's just do Come it. On. Come on. Finally, I look up and Sue's running down dramatic. from the beach and I'm like, oh my God, thank God. <laughs> Sir, can you take a picture of us touching the palm tree, please? Ready? One, two, three. Thank you so much. Touch a palm tree, go. Oh, kiss on the cheek. Kiss the lady. This is disgusting. Get in the bin. In the bin. Get in the bin. Get in the bin. Get in the bin. Merch available now. Oh. I'm, sorry, I'm still thinking we're screwed because everyone else is ahead of us. It's so nerve wracking. I oh, wonder who's gonna win. It's okay, Sue. No, it's not. So do you I want me to jump in the water? The door, the door the shut. Place? Only the we door. really want to get these five pointers. I, I think it's really important. I'm going in the water. I don't care. Take the picture. <laughs> yeah, get in the water. Get in the water. Freezing cold water, but it was worth the five points. Well, there you go. Fully clothed and sopping wet. Kristen, run! <gasps> right here, come here! What is what? this for? Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Kiss her on the cheek. Kiss her on the cheek. Kiss on the cheek, go. Use a That's gonna be way up there. What can we do that's close? Miss Beth is kind of slowing down. We're doing the best we can to get along with each other. Yeah. She's just kind of difficult at this moment. Oh. Yeah, I cannot run in the sand. Who can run in the sand? For now, we're like we're dancing. What else do I need? I think that's it. We're no, done no, with no. Pictures. I, don't I didn't jump in the water. That was five. Points. But we don't have no more pictures. We're done. We were so upset that we had lost each other that we tried to make up the time really quick. And in doing so, we were just doing pictures that came to mind instead of looking in the book and trying to get the higher points. Oh, Maybe no. This totally sucks. <sighs> this is stressful. Just put your shoes on. <sighs> two, two girls. Oh, that was the hardest thing I've ever done. <laughs> Thank you so much. 
Beth can be difficult to work with at times, but Ooh, I think we really work well together on this challenge. Hopefully it's not the bottom. Like we did what Ooh. we could. Having a good relationship is really important. So hopefully we can get along better and put our differences aside. Yay. That's a good way to look at it, yay. But will the copy be boiled or banned? Hi, ladies. Come on in and sit down. <gasps> I'm really hoping that Kristen or Cheyenne is in the bottom two in this challenge because I think that they're the strongest competitors, so I would like to see one of them leave the house. Of course you All would, right, but well, you're Cheyenne too busy. Sue, why don't you come up here and we'll take a look at your photos first. Right. Come on, everybody. Reveal shush. Your scores. He is so excited. <laughs> wait, 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 okay, wait. let me go through the one points first. A kiss on both cheeks. Oh. You have two girls here. I know, I know. A no dog thing. on someone's head. Oh, very good. I couldn't find a little dog. Oh. Ooh, ooh. That's a naughty tattoo. Uh -huh. A skateboarder spanking circle. I guess they all spank each other with their boards. Rockstar. <laughs> well, ladies, your total score. What an absolutely bizarre collection of images that were skateboarders spanking each other for a bridal plasty surgery reality TV show at which you win a wedding and surgery. Production must have been on meth that day. Score out of a possible 50 points is 32. Oh, so that's pretty good. Thank you. Nice job. Up next is Allison. Ooh. I'm just hoping that we beat the 32. It looks like you decided to go for some of the higher points. Yes. Very nice. That is a lot of crack. <gasps> okay, oh we're going into the five pointers. A six person human pyramid. How did you get people to do that? We got lucky. Your total score is 34. <gasps> At this point, I really don't know is that it? how I feel because we were only the second book to get scored. There's mm -hmm. still three people ahead of us. Yes. Look at I'm Janessa hoping that like I stay that. a top bride, but I'm also hoping that I'm not a bottom bride. Next up is Lisa Marie and Kathy. Lisa Marie. You started with the one pointers. A baby wearing sunglasses. You look good, girl. We've got the mama with two sets of male abs. Why would Lisa Marie do the one pointers? I mean, that's simple strategy. You don't go for the one pointers. Like, I don't even, I don't understand. Well, Lisa Marie, unfortunately, I don't think that was enough, but you got 24 points. Oh, okay. Good job, guys. Great effort. Mm -hmm. I'm sad that I didn't get to accomplish the five pointers, but at the same time, hopeful. Allison, you're hopeful in the lead about with what? 34. And right now, Lisa... I must admit, it does seem kind of strange that Lisa Marie doesn't feel very invested in any of these challenges. It's like she hasn't done well in any of them. And that's really weird to see because A, production might be like setting things against her. Or maybe she's just like not that into it. Marie, you are one of the bottom brides with 24. I have Ooh. two other people behind me, so let's see how they do. Dominique and Bernadette. Bernadette. Okay. No Bernadette. one at all. No, Ooh. I need at least... 35 points to be ahead of Allison. Someone standing in a trash can. Yeah. A it'd be in. Oh. A skateboarder spanking circle. <laughs> this is really hip in Venice Beach. <laughs> really close and actually, stopping. We made a really good team. So I'm very you did. You Ooh. feel like you worked well together. We did. We did. Yes. Oh, that's nice. Well, your total score is 38. <gasps> so good Front job. runner scale. Yes, I knew it. We nailed it. That now moves you to first place. It's weird that there's, there's no one, like, judging this. This It really is very... This is probably the fairest one we've seen so far in terms of challenges. Like, it literally is just, what photos have you got and what scores can we give them? It's not like, oh, is she going to do it faster? Is this bizarre man who arranges celebrities for flowers going to give you an eight or a two? Is this man who looks like a melted candle, does he love your gown or does he hate it, girl? Like, it's, it's, it, there's no wishy-washiness about this. It either is or isn't. And that's so, so interesting. The fairest one we've had so far. Also, sorry, Alison, for this screenshot. Kristen and Beth. Oh. Let's start with your one point. Are we going to get All a I winner need with is something point? higher than the 38 because I really I'm want the price to is win. Right. Here it comes. That is one of the cutest babies I have ever seen. Very cute. Yeah. Very this nice. Be like 23 by now. And you got in the trash can too with your brand new boobies. Yeah. You're closer than Boobies in the bin, go. <laughs> Okay, we have one of a five pointer. One of you holding a musical instrument. Okay. While people are clapping. Well, your score is 28. I felt instant defeat. 
Unfortunately, Lisa Marie and Kristen, you guys did have the lowest point total in the family challenge. I'm definitely upset that I'm in the bottom once again, but I'm more upset that if I were to go home, I'd be going home against Lisa Marie. So you are now both at risk of being sent home. Oh no. At the bottom again, the fourth time. I don't think my mother-in-law realized how important it was for me to win this. I mean, she's sitting up there smiling for everybody else. I didn't think she understood, like, what this really means to me. Well, Dominique and Bernadette, that Very means true. that you have won the Rhinoplasty <laughs> Family yeah. Challenge. Congratulations. I must have miscounted because that's what they said there were three more. You are once again our top ride, and you have the opportunity to pick one of the plastic surgeries off to your wish We've got list. our second and double winner. And you are also safe for the next two RSVP ceremonies. I really oh, wow. wanna get my teeth fixed now. I've decided that I'm just gonna work my nose down and fix what, what I can while I'm at it. My face will just be like a million times better. As top bride, you are leaving for surgery da Vinci right now. <laughs> oh. Off you go, oh, everybody oh. clap. Yes, Ladies, time to you file your teeth off. to your future mother-in-laws because the next time you see them, you might just be the perfect bride. As soon as I lost Sue on the beach, I immediately thought that I was going to be a bottom bride. But she looks God, different. We pull it she looks different. She looked different. She looked different. Cheyenne looked different. Oh, maybe she's had a little, a little work done to hither and thither. It's really hard to see her leave because I miss her. I miss my fiance, and seeing her was like being close to home. Mm. We did it. I, I must did. admit that probably is quite difficult. One last thing before you go, celebrity photographer Micah Smith has left your family photos here for you to take and put in your bridal closet. Ladies, good luck, and I will see you all at the RSVP ceremony. Oh. It's bittersweet placing this beautiful photo in my bridal closet, knowing that I can be going home. I'm so broken and right over this. This will be her She might time. be. And they'll just keep saving her. All right, let's do a prediction. So, Janessa obviously really wants to keep in the alliance, but, like, because she can't technically vote... I feel like because Lisa's been in the bottom four times, I feel like Kristen's gonna make it through, but the serpent might strike again, girl. Because strategy. Poor no. Kristen. But also you'll be Isn't saved from this madness. Just die. Huh? You're just gonna keep saving and saving and saving for what? I'm feeling defeated. I'm feeling that the walls are closing in on me. I really feel since this is my fourth time being on the bottom, it's over. <laughs> that was difficult to watch. I feel like we've all been in that situation where we've like cried on the floor and gone, why me? But like, I feel like when it comes to challenges like this, you are the arbiter of your own fate. So, I don't know, Lisa Marie has definitely come across as a weak link in this show, but like, hmm. Still very difficult to mention that because of obvious reasons. But ride your plastic girl! <laughs> What's this music? The vampires are coming <laughs> for the children of the Citadel. So I go in the room and I see Lisa Marie bawling her eyes out. <laughs> I put my, all my effort into this. Oh, this is difficult. <laughs> Why can't I catch a break? <laughs> My heart does go out to her, but at the same time, pick yourself up, damn it, already. Get up. Let's go. Come on. I just grabbed her by her arm and told her to get the hell out of bed and go downstairs with me and talk to Janessa. Maybe Janessa can straighten her out. Oh, look. What's this, like, mafia gangster music? She is the godfather girl sitting in the in dark. In Allison and Lisa Marie. And what do you know, Lisa Marie's crying again. God. I put my, like, heart into this, like... This is very the godfather, isn't it? it. You want to be saved, girl? You Why need your brow lift? Why Lisa Marie? And it's not, you know, sometimes you can't control how the challenges go, but you can control how people vote for you. Bit of tough love there, maybe. Oh, I didn't actually realise that that Janessa does have a vote this week. Okay, yeah. So last week she couldn't vote. This week she can, but she's still got immunity. I think. I don't know. The rules of this show are so arbitrary and ridiculous and confusing. Just why me? Why me again? Please worry. Now you just want our pity. Now stop. I'm telling her she has my vote. I'm trying to get other people to vote for her, and she's still moping around. Like, what exactly am I supposed to do for you? It's a competition at the end of the day. 
let her okay. continue. Okay. She's wearing a say something belt. That was difficult to watch. It's hard because it is crusted. Be super good. I know you're really close with both of them. Yeah. yeah, I already know I'm gonna be the deciding vote. All that. <laughs> like, no secret about that. <laughs> I'm friends with both girls, so I have a hard decision. Okay, look at it this way. It's a competition. Christy's such a strong competitor. <gasps> oh! This sucks. <laughs> None of it's gonna be easy. Listen to the wasp and you might win. You okay? <sighs> no. No. <laughs> I like hustle my ass out. Oh, she's sobbing into wine. How many of us have been there sobbing into wine? Oh. There. Here we all did. Once again, whoa me. I'm Lisa Marie and I suck at everything here. Oh, I hate I'm over stuff it. like this. Because it is kind of true, but also. Uh, oh. A bazooma. What's this? I can't find the Music. Nurse. You okay? I'm like, everything's falling apart and I can't find her. You're telling me everything's falling apart. The little till woman. Did you have wine yet? No, I'm just drunk <laughs> off of it's just natural anger. I'm just drunk off of emotion, you guys. I think Lisa Marie might be. Oh, no. No, no. No. She's like bawling no. her freaking eyes out. And eyes in it? Oh I just got goodness. done bawling my freaking eyes out. At least she knows she'll be here. How do you know that? Because cockroaches don't die. Is she talking about Lisa Marie? Like, am I gonna lie to you? Would it hurt going home over someone that's been in the bottom four times? Yeah. Yeah, it really would. This is a side of Kristen I've never seen before. This wasn't like her to say comments like this. At least from my perspective, I've never heard her say things like this. Feels like all the good ones go home. Coming Ow! I'm oh! Shopping on the boulevard, Yay. I've got Hi. scout. Oh my god, Rowlet. Good to see you. How are you feeling? Oh, I feel great. Top ride again. I'm going to get my cheeks done. She's the first, and second really one we've seen. I'm really just on my way to having my dream wedding and being that perfect bride. I want to da present Vinci? to you Dr. Da Sherry Who painted the Mona Lisa? Oh, Mona Lisa. Oh, yeah, yeah. Da, da Vinci? Hi. Hi. Oh my Hi. god, Hi. look who it isn't. Awesome. Annabelle's gone bridal, girls. It's the same woman from the swan. It's the same surgeon from the swan. It's the same dentist from the swan. That's really interesting. So they all must have been like friends with each other or belong to like the same, I don't know, agency or, or talent pool or something. Isn't that interesting? <gasps> Scandal girls. Oh. Dr. Worth has one of the biggest, if not the biggest, celebrity practices in Hollywood, mm -hmm. and, she and now is she can't do it. Best. Okay. Oh, she's okay. been disbarred, <laughs> so if that's the word. Thanks a lot. Have a great day. Thank Thanks. You. Okay, so what are your concerns about your teeth? What bothers you when you look at yourself in the mirror? I don't the resemble a possessed really doll. Are how these two side teeth are mm -hmm. smaller oh, than my front oh, right. teeth, and they kind of don't match. Okay. Well, you look like you're the perfect candidate for veneers. And my lab that I use, I've been working with for 15 years, Da Vinci Dental Studios. Ow! <laughs> these teeth should look bad. Da Vinci? Da Vinci? I think that's absolutely ludicrous to be suggesting that Dominique needs veneers. If she gives her a full set of veneers, that's going to be a huge problem. I can understand one or two because, you know, she does have shorter teeth. You can't really extend teeth in a way that she wants to, to make all of her smile perfect. But you can get caps and you can get other options. But like, veneers. Veneers. Why don't we go Veneers are a shortcut. We can get started. Great. All right. Thanks. They're not, my uh, fiance very much knows how important these wedding photos are to me, and my smile is everything about it. Smile really big for me. Gape. Great. I've never had an opportunity to do this. Just knowing that I'll be able to fix my teeth is just an amazing feeling. I have to stop saying the word gape. <laughs> Adam and Eve. I think it's going to look really good on you. Okay. Oh, Ooh. Ooh. So I Hope. need Lisa Marie to step up her game a little bit because we need to keep her in the house as long as possible in case Dominique and I are in the bottom and we need her vote. Just make sure you stay around Alice because I know Kristen's going to try it if it's her vote Oh. Oh. Why have Just we got all dark sure. and mysterious again? The Godfather girl. Yeah. Okay. Just try to stay close to her today. I would, but there's only so much I can do from in here. Yes. Oh my she God. sounds so tired. Janessa's a very smart lady, and I know I should take her advice. Go get up. All right. Okay. Thanks. 
Janessa recommended that I just hang around Allison all day because she feels that Allison is basically going back and forth between Kristen and I. Yes, yes, yes. So well, that's what I'm going to do. Allison is the deciding woman on the game. Oh, the little deal woman. Unexpected item in backing, 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 backing. Cats. And... What is this music? Oh my god, they're literally painting her like she's a stray cat following her around the house like Bumbling ladies on the game, please don't vote for me! What? It's a very strange editing. This is such a weird episode compared to what we've seen previously. You can see like the stress of the Alliance is really like starting to get to everyone. But like, surely you would realise Janessa wants to win. Why would you bother with her Alliance? She wants to win. I'm getting really annoyed with Lisa Marie following me around being down. Oh, dear God, please, 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 please. Please let me get through this, please. Let me get through this, please. Why would God be interested in any of this? And, 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 sterile woman. Oh, teeth. Oh, teeth. There's a tiny bit of asymmetry in your Order. guns here. Uh -huh. And I may just take my laser and just make sure that they're very symmetrical. Dominique laser is your an gums incredible away. candidate for veneers. Why? She's gonna look <gasps> amazing. Her whole face is gonna look different because she's gonna have a whole new set of teeth. Open real big for me, sweetie good. Oh I'm just no! At the surface ever so oh. slight. Oh, oh no! So that I have both a chemical and a mechanical bond. <gasps> You can see those cracks in her front teeth right there. Yeah. This is so important because every little margin where the veneer hits a tooth has to be perfectly flawless. Open really wide. So what I'm going to do right now, uh -huh. I'm going to add shape and do everything that I want. Okay. And then I'm going to cement them. Uh -huh. Oh my goodness. <gasps> Okay, you're gonna be smoking hot rock. <laughs> I'm very happy that I decided to get the veneers. Not only do I now have uh, my nose done, I also have my teeth. Wow, pretty okay. All right, okay, all right, okay, all right, okay. So this kind of looks a bit strange. If you notice though, on her tooth, um, that, that was the shorter one that she's had fixed, it's kind of like pointing out a little bit. So I'm a little bit like confused about that, but you can really see the like divots in her teeth where she's had to like grind down the healthy tooth and then put a veneer over the top. So apparently you can't get like white Da Vinci veneers. You can't just get like an overlay that makes them look like bright and white. They're really thin apparently. So you still have to like whiten the teeth underneath. Interesting choice. And perfect. Yeah. What do you think? Oh my gosh, it's amazing. I'm just that much closer to being the perfect bride. Thank you so much. Oh, she did that. I spoke too soon, girls. More trumpets. I safe, really safe. wish. Lisa Marie would stop sobbing or following me around like a lost puppy. Oh, now Janessa, I understand what are you gonna why do? I bothered people when I did that. I need to hear some positive things from her. So Lisa Marie screwed only. up the one thing that I asked her to do to hang out with Allison, not annoy the <gasps> out of her. I think it would be so cool. Whenever Janessa talks in these confessionals, she sounds so fake. It's like she's just full of one-liners, which also makes me feel like maybe she's part of the production team in some way or another. Do you know what I mean? Like she's got like lines that she'll read out or maybe the production is asking her those questions and she just responds with these perfect little like sound bites because it doesn't sound like she's been prompted to say them. It just kind of sounds like she's just saying it to a camera. Do you know what I mean? It's really weird. Oh, I, I love the villain. Who doesn't love the villain? Oh, I love the villain. Well, Come on, my left. Lay your egg. Like, mm -hmm. I think that would just change everything yeah. for her. And I think, like, that's not too much to ask. I'm not going to lie. I wanted to vote for Kristen. But she said something yesterday that kind of, like, really got to me. Referring to the cockroach that won't die. And I'm not going to tell her that. But that just really hurt me. She said that about me. Yeah. I really looked at her as like my little sister, and I still love her to death, but I, I really have to make sure that this is the right decision. Oh, that's got to be production value there, surely. I know who I would I vote really for. Ow! Hi! Oh, how are you? Welcome back. Oh, Do you need you any recovery? Oh, gosh. Thanks. <laughs> Can you tell? After my surgery, Lisa Marie, Kristen, and Cheyenne are there, you know, welcoming me back, and it's good to see. But I do notice that Lisa Marie is kind of off in the background, just like being like this. Well, obviously, something has happened. I don't know. 
Hey, Janessa. Dave, come here. Hey. Oh, my God, they look so good. <laughs> yeah? They look so beautiful. Oh, <laughs> thanks. How are you feeling? I'll watch it. Oh, good. that's nice. Good. I'm really glad nice. that I can nice. actually have yeah. the opportunity to talk to Janessa about the voting tonight because I really want to hear... You know, which side she's Janessa swaying. literally dresses like a supervillain. I love it. These big, bold shoulders and just like all in black. Like, I am going to win. I love it. And, and why? Look, Look amazing. It's like a full time job trying to keep her at this house. Oh my God, I know. Then don't. Have you had a chance to talk to Allison or no? She's just like so easily swayed. Kristen should have been in your like alliance. I you like, be right there with her when she, like, writes it on her car. Yeah. Allison is very unpredictable, so I definitely wouldn't want to leave the vote in her hands. There's work to be done. I the really scandal! I really need to talk to you about something. It's a that scandal, really girl. Me. Yesterday when we went into the kitchen and you had mentioned, you know, about, like, the cockroach that wouldn't go away. I just kind of harsh to, words, you know, uh-huh. that, that did bother me. Oh, crap. I let my mouth get the best of me, and that could mean that now I'm going home. I'm not proud of saying that, so I never said it again. I was I was pissed because I did feel like, are you kidding me? Like, because the second I felt like I was in the bottom with her, I felt like, honestly, like, this is the end. I stand no chance, and I'm going to go home. I think that's why this is so tough for me, is because Ooh. it's like... A bit of honesty. When I woke up this morning, Oh, I had a clear head on, in you know, I really have to think goal. about what I'm going to do in my voting, and that just was, like, really... Uh, that just bothered me. I don't feel any more confident coming out of the conversation with Allison. Allison seems really torn. She does. She seems like she's really leaning towards Lisa Marie. I don't know who's gonna go! I don't know! Ow! <laughs> Bingley ball. Coming up! No! So I will... <gasps> oh! The RSVP go. Oh, we're already here. All right, all right, all right. Come on. Kayla. Shayna. Somebody's hired a new stylist. This hair and this dress together, gorgeous, very Hollywood glamiales. Oh, Shayna Merkley. She's been turning it out. Ladies, okay. come meet me in the foyer. In the Hi. foyer. Going into tonight's RSVP ceremony, I am extremely upset Ooh. because the two girls up for elimination are the two girls that I'm closest to in the house. Mm. I still don't know who I'm going to vote for, and I don't feel good at all. <gasps> all right, girls, as you can see, oh, there's Shane, the RSVP box, hair. which means you will have one hour to vote for the bride that you would most like to see. One today. hour? Everyone else That's in the house time. has already had a surgery. I mean, it would be really nice just to have just one more chance to face another challenge. That would mean you would have had five chances. And rock it. Mm. All right, I need the two bottom brides to come with me, Lisa Marie and Kristen. Going into the RSVP ceremony, I feel like crap. I really don't know if Allison and Janessa are really going to stay true to Lisa Marie or not. And I'm... So at this point, I'm just saying Kristen should not be going home. Kristen should absolutely not be going home. But, like, in the scope of bridal plasty, everyone should go home because this show is ridiculous. I'm only hoping that one of them will change their mind and vote for I me. I don't want to get live on the red carpet on the app. Yes, go really away! breaking me right now. Earlier, you said that you were voting for Lisa Marie. I never said that I was voting for her. Oh, I said I had not made my decision. Yeah. I made sure of that. Yeah. I don't care who you're voting for. I just think it's a really thing to do. Either way, it's a thing to do. Either way, I'm... Oh, Janessa. Sorry. That was a bit cold. Uh, she, uh, saying it's a thing to do. is It's a bit cold when you have to vote. That's the whole point. And... Mm, starting to see the cracks, Janessa. Being in this position. At this point, I really have no idea what I'm going to do. I don't know what to do. Well, now I look like the. You are. Why do you look like Janessa? Because you told me you were voting for Lisa Marie. That's a lie. That's a lie. Janessa can kiss my ass. I was completely upfront and honest with both Lisa Marie and Kristen that I was torn with my decision. I can vote for whoever the hell I want. You can. And I sure as hell don't have to clear it with Janessa in order to do it. Yes. Was that supposed to be like this? It's not supposed to get emotionally involved. Oh my goodness. 
Oh, back to the classic music. I really don't know if Allison and Janessa are really going to stay true to Lisa Marie or not. And I'm really hoping that one of them will change their mind and vote for me. I can't go home over Lisa Marie. Ooh. That's a nice periwinkle. Well, Alice told me she was voting for Lisa Marie, but she's been known to flip flop in the past. No. I don't think she can really be counted on. I think you're trying to be a serpent Hello, woman on the go. Hello, ladies, and welcome Hello. to the Photoplasty RSVP ceremony. Kristen and Lisa Marie are already at their wedding tables. In a moment, you will decide which one of them will be going home. I'm in the bottom for the fourth time, and it's very frustrating for me. I do know for sure that Janessa is voting for me. I'm just praying on Allison's vote. <laughs> what, 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 what about Cheyenne? Cheyenne might not either. Oh. Ow. What? Promotional consideration provided by Da Vinci. And Micah Smith photography. Oh, no say, no say, little bridal, no say. Right. Okay, ladies. I know this is getting Nick tough, but it's now time to reveal your RSVPs. Cheyenne. Oh. Krista, sometimes when you get upset, you say things you don't mean. Other people may take that and remember it, and I want them to know Kristen and not angry Kristen. Oh, that's good. I'm so happy because if I'm going home tonight, at least I have one good friend that's stuck by my side. That's a good way Allison, to look at it, Kristen. If you choose to sit at Kristen's table, then she will be safe. Oh my gosh, Lisa it really Marie is this, home. isn't it? This is if it. If you sit at Lisa Marie's table, then both brides will be tied, and Janessa, it'll be up to your RSVP to reveal which bride will be staying and which bride will be going home. Uh, these two girls are the closest girls that I have in this house. And having to decide between the two of them is like my nightmare. Lisa Marie, I love you to death. I wish that you would just be more positive. Me personally, I need positive people surrounding me at all times because you know myself, I am a negative person. I want to be oh. extremely happy with you. Kristen, <gasps> you speak before you really think about things and you don't realize. Well, she only said one comment. Let's calm down people. a bit. I chose the person that I chose because. I don't want to be down in the dumps. And I'm so sorry. Don't do it coming up. Here we go, here we go. Yes! She made the right choice, girl! Wow. Eat that, Janessa. <laughs> so hard. Swallow your own wasp egg. I've been there for Allison. Betrayed. I never would have thought she would have neglected me. Oh, she did vote for her surgery, though, didn't she? Janessa. Obviously, your RSVP won't affect the outcome, but I'd like you to please step forward and please sit at the table of the bride that you would most like to see stay. You should Marie, sit at Kristen's uh, table. Thank you for always being here for me. Kristen, I would actually like to take this opportunity to lay something out. Allison came into the recovery room today and said that she was very upset with you because you had said you didn't know how this cockroach had managed to make it into this last round again. Oh! Scandal, scandal, scandal. Janessa didn't have to do that. And how she couldn't believe that you Look said at this that slow she wasn't voting for you. So it just really upset me that she would come in and say that to me and then sit at your table. Nice. Sowing the seeds. Oh, even, like even a serpent. Did you see that? Like a serpent on a Fabergé egg. Unhinge the jaw, girl. It's really important for me to let Kristen know that Allison's talking behind her back to kind of break up the little thing they yes. have going on. Ooh. She definitely has influence over Allison and Cheyenne. What a hateful situation. Hateful. Janessa's selling me out in front of everybody, the elimination, trying to make herself look better. I wanted to glare a hole right through her freaking nose that she just got done. The person that I'm choosing to sit at their table is because I would like to start over with them and start a good relationship with them. Kristen, yeah, it has to be because she so needs someone point, to be in the session. So Marie isn't going to get me anywhere. I can't have Kristen against me. I'd rather remain neutral with her. I know she's never going to be really for me, but I feel if I vote for her, it'll be more neutral than if I vote for Lisa Marie. Yes. Alliance, girl. It's hard hurt to be referred as a roach. It is, I actually is... want to apologize for that comment. That's not right, what I did. I'm Did you see that? That was, they flipped and reversed the footage earlier of her going... They'd flipped it to go like, like as if like everything's better now. Mm, production, one thousand percent value. We see. Hmm. Extremely pissed off at Janessa. 
You basically threw another person under the bus yes. and hurt another person's feelings that you considered yes. friends just to turn us against each other and to make yes. herself more powerful. How disgusting. Lisa Marie, unfortunately, Implanted your sentence. quest to become the perfect bride is over. Your wedding will still go on. It just may not be perfect. I wanted to stay with all my heart because I'm genuinely a good person. And no matter what comments were said, it's okay because I have such a big heart and I got a lot of love. No matter what, I still love those girls. Well, ladies, congratulations. You are <laughs> one step closer to becoming the perfect bride and having your perfect dream wedding. Oh, Shayna, now go. Now I see her true colors. Now I see the snake in the grass. Now I found it. Now I just need to squash it. Master manipulation, it may get you to the top. There's only four of them left. eventually it's gonna come back and bite you in the ass. It is. It's literally an alliance versus an alliance now. Well, my loves, oh my goodness. All right, I'm gonna go back to the center and push my laptop away from me there and take out my Ochinger. That last little bit, that last section was really difficult to watch because, so Janessa is under so much pressure to want to win that she is starting to behave in a way that seems so hateful Maybe she's not a hateful person. I mean, this, this show did air, you know, 11 years ago. So potentially not a hateful person. I mean, outside of this show, she's probably a wonderful woman. But production there decided to really, really capitalize on this narrative of like, she's going to jump ship so that she can further herself in the competition. But I must also say, if I went into a situation like this, it is a competition. All the friends that you make in this show and in a show like this, they aren't really friends. They're more like alliances. It more or less is an alliance because you can't become, you can't like save somebody else over yourself because that's not the essence of a competition like this. Although that does make good TV and you never know, do you? With the prizes that are in this show in particular, because it's not just money, like I feel like when just money is dangled on a rope in front of people, sometimes they will still have morality set in. When you are literally dangling fixes to dysmorphia and dysphoria in front of people, they're going to behave a lot more unhinged because that sounds a lot more out of reach than just money. At least that's what I think anyway. Get your beverages ready, girls. It's time for episode eight. And welcome to another episode of Bridal Plastic Girls. We are getting to the final episodes of this series. I cannot believe it's it's here. Like, it feels really weird that like both of my big plastic surgery like series videos have kind of like come to an end at the same time. But don't you worry, we've got some extra ones coming soon. And of course, we've still got the Swan Girls season two. And I think I found another bizarre plastic surgery show that I cannot wait to unveil on the world. Well, I mean, they did it back in 2004. Anyway, today it's time for another episode of Bridal Plasty, my loves. Everyone in episode seven in the comments was like, I cannot wait for you to watch episode eight. I cannot wait. Oh, I can't wait for you to see episode eight. So I have absolutely no idea what sort of snake waspery is going to happen today. And I'm totally here for it. Totally here for it. I know I said last time, but like, I'm fully invested now, fully invested in this series. I cannot believe how, um, how negative I was if I was like, no, this is wrong. And I still believe that. I still think it's completely wrong. But like reality TV does, it gets its claws into your mind and goes, time to bleed. And then everyone's like, oh my God, did you watch Bloody Blah last night? Did you watch Bloody Blah? Did you see that Bloody Blah went home? Like, this is basically reality TV. It's just like conversational pieces of artwork, if you can call it that. Anyway, my loves, today, as I say, is episode eight. I just can't wait to see how this turns out. Everyone always asks me where I get my tops from and where I get my lipsticks from. So this is a new lipstick I'm trying today and it's a little bit sticky. I'm not sure I like it. It's actually Maybelline's uh, Superstay Matte Ink in the shade Gout 320. And this top is from Attitude Clothing. I'm not sure they carry it anymore because I got it on sale. <gasps> Sexy. Oh no! Embarrassing ladies. Right, without further ado, let's pop in the Ohanger and let's watch Bridal Plastic Girls. I wonder if Shayna has a bump it in this week. Now I found it. Now I just need to squash it. <gasps> squash the snake girl. Oh. Oh, matchy matchy. Oh, ribbons and daisies and fairies. Guitars. Bridal Plastic Girls. Stab! I was a bit early then, sorry for God's sake. Oh, a sunrise with a mysterious harp. Seance. <gasps> a Satan! Oh, it was a mannequin. 
So I wake up and I'm really stressed out. Lisa Marie's left the house, so I've lost Ooh. a vote. And I know I'm going to have to compete in the next it's challenge. Easy, and it? it's my first challenge back from surgery. So I'm feeling really anxious. <laughs> my first challenge back from the dead. <laughs> oh. oh, look who it Hi, isn't. Dr. How are you? Jack in a Box Brow Lift. Good. Well, your swelling's come down a lot, huh? Uh-huh. Today, we take it out. <gasps> we take the splints out, we take the splint off, oh. we look at it a little bit, and we tape it up before it... Okay? Okay. All right. Oh. <gasps> oh, dear. Inspect the brain. Oh, no. Oh, I hate there. it. That's one. What is the music? I feel so vulnerable and so weak. I can't control the voting in the house. I can't control my pain. I can't control the next challenge. I can't even control how I compete because I just had surgery. I Ooh. feel really defeated and out of control. Inter oh, she's just about to cry. Wasp tears. Interesting that she's now in this first, like, 10 seconds of this episode. She's like, I'm weak, vulnerable, uh, because when she first got her surgery done, she was like, the pain's a 2 out of 10. I'm doing fine. Everyone's great. I'm going to win. Now she's like, no. Have a little break. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> surgery is tough. It's not easy. Oh, fading into the gazebo. I know that you're not oh. supposed to get violent with anybody, but I'm like, I want to smack that nose right off her face right now. Janessa just wants to Ooh, step look at the on everybody arms. just so she ends up in the finals. Guys, there's a snake in the grass and I found it. And now I'm going to squash it. I want her to... She said that. That is an overlaid thing from the confessional we saw earlier. <gasps> Production really want to go for this snake line, don't they? Mm. The thing is, like, in the context of this show, it is kind of like, Janessa is clearly the villain. Clearly, girls. But also at the same time, she is a real life person with a life outside of this show. So, like... As much as I'm having fun being like, the wasp serpent, what's Janessa up to? Like, it's only in the context of this show because I'm sure she's probably just like a lovely woman who wants to get on with her life. I wonder if like, after this show aired, how she was portrayed on TV really affected her. I would be very interested. Sadly, none of the bridal plastic girls have reached out, so I can't conduct any further research just yet. Ooh. Apologize for it. I want her to realize that she did something wrong. <gasps> He's been trying to get rid of me since day one. Yeah, she as long as the two out of three of us can kick ass today. Mm -hmm. Anus. She she freaking needs a good kick in the ass. We in really need to beat Janessa in this challenge because Please it's time for her to go home. Game on, Janessa. It's Gout. my turn to play the game. Oh. A different kind of alliance. What's the matter? I how this is going to go. Like, Oh. Cheyenne is so homesick. She really misses her family. I think she's going. Which I can relate. I do too, it but is. I think it's on a different level. It's like I'm not used to it. It's very hard being away from Scott. When I go to bed at night, job. I don't want to be going to bed alone. I want to be with him, and it's hard. I just miss home. I can understand that. It's a tough situation to be in. I feel like I want to come home. <gasps> this is like me, you know? I know. Like, I, I, know. Like, I like. Living in what our is house buzzing? together with the kids. What's just... his music? <laughs> oh. I think how far he made it, though, you know? I don't care anymore. Everything's from your face. Cheyenne! Christian can't hear her from like up the stairs and round the corner and down the alleyway and in the garden and on the boat outside. She can't hear her. They're trying to make it out like, oh, I can hear you saying I want to go home. So guess who's going to home? Go home now, girl. That's not going to happen, surely. Definitely shown me a side of her that I'm not Maybe really Kristen used is part to. Wolf. I've never threatened to go home. I don't want to go home. I want to see BJ so badly, but he knows that our life is on pause right now for me to go after something that we've been dreaming about since we were young. Why don't we want me to? I want you home. I want to be with you, yes. But I feel like we've been through all of this. And I know it sucks, but I think we might appreciate each other a little bit more. Okay. Like, that's not a hateful thing to say to someone in a situation like this. I cannot remember. I'm going to have to go back and watch it. Anyone who remembers how the episode went where we were listening to how they would write their, their vows. Did Cheyenne's go quite well? Was her husband, like, sort of acceptable? Or fiancé, was he sort of acceptable? I feel like that's, like, the best thing you can do is be like, I know you're having a tough time right now. Don't worry, you can get through it. If you want to complete this, I am fully there with you to support you, sis. Go! Maybe he wouldn't say all that, but you know what I mean? Like, I feel like that's quite positive. It wasn't like anything we've seen on this one where they're like, I interested in talking to you bye and you're like oh how do you do that to your significant other and you're gonna be doing a little laundry oh hey, that babe. hateful immediately We're hateful that i've never done that that's why you love me I do love you love you very very much is that the first time we've heard in this entire show the word love surely i feel like it is isn't it 
Correct me if I'm wrong, everybody. I'm sure you will. You love your little keyboard moments. Let me know, because I feel like that's the first time we've felt like genuine love in this entire show. Am I wrong? Oh. oh. The morning, hey, the ladies. statue, the Come garden, the, the gout. Oh, there's Ooh. the dreaded Shana call. Okay, oh, yes. my heart just went the straight from my heart cavity to my rear end. Heart I'd cavity? like to introduce you to a heart cavity. Oh, Alison. Very special guest. This is Shannon Fox, and she's a Hello. celebrity. Hello! <laughs> Relationship expert. A celebrity. <laughs> Hi. Hello. She has been on the Tyra Banks show, CNN. Nice. And oh, let's not talk about I that. I also have another surprise oh, for I you like today. Your hair, They're Shana. a very famous celebrity couple. So let's introduce Adrian Curry and Christopher <gasps> oh, Knight. Oh, my God! <laughs> You know, everybody always says, how's the married life? Spoilers! <laughs> we go to counseling twice a week and we fight at least three times a week. Wait, I what? I don't want to catch your worm. Married life is fabulous. Oh, I am so excited. Crossover of the Adrian century. Curry. We have her Playboy cover, like, hanging up in my bathroom. So I have all her issues, actually. I love that girl. Hello, oh. ladies. A lesbian oh. flourishing relationship. Yeah. Now, this is one of the most honest couples I know. That's what we're told. Honesty in relationships is uh, incredibly she difficult. She looks great, yeah. Especially when dealing with a man, because it's their natural tendency to be completely dishonest. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Truer words, sis. Well, you know what, guys? Why don't we bring in some more special guests? Oh, God. To get what the conversation going. Celebrity face-off, yeah? girls. Sure. Bring it on. Everyone, this is Kristen's fiance, Brandon. <gasps> Wait, what? <laughs> I just want to. Why is he wearing a mask? Smell him. I love him. He's he's my everything. To have him this close after so long. Oh, they're not allowed to see them. Oh, of course they're not allowed to see them. Of course they aren't because you know surgery, etc. <laughs> Shut up, Luxair. <laughs> it means the world to me. I know you're blindfolded, Aww. but did you feel a difference? Uh -huh. oh, yes. <laughs> Squishy. From when I saw her last, there's a big increase from what it is now, so I'm and, absolutely... Imagine being called BJ. I know there are people in the audience that are, but like BJ in the UK is slang for like oral adult relations. <laughs> Really eager to see Kristen's boobs. He must remain blindfolded. Oh, okay. Because the bride that does win oh, really like is nothing hair. to their fiance till the actual wedding. And even this top. Well, these blindfolds are a bit erotic. <laughs> <laughs> Calm down, sis. You're on television. How embarrassing. For all you know, there could be 80 people behind the camera being like, oh, she's got a blindfold fetish, hasn't she? Side note, I love calling straight men girl because they get so confused. They're like, oh, well, uh, uh, uh. It's Janessa's fiance, LJ. <gasps> Janessa girl, the serpent. Hey, oh, hey. <laughs> I really what want to see music? Janessa. I mean, it's been a month. I just want to talk to her, hold her hand. LJ? What's, 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 what's LJ and BJ? Does they have a labia job? All right, LJ, the wasp wrangler. Let's see what this challenge is. Maybe get some pecs. Go get them. Get a little peck. Yeah. Kisses here and there. Little kisses. Hey, baby. Uh, oh. Janessa does not seem very thrilled to see him. Yes. She but doesn't even really have an emotion. She's just kind of like, hey, kind of sad you're here. She cheated on Weird. Her? Him, even? Everyone, this is Allison's fiance, Jonathan. Oh, oh hello. <laughs> we already know all about you. <laughs> oh. I'm feeling really excited to see her, obviously. Because oh. I haven't seen her in over a month and I miss her. Oh my it's God. been one I month at this like, point. Okay. Tears. I just wanted to hug him and I didn't want to let go. Oh. Wait, how does that time frame Dominique's work? fiance, Kevin. Hello, Kevin. Ah. Oh, all these men are very oh, much the same, aren't they? I really Copy just paste. wanted to rip the blindfold off his face. Oh, you could have, sis. They I'm couldn't so have stopped you. I'm so excited he's here. This is Cheyenne's the whole fiance, thing. Scott. Oh my God. Wait, are we going to have couples therapy? I haven't seen Cheyenne in a long time. <gasps> He's I have got a, a black a eye. Nerves going on. Has Scott he... walks through the door and immediately like, tell, my heart pixels. drops. He's my best friend. It doesn't feel the same without My him. heart drops. My heart drops? Don't you mean jumps? My heart drops. Oh, can't believe he's here. What are you doing here, silly bugger? 
Is this the longest that you two have been apart? Do you yes. miss it? We've yes. never been, we've never spent any time. How we haven't convenient. Even had a I miss Cheyenne a lot. Oh. Wow, that's amazing. I'm like, get the hell away from me. <laughs> Go, go. Well, Shannon, now that everybody is here, That's not healthy, I think sis. we can get down to business because there are some serious Time issues jump. that need to be addressed. <gasps> oh my God, serious, serious issues. issues? What? Pace? This cannot be good. Go. Oh, peace. Now that everybody is here, I think we can get down to business because there are some serious issues that need to be addressed. Oh. Shannon, why don't you take it away? Honesty is one of the most crucial aspects of a marriage. It yes. really creates the foundation of a healthy marriage. And when yes. you lie to your partner, you're really headed for destruction. I mean, we have an incredibly open and honest relationship. We know all of each other's secrets. We don't want to know, we leave be. The few times that our relationship has almost ended, is because my husband was not honest with me. <laughs> I just had some stuff that I just didn't think was important to share, you know. Phone calls with exes. But we don't have those problems anymore. No, they could, they could beat out of me. <laughs> we killed her. <laughs> well, ladies, there are some, some Adrian specific expectations that you got to talk about before you get married. Money, big, yes. big one. The number one cause of divorce chores <laughs> everybody laughs but this once you get married it really can become He's one like, of the biggest things washing, that you argue bitch. about on a daily basis <laughs> sex you got to talk about it not She's just got a fly on her Did you see talk that? about it and be mm -hmm. honest allison what about you have you guys discussed you know some of those issues we're pretty honest with each other i mean we oh, openly trust oh, each other maybe be? i've faked an orgasm or two <laughs> Whatever. Okay, how about you, Janessa? I think we have a little bit Adrienne of what Adrian was, was talking about, the line with omission. LJ's good at that one. Because <laughs> he thinks that it won't make me mad if I don't know it. Yes, I have a feeling that Janessa can be pretty controlling in her relationship. They're probably the opposite of me and John. Oh. Well, Cheyenne, you guys seem very juicy, connected juicy, and close. Cocoa, cocoa. I, me and Scott really don't keep anything from one another. I mean, we have passwords to every every account possible. I would love to have all the passwords. <laughs> I think Cheyenne and Scott know each other pretty well, but the truth is nobody has a perfect relationship. Yep, Let's talk that's, about sex. that's very true, Janessa. Men, their major desire in sex is to please their woman. Yeah. So if you're telling them how to do that, and if you're yeah. That's a lie. I'm sorry. I don't know who you've been having intercourse with, but men's desire, or at least nowadays, men's desire is to get off. It's not to please you. Like, very, very, re like, just go on to, like, relationship advice on Reddit, for example. Every single post is like, my husband really likes me when I dress up as a clown and go, ah, 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 and then he squirts everywhere. But he just doesn't ever want to go down on me. What can I do? It's like, sis, put him in the bin. Put him in the bin. Doing a good job and they're really not. They're going to keep doing the same <laughs> thing. Yeah. Communication is key. Adrian, yes. any last words of advice yeah. you can give the young couples? I think you're single until you get married. But now you're a couple. Anything that goes on after that needs to be shared. Guys, I've learned that you shut the door to the bathroom. Yeah, no, keep, keep mystery. Shannon, Chris, Adrian, thank you guys so much for coming and wow. opening up and giving such great advice to these young couples. Oh, you're very welcome. Good luck, all. Enjoy your really awkward moments <laughs> with each other. <laughs> Adrian She's on the ball. Great because they're really honest about their struggles, where I think there's a lot of couples in the house that want to make it she seem like gigantic. they have the perfect relationship. I love it. All right, ladies. Well, it is now time for your next bridal plastic. I wouldn't. I wish they'd stop doing all this. Today's challenge is one of the most important that you've had yet, and I've News told you that the stakes are going to get higher and higher because the last bride standing, the final date. bride, will not only get one of the plastic surgeries off her wish list. Oh, yes. But today's top bride will win a spot in the finale. Oh, my God. So this finale, is the girls. Is there a Why pageant? wouldn't I want to win at this point? If you win, you're guaranteed a spot in the finale. It's one step closer to getting your dream. That's true. Today, we're going to put you both to the test, and we're going to see how open and honest you really are with each other. So Macaroni art. surprise guest. This is someone that I'd like to introduce you to. His name is John Grogan. God, look at all the people. And he's a world-renowned polygraph expert. He That's was the right, one ladies. who was on Dracula, you was he not? You and are going to be taking a lie detector test. Oh my God! When Shana introduces lie detector look John, I'm like, you flew him from New Jersey, you blindfolded him, and now you're gonna hook him up to a lie detector test. This is definitely not what Scott signed up for. John is gonna hook both you well, and if your you got fiance, to hide. Up, and he's gonna ask you ten questions each. The couple with the lowest number of lies wins. The two couples. 
you know, I was at a club recently and there was a straight man with a wife and kids making out with all the boys. And I was like, doesn't your wife care? And he was like, oh, she doesn't know. And I was like, what these men get up to, sis, you have no idea. <laughs> Bulls who tell the most lies will become our bottom brides. I'm a really honest person. And when I talk about someone behind their back, I'll tell it to their face. So we have mm. to do well on this challenge because EJ and I have an I mean, Kristen, you have shown us that you don't do that. Earlier in the series, when you were with Alexandra and you were like, I just want to talk about you to my friend. And I was like, mm, you're not doing what you're saying there. But I feel like everyone is the hero of their own story. Everyone is like, I would say anything to your face until you're faced with confrontation. And then you're like, I, I sort of wish I hadn't said that because maybe I might get my face a bit beat here. Oh. Whereas if I hate your shoe, sis, sis, I'm just going to tell you, that's a hateful shoe. Change the shoe, change your life. Simply open an honest relationship. Now, while you guys are answering your questions, the rest Shane of the group so will good be watching here. right here on the <gasps> screen. Ooh. Dominique, this is your lucky day. Since you just had surgery, you were on medical leave this week and don't have to compete in this challenge. Jeez, oh, so you just get to go and have cuddles? <laughs> oh, that. I feel no. if I took the lie detector test, I would have won anyway. We tell each other a lot of things and Bulging she knows a lot about have. me and everything, so I'm not worried about it. All right, John, is there any advice you'd like oh, to give to our nice. teams? If you lie, I'll know it instantly. <laughs> <laughs> Time to bleed. Cheyenne and Scott, we're going to send you both off with John. I hate that noise, that reality TV noise. For some reason, it really reminds me of uh, Kitchen Nightmares. It's constantly in that, that kind of like high pitch. I don't even know what instrument it is, but it goes, it's the most like sends a shiver down my spine. It makes me kind of cringe every time I hear it because it's always overlaid over like stupid things. But yeah, I can't wait to go for a nice evening walk after this. I'm very excited. Come with me. <gasps> okay. Oh. He, know he needs help. <laughs> don't forget me. Oh. <laughs> oh, an eyeball. Needle in the eyeball, girl. He'll be here. Okay. This is Mystic Meg music. The psychic will see you now in the dark. It's in the middle. Why are lie detectors taking the dark? Out. You'll do your best if you answer everything yes or no with just your mouth. Time to be Not electrocuted. In your head. I'm very nervous sitting there because we're the first ones to go. I have all these things all over me and my fiance's next to me blindfolded and I'm definitely They're hoping also not my nerves don't affect That's the why test you can't use my stomach's like, whoa, all funny. We're about ready <gasps> to begin. Okay. Oh my God. Cheyenne. Gout. Have you ever had any hesitations about getting married to Scott? No. Yes. Everyone has. Lies. Of course. Scott, do you think Cheyenne should help out more around the house. Oh, shut up. Yes. Get a maid. If you want your house nice and clean and you both work, just hire someone to help you out. That is obscene. If you want a lovely, tidy house at all times and provide enough for two people, you'll marry a maid, sis. Do what you do. Do, do whatever you want. <laughs> Ooh. Cheyenne, do you think Scott holds you back from getting to go out and party more? No. Yes. Yes, you do. Scott, do you like your mother-in-law? Yes. No. Lies. Ha! Snake! Ooh! Ooh! Oh, it's juicy gossip! Cheyenne, do you think that Scott is a pushover? No. No. <laughs> oh. Scott. Serpent. Does Cheyenne have a chopping problem? <laughs> wow. A shopping yes. problem. I mean, it's not a problem, though. Like, I'm a girl. Like, he's just a boy, and he doesn't, he's never had sisters, so he doesn't understand. Uh, incorrect. Have you ever met a man in shoes? All they do is buy shoes. The amount of trainers they buy. There's like 28 pairs of shoes arrive a day. And it's just like, why do you need all these trainers? They look the same. Hateful. If you were dressing like this, I wouldn't mind. <laughs> uh, I, yeah, that is not true. I think this whole idea of like girls and shopping trope is ridiculous because no, no, I do not subscribe. <laughs> Stuff is priceless. <laughs> Cheyenne, do you think you should That's have to do your own Genesis laundry? Soft. Yes. Lies. <gasps> <gasps> Scandal girls! <laughs> she knows she doesn't want to do any laundry. Who wants to do laundry? <gasps> I was so nervous sitting there. It was a lot harder to answer the questions than I thought it was going to be. But yes. Scott's my best friend. We tell each other everything. So I think that we're going to be OK. OK, well, everything was fi false. Yeah, lies. Five. Five lies. Good, Allison. I know oh, you're dying five to guys, go. Five guys, five lies. <laughs> Come on, John. Allison, go. I'm a little nervous for John because I really think that John feels he doesn't want to hurt my feelings. But I'm trying to tell him just lay it out. We'll work on it later. Wait, oh. is this the 
the first time we've seen Alison without that, like, compression garment that she said made her look like a chipmunk? Is this the first time? She looks really My good. My God, do I want to win this. Yeah. Ooh, nice hairstyle. Alison, do you think your fiancé is contributing enough financially? <gasps> no. John, do you think Alison could work harder at losing weight? Yes. So could you! Uh, Alison, uh, are you satisfied with your sex life? No. <laughs> it didn't used to be. Bash, bash. This is ego bashing for both of them. So she needs help losing weight and he needs to come on. <laughs> Crikey, goodness me. See, that's a trick question. The juicy with gossip. Us, it's now, yeah, it sucks. Before, no. <laughs> it was great. Thumbs up. Alison, do you wish your engagement ring were bigger? Yes. I'm really nervous that I'm not seeing more thumbs down on John and Allison. John, do you think your fiance is lazy? No. <gasps> Scandal girls. Well, everyone Allison, can be a bit lazy. do you sneak food when no one is looking? Yes. <laughs> oh, she's so honest. John, are you jealous of any of your partner's exes? No. Hoomst. Hoomst. So Hoomst. my detector test is done, and I look over at John. He can't look back at me, but I think that we may have nailed this. So just waiting to see what the results are. Ooh. Oh, well, um, Kristen right. and Brandon, why don't you head out with John? Yes, come on, Kristen. At this point, Cheyenne has the worst score. BJ and I have never had anything to hide from each other. But I'm shaking, my heart's racing. What if I say the correct the answer to something and me to tell stand me up. why? This sucks. Ooh. She likes the word suck. Kristen, are you jealous of- Maybe it's because her boyfriend's called BJ. <laughs> of his ex-girlfriend? Yes. <gasps> Brandon, do you think Kristen will be a good mom? Yes. Oh, that's Kristen, good. do you think your fiance makes enough money? Yes. But who does? Brandon, who does make enough? Does your mom wish you were marrying one of your exes instead of Kristen? <gasps> no. Boom! We knew it, Kristen, we knew do it. Do you think your mother in law is too involved in his life? Yes. No. Oh, lies. <laughs> Brandon, are you satisfied with your sex life? Yes. No. <gasps> lies. BG saying he's not satisfied with our sex life. But she was life. a right goer. Kind of a shock. I just kind of want to like whip my head and be like, what am I doing wrong? Kristen, yeah. do you like your mom? Kristen seems really like she's very open about like, you know, wanting to do better in the boudoir liaise. So like, communication is needed there. But also this mother-in-law appears to be like a domineering factor, doesn't she? <laughs> Homest. Mother-in-law? Yes. Lies. Yes, nobody like, no, she was awful. Don't. Don't. Mm -hmm. Don't. Doing wrong, do I need to get on top more? <laughs> I'm thinking BJ and I probably did really well. Like, we had to have done well. We were Ooh, honest. What was that, three this. or four? Because BJ was honest about things that maybe we haven't shared yet with each other. Communication, girl. Four, four lies, girl. No. All right, Janessa and LJ, Ooh. you are up next, and you can go with Joe. I have a Time feeling the wasp. that Janessa is going to do pretty strong in this one. I mean, do the you? girl's got I no don't. emotions. She's like a Stepford wife. Just answer yes or no with your mouth only. Any movement you make can cause a false reading. I really have a Ooh. shot to win here. All I have to do is beat Allison's two lies, and I have a chance to be top right. Yes, but it, you're, what about your husband as well? Your fiance, wait, wait. Oh, piss! Piss, Coming piss, up. piss! Oh, pigeons! My favorite bird. All right, Janessa and LJ, yes, no, come on. you're up next, and you can go with John. So we haven't got the scores from the lie detector test, but if I counted right, Allison and John have only missed two. So hopefully LJ and I can beat that. Oh, that was a bit different. Right, come Janessa, on. do you manipulate your fiance? Yes. No. Lies. So I definitely don't. Janessa, do you have too much Botox in your forehead that you would also like to become a lampshade at some points in your life? Yes. I think I manipulate LJ. I negotiate with him. <gasps> Janessa, nice. are you jealous of any of your partner's exes? Yes. No. Uh, uh, oh! LJ, would you have asked Janessa to marry you had she not given you an ultimatum? Yes. Oh. Janessa, do you think you are smarter than your fiance? Yes. Yes. <laughs> LJ, do you approve of the way your partner spends money? Yes. 
I'm feeling really good at this point. Alice is going to win. I'm thinking I have a really good chance of winning this. Janessa, are you satisfied with your sex life? No. <gasps> so I know I'm probably going to hurt LJ's feelings when I say good. that I'm not happy with my sex life. But also. Life, but I really want to win top rides. So oh, wow. <laughs> Three. Uh -huh. OK, everyone, I'm going to give you the scores. How many bottom brides are they going to be? Allison and John. Win. With two lies. You are our winning team. Yay! And Allison, you know what that makes you, right? It top makes you bride. Our top bride, and you will be in the finale. Yay! Oh. So good. Yay! Oh. Madness, but also well done. It's like a 50-50 shot. I am one of two people that are going to walk away. With the perfect one of two, wedding. Two people. What? And to think that my Mr. Bad Luck guy helped me. So I guess he's oh, that's nice. really not Mr. Bad Luck oh, I've guy got anymore. Pimply Geese. Janessa, you and LJ got three lies. You and LJ are safe. Cheyenne, you scored five lies. Kristen, you and your fiance got four lies. And that, unfortunately, makes you both our bottom brides. Ooh, of course, you are now at risk of being sent home. I can't believe I'm a bottom bride. I thought I was answering the questions truthfully, but maybe I just wasn't being honest with myself. The thing is, Cheyenne, you're just very young and very in love. And I feel like with time, you actually refine what you want to do. I can't remember how old Cheyenne is. How old is Cheyenne? I feel like she gives a very sort of like youthful energy that's just like, it gives me an example of like, you need to get out more, sis. You need to get out. Experience much more dick around the world. And you never know, you might feel a bit more confident in your marriage proposals. Okay, gang, the rest of you have a very important decision to make. I'll be giving each of you an RSVP card. You will have the day to figure out which one of the bottom the day? brides you'd most like to see stay. The day? Wait, I'm in the bottom and Allison's top bride, so of course I lost her vote. My chance of getting rid of Janessa, totally down the toilet. And on top of all that, I have to fight against my best friend just to stay in this house. And ladies, unfortunately, it How is now time work? to say goodbye no. to your fiance. Bye, so girl. Oh. <laughs> this is a bit cruel, isn't it? Oh. Thank you so much. I'm very disappointed not being able to spend more time with her. Maybe like a couple, ten more minutes or so would have been better, you know? Oh. But it is what it is, right? Mm. I miss Scott a lot. Really, a lot. It's hard. I just love him so much and like... I'm not used to being I mean, away from You don't really. Him. Five lies. Sad. Youthful feelings. Is it? Are you hanging on? Yep. Okay. Yeah. Bye, guys. Yeah, you got it. Bye, girls. Let's get out of here. Bye. Oh, Bye. the <laughs> little tail woman is leading well, you off Allison, to your death. top ride, you will be leaving immediately. Go nice. get those teeth, girl. And pack your bag. Yeah. Someone said, get those teeth, girl. Okay, so I actually had an idea since watching the last episode in Dominique getting her teeth done. So... I think because this is filmed in such a short amount of time, they can't go under anaesthetic or general anaesthetic again to have another like serious procedure done. So I wonder if or everybody's second item on their plastic surgery wish list has to be teeth because you don't have to be put under anaesthetic to have your teeth done. So I wonder if like, I wonder if for like health reasons, that's what happens, you know? Because if she does get veneers, like we're just about to see, she's probably going to go and see Dr. Sherry Worth. Dr. Browlift's going to be there for some reason, being like, oh, come, come on, Sherry, let's do some Da Vinkies. I've had horrible, horrible teeth problems my entire life. I've just never been able to Dr. afford Dr. Sherry Worth is going to give you Da Vinci veneers. I have my chance to get my teeth. Dominique, Janessa, the two of you will figure out who you'll be voting for, Kristen or oh, Cheyenne. Yes. I can't yes. believe I was worried about this challenge. I there really hate to see Allison win, but at least Kristen's in the bottom. Hate but I still to have see Allison win. Surprise. Oh, oh, when you get married, there's a modern tradition of the groom getting a gift. So Movado has graciously given us these gorgeous watches to put in your bridal closets. Oh, that's weird. I can't believe that we're Allison getting doesn't to get add one? a Movado watch to our bridal closet because LJ has been trying to negotiate me buying him a watch since we got engaged. It's definitely motivating to see everything that's in. Is that a thing that happens? You buy your, your fiancé a watch when you get engaged? Is that like a thing? You can tell I have absolutely no interest in getting married, can't you? In our bridal closet, because I never thought Just that we'd be getting Just be a sugar mama forever. <laughs> can you imagine? <gasps> Bosoms. A ghost. An eyeball. One day I was going to come down to you. Yeah. 
I was hoping it would be at the end. <gasps> this is absolutely the worst case scenario I could have ever nightmared. Yeah, I'm gonna Janice, go home gonna go over you, one sis. of my best friends, but at the same time, I'm gonna go home over somebody who doesn't really wanna be here. You just gotta try. Try what? Try your hardest. Just stop. Ooh, yeah, a pop a dog. Like, oh, I am trying. Day one. I don't think they're not going to send me home. Yes, but Dominic, don't say it. If you keep it in your mind, like, you pretend. Really? Cheyenne has a point. I think Dominique does like me. I have never expressed that I want to go home. Maybe I have a chance at convincing Dominique to go home. I don't know. I would never persuade or wish you to go home. And same here. Well, I know. I'm not going to say I'm going to want to send Christmas home. Gonna say any reason why I deserve it. I'm not gonna no, say any, because I don't think I deserve it more than you do. I think we both deserve it the same, so. I want to be here. That's my best bet, and I can only hope that they see that. Mm. Hemst. I wonder, Hemst, this is going to gout the quiche. Coming up. Oh, go away. <laughs> oh, Barbados. No. Hi, Alison. Hey. How are you? Hey. An Office Sherry Oh, hey, look, look who he isn't. Yeah. We knew it. So one of your main concerns, obviously, was your teeth. Correct. Yes. Okay. <laughs> My big problem is I have missing teeth. They're broken off. Oh. I've had root canals on them and then couldn't afford to obviously mm -hmm. purchase the crowns for them. What oh. we do, we fix everything that you have in your mouth With to make Vinci's. that healthy and get it looking good. To be able you to know. chew without spaces in my mouth would be great because exactly. I know I'll never be able to afford a bridge or implants or anything like that. So, Well, let's take some x-rays and see what's going on. We can go from there. Okay. Okay. Great. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. I don't want to be that person to say anything badly about my friend. Well, I don't think you should have to say anything no. badly about you know. How am yeah, I you supposed just... to sell myself to you guys without having to say, well, look at this and that, you know? Trying you know, outshine. that you were thinking of or you just don't want to say? Um, the only thing I have to say is like, she doesn't want to be here, girl. I never slipped up and said, I don't want to be here. That is it about her being like, like, oh, I, you know, I want to go home kind of a thing. Yeah. I feel like I want to come home. Yeah. I just miss you. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that part does bother me. Dominique's been around for all of these hissy fits that Cheyenne has had. That's Why would true. you keep someone around like that? I feel like, like Kristen makes good TV. Go so over somebody that said they wanted to go home. Mm, you know, I don't, I don't know, know who to vote for, Cheyenne or Kristen. I have reasons to vote for both to keep in the house, and I just don't know who to vote for. <gasps> oh, me! Vote for me, go. Oh, a fountain, Newport Beach, a time warp. Oh, is this voting music already? No, so we've got to see dentistry. Today, yes. I'd like to clean everything up. Take as much of this decay out of your mouth as I can, hopefully yeah. all of it. And especially as a diabetic, sweetie, you know that you have to keep the infection out, okay? Mm -hmm. So this is going to help you a lot. Yeah. Because you've been walking around for I don't know how many years with abscesses all up in these teeth. Allison will need to go under IV sedation because the decay and the abscess and the infection in her mouth is so great. So Okay. Oh, okay. So when I said IV sedation, like they weren't going to put anyone under a general anesthetic, that isn't true. <laughs> Completely incorrect. That's really what I thought they were trying to like do is to be like, no, you can't go under general anesthetic again. Although, did Allison go under general anesthetic for lipo or did she just go under like localized anesthetic? Oh, I, don't, I can't remember now. <gasps> Interesting. Let me know what you think. Oh, please. Yes, please. Humst. Today, she'll leave with beautiful temperies on her teeth. But more importantly for her, we're going to get rid of a lot of the infection that's in her yeah. mouth. Surely that's the most important thing. Oh, into the dream world. If I was her, this would be my bridal dream. She has some very serious dental issues that we're going to help her out with today. These teeth are just mush in here. Look at this. Yep. There's one tooth. And there's another one. And these teeth are basically falling out in my hands. They're so infected. <sighs> oh! I'm just removing all of her old bonding and decay that's underneath the bonding. And um, boy, is it a mess. This is going to be just a great service that we can provide for her to get her mouth healthy with her diabetes. Yeah, see, here's an old crown. And there's oh, so much wow. decay in her tooth. Some of her tooth came out tooth with it. Out. 
Oh, oh okay. no. Real big. That's great. The one thing I really get alarmed about is the word decay. When you're talking about somebody who's already uh, like still living, you know what I mean? Like they're a person going around, they're just decaying. It does sound like terrifying, doesn't it? It really puts it into perspective how like important it is to uh, look after yourself. Ah. Okay, this looks awesome. Are you ready to see this? Take a look at that. Oh my God. I can see <laughs> two pixels. Wild? She is night and day different. Her whole face looks different. And oh. I think she's very excited about the transformation. So these are the temporary things, and then... These are the temporaries, and, um, you know, as I said before, what we do is we kind of sculpt these to try to give you an idea of mm -hmm. what we're going to get to at the final. Wow. I got new teeth! Ding! Ding, Glaliers! Oh, that's oh. pretty amazing, huh? It feels amazing to have new teeth right now. It's probably one of the most over-emotional things for me because I would not have been able to afford getting my teeth fixed. And that's now I'm true, happy to it? smile. Now that's frustrating. <laughs> you should not have to go on a bloody TV competition reality show for plastic surgery and bloody a wedding in order to have like healthy teeth in your life. You shouldn't have to go to this extreme. If that, uh, surely that should go without staying. Ow! <gasps> oh, rotate the lady. Ooh, gush, gape. Bicycle. Of course you are. We could see that from a mile away. Mm -hmm. Right, him. Keeps getting weaker and weaker. I just think like Kristen, she's just like, she's really driven. She's playing the game, sis. You never know, Jayanne. She may pull it through. I never thought that she was like gung ho, like, yeah, I'm doing this. But she has done it without even like breaking a sweat, which makes me nervous. You know what I mean? I would like to come to a decision together with Janessa, but with Kristen and Cheyenne... Yeah, hang on. What happens if they both pick different people? Who gets to pick then? Does the Who is the winner? Alison. Do you think Alison has to step in and be like, I decide, girls? Because if she has to, I reckon Kristen will stay and Cheyenne will go if they both go for someone else. So this kind of hinges on Dominique if Dominique picks Kristen because clearly Janessa's going to pick Cheyenne, right? Oh, it's time to be a detective girl. Home. I've said that word so many times this episode, you're probably all gonna be like, Stop it, Lux! Gout! We kind of have conflicting ideas, so I hope Janessa and I can get on the same page about who we want girl. to stay in the house. Here's the thing, like, something you can't take about her is that, um, she's spoiled rotten. Who? Cheyenne? Yes. And I'm like, would I be happy if she won? Mm. No. I love Dominique, and I'm so glad that I made the choice in the beginning to form an alliance with her. But I need her on my side because we don't want to leave this vote in Allison's hands. Realistically, you don't have an alliance. Coming Ow! Oh, there's a beach and there's Hollywood and there's a pond and I a really house. I need to hear why I should keep you here. Why do you think that you should stay in the competition and you should be given another chance? I know Dominique's on the fence about Cheyenne and Kristen. I really need to get Cheyenne to vocalize why she wants to be here. Watching all these girls eat is making me so hungry. I'm like, oh yes, I could do with a potato salad. And hopefully that will convince Dominique to keep Cheyenne and send Kristen home. <gasps> Honestly, you guys are like so equal in so many areas yeah. that it's like, Ooh. how do you choose between them? I feel like we both deserve it the same, so it's kind of hard. I'm not just saying that. I'm being like dead serious. I'm not gonna just try to save my own ass to send my friend home. You know, they can make their own decision about me and vote accordingly. I think that's very genuine of you. However, I think everyone here deserves it. It's like- That's why like from here on out, like really, if like one of you guys win, I'll be like, I'll just be like, can I come? Yeah. Cheyenne not vocalizing how badly she wants to be here is the red flag. And yes. at the end of the day, Cheyenne really just wants to be back with her fiance. Yes. Yes! Oh, the pond! Oh, a flower. Ooh. A, a, uh. <laughs> oh, Alice Swalliers. Hello. Hey. I've got gout. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Everyone's in their bitualiers. I'm jealous of Allison. I would kill to have new teeth. They oh, look so good. Oh, and I really want to win another surgery. How, it's how a, was it? Uh, well, I'm in a lot of pain because they had to pull like four of my teeth. Oh, wow. Yeah, I just need some pain pills and then I'll be up and running. Off to bed. So I'm really annoyed that Allison has been top right. Not once, but twice. Yeah, but I can't believe so I has let this happen. Dominique. You can't believe you let this happen, sis. Calm down. <laughs> So nobody's said anything at Flower all. Flower in the eyeball, girl. 
Wow. Yeah. <laughs> so, I'll see. Well, I've spoken to Dominique, but Dominique's just so hard to read. I have no idea what she's thinking. So oh. I figure it's time to go talk to Allison. My maybe only she is a mouse is piloting a, a woman. And that maybe you'll keep me around. That's my only hope. Technically, I'm not the competitive one at this point. This is my third time in the bottom. This is Cheyenne's first. I mean, they leave it up to me. Ah, that's you got true. Me more, so. Well, I know. <laughs> I know. I definitely know Janessa's not going to vote for me. I hope I got through to Dominique because I know in the event of a tie that Allison would definitely vote for me to stay. Yes. Who? Oh, who's it going to be? Oh, the sun has set. Time for werewolves. The vampires no, at the Citadel. Keep... Stop. No. What's supposed to happen Ooh, is going to happen. Party dress it. time. Just let it happen. Cheyenne's my friend, and she's looking really bummed out. And I just feel like I've got to tell her the truth because oh. I'm lying at this point. Ooh. I was talking to Dominique, and I was like, honestly, I was like, I've got nothing to say. I was like, maybe the only thing is, is that, so the only leg I have to stand on is that Cheyenne gets homesick. Okay, so the reason now why Kristen is doing this is because last week, Janessa tried to pluck it out of the woodwork and be like, well, Kristen said this about you, Lisa Marie. So I feel like that's why she's now trying to be like, do you know what? I'm going to be honest with you for a moment in time. Oh. What? <laughs> Knives. No, something's up. No, oh, it just kind of bugs me. Like, I didn't say anything about you. Nothing. I didn't do that to her. I'm sure there's a lot of things that may have been said about Janessa, and I would have never gone to Janessa and been like, oh, well, Kristen said this, this, and this about you, so can you please vote for me, you know? I have no reason why I deserve Ooh. to be here more than you, and so, like, for you to be like, oh, the only thing I can say is Shane gets homesick, like, well, that's, well, no, Obviously, I get homesick. I'm across the country. I didn't realize Cheyenne was going to get so mad. Uh, I think you did, actually, Kristen. I think that was a bit naive of you to do all that. Coming Ow! The rhinoplasty stab! Oh, Frasier and a traffic jam. I love this B-roll footage. <gasps> a seance. <laughs> Ladies! Ooh. Dis oh, oh, no. Well, ladies, as you can see, there's the RSVP box. Gorgeous. I you need to write down hat. the name of the bride that you would most like to see stay in the house. Me. Unfortunately, I have to take the two bottom brides with me, Cheyenne, Kristen. Bride of Chucky. Off she goes. I'm praying to God that Dominique sees that I really want to be here and she makes the right decision. I'm really nervous. I have no idea who's voting for who. It's yeah. literally like up in the air at this point, and I'm not if sure which way the votes are No, you shouldn't. You shouldn't be allowed to confer. This should be all done in silence. I secret really hate silence. not having complete control of the situation. So having Dominique's vote up in the air really stresses me out. I hate this mosaic talk. It's impossible to choose between Kristen and Cheyenne. They're the both streets. good girls, and I just hate I having to break With someone's the sound heart. of gout. To the music of gout, I've got gout. Oh. Oh, this is so, so incredibly important to me. I want to be here. I want to fight for this dream wedding. I want everything off my wish list. I want to be that perfect bride on that perfect day. And this wedding would be a dream come true. Uh, yeah, but... Uh, uh, uh. Oh. It's never a good feeling doing an elimination. You are essentially taking someone's dream away from them. And that's a horrible feeling. This is a really difficult decision, and I just... It's nose job versus bosoms! Who's gonna win? I don't know what I'm gonna do. Hello, ladies, and welcome to another Bridal Plasty RSVP ceremony. I'm going As to you eat see, your soul. As you our bottom brides, Cheyenne Ooh. and Kristen, are already at our their wedding tables. Table in a service. moment, you will decide which one will be going home tonight. Oh, who's Should it gonna be? Should there be a tie, Allison, you will be our deciding vote. Oh, Allison. Okay, ladies, it's time to reveal your RSVPs. Okay, come on, then. Who's first? Janessa? First is Janessa. Ooh. She, she hasn't gone first before. She's always been the deciding factor. Okay. All right. Meow, meow. Right, I think that you are truly a very selfless she's going, person. She's going to sit there, right? Deep down, you do right? want this, but I think maybe some people couldn't see that. I hate you. <laughs> she didn't say anything. Of course, we knew it. We, we, we knew this, sis. We absolutely knew it. Red does look lovely on her, though. Okay, Dominique. 
It's essentially Imagine all to share you. a house with that person. The fates of Cheyenne and Kristen are in your hands. Pick Kristen. Pick Kristen, girls. Kristen, girls. I really Although, why, hope why Dominic's so going vote for me. The only chance I have of staying here is if it comes down to a tie and Allison will vote. That is my only chance. Yes, what? I hope that Dominique has learned enough about me and hopefully she'll decide to vote for me. Nah. It's all up to Dominique and she nah. better vote for who we agreed on. The wasp mm -hmm. has spoken. Ow. Oh yeah, a Da Vinci, perfect. Hmm. Double that. A baby. Ugh. Okay, Dominique. Kristen. <laughs> I just love you. You just shine. Even when you're down, even when you're Lesbian mad about marriage? something, it's always done with spirit. There's this like energy about you that I just love. I know that you will have a dream wedding, Cheyenne. When I first I saw you come you. to the house, I'm like, what the hell is she doing here? I'm like, that girl is beautiful. I would be very upset if I went home because I fought so hard to be here and I don't act like it sometimes when I'm in the house, but when it comes to competition, that's when I really fight for it. So the one time I'm in the bottom, if I go home, it's gonna suck. The part that really gets me the most is that not only do you want to have this dream wedding for you, but more so you want it for Scott. That is just incredible. The person I chose tonight, I chose because I, you know, I just believe that Janessa's like, please! I'm sure they're even getting this out. Who's it gonna be? Oh, the music says. Oh! Oh! Spook the woman! I really didn't want to backstab one of my friends, but I kind of did. And now I'm going home. Oh. Now you all think, have to deal with Janessa. Oh my god, I'm safe. And then it's like, oh gosh, that means Kristen's going home. Kristen, unfortunately, the brides have spoken, and you do not have enough guests at your table. Your time here, bridal no plasty, and your quest to become the perfect bride well, is over. Your wedding your will still go on. It just may not be perfect. Ah, may not be perfect. Much better. I'm really sad to go. I didn't think it would really be my you time. You have Janessa. Oh no, don't do all that. I want to be that top bride so bad that it kills me to think that it's gone. I feel like I could have done so much better had oh, I just Kristen. had that one more chance to do it by myself. But I faltered along the way, and I can mm. only blame myself. Mm. I know, but you're ladies, saved. It was very difficult to see from all this. Go. But again, congratulations because now you all left. are one step closer to not only having your dream wedding, but also becoming the perfect bride. You're now left. It feels with the really boss. great to make it to the final four, and I know I really have to keep at the top of my game moving forward. Ooh. You really never know how things are going to turn out. No, very true. Next well, time, goodness me! Oh, I'm going to push my laptop away from me there and take up my ohanger. Wow, that was quite the juicy little moment we saw there, didn't we? So, what I predicted about their kind of relationships, about like, A, a little bit of lying, a little bit of dominance from Janessa, the dynamic between the, the fiancés, I kind of could see it from the way that they were portrayed on TV. I'm not at all surprised by the amount of lies that went on throughout this, like section with the lie detector man like five lies between Cheyenne and her husband I feel like or fiance rather I keep calling them husbands they're not they're fiancés but I feel like that's I could see where the cracks were as a person on the outside who's only known them for however many weeks we've watched bridal plastic I feel like a lot of the women on this show have kind of like they need to like find themselves a little bit more or create create themselves a little bit more I feel like a lot of them are just trying to like rush through get married have kids you know like meet the the marks of life it is not a race to get through this world my loves it is a marathon and those who have the endurance stat will win well my loves let me know what you think about what we've seen today in the comments box below because that was juicy i cannot believe this is like 45 minutes this goes so fast when i'm filming these when i first started this series i was like oh this is going on a bit but now i'm like <gasps> what's gonna happen girls i'm very excited for episode nine who else is excited for episode nine i have no idea how they're gonna do it like how are they going to do is it that there's obviously not a pageant obviously i have no idea what the next like challenge is going to be i guess it's like allison has a place in the final i guess next week we find out who takes the other place assuming there's only two people in the final mm. i think you might need some caffeine for this one it's time for episode nine also i was going to wear one of these in a video but how ridiculous does that look <laughs> 
Oh my goodness, am I dressed for a ball? Well, potentially. <laughs> so my lovelies, before we get into the juicy video today, I want to say a massive thank you to all the well wishes and all the glorious messages I received from everyone, all the comments and everything from when I took my little week away from YouTube. I did actually upload an outtakes video if you want to go ahead and check that out. So my lovelies, it's been a little while since we've done one of these. Honestly, if you take a week off of YouTube, it's like, it feels like decades ago that I've last filmed a video, but that's not true, it's not. Today we are going to be watching episode 9 of Bridalplasty Girls. Now, I do believe that there is only 10 episodes in this entire series, so we are right at the very end now, my lovelies, and I have no idea what to expect. I was about to say, are we going to make it to the pageant? But there's not, there shouldn't be a pa bridal pageant. The Swan Plastic Girls! I do hope it's not going to be a pageant. I don't think I have it in me for another one. So, my lovelies, without anything further to say, should we just get stuck right into it? Oh, but before that, I am going to let you know my lipstick because everyone always asks me about my lipstick in my videos. Also, this sequin gown is by a designer in London called John Zack. And I actually wore it on my birthday this year when I went mini golfing. Can you imagine? Just me like. There we go. <laughs> my lipstick is the shade Carnivorous by MAC Cosmetics, and it is their Retro Matte Liquid Lipstick Formula. So we're going to pop in the Ohrhänge. <gasps> Sexual intercourse? No! <laughs> I'm on an absolute loopy one today, my loves. I have my Pepsi Max at the ready, and let's watch Bridalplasty! Stab! Oh. You are our winning team. Yes! And Allison, you are our top bride, and you will be in the finale. Oh, now look at Now it's Janessa. like a 50-50 shot. I am one of two people that are going to walk away. With, With the, the wedding! The wedding girl! I wonder who's going to win the other spot. I do sort of- Oh, hell recovery room, girls! I do kind of hope that Alison wins. I think that's where um where I'm at right now. I don't know who else- go I wouldn't mind if Dominique won either, although she was part of the alliance. Maybe Janessa should snatch the bridal crown. You really never know how things are going to turn out. Oh, you don't. Janessa, the serpent. <gasps> Out. Oh my god, I'm getting married. Uh. <laughs> Guitars. The Rigel Plastic Girls. Stab. Very good. <gasps> the moon. A werewolf is getting married. Oh. We're at the city. There's some hip hop. Oh, Shade of Mofla Girls. Kristen went home tonight. She's been. Oh, Kristen went such home. A good I forgot. This whole time and my buddy's gone. It's just yeah. it's sad. Thank you guys. Yeah. Oh. Look at Janessa's little home. hair. We didn't save Cheyenne because we like her. We saved Cheyenne because she is a weaker competitor than Kristen. Oh! You. Did you hear that though? They kind of sounded like they spliced that sentence together. It sounded like she was going to say something else, but then they were like, now can you say, because she's a weaker competitor, please? Yeah, yeah, go on, yeah! And then she was like, we didn't keep Cheyenne because we liked her. We kept Cheyenne because she's a weaker competitor. Ooh, come on, Janessa, unhinge that jaw. I'll stop. I'll stop thanking you in like an hour, but <laughs> seriously, it's like bittersweet, obviously. So the strategy going into the next challenge is to just make sure that Dominique and I are safe and that we eliminate Cheyenne in the next elimination. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Fun. Boom! Sunrise, I've got gout. It's time for bacon. On the beach. Oh my god, recovery girls. I'm glad you don't have to compete today. Yeah, who wouldn't no, be? No, oh, come she's on. recovering from tea. We've gotten something and we didn't have to compete. It was like a relief. Ooh. I am ecstatic that I am safe. I am so extremely relieved <gasps> that Taste. I do not have to compete in this next challenge and I already have a secured spot in the finale. There's Best nothing place, better really. than that other than winning. Mm -hmm. I think you were like the closest one out of the three of us to Kristen Allison. Do you miss her? Yeah, she was like my little sister. From the day that I walked in this There's house, no like, oh, it's a skinny mini me. <laughs> she was fun. She was a lot of fun in the house. She had no shame. That's why I liked Genesis her. Faith. How do you feel, Janessa? <gasps> yeah. Sad. It's pretty crucial for Allison to think that Dominique and I care about her opinion. Sad. <laughs> like what? <laughs> Janessa could not be happier about Kristen finally going after all these weeks of trying to get rid of her. Now she's gone, girl. So, Allison. Uh huh. 
Who do you want to win today? Are you gay now? <laughs> oh. Well, whoever wins is going to be with you the finale, and it has to be oh, yes. you know, someone, someone you like. that you want to really be happy for, like someone from the Midwest. <laughs> like <laughs> someone maybe that has a nice house in Miami that you can visit at any time. <laughs> I just think it's important to stay in front of Alison and remind no her why lovely, she yeah. should vote for you. Cheyenne is totally Listen. clueless about this whole competition. Yeah. When you and John go out, Kim and I would be more than happy to watch your sons. Just. No. Oh, well, I was so now comes out all the bribery to be like, oh, please, chins me, I want the teeth. To be honest, if I was in this situation, I would not leave any of those other women alone. I would be like, right, I need to be nearby so I can hear what you're saying. And if you're plotting against me, girls, you wouldn't catch me outside just being like, oh, Time to get some sunshine whilst everyone's in recovery being like, Should we get rid of her? Oh, yes. Do you know what I mean? I think it's just basic strategy for winning a competition. No? I love the fact, love the fact that when I started this, this journey, I was like, everything's wrong. This whole thing is wrong. And now I'm like, this is how I would win the competition, girls. Like, just gets its hooks in. I've said it before. I'll say it again, girls. Gets its hooks right in there, right in your optic nerve. At one point in time, I thought that me and Janessa were close. But ever since the RSVP ceremony where she threw me on blast in front of everybody, I really can't consider yes. her close to me anymore. Remember. I'd be happy to compete with you, Allison. Okay. Not in the finale. In the finale. But I genuinely do not like Janessa. I genuinely do not like master manipulators, and I do not like fake people. <gasps> so none of you go. I wonder who's going to be there. Oh, don't do coming up. Oh, thank God for that. Tootsie cleaning. Oh dear. Oh, cleaning your new teeth. Make the bed go down. How are you? Oh, how are you? Jeans and a hoodie. Oh, oh look who it is. You look great. Your teeth look amazing. Thank you you. <laughs> are so cute. You need a brow lift. Here, let me have a look at you. I got my nose done. I have my teeth done. You know, I'm pretty close to becoming the perfect bride. Um, at least from here up, I know it would be great in pictures. <laughs> it looks really good. And we're going to have you keep just a little okay. bit longer, a little more tape on, okay? Okay. Wait for the swelling to come down, and we'll have this tape off you very, very quickly. And... As nice as it looks now, in a couple of three months, it'll even look 30, 40% better, okay? Oh, but uh, you're healing okay. beautifully. And I knew you would. <laughs> having my nose done, having ha my... Are you a mountainous, one-eyed prophecy woman? The prophecy of your nose! The prophecy is true. I'm very interested as to how he came across there because it kind of sounded like he might have been a little, almost like a little bit worried, a little bit worried about her healing, but then was like, and I knew you would. I suppose that kind of language is quite reassuring ex uh, to the patient, which is exactly what you want, really. As a patient, if you go in for any cosmetic surgery, you want to be, you want to feel reassured that, you know, what's happening to you is A, normal, and B, on track with the, you know, healing to be correct at the end of it. I feel like I haven't seen Dr. Dubrow in ages. I'm like, oh, who is this man? The cake. The real reason why I want to be here and I want to win is the dream wedding. And oh, now you have the perfect to say that. is really just the cherry on the Sunday. <laughs> I don't know if I really expressed to you how much you really changed my life because you did. And I'm so appreciative. Oh my gosh, you're so sweet. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank you, real sweetheart. Da, 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 da. Lips. Lady, oh, shayna has got to bump it. Oh, shoulder pad. Lady. <gasps> Who is this mysterious Hi woman? Hi. Hello. Hello again. She had four pixels. I had no idea who this was. Hello again. Who are you? Jessica Gillen. And I'm like, oh my gosh, Jessica we already met Gillen. Jessica and she's a celebrity wedding planner. So I can't oh. wait to hear what piece of advice she's going to give us next. Over Stop the course being of the a last snake. few weeks, we've worked with different experts in different fields to help you plan. She looks really nice today. I like this, like, I kind of did the same thing. This kind of like inward swoop with the hair. Very like blow out, blow dry, blow up. The perfect wedding. And Jessica is here to help you bring it all together. Jessica has offered her services for the remaining bride so she will work hand in hand with the winning bride to help you make your day perfect. Oh. I've already gone through planning two weddings so having Jessica around to help plan the third and make it as big as it, it can be just Jessica. Would be great. <laughs> Jessica, well, Jessica lady. What does the average wedding kind of cost in America today? Well, I would say million typically dollars. about $25,000. Often, though, brides and grooms find themselves about 20% over budget simply because they just don't think about the little things. How much have you budgeted for your wedding, and how flexible is your budget? Janessa? 
Sorry, $25,000 for a wedding. What's the deposit for a house in America? Is it like around $25,000? Would you rather in this day and age have one day in which you're like, ta -da! <laughs> Or would you rather have a house? Just thinking, you know, just thinking. The weird reality about weddings nowadays is that I know there are lots of people watching this video who will want like a, a really magical special day, but <laughs> I just bashed my funny bone. The thing that makes the day special is not you know, the canapes on the table. It's not like the weird little diamond encrusted things around napkins. It's not those things. It is the people that you have there, the company that you spend with, and most importantly, you and your significant other devoting each other for this contract, so to speak. At the end of the day, spending a lot of money on a single day does not automatically equate to the perfect wedding or the perfect bride or however this show wants to frame it. Actually what matters on the day is love, the love of you, the love of your friends and family, the love of your wider community perhaps, huh? So I want you to remember that. Of course you are perfectly entitled to be like, okay I'm not budging on this single thing, I want pink roses, go! Like you can have all that, of course you can, but like just be sensible. $25,000 doesn't sound sensible to me. So just for context, $25,000 is £18,158. Just thought you might like to know that. Let's go to you. Um, I'm from Indiana, but my fiance's from New Jersey, so I know we can basically get twice the wedding in Indiana. So yes. if we wouldn't win, we'd probably default to having it in Indiana just because we'd probably pay half the cost. Very smart. It's no secret. It's going on three years we've been engaged now, and we've had two canceled weddings. Oh. The budget had started out at like 25000 then it went down to like twenty, and right now it's practically non-existent. <laughs> Everything's oh. just a big mess. Allison's just annoying the out of me this entire time. <laughs> I mean, we've lost the deposits for our reception hall, so basically we're going to be starting all over. So I'm really not even concentrating on what Allison's saying. All I can think about is the next challenge. I just want to get this over with. Wow, all right then. Gosh. If your budget really is that small, I think that actually sometimes an office building. I would never get married in an office building. There's no way. Never. Let's go down now. Okay, she didn't exactly make that sound like enticing, did she? She was like, have you ever thought about an office building? Why would you say that like that? There are, I'm sure there are so many other venues in the entire world that aren't just church, office building. Even if you found like at the absolute most picturesque, beautiful cottage somewhere or like little house somewhere in like rural countryside and you just thought, how picturesque does this look? Of course you could do that. Like office building. She could have said any other, she could have said events venue that happens to also be inside an office building. Do you know, like, she's not, she's making it out like it's like, oh, you're poor, you get the offices, nobody wants the offices. Uh, really weird. Quite shame, this show is quite shamey. It's really like, no, if you don't have all that, bad. Like when it goes all the way back to the food tasting challenge in like episode two or three or whichever one it was and they were like, oh this is Kobe beef made into a beef burger. And it's like, well actually it didn't because it wasn't imported into America at that point, but there we are, never mind. The point that I'm making is, why would they try and be like, oh if you can't taste the expensive option, you're a pov and nobody likes povs. Hateful. Now to Dominique, really the only way we'd be able to pay for a wedding is if we took a loan out and that just depends on how much we get so i would you say could probably never a take a loan out for a wedding do you think your parents will help kick in not with my parents unfortunately um it's just not possible for them my parents spend all of their money for my sister's wedding do they help mm. with your sister they as well? for her whole wedding and unfortunately they didn't really plan on me getting married <laughs> anytime soon that's gotta suck Poor that Dominique, is really her parents awful. spending all their money on her sister's wedding and then there's really nothing left for her. You could always- Favoritism is a disease within families and it can destroy people's lives. So just make sure you're not doing that, my love. Just make sure. Consider a very small destination wedding because it works as a destination wedding slash honeymoon. And yeah. that way it, it really dwindles your numbers down. So, you know, make a really great honeymoon out of it. Yeah, that, that's a great, great advice. That's really right, good China, advice. You are up. I actually put a deposit down. You did? On, on a reception. They include the centerpieces, um, the cake. Cheyenne already has a venue and she put a deposit down. I would love to have a venue. I would love to have a date, but I don't. It's kind of like, I don't know what this is for. you know, what are you doing here? Yeah, well, Jessica, thank bit. you so much. Thank I know you. one of us will be seeing you very shortly. Oh, I'm so excited. I can't wait. I can't oh, wait. Thank, thank you so thank much. You. It was such a pleasure. Jessica, goodbye. Nice seeing you. Into <laughs> the dungeon with you. So oh, I do have boss one music? more surprise for you. <gasps> oh my God. <laughs> Knives. Okay. 
Is it a head? Oh my oh. god. Piss. Is it a severed head? Rhinoplasty, stop. I do have Zoom. one more surprise for you. Yes, come on then. As you know, the winner yes. Bridal Plasty receives everything in her bridal closet. And this ominous case of the T-virus. <gasps> to add to oh. that, each of you are going to take a stack of this money and you're going to add it to your bridal closet. This stack of money is going to represent your bridal closet. Has this become a drug trafficking show? Like, oh, if you take this money, girls. Oh. And also, Jessica, as your wedding planner. Sound good? <laughs> <laughs> That's a hell of a lot of money right there. Gimme, gimme, gimme. I'm gonna put this right here. I'm actually a little scared that Allison may just take the money and run. Over the course of our time together, you've been given some How valuable awful. information from a collection mm. of wedding experts. And so the time has come useless. to put you to the test. I'm a little nervous about this challenge because I have a horrible memory and a really bad attention span. You know, I don't know how specific it's going to be, but hopefully I'll remember a majority of the big things. Except for you, Allison, because you are still on medical leave and you are already in the finale. And again, congratulations. Well done, Dominique, Allison. Janessa, Cheyenne. This challenge is a little different. Ooh. Today, only be one bottom bride. That bottom bride only will one. not face an RSVP ceremony. Nope, that one bottom bride will be going home immediately. <coughs> oh! I get chills. Oh my god. <laughs> what the hell? Someone's gonna be leaving immediately. How am I gonna control anything at this point? So I'm trying to figure Ooh. out what exactly I need to do because I yes. just can't be going home tonight. Oh, I wonder what's so gonna happen, go! Other questions that a perfect bride should know. Each of you will select a question randomly, and you will assign the question to one of your fellow brides to answer. The first Ooh. bride to incorrectly answer three questions will be asked to leave the house immediately. Oh my god! I'm actually thinking, oh, this could work to my advantage. So I think I'll be fine. Good luck. I will meet you up at the bridal tent in one hour for your final bridal plasty challenge. Wow. I can only say that I hope you guys use your time wisely. Ooh, very Jeffrey Boyer Chapman. Exit stage left. As soon as I hear about this challenge, I know I need to speak to Dominique so that we can formulate Dominique. a strategy. Dominique! Technically, if I wanted to get you out of the game, I could just ask you every single question, hoping that you'll get a wrong. So can we make it fair for yeah, each other's just, sake? Thank you, Mike. No, I think we're just going to take turns. Yeah. You are... It's, you, it's not going to oh, be fair. I thought they said you have to select one bride to ask that question to. Yep. Well, where am I going to fit this? I'll put it back here. I'm actually a little excited because I am pretty good at trivia, so I'm probably going to do better at this challenge than Cheyenne because she isn't the sharpest tool in the shed. Oh. Are we allowed to brainstorm together, or do you guys not want to do that? I'm thinking that we'll probably need to know the tips that each person left us. I agree. Like Kevin said, for the flowers. Uh-huh. Um, what did he say? He said, a, what was it, appearance? Don't give the answer. Um, durability. Are we really serious right now? We're going to study with our competition? I am on board no. <laughs> with Janessa here. Why are you studying? <laughs> She's like, okay, well, I already know all this stuff, so. I'm so sad. I'll be honest, like, if we do get to pick, I'm going to go Janessa, Dominique, Janessa, Dominique, Janessa, Dominique, just because I want to be. Dominique, Dominique. That would be so cool. So the plan is to keep it fair that. Why is Cheyenne giving away her entire game, her entire answers, and her entire strategy for winning this challenge? That is like, surely that is like basic knowledge that you would kind of think to be like i'm not going to give away everything that i'm doing in order to get an edge on the competition do you know what i mean like i'm all here for fair competition but that's just silly because you're going to you're fully handing away your opportunity you're like giving someone the opportunity to get a one up on you and you don't do that in a competition <laughs> but also this show is ridiculous and don't ever partake in something as heinously hateful as this good luck and may the best bride win i remember with the sex it was like about communication <laughs> Excuse me. I obviously didn't right? remember that because I was drugged up. I'm so disgusted that, that we're studying together. My strategy at this point is to try and get out of this room and to get alone with Dominique. Trust was the other one. Ooh. I really have to get this retaped. I should go do it now. Sarah. Can you go with me? Yeah. I don't want to go with myself. Because you guys are all like talking. Hey, what's wrong? I have to get it retaped because it keeps coming off. She said she has to do it. You like can this. just copy my notes. Are you sure? Yeah. So I'm trying to say I need to change the tape on my nose, which I do. But I wouldn't necessarily have done it this moment if I didn't need to discuss something with Dominique. If you know the answer, you gotta go like this, and then I'll direct it to you. And if you don't know the answer, just go like this. It'll be like, like you. Cheating! Cheating! Cheat! 
It's like you're choking yourself, like you're having a up. And this is like, you're just like, oh, yeah, what else? It's like, oh, what else? Oh, yes. <laughs> Can I have a cocktail? <laughs> I'm really glad I got the opportunity to discuss strategy with Dominique. It was crucial because someone's leaving immediately and it needs to be Cheyenne. <laughs> She's going, isn't she? Janessa always gets her way. If we've noticed anything, Janessa is production's favorite. So have we come up with any? Um, I'm trying to just remember if we have any go plot against me to... Yes. You know? Yes. Great. Like Cheyenne's going down. You guys are plotting against me. That would be horrible though. Did you really? That's the competition, yes, sis. Really? <laughs> <laughs> are you like there? Wakey, wakey. I am. I'm a little suspicious, but I'm like, Janessa and Dominique are my friends, so I know they would never do that to me. <gasps> oh my God, are we already here? Walking into Wait, the what? Tent that Dominique and I are going to be able to pull this off. But the stakes are so much higher in this challenge because What's whoever this? loses is leaving immediately. So eat the dinner plate, girls. Whoever can eat this entire bunion of profiteroles wins bridal plastic, girl. I really hope that we both stick to the plan. Oh, that's a different. That's Time a different. She looks different. There's three different. chairs with three roses at each setting oh, and scissors in the middle of each plate. And I'm like, what's going on here? Are we going to like stab each other? Welcome to your yeah. final bridal plastic challenge. We have to like snip Along off the roses. Way, you have met some of the most sought after wedding experts in their respective fields. And they have all given you great advice to help you create Lies. the perfect wedding. Manufactured Tonight, nonsense. You will be tested on how well you remember that valuable information. Going into this challenge, Janice and I have a plan, and I just hope it works. Ooh. I could win my dream wedding and, and have everything, but it's really at the cost of someone else's dream too. Well, of course, In but that's the nature of the competition. In front of you ladies is a platter full of scrolls. One at a time, you will each take a scroll and read the question out loud. Once you're- In the time before bridal plasty, there was no brow lips, says the scroll. The prophecy. <laughs> read the question, you must assign it to one of your fellow brides to answer. If she gets it wrong, the bride who assigned the question will clip one of the roses in the vase in front of her. Oh, I love it so over the top. The first bride to lose all three of her roses will become our Dies. bride. That bottom bride will be sent home immediately. Oh, it's very beauty in the you beast, isn't it? You also may have it? noticed that there will be no top bride in this challenge. <gasps> it's time to find no out tops. who knows the least about being a perfect bride. Just bottom. <laughs> Janessa, please choose a scroll. Oh. What made you pick that one? I'm really glad that I have the opportunity this is to go insane. first. I don't want to be the first person to lose a rose. The scroll. Something new represents hopes of good fortune and a prosperous future. What does the something blue represent? Janessa, what bride would you like to assign this question eggs. to? Eggs. Duck eggs. <gasps> uh, Cheyenne? Dominique gives me the throat signal, which means she does not cheat, know the answer cheat, to this cheat, question. Cheat! 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 Cheyenne? Come on, Cheyenne. Something blue. Uh, sky's the limit? <laughs> I don't know. I have no idea. Cheyenne, I'm sorry, but that is <gasps> incorrect. Something She's blue going, girls. represents fidelity. Fidelity. Right, well, I got one wrong. Fidelity? It represents fidelity? Oh, I'm gonna have to look that up quick. I didn't actually know this, but the real saying is something old, something new, something borrowed, something blue, and a silver sixpence in her shoe. And the something blue stands for purity, love, and fidelity. That makes a little bit more sense than just it meaning fidelity full stop. Like, purity and love? Like, a blue, soft, calming colour, potentially? Mm. Everyone's gonna get one wrong, so no big deal. One wrong. It's okay. Oh, she loves it. Look. The oh, sky yes. Is the limit. Oh, get oh my in god, there. this is gonna Alan Titchmarsh could never go. Mm. Okay, Dominique, please pick a scroll. <gasps> Mysterious forces in the room. Show me where Which your little broom monarch is believed to have started the tradition of wearing a white wedding dress. Oh, Queen Victoria. Dominique, which bride would you like to assign this question to? Um, Wait, was it Victoria? What the hell is going on here? This is not what we talked about. Listen, it I thought was we were Victoria. rotate the questions. No? If I don't start getting these questions right, I'm gonna go home. Oh, it could have been Elizabeth I, couldn't it? But I'm pretty sure it's Queen Victoria. I don't know. Would you like to take a guess? Queen Elizabeth? I, I don't know. I'm sorry. 
That is incorrect. It was Queen Victoria. Oh, I Can knew it, girls. Please clip one of Cheyenne's roses. <gasps> I feel She's really guilty gonna die. clipping Cheyenne's second rose. But Ooh. unfortunately, this is a game, and someone's got to go. And her fanny just falls Two off. Two roses down and one to go. And oh, I am goodness. having a little fun with this. Of course you are. You're like, <laughs> Cheyenne, you are down <laughs> to one eat rose. the roses. It's now your turn to select a scroll. Right. Come on, Cheyenne. What is the name of the sewing technique in which fabric or ribbon is gathered in a repeating pattern to form ruffles, scallops, or petals to hide a belly? Rouging. Vanessa? Rouging? 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 Yes! Janessa, that is correct. Rouging yes, is the answer. Yes, go! I should get married! I should know the answer to this question, especially because I think... I'm gonna win bridal plastic girls and get married to myself. Shane gave me a look like she didn't think I was gonna know. Janessa, well, it is you're your doing turn it anyway. Please so... pick a scroll. Oh. According to Philip Block, a mermaid silhouette is best for hiding what? Janessa, what bride would you like to assign the question your to? Your cankle plastic. Alison's seen it. Are they doing hand signals? Alison, what she's got eyes of an eagle this girl. Mean? It means, oh, better. Mummy's got breasts. Cheyenne. Oh. I can't believe they're doing this to me. I'm obviously being attacked right now. Cheyenne, if you get this question incorrect, you will be eliminated. Your hips. You are correct. Oh! The mermaid silhouette does hide curves and hips. It's not over for me yet. I still have a fighting chance in this. Dominique, it is now your turn again to pick a scroll. Oh. She's going to ask Cheyenne, right? How did right? Dr. Sadie recommend slowing things down on your honeymoon? Who was Dr. Sadie? Was she the, the sexy lady who was like, mm? Didn't she say something about foreplay? Something about foreplay? Or being like, no, just leave me alone. I want to go for a nice evening walk on the beach. See you later. Dominique, which bride would you like to assign that question to? Me. It's so <gasps> obvious what's going on, and I know Cheyenne can tell. It's yeah. Funny. Cheyenne. This is it. This could be Cheyenne's final rose. I get it, for sure. I understand what's going on. No doubt in my mind, I know. They have like a little code for when they don't know the answer, and they ask me every time. Well. I think that's really Yeah. Yeah, it is. It is. Oh, piss. Which bride would you like to assign that question to? We know it's Cheyenne, girls. Dominique and Janessa, they have like a little code for when they don't know the answer and they're gonna ask me mm -hmm. every time. <clears throat> I would never do this to them, ever, ever. Well, that's because you don't know how to compete. Cheyenne. This is it. This could be Cheyenne's final rose. All right, all right, is Four it? Foreplay. Cheyenne, we will accept that answer. Yes! Dr. Sadie's recommendation was sensual kissing and teasing. Oh, well. Cheyenne is now your turn to pick a... You're a slut. <laughs> oh, what ancient this... Indian Hindu text gives tips to a happy marriage? The Dominique. Kama Sutra. Uh, Kama Sutra? Dominique, that is correct. Easiest one so far. Janessa, it's your turn to ask another question. What is your mother-in-law's middle name? What? Janessa, who would you like to assign that to? Oh. Can? She knew it. <gasps> what is your mother-in-law's middle name? Funny, because me and Scott actually went over this before I came here in case we were asked that question. Mm -hmm. I know that the answer is her mother's maiden name, but I can't remember what her mother's maiden name is. No! I wanted you to disrupt her plan. Man, if you get this question incorrect, you will be eliminated. Shaped like a cornetto. What is this music? Say on. Oh, my heart is just in my throat Demons. right now. I hope that she gets this one ah, right. Like Otherwise, she's gonna be going home. Oh, what's this? What's this all about? Uh, they look coming up. What we is just your had this. this. Haunted what is your mother-in-law's middle name? Gabby. Oh. Briswaliers. Janessa, who would you like to assign that to? God, they're really okay. dragging this out. So at this point, I only have one rose left, and Janessa. Your rose and I is gonna die. Purposely 
asking me all the questions so that I go home. Yes. Ruth? Ruth. Beta Ginsburg. Cheyenne, I'm sorry, but your mother-in-law's middle name is Lee. Oh! Janessa, please clip Cheyenne's final rose. Oh, she's loving it, look. Now eat it! Oh. Gong. I oh. am very disappointed in Dominique and Janessa. I think it's going to take a long time for me to get over this. That's Cheyenne, sad. That's I'm really sorry, sad. but your request to become the perfect bride is over. Your wedding will still go on. It just may not be perfect. May not. I'm going to have to ask you to leave now. Oh, get out! Get out of the Citadel! Oh. That's really hateful. I'm pissed. My three friends in the house, one after the other, have gone home. Lisa Marie, Kristen, now Cheyenne. I oh. really cannot believe that Janessa and Dominique did this to her. I hope they feel a little bit like rubbish for that. I guess I was naive, but I'd rather be naive than sneaky. Yeah, I'm very but that's surprised fair. that they would do that to me. I just thought that they were my friends. There are no friends in reality TV. Oh, the light goes out. <gasps> Spotlight. Dominique, Janessa, you two are still competing to become the perfect bride. America's but next not top. for long. Tonight, there will be an RSVP ceremony, and you oh. two will be at the tables. <gasps> are you kidding me? I really can't believe this is happening. There's going to be an RSVP ceremony after all, and you two are at the doubles. That means, that means that Alison gets to pick who's going home. No? Oh! <gasps> Allison, the only bride completely safe, will have to decide. I knew it. Janessa, you're going. She alone will have to RSVP for the bride that she would like to continue on with her. Janessa's Allison, going home. Allison, all people in this house, <laughs> has my fate in her hands. Yes. Allison is so wishy-washy. You really never know how Allison's going to vote. Allison, oh, Janessa, you now have sure. a very important decision to make. <laughs> you think? Talk to the brides and decide which one you feel deserves to be next to you in the finale. Ooh. Thank you, ladies. I get to send home either Janessa or Dominique. These two girls have stepped on quite a few people to get to where they are. They and have. I just don't agree with that. And it's your turn to go mm. smack hey, girls then. reality. Ooh. <gasps> Rizvapur, royal serviceman. Very peasant. So today I have to make <laughs> my final decision on Ooh. which girl between Dominique and Janessa will be going to the finale with me. Dominique is a friend of mine. She's here for the right reasons. And unfortunately, I think that Dominique is stiff competition and that scares me. Janessa has worked hard to be here. Unfortunately, she's had to step on people along the way to get here. I have no Ooh. idea what I'm gonna do. My I've, mind is just spinning at this moment. You've got to pick Dominique. In this situation, anybody at home would pick Dominique, right? Because you just wouldn't... It doesn't matter that, like, Dominique's stiff competition or whatever. You wouldn't want to give Janessa the opportunity to snatch it out of your hands, would you? Because you know for a fact that she would try, right? We don't know who she's gonna vote for. It's just the way she is. <gasps> oh, Janessa. So I hope you win. <laughs> no, I really... I'm really emotional right now because I'm realizing that Allison is probably not going to pick me. Yeah. So it's really frustrating to know that I put so much work in and that Allison's going to decide my fate. I know that we can't really see because it's so pixelated, but both of these women have like tape across their noses because they've just had like rhinoplasty girls and they're all very like, oh, I'm really sad. I'm not going to win this wedding whilst covered in like new plastic surgery. And I just sort of, in the weirdest twisted way in my mind, I love the idea of like two women who just had like tons of surgery just being like, who's gonna win the wedding girl? That really tickles my like extreme alternative nonsense brain. I love it. Absolutely love it. <laughs> <laughs> I know. See? Hey, do you care if I talk to Allison? <gasps> no, go Are go ahead sure? and then I'm gonna talk to her, so. Yeah, we'll just tell her that we each want to talk to her. Hello, God. What is this piano? <laughs> da, 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 da. God. <laughs> 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 
Uh, be the best <laughs> line that I've heard since I started this competition. So the only thing left to do at this point is secure my boat with Allison and then beat her in the finale. Well, well exactly. Um, we, you wouldn't give her the opportunity, would you? To you? For a few minutes, so um, I'll let Dominique go first, so she can like talk to you for a few minutes, and then I'll come in. Does that sound good? Well, I will uh, okay. see you guys in a few minutes. So. <laughs> So it's crucial for me to talk to Allison last, so I'm the last voice she hears before she goes into the RSVP ceremony. Oh. I can't even imagine like how you're feeling and how difficult, <laughs> yeah. how difficult of decision this is, you know. You know, the reason no why <laughs> I wanted to sit down with you is because, you know, I just really feel like with you and I, like this is our chance. This is how we can have a wedding. I really mm. just feel like I need to let her know I really do deserve to be here. And this is my only chance to have a wedding. My parents, spent all of what they had and this spent very, their money. This music is very Final Fantasy VIII, but you were down in this, it was like, do, 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 do. Inspect what's going on, sis. Do, 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 do. On my sister's dream wedding. So I'm just hoping that she can see that. I love Janessa, I do. And she's one of my closest friends. But Janessa gets to get home and have a $15,000 wedding. Hmm. Oh, I have heard from the past Hemst. about Janessa having being able to afford a wedding. That's where I think we mm. bond and like, we didn't even know it, you know? Mm. The only way I can ever have a wedding, not even just like a, a dream wedding, like, but like a wedding, is being No, here. you're being if you very manipulative. Home, we have nothing, and mm. I know that. That's very true. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm not here to like, throw a pity party for myself, Wait, but <laughs> they don't, I mean, I have like, I have student loans and out, and you know, Kevin has his credit card bills, and you know. She's telling my story. And I know personally coming from a situation like that, it's hard, it's difficult. I like don't have any support from my parents. I just, it's, <laughs> I just, sobbing. This just means so much to me. I'll pick Dominique. It's, I don't want to make, make it a you fair feel competition. <laughs> Ooh, I'm gonna get emotional. Mm -hmm. This is so hard. Are they like magnifying her voice? I can hear Dominique and Allison crying in there together, and I can't give her any more time with her. I have to get in there now. Mm hmm. And, you know, Sorry, Dominique, get out! I just hope you just have it in your heart. Just let me have that opportunity. Yeah. Beep, beep. Come in. Pizza go. Aya, I've come to eat your eggs. I just want to make sure we don't run out of time. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, I'll, okay. No, I'll let you. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you for listening, Allison. No problem, honey. Right. Good luck. Run <laughs> Thank out you. Of time. Okay, God. So, time, maybe. Okay, God. Um, well, first of all, I just I know this is a really hard decision for you. Yeah. So a big decision, God. No, it is. <laughs> um, but like, what I mean, what is important to you, and like wanting someone up there with you? Like, what do you feel like is important to you, and how are you gonna? Not a serpent doesn't want to lay her eggs in me. Isn't actually part wasp. That would be my list. Make your decision. I'm honest. I'm. I am torn right now. I'm mm -hmm. not gonna lie about that. This is very difficult for me. I kind of wish I went second, to be honest. Allison's really unpredictable. I know Janessa is very articulate and she's very yes. convincing. And this is yeah. my only chance to have a wedding. So that does make me nervous. Oh, I if hope I it's Dominique. Tonight, like, I would, I would absolutely just be devastated. This is unhinged. This show is unhinged. Absolutely deranged, girls. It's just my only chance. <laughs> oh, oh girls, it's a down. scandal, girls. I am torn right now. I know I have to convince Allison to keep me in the house over Dominique. Yes. This is very difficult for me. Yes. Do you feel like there's anything like between us that we should clear up? Janessa is truly my nemesis in this competition. Exactly, so don't pick her! to the top by stepping down people. It's a competition, Christy, to just talk about it. Oh yes, I remember this, yeah. yeah. Alexandra. Oh yeah. You may not have been the biggest loser, you may not have won that competition, but tonight, you are the biggest loser. Oh, gag. Oh, Christy, look at Allison. Allison said that you had said, you didn't know how this cockroach had managed to make it to this last round again. You are going home, Janessa. The thing that probably bothers although, me. Although, although, I don't actually know. Maybe production will keep her in because she makes good TV. You don't get rid of the villain, do you? Although we do love a story arc where, like, the underdog wins. So, like, oh, it could go anyway, couldn't it, girls? What's with you is the fact that you had to tell Lisa Marie. Janessa yes. is the one who threw me under the bus. Beep, beep. 
just so bait, bait. she could claw I've got gout. I haven't forgotten about it. I, I have to admit, I was no. extremely upset about that. Yes, I was cool. not happy. The 2011 SAG Awards. And it just so happens the person that she stepped on now holds the decision on whether or not she goes home or not. So get rid of her. Cut her off like a dead limb. I think I got upset that day because you know how it is like being trapped in recovery and then you're on all this pain medication. That hurt me, but the thing that probably bothers me the most with you is the fact that you had to tell Lisa Marie like right then and there and I just know it killed her. She had just found out she's going home and then she finds out that people referring her to her as a cockroach. My heart broke in that moment. Yeah, that it was kind of me. Insane. I'm sorry. That was, that was definitely like wrong on my part. Yeah. Yeah, but you know, that's I the point. I want like, more than I wanted anything in my entire life. Mm. I mean, I think it's kind of like with you. Music you know, change. I felt like you wanted it your whole life. And, you know, I saw that in, in the challenge that we did tears. together. And I was just like, I just want her to have that. I've wanted my nose done since I can remember. But, Lisa Marie, I really think that you should give this to Allison. Oh, she did do that, but that and was so strategic. And so I'm going to suggest that you give it to her. I guess so, I would ask you to take that into consideration. <gasps> I really have nothing to feel towards Janessa. Yes! It's almost like a blank stare. Yes, you did give up an opportunity for surgery for me, and then good things followed for you as well afterwards. So yep. You won the very next challenge. So, one by one, she's plucked all of my friends out of here, and here I have the chance to just send her home. Like yes, she sent go. everybody else home. Like, like a bird out of a nest! I have never had a problem with anybody in this house. Ooh. I have to tell you, I was not happy when that went down. <gasps> Lottie's at it again. Lottie's at it again. Lottie's at it again. Lottie's at it again. That I'm up here at the top and I didn't step on anybody to get here. <gasps> and I didn't talk crap about anybody. <clears throat> and I didn't backstab anybody. <clears throat> oh, take that, werewolf girl. Ooh. The Venus Delight girl. The Venus de Milo. I don't need him now. No, don't. Don't. Mm. You have to win. You have to win. Don't win. This is a bit weird. I'm 99.9% sure. But we know. I personally haven't had any issues with Allison in the house up till now. And I know that when Lisa Marie left, Allison and Janessa got into a fight. So I I'm kind of hoping that works out in my favor. Yes, well, Except exactly that. You and your little courtroom, I'm sure. Offended, The music. Ladies, please meet me in the foyer. Oh, a poodle has arrived. Hello. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, who puts a fascinator on the back of their head? Is this a thing? Do people do that? Just like, excuse me. I'm very fascinating, can't you see? Very weird styling choice. Very strange. I am so nervous. I just really hope that Allison takes what I said to her to heart. Allison mm. and I both have financial struggles and Take out the wouldn't gusset. be able to have a wedding unless we were here and we did win bridal plasty. <sighs> I'm just hoping that she can bridal see that. Plastic. Well, girls, there used to be 12 of you and now we are down <gasps> to the final three. 12. <sighs> Allison, Nine are gone, you girls. are our top ride, so it is time for you to place your RSVP in the RSVP box. <laughs> and I'm going to need the two Godly brides, pointless. Dominique and Janessa, to come with me. It's pretty unnerving to know that I've worked so hard in this competition and I have to rely on unpredictable Allison for my fate. <laughs> come on, Allison, do the right thing. <laughs> I, I quite, I this quite think she will. This is the most important RSVP ceremony for me to date because it like lies in my hands who I'm taking to the finale with me. Yes. I feel like they're dragging it out a little bit and I feel like we know that she's going to keep Dominique in because why would she have been like, oh, we had a fight with Janessa and then be like, ah, Janessa, I love you. Like, it's just not going to happen, is it? I've been filming for so long. I had a curl at the start of this video and it's gone. That's fun. On one hand, I just want to send Janessa home. Yes. But on the other hand, I want her to get just that close of getting that dream wedding. Ooh. and just rip it out right from under her. Mm -hmm. But me and Dominique cannot Ooh, afford a wedding. So dressing. Dominique does deserve to be standing next to me in the finals. I'm yeah, make praying it that I make the right decision. <gasps> Dominique! Oh! 
time to eat the cutlery. Tonight's elimination <laughs> is going to be very, very interesting because on one hand, I've got this sweet, innocent person who I believe needs it. And on the other hand, I have There's my There's a nemesis. snake. Yeah. Whoever I decide to choose, they just better be ready to grab a bull by the horns. <laughs> I must actually say this lovely like tealy turquoise colour on Alison looks so good. I really like it. I think it just works so well with her. Hello, Come Allison, on, Alison. And welcome to the bridal plasty RSVP ceremony. Mmm, the poodle is speaking. I hope you thought about this carefully because you will be choosing one of these two brides to compete with you in the finale. Alison's one is making a woman, the, the other is a snake. And I have no idea how she's gonna vote, and I'm really nervous about that. Oh, don't be scared, the time has come to reveal your RSVP. This is it. It's go time. Biff, biff. Okay, yes. Most difficult RSVP ceremony ever. <laughs> There's no secret of that. To be in the finale was like a gift in itself. And now I get to share that gift with someone else. I'll start with Dominique. I know that you share the same passions with wanting the wedding and needing the wedding as I do. I really feel for you. I really do. Yes. Janessa, you are so driven. You know what you want. You go after it. I do Gout. consider myself to also have those traits. You were probably the only person in this house that I developed a problem with. And that really, really bothered me. Oh, who's it going to be? I've always been the one that believed about, you know, climbing to the top and not having to step on anyone to get there and doing it the right way. It's really unbelievable that Allison is about to deny me my right to be in the finals. I worked so hard for this. Have a day off, what has Janessa. she done? Have a day off. I want off. a person next to me that was going to be my competition. I want to stare it right in the face. Ooh. I want the, the best of the best up there with me. Mm. I want someone that in the end, if I win, I know that I've conquered the best. Yes. The person that I chose is... Oh, what's this? Stop all that immediately. <sighs> okay, breathe. Tonight, I have to choose between... What? This pacing is Vanessa hateful. And Dominique. Come on, I want girls! someone that, in the end, if I win, I know that... I've conquered the best. Come on! Yeah. Oh my god, no. I feel so entirely bad about sending Dominique home. But I want to face Janessa head on and beat the crap out of her. You fool. I don't know what to say. Dominique. <sighs> Allison has made her decision, and unfortunately, your that time here has to be production. The quest to become the perfect bride is over. <gasps> your wedding will still go on; it just may not be perfect. I don't take the easy way out. I'm going to take what? you on, and I'm going to prove that you don't have to step on people to get to the top and win. But, but, but you already had her in your hands. You could have easily beaten her. Don't be all this like, oh, she needs to be in the top so that I've beaten the best. You already beat her. You could have sent her home. Wow. Bitch, get your hands off of me. Thank you. So your hands are also on her, though. Oh, Dommy Mole's gone home. Homest. It feels pretty great to be a finalist in Bridal Plasty because I've worked from day one since I got into this house to get to this point. And I know that I deserve this more than Allison. Janessa, Allison, you are in the Bridal Plasty finale. You and you are both the weakest link. are one step closer to having the wedding of your dreams. Congratulations. What? And remember, what? whichever one of you wins Bridal Plasty will have all the surgeries on her wish list and won't see her fiance until her wedding day. What? 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 All of the plastic surgeries on her wish list. All of them. Also, did you hear that that was like an overlay? She didn't actually say that to them then. That was like a, a studio overlay voice recording thing. They, they get all the plastic surgeries on their wish list, and then take what? 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 All right, ladies. I will see you both tomorrow night at the finale, where we will finally choose the perfect bride. 
I think all the power that Allison's been given has really gone to her head. She must be delusional enough to think that she could actually beat me in the finals. I'm not a coward. I'm not afraid of Janessa. So I decide I am going to take Janessa with me to the finals. I'm going to beat her ass in this competition, and then I'm going to send her packing. I'm very confident that I can take her on and I can win. Delusion. Wow. All right, I'm going to push my laptop away from me there and just be like, what? Sorry, what have we just seen? What? What? I didn't think this show could get any more ludicrous than it already has been. Every single episode I've been like fully shocked about why and how and like ugh, production being like, ugh, I'm, I'm, Genuinely, I lost for words. Genuinely, I lost for words for how this has turned out. I think that is absolutely bonkers, girls. Bonkers. This show is literally like a, I don't know, a like full on digital guide to like how to make the most ensnaring, ridiculous show in one go. And it's time for the grand finale of Bridal Plasty Stab. We're going to a wedding, my loves. This was an absolute choice and I have no idea if it worked. <laughs> <laughs> At least I think we're going to a wedding because I haven't actually watched this episode yet. So let's, let's see, shall we? Da, 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 da. I've got scouts. <laughs> Imagine if the gag is nobody gets the wedding. You all get to go home and think about what you've done. Well, my lovelies, today it is time. It is time for the much anticipated finale of Bridal Plasty. Stab! Before we get into everything, I must actually let you guys know that I am just recovering from a sore throat, which is why you can kind of hear me being like, uh, uh, and I've been feeling very unwell this last sort of week or so, but I'm on the mend. Let's go to a wedding, girls! So, I haven't been to a wedding since I was about nine or so. Sad reality about the last 10 years of my life is I've been to more funerals than weddings. So I can't quite remember like what happens at a wedding. I know there's like the part where it's like, here comes the bride's girl. She's got gouts. And then like the father hands off the bride to the groom. And then the priest is like, kiss her on the lips, you Probably not in those words. And then everybody claps. And that's sort of what I sort of remember. I mean, I guess there is like receptions and stuff as well. I don't know. So I guess we're in for a treat today, aren't we, my loves? We're in for a treat. First of all, I do want to talk about the last episode a little bit more because it was by far the most, like, controversial episode we had seen so far. There will be spoilers ahead if you have not watched that episode. Obviously, this is the final. The fact that Janessa and Dominique were like, Oh, oh, I don't, I don't know the answer. Oh, 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 I know the answer. Oh, oh, I don't know the answer. Cheyenne, please answer. And then poor little Cheyenne had to like trundle off with her tail between her legs. I cannot believe, cannot believe nobody got like clocked out of the competition for that. I cannot believe that nobody said, oh my God, you are breaking the rules. This is banned, Scales, you are banned. And also I cannot believe then that Alison, after seeing all of this and apparently clocking onto it and being like, is she doing hand signals? About Janessa was then like, yes, Janessa, come to the final with me. I want, I want you to be at the final with me. Like that has to be some sort of like insane production plan. It just has to be. And I'm so glad that a lot of you guys agreed with me with that because it just seems bonkers to do that. Anyway, my loves, I hope that today's episode is, ooh, just as intriguing, shall we say? Because for the last time, my loves, it is time for Bridalplasty Stab! I feel like I need more wedding themed things for this video. Maybe I'll just put a lot of wedding memes in. Just be like, oh. Very wedding. Oh. It is now firmly winter in the UK. I am filming at half past two and it is dark as night outside. But it does mean the lighting is gorgeous because I can finally control it. Oh. Thank gag. So Absolutely Bitch, gag. Get your hands off of me. I'm going to beat her ass in this competition. A symbol. And I'm going to prove that you don't have to step on people to get to the top and win. What are you doing? It's a competition. I can take her on and I can win. I mean, Janessa hasn't competed fairly and she has cheated, you know, by forming an alliance and doing all these like signaling issues during the exam. But like saying I can beat you without having to stand over you to get to the top is just silly in this context because she's going to pull out all the stops to be as like unhinged as possible to win. Like, oh, Alison. But also it might have been production, so we can't really talk about that yet. But still like, oh, oh. Come on, girls. Oh, I'm so excited. The wedding, girls. Rides all plastic girls. Oh, there's twinkling thighs on the game. Oh my god, a bouquet girls! Uh, uh, uh. Bridal plastic stab! There we go. The remix. <gasps> oh, the gong has begun. Oh, the night of a thousand corpses. <laughs> Hello, 
Oh my god. It's only them left. There's only two people in the house. So by putting Janessa in the finals with me, I'm very confident that I can take her on oh. and I can win. Bold. I am in absolute shock. Allison's really dumb for choosing me to be her final competition. I think she's really convinced herself that she's a competitor. What is this? What, what, what was that shot? She was like, I'm really struggling, girls. But also, of course, Allison is a competitor. She's literally there at the top with you. Oh, ridiculous. It's only you and her left. There's no alliance for you now. Basically, you went through this. Looking at it from a competition standpoint. <laughs> I am glad that you recognize that I'm a strong competitor. And I think that that will make it Dude. even more interesting. Me and you just needed to just go head to head. I know I can do this. And I'm gonna let her know what it feels like to get that close to something and then have your dreams ripped out from under you. Oh my goodness. Nothing personal. She's rather bold. <laughs> oh, I love this very like. I wake up this morning Music. <laughs> and I cannot believe I am in the final two. It's all reality to me right now. This is real. And frankly, I am just ready to get it on. Is she still in recovery? Yeah. Uh... Hi! <laughs> How are you? How are you? Okay, hello, Dr. Dubrowlift. Oh my God, your jaw in this shot looks very strange. Oh, someone's been at the Aqualics. I'm, I'm, so I forget because it's been like several episodes ago. Is Alison still in recovery for her teeth? Oh no, she'll still, of course, she'll still be like lipo recovery, won't she? Of course, that makes sense. All right, come on, Dr. Dubrow. How are you doing? <laughs> great. How Thank you. you. I'm good. I'm good. Well, well, this is it, huh? Yeah. You're down to it. Yeah. You really nervous? Yeah. If I do go home, I still got oh. my arms done. Yeah. Wait. I got my teeth, I got my face. But I want to win. I want to win this more than ever. And of course, the last three oh. surgeries. By What's this? This is her wish list. Oh my God. Liposuction of arms, liposuction of veneers, temporary veneers. A lot of you guys actually said something in the, uh, or a comment section of whenever she got her teeth done, that of course she should have had her teeth done first because that seemed like an actual medical necessity because obviously she had lots of like um, dental problems and dental erosion and dental decay and those sorts of things. So, but I think with the like way this show is done, I feel like maybe they forced her to have something else first. I'm not sure. Like, I don't know. That's very strange, isn't it? Maybe she did just decide to have liposuction first, which is a little bit of like a lapse judgment because surely you think you need your teeth done first because, you know, teeth can lead to all sorts of like permanent unaliveness, shall we say. So what else do we have? We have a breast lift, liposuction of backside. Mm, interesting. And permanent veneers. Okay, right. Temporary and surely the temporary and permanent veneers would be one thing, right? You wouldn't just ask for temporary veneers, no? Hmm. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. Hi, Dr. Debro. This is big. And I'm going to defy all odds of being a diabetic. Do you know, I keep forgetting his name is actually Dr. Dubro. I'm like, no, Dr. Dubro lift girls. Time for a brow lift. Oh. And I'm going to transform myself Ooh, into being lady the on best the game. and most perfect bride that there can be. Let's take a look at this. Does her top say ball busters? Didn't realize we had a dominatrix in the building. Oh, get out of the way. Whoa, 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 that is shrinking. I can't go. Oh, it's so weird. Oh, no, it's not it's weird. Like, so like Flex this a little bit. Yeah. Ah! So I'm starting to slowly see with the procedures that I have had done. I'm okay. My old mm. me coming back. Okay, let me see your face for a second. I'm still Allison, suspicious the, uh, of those photos. Midwestern Chicago beer drinking trucker bride. She's going home the winner. Well, I wake up in the morning and I just want to make sure I stay feeling like and confident Pete throughout the day. And I really want to just get this show on the road. Oh, as a producer, get the show I'm on the road. I'm looking at my oh. bridal closet and I'm thinking, oh my God, I could is actually that, win. Is this really a closet? Is it my, I'm looking inside my bridal closet. Your closet is a shelf with a coat hanger underneath this. That's a lot, that's big words. Good heavens. And everything in here. I suppose it does sound a lot better than my bridal shelf, doesn't it? Oh my god, I could actually win everything in here. I'm a finalist in bridal classy because I've worked hard from day one. I knew immediately that this was a competition and I was going to do whatever it took to get to the end. Bridal classy. I really don't have any clue what to expect in the next challenge, but all these really confessional looks are so different. Going to be in the final two with her because Fist if you know away. about competition, you don't want to go up against your strongest competition. Well, you don't so want to go up against the even villain. more motivation to want to win tonight. 
Oh, Shane, go. Oh, look how 2000s that is. Long, several necklaces. A deep boat neck top that's not exposing the shoulders. Ooh. Come on, girl. Hey, girls. Hi, Shana. Oh, piano going wild. <laughs> The two of you should be very proud of yourselves. Oh. But as you know, there can only be one perfect bride. So tonight, at the final ceremony, you will face a bridal plasty group of experts that we like to call the bridal panel. They alone will decide which one of you what? will be the perfect bride. What? So when Shana announces that we're going to have a bridal panel, I'm thinking that it may be all of the experts that we've met along the way. Oh, no. I think I'm definitely a stronger competitor than Allison in a lot of the challenges that we've done. So I'm thinking I probably haven't. I didn't expect that, my loves. I did not expect that. So literally, as we've seen throughout this entire, entire, entire show so far, all we have seen is these judges be like, so skewed, like the production could have said, we want this person to win, the judges will be like, no. Especially the, what, the flower guy, they weren't even speaking when they issued the last score for the bouquet. I, ju I just, I'm very surprised. But, uh, oh, I knew that t this TV production show was like, so snivelly, I don't know what the word is, conniving maybe, but like, so they're just literally leaving it up to this like, mysterious, nefarious, like nothing to decide who wins. I bet Janessa wins, I bet Janessa wins, I bet she does, I bet she does, I bet she does. So I'm thinking I probably have an advantage over her in this. Mm. For the ceremony, each of you will need to prepare a speech that you will present to the bridal panel. Oh, my, my worst fears have possibly come true. Janessa Speeches? is very good at public speaking. You put her there! Her. Do. You put her this there. Speech will contain all the reasons why you feel you are the most deserving oh and gosh. you should be the perfect bride. Beg for your guys. wedding these surgery. And these pens, and I will see you later at the bridal tent. Okay. So they get one one day, one hour. Thank you, Shana. This is very strange. All right, ladies, have a good night. Thanks. Right. Do you know nowadays in reality TV, you very very rarely see the host or the presenter ever hand something to the contestants. There's always just like a mysterious box off to the side and they pick it up themselves or they have an assistant dash over and hand them things or something, you know, or like a, like assistant crew of some sort. The host never does anything anymore. The host is just like, <laughs> and that's it. Very good impression, my loves. Thank you. Thanks, Shana. Bye, Shana. Go. Oh, rest. <gasps> so my strategy with my speech is just to make it something that people can relate to, and also to incorporate the central theme of bridal plasty, which is perfection. So She's a, 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 oh, a so apparently before all of this show, she was like a salesperson, which means like she is fully armed to the teeth to win this challenge. All she has to do is be like, pull at people's heartstrings, sell them a story, and like win. If she is worth anything in sales in the sales industry, she will be able to cinch this so easy. Right now, here, or I think we're gonna have some time to think about it. There's a lot riding on this speech right now, and I really suck at writing. Oh I'm hoping God, that I didn't make Allison. the wrong decision by yes, taking I can tell with you. me into yes. the finals. I'm just completely lost. Don't tell your competition this I'm either. I'm feeling at this point that Janessa just may win this. This just may break me because I can't figure out how to put anything in this book. I have a blank book. I don't have a speech. But the way to win this kind of a challenge would be actually quite straightforward. All you'd have to do is think about all the critiques you were ever given by the judges and be like, literally just pander to the judges. Judges love to be pandered to. They love being picked out of a lineup and being like, I took what you said about my bouquet, girls, and I thought, what a disgusting bouquet. Throughout my life, I have felt like the disgusting bouquet that you said I was. And now, through bridal plasty, I have become the fashionable bouquet on the celebrity dining table. Like, it's so easy to come up with nonsense like that. And they will eat it up. Eat, 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 eat. Oh, the moon is on the balcony. Oh, the moon again. Are we gonna throw it back in the bridal tent? Well, this is the day that I've been fighting for since I walked into the house. I've done really well at all the challenges. I've used strategy to eliminate some of the competition. And it all comes down to one speech. And I feel like I've hit a home run with it. I feel Ooh. that I deserve to win this more than Janessa because I think I genuinely did things I, the right way. I would, I agree house. with that, Alison. I do it agree. It is a competition. I've had to send people home. 
but I really don't feel that I really manipulated anyone to get to where I am. Very true. Very true. Good evening, ladies, and welcome Ooh. to the bridal plasty oh, that's finale. Nice. As you know, it's a bit Barbie. it all comes down to this. The winner of bridal plasty will win all the items in her bridal plastic closet. Yes. And the last bride standing will not only complete her head to toe transformation, she will also get a celebrity style dream wedding. He will now face the bridal panel and they alone will decide which Ooh. one of you will become the perfect oh, bride. Oh wait, who's the bridal and panel? We have the perfect dream wedding. Who's the, wait, Earlier, no. I told you that the bridal Oh, no, 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 don't tell me, don't tell me. If it's not all the judges they've previously faced, it will be every single previous contestant, right? Which means Janessa has no chance of winning, I would hope. Oh my god, the drama girls! Earlier, I told you that the bridal panel consisted of bridal plastic experts. I'm so excited. <laughs> Who's it gonna be? Who's it gonna what be? better experts than the women who have been on this journey with you? Yeah! I knew it! I knew it! Janessa, you are losing! Ha, ha, ha. Good heavens. Dominique. What a surprise! Oh, look. Oh, goodbye, Janessa. Cheyenne. <gasps> Come back with a vengeance, girl. Have you got your hatchets? Chris. Oh, look at that oh. face! This is not good. Lisa Marie. Oh, my goodness. Nettie. You're gonna die! Alexandra. Let's welcome the last member of our bridal panel, Melissa. Oh! I was the reason that most wow. of these girls went home, so they're probably going to want to uh -huh. get revenge on. Oh, wait, hang on. Oh, are we missing anyone in particular? Oh! These girls went home, so they're probably going to... What happened to the lady with the really, like, straight fringe? Are we missing anyone else here? It's been so long that we've been doing this entire series. What, like, are we missing anyone here? Let me look... Um... Oh! So we are actually missing quite a few people at this like bridal plasty panel. So Ashley's not there and Jamie isn't there either. Okay, interesting. All right, okay, all right, right. Oh, uh, this is gonna get juicy, isn't it? And I wanna get revenge on me. Revenge, yes. Coming up. Oh, the time has come oh, to oh here we go. In the tent, Earlier, they're gonna I told get you. That the you bridal go. panel consisted of bridal plasty experts. Oh, look. Oh, they all look lovely. Experts than the women who have been on this journey with you. Mm. Allison's probably loving it that the bridal panel was brought back because this is really the only chance she would have to beat me. Yes, exactly. Allison's gonna win. Janessa, Allison, the time has come for you to address the bridal panel <gasps> and tell them why you feel you should be the perfect bride. Because I'm better than all of you, that's why. Ooh. Allison, let's start with you. Oh, come on, Everything Allison. Everything I have is riding on this speech right now. I'm not really good with putting my thoughts on paper. Not at all. I'm better Ooh. with just saying what comes to my Little bit heart. of confidence, though, so my love. Little bit of confidence. In my favor. Okay. Take it till you make it. My life before bridalplasty was, to put it simply, Ooh. Man almost guitar. hopeless. And I'm not talking about all the bills, my job loss, the finances, the wedding cancellations. I'm talking about my self-esteem. <laughs> All I needed was someone that I barely knew. A few good women. And they helped me pull me out of this. I love myself again. Growing up, I never went to a homecoming. I never went to a prom. I never had anyone to take me. I never had anybody who wanted to take me. So I always felt that like my wedding would be my chance to be a princess. I wanted for once all eyes to be on me. I know I'm always going to be a princess to him. I just wanted that moment to feel like one. Thank wow. You so much. Okay. Wow. wow. Okay. <laughs> wow. Let's digest that a little bit. I think that that is an incredibly relatable speech. I think there are going to be a lot of viewers on this video right here being like, I have felt insecure. I just want to feel like a princess for one day. I haven't been able to go to the events that I've wanted to, but I'm so glad that my spouse in, you know, fiance or husband or whomst ever has made me feel like, I am a princess to them. I think a lot of you guys are going to be able to resonate with that. And I think Alison played that very, very well by saying that. Because every single one of those women on the on the bridal plasty judging panel has probably felt the exact same way. And I, I'm, I'm not really into the whole wedding scene. I'm not really into weddings. I'm not really into, like, giant ceremonies like that. I do kind of feel as well, like, you do want to feel a bit special. And you do want to have, like, a special day. I just think like spending 25k and going on bridal plasty is a bit far, but that's just me, girls. Okay, so I wonder how the panel is going to react. Janessa? Oh. It is your turn. Well, it's come down okay. to one oh. speech, and 
And I'm definitely going to have to change the direction of my speech because I thought we were going to have real experts, not brides that I already beat out of the competition. So I need to figure out how I'm going to get. Let me eat your eggs. I am a wasp. That is an excellent speech, Janessa. Any of these girls to vote for me. I am so thankful for the people that have helped me get here to the final two. I know that you're angry. I know that it would make you feel really good to put me in my place right now. It's a competition, Cheyenne. I know you hate me. It's OK. It's OK. You know, you can sit there, and you can hate me. And I'd probably hate me if I was in your shoes, too. And this is you know, Alexandra, good. you really you had a good game there for a while. And <laughs> I think you had the better one as you fooled all these ladies here. Yeah. And I am oh, happy for Allison. I think she really needs to work on taking care of herself. I'm going to be happy that I'm standing here because at the end of the day, I came here to win and I'm happy to have met all of you guys along the way. And I guess thank you guys. That was you, terrible. Janessa. That was terrible. That was so bad. What are you doing, Janessa? For this like ultimate super villain of the entire series being like, I know you hate me. You're also awful. I was better than you. Oh, thank you for getting me here, though. Bye, everyone. What a hateful, hateful speech that is. Oh, my gosh. Take your purple satin away, Janessa. I am just really glad that I didn't play the game like Janessa. The yeah, you've won. It may get you to the top, but eventually it's going to come back and bite you in the ass. I'm going to open wow. up the floor for you to <gasps> ask some questions to Janessa and Allison. If you oh, my goodness. It's a debate. It. Anyone want to start? I will. Okay. Oh, oh. Why'd you do what you did? <gasps> Scandal girls! Oh, I've got Why goosebumps. Why did you do that to me? Because Honestly, you're Cheyenne, weak. I felt sick about it. It's one of the worst decisions I made when I was here because I really feel like out of anyone, you would probably be this person that I would stay in touch with. Would have been. Yes, would've I would have been. been. Yeah, and I don't expect you to forgive me. I don't. I won't. Oh, let's just stop that there because I feel like now she's desperately trying to claw back some sort of like... And power, is it power? Is she trying to claw back power or respect from these brides? Or brides-to-be, should I say? So the idea that now she's like, Oh, Cheyenne, we would have been friends. Just ignore all these hateful things I've said about you. <laughs> Janessa played the game very well, but she won't be the winner. You embarrassed me after I was the only person, and you can ask any one of these girls sitting here, who would defend you to the ground no matter what they said about you. And you know what? It ended up being true. Oh. I did blatantly walk all over Gosh. Cheyenne. Yes, if I you know it. I challenge with Cheyenne a little differently. I probably could have had her vote. Allison, how do you feel like winning the wedding would change your life? I feel like my life has already changed at this point. I think that the wedding. Uh, Alison is totally going to win. Can you see how that question was different? It wasn't like, I can't believe what you did to me during this competition. It's changed to, how would your life change if you had the wedding? Do you know what I mean? Like, we've, we've changed it from, like, negative, like, oh, you've been awful to me, to like, oh, and what if you win this gorgeous occasion? <laughs> wedding, obviously it's going to bring things that we're never going to be able to afford. As far you, as talking yes. about budget, we don't have one. There is no budget. I feel like they you've talked about idea. budget well, a lot, though, Alison. Grand. Well, we don't have two grand. If we had two grand, our electric would be on right now. Allison, oh. I, you, please stop playing the victim card. I can't hear about how everything that's happened to you in your life is everybody else's fault. When the hell did I say anything was anybody else's fault? It's always been like this poor me, like I don't have a budget. Like Dominique doesn't have a budget either. She's going to take out a loan. Don't I do that, say sis. This. I really do. And I think if I was sitting up here with someone else, I might not feel this way. But she I do feel enough. like Allison has played the victim card. You know, she got the lipo and she went back in the kitchen and ate Hot Pockets every night. And <gasps> I don't think you took it seriously, Allison. I'm just going to be honest. Like, can I just say that you are the biggest super <laughs> I've ever met in my entire <laughs> life? Oh. Good heavens. Hey, well, at least I'm honest about it. Because I know a that... A pocket? I know A lean pocket. I'm sorry. I don't have diuretics in my purse and laxatives you know what, in Allison, my purse. Allison, whatever. Don't Even go. Shayna was like, oh, goodness. Diuretics, you say? <laughs> oh my I just need to have a break there because that was insane my like shoulders have gone all like this <laughs> right I've never heard in my life someone get called a super cunt I love that amazing oh Janessa's getting the come up and she deserves go don't go there I eat I'm healthy okay you don't even know me you never even got the chance to even know half that I've been through I've lost 11 pounds 
Well, I've lost 10. Because you starve yourself. Yep. I do not starve myself. She has not worked out since you left, Alexandra. Because and I had lipo. Dr. DeBro said I couldn't. Stop! <laughs> He's already dead. So I may have a little She's bit a of a point. chance. Because Allison is just falling apart right now. And all the girls can see it. Big mistake, Allison. Allison. No. Do you think that you made the right decision last night? <gasps> oh. No. Oh my god. I gosh. don't want to make you upset. I just want to hear why. That's all. I just felt because Janessa was the only person that I felt I had a conflict with in this house. That's f Allison. F that is not what you said. She said I was her biggest competition and she wanted to Did take me down. Did you let me finish what the oh my f I'm saying? You're Goodness. lying, okay? You're not even worth my time. This game is not over yet. I'm done. Coming oh, up, piss. Allison no playing piss, the big No. Baratum lost his stab! Oh my gosh, what's gonna happen? It's gonna be a battle royale. Oh, we saw so that mysterious noise. So as soon as I saw these noise. girls coming in, I Island. knew I was screwed. But Allison playing the victim card may have given me a little bit of an opportunity to win back some votes. I mean, I always say the editing is the extra character on the cast because you know you never know what's cut out and what's left in. So when someone asked her, like, what will you do with the wedding? Like, clearly, weddings cost a lot of money. And she has mentioned all the way throughout this competition, like, how the struggle of getting the money together for the wedding has been, like, a driving factor for her here. I think she has a right to say it. I just wonder if maybe she said it maybe once too many times or like a few too many times or like in a specific way that that people just don't gel with on this cast so i don't think she's in danger but i don't know oh i don't know I don't, let me know what you guys think at this point we are what like halfway through no we're we're not even halfway through we're a third in a third in of this insanity all right let's continue my goodness i strongly believe what goes around comes around and if you keep stepping on people to get to the top eventually you're gonna fall but I lost my composure with Janessa for a second. And I just hope that the panel doesn't hold that against me. I, they Members won't. The they panel, wanted to do that. And I'll call you forward one by one. You can address the brides and then sit at the table of the bride that you would most like to see when. Oh! Cheyenne, please step RSVP forward go. and reveal your Oh, RSVP. Cheyenne's going to be like, anybody got a hatchet? Here's Cheyenne. I'll start with Allison. <gasps> You have just shown that you have been a good person through and through, and that's an admirable quality. Janessa? I hate you. You know, you say this is a game, and, you know, this is a competition, and you know what? Nobody walked in here hoping to walk away with friends. We walked in here hoping to walk away with our wedding. Mm. But we didn't step on people to get to where we are. I'll mm -hmm. walk out of here with dignity, respect from other people, and class. Ah, uh, yes. You'll walk yeah. away with nothing. <gasps> what was the fanfare? Imagine if she sat at her table now. That would be so funny. So Cheyenne does sit at my table. Oh, I, I first... was like, hang on. Was there a se separate table being like, I don't want to partake anymore. Okay, so they don't sit at their table. They sit like on the, on their side of the, the stage, I guess. For a split second, I thought that was like a middle table where they could be like, I don't want either of you to win. You're all awful. I thought for a second they'd do that. But no, no, they didn't. Vote and it went my direction. And I've never been so relieved in my life. I'm not surprised. Melissa. Please come forward and reveal who you think should be the perfect bride. Mm -hmm. Congratulations to the both of you. I really have nothing to say to you guys. However, I do have something to say to the girls sitting behind me. So I'm gonna be a little different and speak to you. Oh. Janessa's a f genius. Interesting. Like Cheyenne said, we walked in here knowing we wanted to win the wedding, we wanted to win the plastic surgery, not to make friends. It's not that she did it in a shysty manner. She never said anything foul about any person in the house. I picked this person because you did what everybody else is jealous of. Maybe we walked in here and forgot what we were here for, but you didn't. Oh my goodness. Melissa reminded everyone that this is a competition because some of these girls seem to forget that since they Melissa's didn't a plant. The competition. My only hope is that some of the girls will appreciate how hard I worked to get here. Well, Kristen, please come the forward drama. and address the brides and reveal your RSVP. Well, that's a nice dress. Allison, I am so proud of you. Do I think that I'm surprised at the fact that you're in the top two? Yeah, I mean, like, I'm shocked. 
I, I mean, truthfully, did I think you were gonna be here? Absolutely not. But am I glad you are? Yes. Would I rather be in your position? Oh, yeah. <laughs> At least she's honest. Okay. Janessa, I tried to play the game like you did, and I couldn't do it. Like, I just, I just didn't have it in me. You're bitter, you're mean, you're rude. I have nothing good to say to you. You just, you just... I'm sorry, Kristen, you, you're the one that seems a little bitter right now. That's fine. Go oh. home, bitch. Ah. Just like you already did, right? Oh Kristen my God! I'm not surprised at all, because we've never gotten along, and I haven't liked her since day one. Nettie. It's like watching some sort of, like, lizards versus snakes warfare on the Discovery Channel. Like, what is happening? Oh, I'm all hot and bothered. My goodness, what is this? This is better than football. Tanessa, until I met you, I didn't know people like you really existed. Oh. You're a snake. Oh. You're a manipulating bitch. I don't know how anybody really could ever dream of a friendship on, or Nettie. any sort of a relationship with you. And uh, we all know where I'm sitting. So She's I only need one more vote to bewildered. win this whole competition, and there's three girls left. There's a good chance that I just might win this. Dominique? I love oh. Dominique, and I'm so glad that I made the choice in the beginning to form an alliance with her. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to get her vote. Yeah, I don't Allison, think she's sitting with Allison. I'm not going to lie, you hurt me a little last night, but I, I, I know why. Like, I understand. I just wish you would have seen a little bit why I deserve to be sitting here. The only thing I have to say is that it would be easy to sit with you. I, I just, I got so focused on winning a dream wedding. I just lost She's sight of sit with Janessa. Janessa has <gasps> been close with me. I know that no matter what, you were there for me. And I know you guys don't agree. Oh, Thank we God knew Dominique's it. Dominique sat at my table. We've been through this whole competition oh, together, and I'm gosh. really glad she didn't turn her back on me in the end. I actually might have a chance here. Alexandra? Please step forward and reveal your RSVP. Alexandra's not going to, like, do you remember what Janessa said to Alexandra? You're going, you are my the biggest loser, blah. Whatever that was, whatever that quote was. In episode two, you can go back and see it. That, unbelievable. Unbel I'm like, ooh. I'm almost at a loss for words as to like what we're watching. I'm sure if I was to watch this two or three more times, I could do like a deep video essay on like how everybody reacts and responds to each other and what they say. But I'm just like fully gagged the whole time at the moment. Like what? What is happening? If Alexandra sits at my table, she I She has win. to, yeah. If she sits at Janessa's table- She's not gonna sit at Janessa's. It's tied. And then it will come down to Lisa Marie. And God, I don't even know what direction she would go in. I definitely played Alexandra that last day. But I think she's kind of emotional. So I think that it could really go either way. Allison, you're weird. <laughs> when you said your speech, I literally was crying because you have grown as a person. Like, I didn't know that this show could do that. But, I mean, it's like, who really deserves to win? Janessa, you played the game well, and it, sorry to say, but it is a competition. But she kicked you and out, not sis. your hustle. But, what you did to me was grimy. Yes, exactly, yes, come on. You are very fake. <gasps> And I understand why you wanted to win the wedding. But at the same time, Janessa, you went about it in a very grimy, fake-ass manner. You hurt people. You try to turn all these girls on me. I had genuine friendships with them. Oh my God, are you kidding me? Karma is a bitch and so are you. So shut the up and I'm glad you ain't winning this wedding, bitch. <laughs> I'm sorry, but you are a bitch. <laughs> Allison, congratulations. Oh! You are the winner of Bridal Plasty. Congratulations. I knew it, girls. Yay, you did it. You did it. You did it. You, you won. Please come up here and accept this bouquet. Oh, the bucket. Congratulations, sweetie. I have won Bridal Plasty. I what? am the top bride. I'm taking it all. And I'm going to Fiji. Why don't you ladies come down here and congratulate her now, <laughs> properly. This is a dream come true for me. I am not the bad luck bride anymore. I'm finally oh, okay, gonna get my princess moment. And I just can't wait for John to see me. Wow. <laughs> wow. The next time we see you, Allison, you will be the perfect bride. <laughs> Congratulations.
so happy for you. Janessa's is just like. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 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 we've got a coming up just there. I've paused it. I have so many emotions and so many things to say about what we've just done. First of all, I am so glad Alison won. So glad. I think she well deserved because versus Janessa, she played the game a lot more fairly. She was a lot more likable. She was a lot more like of a good example of a reality TV show contestant doing well by themselves, if you know what I mean. But my gosh, the way they all laid into Janessa there, it really, that was, that was like the epitome of is it the birds coming home to roost is it the, the pigeons come to the nest what's it what is it the birds the chickens come home to roost is that what it is oh whatever that phrase is oh my god all of her wasp eggs hatched at once and ate her alive girls wow although i do actually want to say janessa is still like a real human being and because this came out in like 2010 i wonder if online she got like hate for that I wonder if, like, everyone was just so, like, viscerally against her that they were like, Yes! I love the fact that Janessa's been spoken to like that! Oh my god, yes, go! Go for the jugular, Alexandra! I know for a fact, if I was on Twitter back then when this was live and I was watching it, I would be, like, glued to the drama and the trending of what was happening because absolutely bonkers. This show is quite possibly the best reality TV show I have ever seen. And the reason for that is because it is awful it is the worst reality tv show i've seen it combines every negative thing and puts it all together women fighting each other for plastic surgery and a wedding all these high intense emotions all going off on each other promoting alliances and psychological warfare in a house together and makes for excellent tv but is such a bad idea in terms of like morality wow okay Whew. let's watch allison win i guess Bridalplasty! The stabbing's done! Oh, on the beach. On the go. It's been less than a week since Allison has become the perfect bride. Less than a and week. And has left the Bridalplasty house. Oh, she left she the house! She remain in Los Angeles for three more months without seeing her family as she begins all the preparations for her big day. What? Hi. The audio is very strange in this episode. Oh, Jessica goes! Now that I am the winner of Bridalplasty, there is so much that I have to do before my big day. Well, wait, so hang on. So the bridal plasty like thing, because they at the beginning of this show they said they won't see their spouse for like four months. So the bridal plasty competition only took one month, and then they've still got this like three month period of like nothing. So she's gone back to LA, and it's just like I'm gonna go on vacation and not see anybody. Goodbye, girls. Kind of, kind of iconic in like a very strange way. And at the same time, getting in the gym and really getting at it. Today, I'm going to meet with my wedding planner, Jessica, and she is <gasps> Ooh, going to help blur me the start photos planning go. my perfect wedding. Mm. You know, we really try to help you design an event that incorporates who you guys are, who really, when somebody attends your wedding, mm -hmm. says that is so them. I'll tell you right now, I am not traditional. I am very modern, and me and my fiance, we like the whole rock star thing. Oh, love it. Bold colors. But at the same time, bling. Bling. Oh, I love important. bling. Bold colors and bling. Bling and bold colors. Love it. You've got to All write right. that down. Write it down. Bling and bold colors. Write it down. All right, let's get started on planning your perfect wedding. Awesome. I can't wait. Planning the wedding isn't all Allison has on her plate. She also has Ooh. to start a strict regimen of diet and exercise before she can undergo the remaining surgeries on her wish list. She's going to go on the okay, swap? So here's what we're going to do. We're going to kick your butt with the weights. Um, Who are you? Do some circuit ben. Let's roll. Five. Oh, the oh, music. Three, uh, uh, two, da, the da. working out that I am doing is intense, but my body needed a kickstart. Sucks. Oh. I'm going to have flowers. my wedding flowers designed by Kevin Lee. I like oh, yes, this big and bold, well. and I'm telling you, I love this purple. Oh, oh. So. Keep it going. Come on, come on. Hey. From the Hanson's Cakes. Patrick Hanson with Hanson's Cakes got it on. Oh, my God. <laughs> <gasps> the cake is $3,500! Ah! Do cakes cost that much money? That is unhinged. 
if I, okay, if we convert that to pounds, that's what, it's about like 1,800 pounds, two grand. I'm gonna round it up to 2,000 pounds. If I came home and told anyone in my life, I just bought this cake, yeah, it was two grand. I would be like, I did what? What? Homest? Oh, gosh, just because something's a wedding, they love to slap on some zeros, don't they? I would even say, actually, well, no, I think $350. I'd be like, yeah, okay, it's a fancy cake. Do you know what I mean? But like $3,500, $3,500, that is wild. I know there's gonna be some bakers in my audience as well. And um, don't worry, I'm not criticizing you. I'm criticizing the, the entire industry that just like, it just feels like extra zeros are added on because it's wedding, do you know what I mean? In what other instance would you ever spend $3,500 on a cake? That's it, that's it. Go a little higher, up here, up here, come on. When Diamonds the on together, the game. Like one ring. It'll be Jason. Oh, Beverly. What was that? Wait, wait, wait. Sorry, I spoke completely over Jason then. Jason, please tell me what your wisdom was there. Your three second wisdom of rings in this entire series. What was that? When you wear the two rings together, it'll look like one ring. It'll be flush. When you wear the two rings together, it'll look like one ring flush. Okay, is that because you have to have the engagement ring and the wedding ring? Is that why- is that why there's two rings together? See, how can the rings, which are gonna last 20 years, potentially, or 50 years, or become heirlooms even, how are the rings with diamonds worth less money than the cake? This cake pricing's really got me going, girls, cake farts. Wine, girls. Oh That's no. pretty. <gasps> I feel like it's more Hollywood than Bride. Mm -hmm. She is just not a lace girl. No. Oh my Better. god, this is the dress. Yeah. Wait. This is definitely the dress. Oh my god, the designer was there, the designer who made the dresses, but that hateful melted candle man who was like, ah, you're all gross, was not there. Oh, thank goodness for that. Do you think he wasn't invited back because Alison won? Or do you think he was like, I'm not interested in being on this show anymore, girls? Because he was particularly hateful, wasn't he? Wow, okay, right, how much is this dress? How is the dress less than the cake? How is the dress less than the cake? Ah, I feel like I'm going insane. How is the cake the most expensive thing? If the cake is still more expensive than the venue, I'm gonna be insane. Imagine if the cake is more expensive than the surgeries, because the surgeries here is on the last one. To-do list, surgeries, bonkers, bridal plastic, homest. Jessica is taking me to my wedding venue, and I am just completely excited. They cut up that sentence, point. didn't they? I have no idea what she has in store for me, but I know me by neither, her reputation, girl. it's gotta be huge. Oh my. Coming up. Oh. oh gosh. Bridal plastic girls. Oh, where's this? Wait. What's oh, all this? My God. God. Okay, first of all, I want you to imagine Jeff Star's house. And what they see when they Are you gonna cry? Don't Why is the colouring so Don't dull? Cry. Oh my god. No, not for me. It's unbelievable or what? No. Seeing the flowers, trying on that ring and actually standing over a cliff and looking at the ocean. Oh, it's really yeah, I suppose that's anymore. quite nice. It's yeah. Happening. And I just can't wait for that day. I just feel like that's very McMansion. Do you know what I mean? Like, these, um, I'm, shall I say something brave yet controversial here? I don't think it happens to most Americans, but Americans have this idea of glamour, this like aged, beautiful glamour that really is all about like these, these, Kind of like cheap looking big houses that are in like hidden valleys and hidden campuses or whatever you call them. And they're all like, they don't look very nice. I don't know. Like when you look at castles in Europe or castles in Russia or castles in like anywhere that has castles, girl, you will see that they are just like beautiful, majestic pieces of architecture. And I feel like American mansions are very specifically, how am I gonna say this without sounding like a hateful tart? I just don't know. They're just not very nice. They're, they're, they're almost like built cheaply, but to look expensive. Do you know what I mean? Rather than the other way around, built expensive to look cheap. <laughs> no, well, well, you get what I'm saying. Oh my goodness. Right, okay, I'm gonna start digging myself out my grave now and let's continue, shall we? It's now two yeah. months before- I need to know if the venue is more than the cake! It's now two months before Allison's big day, and it's two time months? for her to undergo her final surgeries. 
So, Allison, we have obviously oh, finished got a lot hair together extensions together already. In. Okay. Yeah. Oh, hello. And you've been working really hard and done an amazing job to get your diabetes in a situation where we can do the final stages of the procedure. And we're so we're going to do this together with Dr. Mess, Dr. Worth, and I <gasps> in this state that you're in right now, which is sort of your best medical condition you've ever been in in your life, wouldn't you say? In this state you're in? What a weird way to put that. Okay, Dr. Dubrow. Okay. Yes, I'd like to think that. I've yeah. never felt this great before. I can't imagine my life without working out right now. Thus far, I lost like 15 pounds in the gym. So I'm ready for the surgeries on my way. That was an interesting before and after they picked there, but like you can really tell that she's she's like put a lot of effort into herself throughout this whole competition actually, which is something I didn't expect to really see. I'm not quite sure what I expected, but it wasn't that. But like I don't understand why Dr. Dubrow said we're gonna take away, we're gonna do what is it, a buccal fat removal here, buccal fat cavity removal here, and then get you to lose more weight. So it's just like I don't know. It could look really I don't know. In ten years' time, it might not. Well, now basically, it might not look quite as like aesthetically pleasing as it did then. I don't know. I'm very, very confused about that. Hmm. Hence, I just had a thought. Imagine if all the other bridal plastic girls have to come to like Alison's wedding. I wonder if Janessa will be there like <laughs> It's like I'm a whole new person and my health has just done a complete 360. I this is the swan. Really ready to do this final stage to make you the best bride you can be, which is oh, pretty that awesome. Bald doctors are dead. We are Oh touch me in the bed! I get to do a breast lift and do liposuction of the love handle area. Cheer I almost thought he said brow lift. Almost. I was almost ready to believe that then. Right, breast lift, yes. Very. I get to put all the teeth in and finish up her implants. Oh yes, of course. She's come finish so far and she really deserves this amazing final stage. So I'm I'm really happy for her. I'm actually very proud of her. Hi. It's been over two months since I've last seen John. Yes. And it's going to be a couple more months before I see him again. Oh. How are you doing? There's yeah. always a reveal, isn't there? Got to go under for surgery. <laughs> At least she was able to talk to him. It's a little overwhelming. It's a little depressing. Okay. Yeah, I'm just really nervous. Mm-hmm. You think I'd be used to this by now? <laughs> when I do finally get well, I mean, to he see sounds kind of supportive. John, Mason, my friends, my family. I love you. I love you too. All right, bye. Talk. That is the nicest phone call that we have seen throughout any of these plastic surgery reality TV things that we've been looking at on my channel. That is the nicest one. And he didn't even really say a lot. He just listened well and said, I love you. We haven't heard that anywhere throughout any of these shows. My God. It's gonna be worth it. Right, here we go. Oh! Da, 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 da. Beep. Some lipo. Beep. Is that. Oh, here dear. Here are the liposuction cannulas. Oh. We'll start with a bigger one. It's like a screwdriver set. Oh, my goodness. You can see this beautiful golden fat that's coming out. Very clean, no blood. Oh. Up. Oh, we're suctioning the dragon. It's gonna be a smaller dragon. You're not going to be able to see that there, my love, because I'm going to have to blur it. But she has a dragon tattoo, and that's what he was talking about there. He was like, oh, we're going to shrink the dragon tattoo, girls. Oh, oh, oh. Interesting, Dr. Dubrow. Interesting. In I feel like I've lost everything that I can say about Dr. Dubrow now. I just like, there's no more, not, 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 not a lot more I can say about, like, his bedside manner and things anymore. Like, clearly he just says things for TV for, like, shock value. Because why, why would you need to be all, why would you need to be like, oh, because we're giving you liposuction, we're shrinking your tattoos as well. You're going to be a little dragon. Uh, Oh, it's just weird. It's so weird. Maybe it's not weird and I'm the weird one. I don't know, girls. Okay, I think we've taken as much as we can take. Okay, <laughs> liposuction done. And now on to the rest of it. Breast lift. Get a breast lift. Let's do this. Breast lift. Oh. More bro fisting. We're cutting fisting? Fist bumping. into the breast skin so that we breast. can relocate the areola in the nipple into a higher position. Areola? Hello. It's Dr. Worth. Hello. Oh. How are the boobs going? Hello. Popping in. The breasts in. are going really well. Great. Let's do the box or should I label this? This is when I get gray hair right here. Oh. Once they're on, they're on. Once they're on, they're on. Isn't that cool that we can do mouth and breasts at the same time? At the 
mouth and breasts at the same time. Literally, they have this like curtain up. Well, you can see it here because I don't have to blur this bit. This curtain on the left is dividing Sherry Worth from Br Dubrow and they're like, he's like doing all this with the bosoms and she's like doing all this with the teeth at the same time. Wow, I didn't think that the, the sw I thought the swan was bonkers. Oh, I'm, I'm, what, what else can I say? 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 Same time, boobs and teeth. Stable. Tits and teeth, come and get your tits and teeth done. Little state. Okay, good. Her breasts are in a position where she wanted them. They're nice and high. The nipples are far above the crease. And uh, I'm really pleased with they the way they look. Fabulous. Sherry. Sure, yeah. Oh, he has given her that technique in which there's like a, a cross section underneath the breast. And the scarring for that is actually quite, uh, it's quite intense. Oh, I don't know, you know, I just don't know. I think I'm done. Are you done? I'm just finished. We've got all of our teeth in. Oh, good. Fantastic. Oh, what a coincidence. You finish at the same time. What? <laughs> Allison, relax when my surgery's done. Okay, so we're gonna put your head up in one second. Just relax for a sec. Oh my gosh, what's happening? <laughs> what's happening? <laughs> what's bothering you? Allison, what's the matter? <laughs> I think they try to make it out like she's flatlined. Like what? As if they needed to add more drama. They're just like, and boom. Allison's in the great hereafter. Like what? What? That was, that was very weird. Very weird. The audio in, in this episode for some reason is getting completely mucked up. I hope you can't hear it in editing, by the way. Oh, yeah. Gosh, right, okay. Yeah. Allison, what's the matter? Allison, I'm having any pain. Yeah. Okay. What is Ice chips. Okay. okay. <laughs> that's good if that's the only thing that's bothering you, okay? Yeah. Is she having like a reaction to the anesthetic, maybe? Like shaking? Allison, how are you? <laughs> hey, I know you're in pain. I know that was a lot to go through, but it's over. This is exactly what she wanted, so we gave it to her. She's gonna be an amazing looking bride, and, and she just has to heal now and continue doing what she's been doing. I can't wait to see you at your wedding in your wedding dress with everything looking really great. I can't wait either. Oh my gosh, I feel a bit violated. And the surgeries were less than 20K, okay. Three rounds of lipo and the teeth cost less than 20K? Wait, she had lipo on here, lipo here, lipo here, the backside, her breast lift and her teeth done for less than 20K. Wish I could get those prices. <laughs> Oh, here we go. Fast forward two months. Okay. Wedding day in the gout. Wedding day. Oh, the hateful house. Jeffree Star is in the garden. Hmm. I've worked so hard for this, and this day finally came. Oh, and it's we don't know who any of these makeup artists are. Pro quite possibly, you know, the people that create the most memorable look in your entire life apparently on your wedding day no idea who these people are no just random lady a applying makeup b here and i'm telling you i'm more nervous than i, I want to know who they are who styled your hair previous weddings that i had scheduled but it has been totally worth it imagine being like i'm gonna be on bridal plasty as the mua for the winner's wedding no mention at all just see you going like this for like eight seconds that's it no more what? What swizz? Absolute swizz. Ooh. Candles on the game. Is this the groom? I've been away from Allison about four months. Oh, no, I have no it's idea not. what else That's the groom. like, but I'm sure she's gonna be really beautiful. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you sound tall. It's like half there. I didn't want to be Secret overweight marrying some hot ass girl, so I lost about 33 pounds. And I can't wait to see her. Let's drink what? John Nelson. What? That was glossed over. He lost 33 pounds in four months. Wow. Congratulations, that guy. I do not remember your name because I am so overwhelmed by what's going on. But congratulations. 33 pounds in four months is an incredible achievement. Absolutely incredible. Goodness. Okay. Like, this guy seems to be the nicest guy that we've come across in any of these series so far. He's put effort into the way he looks. As he just said, if he's going to marry some hot girl, he wants to also look like better himself. That's like... That's wild, we've never heard that. Okay, all right. Ooh. To beers and gouts. Mm. <gasps> the wedding. We're here, everybody, we're at the wedding. Oh, 
That's a horrible shirt. This is just gorgeous. Oh. Ah, look who it isn't! Cheyenne and I, obviously, at the end of um, the competition, did not like each other, but we decided, you know, it was a game, it was a competition, so I apologized to her, and we decided that there's really no reason why we shouldn't be friends. Oh, my goodness. The reunion of the century? I don't think. Wow, that was a different vibe, wasn't it? I wonder if Cheyenne was just like, get away from my eggs. Hey, guys! Hey. Is this everyone else? Oh, wow. Oh, I'm look. so excited about this wedding today. I couldn't be happier for Allison. Oh, that, the right that person hair is won a choice. it, and I can't wait to see what she looks like in that wedding dress. That's well, a very wedding. Philip Bloch? He is the reason why I have these. <laughs> oh, Philip Bloch, <laughs> yes. Fix all my skin. I'll be coming to you. When you're ready, I'll take it. I will give you a call, Dr. DeBro. <laughs> <laughs> are, you, are you ready for this? I, I don't know. I'm like, is that Shayna? <laughs> is that Shayna? She's dressed like a wraith from the Lord of the Rings. Not unlike me on some days. <laughs> wow. Okay. All right. Shayna's there as well. I'm like nervous ah. for her. I'm like, oh my God, she's going to see Josh. I cannot wait to see Allison, to see if she lost weight, what, what wedding dress she ended up picking out, talking to her about her experience and what point she went through. Prefers. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Okay. Hi. Hey! Hey! Oh, oh, it had to be just one person, and of course I wanted it to be me, but it's Allison, and you know. I think Dr. Dubrow has a soft spot for Dominique. Do you? He's been very, um,. Hmm, very complimentary, shall we say. You know what? She deserves it. It's gorgeous. Yeah, she did She did the best in the competition. <gasps> What's that twinkly noise? Oh my god. The fairy oh, godmother's been here. Oh. You look beautiful, my god. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that is so Oh, god, you look beautiful. I missed you so much. When I we saw Elsa, say. I was really surprised. I mean, she just looks beautiful. I didn't believe it. Where did it all go? <laughs> I told you. <laughs> she looks so happy. Her whole attitude Wait, has changed. Wait, but this has been four months. Before, it would have been, she yeah. she wasn't that happy of a person. I'm going to give you Grandma's ring. <gasps> Diamond and ruby ring from the 1940s. Oh. I want you to have a fair wedding day. Oh. oh my God. Can you wear it for me? Do doesn't I go with yes. anything. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I love you so much. <laughs> Rather, is it gauche? Do people say gauche? Gordian gauche. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh here I am. I am so excited to be here today. Gosh, when I first met Allison, she was pretty rough around the edges. So I'm really looking forward to seeing her big reveal. That was weird. Why did we interview Shayna? That's so weird. Oh, I don't like that. That's so weird. I must say, she really seems like a celebrity trying to not be noticed at a wedding. Do you know what I mean? She's like got the shades on. She's like, oh, don't talk to me. I've got a shawl. All right. Oh, the runway girls. Of course, I'm picturing in my head what it would have looked like if all my family was here. So it was a little difficult knowing that I was so close to winning the whole thing. Yeah, they don't need to ask you all this. Oh, dear. <gasps> Is that a... Oh no. Are the bridesmaids in like, what is that, a chocolate color? Or a plum? Chocolate plums, maybe? When I got engaged to Allison, I had no idea I should be gone for four Illuminati. months. Illuminati. So, seeing Allison walk down the aisle, I'm gonna be the happiest I've been in a really long time. Oh, that's lovely. Come on then, come on then. Come on, Allison! <gasps> oh my God, she's arriving from heaven itself. The angels, Metatron, come on. Do not be afraid. <gasps> oh. oh my Is it good? God. I don't know. Oh One pixel. Goodness, like <gasps> she looks phenomenal. <laughs> Just How you a can't total see? dream come true. Lisa. <laughs> oh, she looks phenomenal. She's got this blanket on her head. She's dressed like a ghost on Halloween. <laughs> I couldn't believe how much weight she had lost. She looks gorgeous. They've, they've made this like a real point, haven't they? <laughs> oh, she's nervous, oh look. Oh my God, Allison. Her waist is like this big now. The size of oh a very small turnip. <laughs> I still can't see what she looks like. My father, and I'm realizing that this journey oh, has not come to an end and John is finally going to see me. Oh. I lost 35 pounds and I just can't wait to show him what I've worked so hard for. Oh, who presents the bride today in marriage? I do. Oh, a man. If you would please words. be seated, ladies and gentlemen, 
in a usual wedding, the groom would lift our bride's veil at the end. Oh, 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 the reason why her veil is so thick is because obviously he hasn't seen her for four months. I get it now. I, at first I was a bit like, are you just walking this mannequin lampshade down the aisle? Like, doesn't make any sense, but okay, okay, all right, okay. The fact that Allison, our bride, has not seen John, her groom, nor has she seen any of you for several months. On his I thought lapel. it only appropriate that we truly give her <gasps> Ashley's the there. We haven't seen you for years, Allison, it feels. <gasps> would you please NASA. do us the honor? Are we having a space launch? finally see the beautiful bride. Ta -da. Oh, come off it, girls! Oh, Janessa is shook. Okay, this is a bit much. Standing up and clapping. <laughs> I need to see Alice for God's sake! Sorry, everyone, for the audio. I did just bash the table very, very loudly, repeatedly. <gasps> oh, wow. Oh, good. Oh, Janessa. beautiful she looked the biggest thing that made her beautiful was her smile and how pretty wow her teeth those are. are some teeth aren't they extremely happy to be marrying her at this moment <laughs> seeing allison in her wedding gown just reminded me of that first day in the house there are some things that are just not meant to be shown allison is completely different not only like looks wise but i can really see how much confidence that she has compared to when i first met her in the house so proud of her <laughs> It's emotional. She does look all gorgeous. The hard work that she actually put into it, pay off. If you would now please join hands. <laughs> wow. Please repeat after me. I, John. I, John. I, Allison. Take you, Allison. Take you, John. Oh, they're speeding for it. <laughs> to be my husband. We the wedding is sped through. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for, for richer, poorer. For richer, for poorer. Sickness, in and, sickness health. and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. To as long as we both shall live. For as long as we both shall live. I now pronounce you as husband and wife. And you may kiss the bride. Oh my goodness. We have been away from each oh other no. for four months and we just flat out made it dirty. <laughs> <laughs> my poor little innocent get eyes. Get out, get out. <laughs> <laughs> that is quite a dress, isn't it? Wow. I love you guys. I love you guys. Lisa Marie is already drunk. <laughs> I cannot believe I'm married right now. Sparkle. Happy Allison. <laughs> oh, time for a, the rock star party to begin. Da, 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 da. Oh, they were in like a chocolatey purple. Okay. We're looking like each other did the day we met. And it's like I'm looking at the man I fell in love with all over again. But I just got better teeth now. <laughs> oh, this is taking a turn. She's going to beat box. Beat the box, beat it. Oh, <gasps> the up, first I didn't dance go. Really go to dances or do any of that stuff. So this literally was like my princess moment. This All is quite the and princess I know that moment. I, look good. <laughs> I think that's the first time we ever danced together. <laughs> really? Like a slow dance. It, it, yeah, you're right. It is. <laughs> oh no, not cake that up the nose. That cake was three and a half grand. Stop smearing it up your nostrils, sir. The dream come true. From the cake oh. cutting <gasps> to the bouquet toss. The bucket toss. Oh, is that Janessa? Is it Janessa? Is that Janessa? The garter toss. No, can't see. What's this? Garter toss? Garter toss? The garter toss. Bite off the garter with your teeth and throw it at men? Is that a new tradition? I don't remember reading about that in the Bible. <laughs> For a long time oh there, dear, we no, stop doing had nothing that. but bad luck. And when I left for the show, look I had no hope. Hair. Wow. You know, right there and right there, you just look like a oh. truck driver. And yeah, a you were not nice. I didn't you were hateful. I very much faith in myself. And it took How dare you go to the, the wedding? bottom to see that. The person I chose tonight, I feel deserves a second chance. 
and I believe that this person will go far. Oh, this is heartwarming, isn't Three, it? Three, two, one, frickin' rock. And I think it's best to give it to Allison. <laughs> well, congratulations, Allison. You're not the bad luck bride anymore. <laughs> Allison and John, you are our winning team, and Allison, you will be in the finale. Allison, you are the winner of Bridal Plasty. Congratulations. <laughs> Well deserved. It took months and months of planning this whole shebang. And then within a flash, it's gone. Yeah. I'm ready to go home. Which is why you don't spend 25K on it. Life head on. I love you very much. Love you too. Oh, he thought you were going to get a bit more, didn't he? He was like, man. Well, is that it? It just ends there? <gasps> Oh my God. Wow, my loves. I'm going to push my laptop away from there and just discuss what we've seen because that was bonkers. Bonk to the onk to the onkers, girl. Not body oddy oddy, bonk to the onkers. Wow. Okay. First of all, very well deserved, I think. I think out of everyone, I kind of wanted Kristen to like make it to the end, but I knew that she wouldn't do it because like she didn't have a great track record. But I think Alison winning is the right choice out of Janessa and Alison. Absolutely. I wonder what this end part would have been like if Janessa had won. It would have been absolutely bonkers. I, I don't know. I'm fully, oh, I feel a certain type of way, girls. There's no more seasons of this. This was the only season of Bridal Plasty. Interesting that they didn't do a reunion, but that kind of like where all the, the, the like bridal panel votes on who gets the wedding in the end anyway, kind of felt a bit like a reunion, if you know what I mean. Wow. Well, at least the ending seemed really lovely and everything seemed great, but I still don't think I like the idea of competing for plastic surgery. In fact, I know I don't. I might find weddings overrated. I might find them very expensive. But if you want to have a gorgeous day, you go ahead, my love. Go ahead. And finally, we come to the where are they now segment that I have <gasps> lovingly prepared over months of research. And unfortunately, I'm going to be really disappointed right here and just tell you all that I could only find information on three, potentially four of the cast members. So first of all, I want to start with the most shocking story you are going to hear from the words out of my mouth today. I don't even know how much of this story I can say so I'm going to be really careful with my words here and I'm not going to be disrespectful either. I am sad to report that Lisa Marie is no longer with us so I'm going to be reading from you a couple of lines from People magazine and their online article which will be in the description box of this video if you want to do some further reading yourself of what exactly happened to Lisa Marie and I think it's actually quite um it's really shocking and it can require quite a strong stomach my loves I am so sorry to have to share this information with you. Okay the title starts with man found guilty of killing Bridal Plasty star with hammer and burying her body in his backyard. A California man has been found guilty of murdering Bridal Plasty star Lisa Marie and may face a possible sentence of 26 years to life in state prison. So on December 18th in 2016, the 34 year old Jackie Jerome Rogers, who was actually Lisa Marie's former student. Now, I don't exactly know in what context that is. I don't know if uh, she was teaching him how to be a nurse or anything like this. Beat the nurse and reality show contestant at least eight times with a hammer while the two were inside his car. Now, it takes quite a lot to shock me, but the idea that you are in a car with someone and they just take a weapon to you eight times is genuinely shocking and terrifying. So at the time, Lisa Marie was married and uh, her and the guy were having an affair um, when he got upset and killed her. So Jackie Rogers was actually found guilty of first degree murder. That is quite a strong sentence. And it goes on to say that before this event happened, he and Lisa Marie attended a friend's birthday party together at a restaurant in California. And that was the last time that she was seen alive. Days later, he was arrested and confessed to killing her. He also led authorities to her shallow grave in his backyard. Some of this language is genuinely terrifying. Like, I can't imagine what it actually must take for someone to do that to someone else. I don't like the idea of like affairs and whatnot, but you you don't, you're not entitled to end someone's life because of it. I think that is absolutely disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. And before his arrest, Lisa Marie's family actually confronted him about like where she was, where Lisa Marie was. And he lied to them and said, she's fine. She's not with me. After he was confronted again by the family, after some CCTV footage of them at the restaurant arrived, apparently he started shaking. I wanted him to leave, but at the same time, I wanted him to admit that he knew more, said a member of her family. It wasn't until he spoke to the LAPD later that day that he confessed to the crime. So there is actually a little bit more to this story than just from that article. 
article, I will put a couple of links to various articles that kind of buff out that story a little bit more in the description box below. So you are more than welcome to read a little bit more. I don't know how much more I can say on YouTube, but the man has been sentenced. And as far as I can tell, the last update is on April 9th, 2019. So I must admit, it is actually when I found this out, it was really bittersweet to watch this entire season with Lisa Marie in it. I feel like it was just a bit, um, it is strange to see someone so vibrant knowing now what happened to her years down the line. So moving on from Lisa Marie's story, I now want to share one of the biggest success stories to come out of bridal plasty that is not even really related to bridal plasty at all. And that is of Alexandra. Now, Alexandra has become a beautiful boss, babe, girl, boss, woman on the go since her years of bridal plasty. She now owns a multi-million dollar hair extension empire. Her company is called Glam Seamless Hair Extensions and on Instagram, they have 275,000 followers. So she is like a professional businesswoman on the go. And some of her products look absolutely beautiful. Her company provides hair extensions in all different types of ranges, all different types of colors, textures, and different ways of installation. She looks absolutely breathtakingly stunning now. And do you know what? I do not think that the show Bridal Plasty actually helped her in any way, shape, or form achieve her degrees. I'm just going to read you here one of her Instagram captions here. She says, at 20, with no income, I may have had nothing on paper, but I had a vision. I knew I'd make a way for myself somehow. The older I get, the more I value my downtime. My energy becomes so important to me. The quiet time is my time to plan, think and create my vision. Without a vision, deciding what you do and don't want to becomes harder and you'll find yourself lost along the way. Creating the vision is the first step. And I cannot agree with Alexandra any more than that. That is a beautiful, wonderful way of living your life. Remember always to take a little bit of downtime just to readdress where it is you want to go and the creative pathways you need to explore in order to make those visions come true. Congratulations to Alexandra, the most successful woman from Bridal Plastic now we move on to Cheyenne. So Cheyenne has actually become quite a successful like mummy vlogger, mummy influencer on Instagram. She has 80,000 followers as I speak right now. And her bio reads, helping make parenting easier with tips, advice, product reviews, and DIY interior design. And she is a mother of four. Now I must admit like scrolling through her Instagram feed, it does look so beautiful. It looks like she has the most gorgeous house and like just a loving family. And once again, I feel like Bridoplasty didn't really do much to help her achieve her dreams here. I feel like this has been a lot of effort on her own behalf. After watching Cheyenne's eviction on Bridoplasty, it was one of the most like jaw-droppingly shocking moments on TV. And I am so glad that she has forged this like new incredible life for herself without the help of reality TV, realistically. And next we move on to Janessa, probably the most famous, infamous reality TV villain ever to ever exist on any show at any point ever. I was gobsmacked watching Janessa all the way throughout this series just really be so driven to win. She was absolutely driven to win. She gave us some of the best TV moments and best TV villain moments in the entire world. Now, I am the first to admit that I got very into the storylines. I was like, Janessa's a wasp. Janessa's a serpent. Oh, oh Janessa the serpent girls. I was fully into watching her. Every single time I filmed an episode of Bridal Plasty, it was like, I wonder what Janessa is going to be up to this week. Well, my loves, I have a little bit of information for you. So, Janessa never appeared on reality TV after Bridal Plasty. Now, I did actually try to add her on Instagram to see if I could get, like, a little message or something from her. But to be honest, I clicked follow and she immediately rejected me and I'm not surprised. To be honest, I have no ill will towards Janessa about that at all. I think if I was put on part of a reality TV show and people were being like, look, Sarah's a wasp, she's a wasp, then I probably would have reacted the exact same way and been like, absolutely not accepting. So, I have no ill will towards Janessa for that. But you may find that on LinkedIn, Janessa apparently now is a director of sales at a very prominent American company. Now I am not going to, I'm not going to say the company name. I don't want to dox her. I don't want you to like investigate and follow her and harass her at the workplace, girl. She is an accomplished sales professional with a proven record in business to business, strategic sales and business development. Extensive experience selling to Fortune 1000 companies with a focus on network professional 
services. What do those words mean? I'm not entirely sure because I'm not in business, my loves. I'm not entirely sure. But what I can tell you is that Janessa has a gorgeous little family. She has stayed with the same guy that we saw her on Bridal Plastic with. And she has four beautiful children. So, my loves, that brings us to the end. The final end in the saga of Bridal Plastic. Unfortunately, I wish I could find more information about the contestants. But a lot of them just never made public appearances again after their run on Bridal Plastic. And that kind of makes it a little bit more difficult for me to produce a like a where are they now which is why I wanted to put it at the very end of like a full season watch through because unlike things like America's Next Top Model or The Swan it's very difficult to find information on people who don't want to be found and also I must absolutely stress do not try to contact them if they do not want to be contacted and there we go my loves that is the end of Bridal Plastic on this Chanel I want to say a huge thank you to everyone who watched it and commented and engaged with my videos you guys literally have changed my life. I want to say a huge thank you to all of the Patreons that have made it possible for me to continue making all of these episodes. So let me know what you think about seeing the other seasons in their supercut formats on my Chanel after they have finished and we have done a where are they now? Let me know what you think about those sorts of videos. I know that this has been a really long one but thank you guys so much for your continued support and with that I shall see you in the next video my loves. <gasps> yeah.